Are we ready? Three, two, one, go. All right, let's go, boys. We got it. I should already have the save file cleared out here, and we do. All right, good. Good, good, good. So we're starting on June 4th, 2022 at 8 p.m. We're going to do Tom Nook's chores, and then after that, we need a firefly, mosquito, crab, diving beetle, dung beetle, and hermit crab. And we're going to need to pick up a shovel and a net along the way. And flowers as well. We're going to need the flowers from the store because, of course, some bugs require flowers to be caught. And in this game, flowers don't naturally spawn. Yeah. Flowers don't naturally spawn. You actually have to plant any flowers that exist on the island. <clears throat> Pardon me. Ready for me to do my hi, YouTube voice. Hi, YouTube. Look, Mom, on a YouTube video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. First time to stream that I've been watching on YouTube for a long time. Hey, I'm glad that you enjoy. I hope you enjoy the streams as well. So June 4th, 2022. We're actually quite close to that date as it is. And then when 8 o'clock in military time is 20. 20? No, 20? I, I don't know how to work the controls. There you go. Easy. 6, 4, 8 o'clock. Yes, that's correct. Now, I, I, I can usually feel my way through Animal Crossing enough to where my lack of Japanese knowledge should be okay. Like, I don't know what I'm answering here, and that's okay, because it doesn't really have much of an implication. What's my name, Chad? Are we gonna go back to... <clears throat> we're gonna go back to Ye Olden Classic Ra? Let's do it. Let's do it. And, of course, wait. Wait, what it, is this now my town name? Is this now my town name? Wait a minute. You telling me I could have typed in English the whole damn time? Wait, is this my name or is this my town name? Hello, bug! <laughs> this is so strange. <laughs> Hello, bug! I don't know why he's just like, no! No, 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 let's redo that, man. I, I, I'm Dagnol going to bug. I'm Dagnol going to bug. I want to be... Why do you have to type... Why is it like this default English? Dagnol. Hello, Dagnol. Yeah, that's me. No, I'm Dagnol. Are you Dagnol? That's okay, take your time. Alright, yeah. Um... Wait, so the town, I made the town Ra, and I made my character Dagnal. Okay, I think I understand now. Hello, bug. It's just, it's like, with the weird, like, kerning with the hello made it, like, really weird. I don't know. All being uppercase makes me anxious. Sorry, man, I don't mean to cause any anxiety. I don't mean to cause any anxiety. Anyway, that was fun. Hi, Dag. Hi, chat. Hello, Francine. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Is this Wild World or GameCube? This is a GameCube, specifically Animal Forest E+, which was a Japanese-only version. It's kind of like a sequel to Animal Crossing, because it's like an enhanced version of Animal Crossing. Like, it adds some new features that aren't in Animal Crossing, but it only ever released in Japan. Why is the game AC&H, then? For discoverability, man. You think I'm gonna stream in the Animal Forest E Plus category? Don't nobody be browsing the Animal Forest E Plus category, man. You gotta be streaming in New Horizons. Wait, did I say no? I want this house, man. I want this house. This is my house. Damn it, I said no. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like a sequel to the first Animal Crossing. So, kind of yes, kind of no. This game seems kind of buggy. That's a, that's a good one. We are doing all bugs, so I guess that's alright with me. Alright, this is my house. Yeah, like, a lot of Pokemon streamers will stream in, like, the latest Pokemon game for discoverability. Look, if you want to get mad at me, get mad at Twitch for having, like, no discoverability and having to rely on doing stuff like this. I'm the same height as the mailbox? That's pretty true. That's pretty true. Then again, I feel like there's a fair few amount of mailboxes in real life that I'm just as tall as. So, I don't know. Maybe it's not so weird. I don't know what I just agreed to. I The EULA, I suppose. There you go, man. There's your 19,800. Not nearly enough! 
Among Us mailbox. Don't type in my chat again, please. Get out of my head! Stop fucking talking about Among Us! Where's the shop at? Um, let's see here. Shop to the left. Alright, to the left, to the left. Everything is better in the acre to the left. Sus box? Like, I'm mad because it does look like... Hi, Bangle. I'm mad because it does look like the you know, Among Us. It does look like the imposter from goddamn Among Us. It does. That's why I'm mad. If you had just merely made the joke without actually having any truth to the joke, I would have been like, that's not funny. Didn't laugh. But you're right. And that's what makes me mad. Just came over from YouTube. Good luck with the run. Thank you, Isaac Luigi. Thank you. My two favorite video game characters. Isaac from The Binding of Isaac and Luigi from... Where's my uniform? I thought he was supposed to... Can I... My uniform? What? Huh? Wait. I'm confused. You're fired? I'm fired? How did I get fired already? I think you have to greet a villager? All of them, or just one of them? Oh god, again? Again? I- I just- I- I just had this guy! I- I got him again? Oh my lord, and I got fucking- what's your name? I forget your name. Forget this guy's name. Are you serious? Yo. Julian Guerra. Thanks so much for the subscription, for the Prime. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. By the way, random person. I don't know if I, uh... No, I did thank you, because you were talking about moving. You are talking about moving. Well, I hope it... I hope... I hope the, the process gets easier for you, regardless. Alright, this is where we want to go, right? So just a little, little down to the right, a little down the, little down the thing. How long do you plan on streaming? I don't know, a few hours. We'll see how much progress we can knock out in one day. Oh, what's your name? You got cut. She kind of looks like Lee, but not. Interesting. I don't know who that is. Gen like, I don't know. There's not many villagers. I don't know who they are. But that one is one of them that I have no idea. Uh, Tort? Got a little talk to old Torty boy? So is that what I have to do? Like, talk to all the villagers and Tort? Before... They're called Betty? Interesting. Betty. Cool. Oh, wait. They give you a map by default here. Okay. I was just kind of checking on the off chance they did. And they did. How nice of them. And then... That's another one. I genuinely don't know who you are. Who are you? You... Betty? A normal personality. Alright. Well, who's that then? And then... Let's see. We talked to... We just need that one, right? In order to talk to all the villagers, right? That's Cupcake? What the fuck kind of name is Cupcake? Sounds like a damn Build-A-Bear. Which I suppose she could be a Build-A-Bear. I don't know, man. Like, sometimes I see, like, oh, Chow be making it. Like, you know, Chow be, like, surviving cuts of villagers from these games. And then, like, they, they cut, like, good ones. Like Betty and Cupcake. I mean, she ain't bad, man. Crispy? She's crispy? I don't know. Yes, let's get some bugs, shall we? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. C yeah, yes, sir. How you doing, Bandit Yoshi? How you doing? That's my friend Bandit Yoshi right there. There goes my mans. Where's my bridge? Where's my bridge? Curly fries. Fringe. Thanks for the 200 bits. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that very much. A crispy cupcake? Well, see, I like a crispy brownie. I like a- Ooh, Biff! Hey, man, what's going on? He's, he's a little less red in this. Assuming that is Biff, like, he looks like so much more red in the future games. 
The alerts are louder than your voice? Oh, sorry. Are they really that loud? I think I know why. There we go. Hopefully they're a little bit better now. Somebody try subscribing just to make sure. I mean, hell, do five of them just to like make sure that it's good. All right, I ta I've talked to all the villagers and now we're good? Stale cupcakes? Yeah, maybe that's where this song originated. All right, can I get my uniform now, please? I think... Eight, yeah, that's my dad. He... Is that all the... Wait a minute. That don't seem right. That doesn't seem right. That's all the chores? That's all the chores? That doesn't seem right. Yo, J part though. Thanks for the five gift subs. Face is starry. Thanks for the six months. And Sim Cetera. Thanks for the gift sub to Lockleth. You're free? No chores? That's it? That's all the chores in this game? You don't have to plant flowers? You don't have to do nothing? It said you don't have to do... And I said no to it? Oh! I didn't realize you could refuse it. I didn't know you could refuse the part-time job. But I guess I accidentally did, and I only ever had to introduce myself to the villagers? Oh. Well, shit. Interesting. I didn't know you could refuse to do the chores. I mean, I guess, like, that has to be what's going on, because now the 8 o'clock music's playing. It's not the chore music. Okay, well, now what I need to do, then, is I need to, uh, buy the shovel. Now, the problem is, is that normally I would get enough things to sell to then buy a tool. Um, now I have to find enough bells. I have to, like, shake down some fruit or something to be able to buy the shovel. All right. Well, that was easy, then. Did I get a gift sub? It says my name at the side. Yeah, you did. Congrats, Beep Boop. Congrats. And thank you again to everyone. Sim Cetera, J part for the five gifted subs. Sorry, you, you caught me in a moment of utter confusion, but thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, we could shake the trees and get seashell. I mean, I know plenty of ways to make money now. I know plenty of ways to make money. It's just hard without any tools. Let's see, like, are there any crabs on the beach as well? shake them trees that's an e plus thing yeah see this is like a i i learn every time i play e plus like something that's a unique to e plus every time i do it it's fun i like it i like discovering new things every time i play this game do you have any fruit trees there i do i feel like you know just going along collecting seashells might be a little bit better yeah, yeah, yeah there you go look at him look at him look at him look at him go look at him he moving look at him It'll scattering along. Get you, get you on out of here. Get you on out of here now. He groving. Yeah, that's a crab. I think that's only in this game. I think that's only in this game. So that's why we have to play Animal Forest E+. There's hermit crabs, but those are different. Like, that's just a regular old crab. Yeah, that's only in Animal Forest E+, I think. He's so flat. He is so flat. Wait, what the hell was just... Did I, like, kick up a leaf that I thought was, like, a tarantula? Maybe. I'm like, wait, tarantulas aren't in this game. They only introduced those in Wild World. Alright, so now we got to... We gotta buy... We gotta buy a shovel. How are we... Wait, how am I supposed to get a net in this split? How am I supposed to get a net in this split? Because he doesn't start selling the net. I think you're supposed to put in a code to get the net, but I don't think I can do that. Well, I could, but I don't have the code off, uh, I don't have the code on top of my head. I guess I could time travel to the same time frame to where fireflies and mosquitoes, which is what I need to catch, are still spawning. Or, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I'll have to do that. Oh, well. I'm tired of Top Gun ads. Top Gun ads. 
Oh, sorry about that. I really wish I could control the ads. Unfortunately, it's not really something I can do. Top Gun looks so mid. I don't even know what it is. I've never gotten an ad for it. 2,810? Yeah, that's good enough. From TCRF, the option to request an errand is no longer possible. Favors are instead asked by your villagers randomly during conversations. Consequently, Tom Nook no longer requires the pair to complete errands for villagers. Interesting. But it's still an option, right? I think they just took that one where you, um... Oh, Ione. F. F. <laughs> Thank you. For the 500 bits, that is insanely generous. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Try redeeming your Twitch Prime to avoid ads. Well, that's pretty true, but it used to be actually where if you just had Twitch Prime, you just didn't get ads. You don't even have to be subscribed. You just had Twitch Prime, you don't get ads. Those were the days, and there was a very brief time period. There was a very brief time period where partners didn't get ads. I was not a partner during the time that this was the that this was the case. Um, but for a very brief time, partners did not get ads. And I feel like that's not very consequential to Twitch's bottom line, to where I don't really know why they would have gotten rid of it, but they did. So oh well. Yo, what's up, little Claver Gem? How are you doing? Little Clever Gem. Yo, sheep foxy. Three months, Pogo. Thanks so much for the three months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My friend clowns me for liking Tom Cruise. I don't know. Is that clownable? I actually have... I, I don't know about Tom... Is he the guy that's like the Scientologist? Oh, what's up, big man? How you doing? Is he the Scientologist? He's a little bit of a nut job, isn't he? He's a little bit of a nut job. Yeah? Okay, yeah, I can kind of see why then. Yeah, he is? Yeah, okay, I mean, that's kind of fair then. That's that's a little bit kind of clown behavior. I was like, I couldn't tell if that was him or, like, another celeb. I don't really keep up with the celebrities, despite being, you know, the California guy that I am. They look more fun than New Horizons? I mean, New Horizons does a lot of things better than these old games did, but... They are still a lot of fun in their own right. Yo, Prima. Thank you for the three months as well. I appreciate that. Thank you, Sheep Froggy and Priva, for the three months each. Thank you, both of you. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And both of you enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's the dump, man. It's like the recycling box inside Resonant Services, um, except it's like an actual outdoor building it's pretty good i like it i don't know maybe not everyone misses the dump but i i i kind of miss the dump man i kind of miss the dump i keep expecting the shovel to break no nope. tools don't break only the axe broke in these old games only the axe broke each ac game has its ups and downs so true i feel like it's kind of hard to say objectively which one is best when some people just prefer different things versus others for example if you like I don't know, like, fun, wacky villagers that have some personality and character. Yeah, you'll probably like these old games a little bit more, but if you like the ability to decorate your town and your house, yeah, you'll probably like New Horizons more. So, it's really hard to say which ones are objectively better. Which is, I don't know, a lot of people are like, oh, discuss, like, which is the best AC game. First of all, I did a video about that. Second of all, I don't know, it's hard to say, because you really don't know what people prefer watching on youtube finally catching a stream thank you i appreciate that thank you very much the money rock definitely exists in this game okay an obvious challenge to follow the fishing one yeah it was kind of like it's kind of funny like i was like out of ideas i was like oh i don't really have any ideas for what i want to do now and it's like hey ding dong how about you like do the obvious follow-up to the fishing challenge the problem is, the reason why I was initially skeptical, yeah, I know, I know it's in this game, I'm just, like, reassuring myself, really. The reason why I was not too, too as excited about this challenge as I am the fish is because bugs are, like, so much more difficult than, I think, gyroids. No, they weren't added in this game, I think they were in the original. The bugs are so much more complicated than the fish. The fish are straightforward, man. Like... 
I don't know. The fish are straightforward. The bugs are, like, more difficult to route. It's kind of... Oh, we have a camper. Interesting. You can just get a camper day one. That's kind of interesting. Getting all fossils? No, I don't think so. That doesn't seem as interesting. It's not as interactive to dig up a fossil than it is to, you know, catch a fish. I mean, of course I'm going to check this. Is my internet struggling or dags? Oh. I think that's Aziz? I think that's Aziz is his name. Ew? Yay, like... I'm not a big fan. That's a lot of soup, man. You got enough soup over there. Good gracious. That's Aziz. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought I recognized him. I mean, it's got a lot of soup. It's like Sonic the Lion. Yeah, there you go. If it's mine, I have to do something. I don't think mine's too bad, but I don't know. It could be mine. It could be mine. Bugs have a bunch of different spawns. It definitely makes it harder. Yeah, it has a bunch of different spawns. There's more, like, bugs that are exclusive to... Like, Animal Forest E Plus has some exclusive bugs, which are, like, kind of hard to account for, considering this isn't really a mainline game in the same way that, like, GameCube and Wild World are. So, I don't know. It's It adds, like, levels of difficulty to this that Fish didn't necessarily have. Now, there was the Harabuna, but that's it. Like, that's the only one that's, like, really obscure, you know? Because political correctness or something. He has a forehead mark only in the Japanese version because political correctness or something. That's interesting. I mean, I think that they've done that with a few villagers, right? That's not a, a Z-specific thing. Like, I think that... Didn't they, like... I think they changed, like, the skin tone of some villagers. Because I, I think one villager in particular... They changed the skin tone of them because it kind of looks like blackface. And they changed it. I don't remember what villager it was. But they changed it in the American releases. I don't know. It is kind of weird, though. I had no idea about that. Yeah, I didn't I didn't know that about Aziz specifically. But I've heard of them doing that with some villagers. They did that with a Pokemon? Yeah, they did that with Mr. Mime, right? Okay, like, I'm a little confused, man. I feel like I've hit every rock at this point. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm not, like, going faster, it's because I don't really care. <laughs> it's because I don't really care to go faster. It's fine. I'm, I'm cool with taking this speed run, quote-unquote, rather slowly. Oh, Jinx. Oh, okay, I thought it was Mr. Mime that they did that for. Oh, oh well. Psychic type, weirdly like, uh, humanoid psychic type Gen 1 Pokemon, okay? They're all the same. Mr. Mime's creepy enough? Yeah, he is pretty creepy. Mosquito? Yeah, I need to catch that guy as well. I need to catch him. Oh, hello. I mean, like, Blathers can't assess fossils in this game, right? He can't. Like, so I would have to send these off, get them assessed, bring them back in sell them, and then maybe I can qualify for a net to spawn? Maybe. Yeah, that might be what I have to do. Um, I guess let me buy some paper. Yeah, like, I think that you can, like, still plug in codes like you could, but I don't know. Plugging them in is gonna be such a pain in the ass. Gonna be such a pain in the ass. Mr. Mime doesn't deserve rights? That's not very nice, man. He's Mr. Mime. He ain't bad. I have to talk to Blathers, though. I think... Do I not have to time travel a day before I'm even able to send the letters to the faraway museum? Yeah, I think I do, actually. I'm lurking today because my Wi-Fi is shit. Enjoy stream. Yo, enjoy your day. Enjoy your day, even if your Wi-Fi is shit. Yeah, museum. What's wrong with Mr. Mime? I, personally, I just kind of think he's a little creepy. He's, he's, that's really my only thing against him. I'm normally pretty cool with uh, Psychic-type Pokemon. Oh, just give me a throne if you don't mind. I like Psychic-type Pokemon. Mr. Mime, though, kind of ain't it, Chief. Kind of ain't it. Yo, what's up? Sarah is now. How are you doing? Had more of a reason to collect all the gyroids, like fossils? Uh, I mean, it would be cool if you could, like, put them in the museum or something like that. Like, there's a gyroid exhibit in the museum. That'd be pretty cool. There's police. Yeah, there is, uh, Copper and Booker. I have a saying, A-C-A-B-E-C-A-B. -E -B. All cops are bastards except Copper and Booker. Okay, that's, I, I kind of live by that mantra, okay? 
Those are good boys. He's a little creepy, especially in the Detective Pikachu movies. See, I haven't even seen that movie. But I don't know. He's just a little, little, little creepy. A little creepy in general, in my opinion. Mr. Mime is Ash's real dad. I don't like that theory. I don't like that theory. Wait, what did I just... No, 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 no. Don't go explaining shit. Don't mansplain the museum to me, mister. Looks like he tried to follow me home. He's not trustworthy. Yeah, kind of. I can see that. Best acronym? Yeah. Unlike real cops, Copper and Booker actually benefit their community. True. True. Glad there's a mansplain. He's mansplaining to me, dude. I don't need to... I, 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 I've been playing these games longer than you've been alive, Mr. B. That's not true, actually. He's probably quite old. Opinion on Tom Nook. I like Tom Nook. He's good. He's good. It, it kind of like the same thing where, like, Copper and Booker are rare examples of, like, good cops. Tom Nook is the rare example of a good landlord. Like, an ethical landlord. I like him. If all landlords were more like Tom Nook, we'd be a happier society. I, I, what? <laughs> Hang on. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I just, I, I just, okay, I'm gonna do the same thing here. <laughs> He's like, ha, huh, huh. But Lyle is still a dingus, though. True, definitely dingus status for old Big L over there. That's pretty true. Am I doing it again? I just want to, like, get it to where, like, he'll agree to, like... The bills are so cheap in New Horizon. The bills? No, compared to this game, your all your debts are only like 1.4 million, which is nothing compared to New Horizons. Okay, so I think now I have it to where he'll I'll get a letter from the museum tomorrow saying like, "Hey, send your fossils to us." That's all I was trying to do. That's all I was trying to do. Why is Bother so chubby in this game? Hey, he's just eating good, man. He's just eating good. You have to get fossils by mailing them to the Faraway Museum. Yeah, and it's a, um, it's one thing I'm really glad that they changed. Is not having to send them away to the museum just to get them checked. Very convenient, I have to say. He's allowed to be chubby. He's my chubby guy. Alright, well, I guess my money rock just don't exist today. Don't chub shame him. Exactly, don't chub shame him, okay? We all got a little chub, man. We all got a little chub. Yo, Vic. Wait, in Bridget Barbie, I missed your subscription. How dare I? Thank you, Bridget Barbie, for the Prime. And then thank you, Vic Wolf, for the Prime. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just guessing what they're saying. I've been playing enough Animal Crossing to where I think I can feel my way out. Yo, but thank you so much. I appreciate that. Vic Wolf and Bridget Barbie. Thank you. I appreciate it. I've saved. Yeah, I know how to save. Is it cloudy day in your AC game? Oh, it's eight o'clock at night, so it's a little it's a little late outside. That might explain why. Nice cave. Men really be living like this and they don't see a problem. Glad to be here. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. What's up, Owls? How are you doing? What is that emote? Smoke balls. Interesting. Thanks for sharing. I had to finally swing by here. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think he's got his eyes closed. Like, I don't know. I think he's got his eyes closed. Wh who is that villager? Like, this is Cupcake. Who is that rat? Like, that rat never made it to any other game, right? That rat never made it to any other game. So we want to go three... Okay, I gotta be careful here. Um, I think I just chose to delete the island. Yeah, this is E+. Okay. Which one do I choose? Which one do I choose? Reset the emulator. Great idea, actually. Fantastic. There you go. Let's, uh... Emulation. Reset. There we go. There we go. Smart thinking. Smart thinking. Let's eliminate all doubt. Bottom one is yes, pick toss. That's what I thought it was. I just had to make sure. All right. Now, just kidding. We want to go other things. 
And then here. What's he yelling at me about? I might have to bring out the Google Translate phone app, yeah. What, what are they yelling at me about here? They're, they want me to like something about SD cards, right? Alright, second one? And then bottom this? Oh my god, just reset it again. Just, just, just start from zero. Just start from zero. Alright? Just, just do it again. There's too many options, and I can't read any of them. Oh, that's Chico. Okay. Cool. I'm back from getting stream snacks. Welcome back. I hope your snacks are good. All right. Um, might need to bring out... Yeah, there's new options in this game. Yeah, that's like a lot. I might need to crack open the uh, Google Translate phone app here. ridiculously stressful this is this is fine this is fine all right because what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into here and we're gonna find our translate app okay i'm gonna find translate here okay and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold our camera up okay and we're gonna and we're gonna hover it above here and we're gonna say okay she's she's saying well then would you like to get started and we're like, we want to go other things. Okay. And we'll go other things. And then she's going to say, all you can do, what's going on? Okay. And then in the bubbles, it says, start unevenness, restore the unevenness, take home, retighten the unevenness, SD card. After all, stop. <laughs> All right, back it up uh, one more, as I don't think... What's... To play Junbi. <laughs> uh, maybe this is what I want? I'm okay, what about now? Message and I'd like to say Match to the, the clock, yes, this is what time. I want. Okay, we got it, boys. We got it. Oh, mama mia. Alright, and now we want to go here, and then let's, let's just throw it all the way back to the top of the hour here. Let's go, boys. We figured it out. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. I'm Ra. Alright, boys. We figured it out. First try as well, yeah. Let's retighten that unevenness. Look, the app isn't 100%, okay? The app isn't 100%. I'd like to say the person who gave me a free sub. Oh, you want to thank the person who gave you a sub? Well, enjoy it, Ione. And thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, which one's from the museum? That one. Okay, beautiful. What is this? Who sent me something? What is this? I don't know, man. What is this? No idea. Got no goddamn clue, man. Got no goddamn clue. All right. And then... Give me the present. No, no, I want the present. I don't want the... There you go. I just want the present, man. And then open that. No, just open it, man. Don't be weird about it. Is this a loot bag? They gave me a loot bag? Oh, Pog! What'd we get? Which one did we get? Uh... KKD and B. That's my guess. Am I right? KKD and B. Lullaby? Shit! Alright, close enough. Close enough. Um, now, let's check if we have... Well, might as well check the money rock while we're at it. Okay, lucky me. Now let's check if we have a net available, or if we have anything other than just a shovel available now, hopefully. We don't, so we're probably gonna have to go another day in the future after sending out all these letters. Let's sell everything that we have, though, for right now. Yeah, dude, we get—we actually just got, like, a damn loot bag. We actually just got a damn loot bag. Pretty epic. 38-11. Okay, very good. Yeah, the shovel. Uh, so, 
Until you buy or sell a certain amount of items, you'll only get a shovel available. Something that I really wish they would have changed in this game. Um, but, oh well. At least they changed it for future versions of the game. What's up, Melanie? How are you doing? That stuff was from your ma? Thanks, mom. Wait, she actually just sent me, like, a KK jam? That's pretty awesome, though. I want to write a letter to the museum. You, you don't even need to add anything, man. Just, just, just send it. Just send it. Third option, send it. There we go. Third option, send it. All right. And then we're going to go grab this. We're going to go whoop. And we're going to go whoop. And then we're going to go uh, whoop. Very good. How long do you think this challenge is going to take? This is going to take a lot longer than the fish one, I feel. This one's going to take a lot longer with the fish one than the fish one. Is this Animal Crossing GameCube? It's Animal Forest E+, which is a Japanese-only release of Animal Crossing GameCube. It's kind of like an enhanced version of Animal Crossing GameCube. It added some exclusive features that aren't in any other Animal Crossing game. How many bugs are we getting in this game? I think this game has, like, 50? I don't know, though. It was a big P. Alright, let's see here. Can we... Can we finesse our way here we can all right let's go finesse the boys doing fossils or art after this one probably not considering art is a total bitch with not being able to tell reels from fakes um and then i don't know like fossils are not that interesting really like it's just it's just digging them up at least like fishing and bug hunting has a certain level of hunting to them you know so i don't know Pelican, yeah. Wait, is that her name? She isn't Phyllis in this game? I would like to save, man. Fossils and is RNG? I mean, I guess they're all RNG, but to a greater extent, you know? To a greater extent. It's a lot of bugs for the first game. Yeah, it is, because Eve Plus added some bugs that are not in the original GameCube. Hi, my name is Human. Hi, Human. Well, isn't that a coincidence? I'm also human. Ugh, it's a good stretch. It said Parime. I don't know whether that means Pelican or not. Yeah, beats me, man. Beats me. Alright, how did we do this? We wanted second option and then first option. Beautiful. Lovely. It's almost like he knows what he's doing. Wonderful. I was wondering why all the good villagers were cut and the bad ones got through. Truly a mystery, right? Truly a mystery. You should wake up Nook when his store is closed. You're right, I should. That's a good idea. I should do that. So you won't be playing the normal AC? No. Because, I mean, this... I mean, is this not basically just normal Animal Crossing? I mean, I don't see it as much different myself, at least. I don't know. Alright, yeah, give me my thing, give me my thing, give me my thing. Who's this? What kind of fucking... What kind of fucked up paper is this, man? What is this? What is this? It's looks like I'm shifting the Binding of Isaac, dude. What is this? Cast form paper. Yeah, it's like that damn Pokemon. It's from my mom? It's from your mom! Oh, don't urban diss me. Mafia? It might be from the Mafia, yeah. It could be, man. It could be. All right, let's go. It's a cute paper. It is kind of cute. A little threatening, a little bit. Teru Teru Bozu. Teru Teru Bozu? Little dolls, they're sort of good weather charms. Oh, is that what, like, cast form is based Hello, off Dagnall. of them? Because that looks, it does look a lot really like cast form from Pokemon. Every time just lurking smiley face. It kind of looks like a threat, Maybe yeah. <laughs> like, a little bit. A heart. little bit. Yeah, Champagne, who is now Fret, eventually got added. Alright, well, there you go. There's my net. All this bullshit, not so much necessary. However, I do need to build up money, so I guess it's kind of cool. Cool. We got a net. Let's go, boys. Oh, and the artwork. Like, I think Tom Nook selling artwork means that it would always be genuine, but still. Yeah, this is E plus for the GameCube. This is E plus for the GameCube. All right, now that we got a net, we can actually get around to catching our first bugs, um, which is a firefly, mosquito, crab, diving beetle, maybe, dung beetle, maybe, and a hermit crab. 
I have the diving beetle and dung beetle as maybes because we don't have to get them right now. We could get them later if we are so inclined to do so. But fireflies should just be hanging out by the river. Okay, good. Good job, man. First bug. Let's go, boys. Just a solid 40 minutes in. I mean, like, I could have done it faster, but, I mean, it's just a game that takes some finessing. It's, it's a game that takes some finessing. You can't get too upset that it's taken a while, you know? I mean, besides, the fact that we call it a speedrun is merely just for clicks, you know? We're not actually speedrunning nothing. Yo, Audrey Toothpaste and Cashcore, thank you both for the subscriptions. I appreciate that. Thank you. Fireflies make good money? How much are they worth? How much are they worth? Are they actually worth a lot? I mean, there's a lot of them. Are bugs easier to catch in this game than fish? Maybe, I don't know. Oh, that's 48 bugs this game, oh, okay. 250? Wait, that's not bad when you consider how many there are. Like, there is a lot hanging out by the river, man. Like, that's a lot. Stanley and I are eating tater tots? I thought I smelled potatoes. I thought I smelled potatoes, man. I mean, I guess I probably only just have to, like, walk by the crab to scare it. Hmm, interesting. Oh, yeah, dung beetles can spawn pushing around the balls. If you're wondering, like, why I'm trying to catch a dung beetle in the summer, it's because in this game they push around the balls, not the snowballs. They're not worth that much, but it, yeah, like, there is a lot of them. And 250, man, I mean, with how many there are, that's not bad. Oh, hi. There we go, number two. So that's a crab. That never appeared in any other game. I guess there's hermit crabs, but that crab specifically. That crab specifically never returned. I guess you just, like, walk by them and then they pop out of the shells. Interesting. At least they're not pushing around balls of dung like they do IRL. Yeah, it'd be kind of pog if they added poop to this game, though. The poop Animal Crossing mod, maybe? The golden spot? Yeah, it's only a thousand, though. But thank you again, though, Froggy Gwirl. Well, that's for the follow. Thank you. And then Cashcore and Audrey for the subscriptions. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, so... I mean, theoretically, like, could I spawn a dung beetle by, like, doing a little bit of... Doing a little bit of, like, camera... Doing a little camera manip, perhaps? Like, if I go, like, whoop. Well, oh, wait, I can! Wait, I didn't think that would work, because I, like, fucked it up. Bam. There you go. <laughs> I, like, didn't even, like, completely unload the ball, and I still got one to spawn. See, that's why I think the flea will not be bad in this game. Because you can just keep doing this, and every time... This is what Chubby Bub told me. Every time you unload a chunk... And, or every time you load a chunk, a new bug and fish spawn in the acre that you're loading. So if I theoretically scare away that fish, a new fish should be there. In this acre somewhere. Yeah, there he is. So that's... I don't know, man. If that's, like, actually how it works, then I think the flea will be okay. I think the flea will be okay. Anyway, we got Firefly. We need a mosquito. I'm surprised I haven't seen a mosquito. Uh, let's get away from the river and see if we can't get one to spawn by doing said trick. Foreshadowing? Like, if that ends up being foreshadowing, then, you know, that... Tough luck, I suppose. But I think it'll actually not be too bad. Poisonally. I don't think it'll be too bad. I mean, like... I think they, c they could get fleas now. Oh, also, another thing. Oh, wait... Were you saying Mona uses... You use Mona as a pillow? Or he's laying... He was laying on my pillow, the bastard. Knowing that it makes me sneeze. I just saw one. Yeah, I hear it. There you are. Boom. Four. Nice. I think that they can spawn fleas now. And another thing that Chubby Bub told me... Should the counter still be 93? Yes, there's 93 bugs. Yes, it should be 93. Another thing that you told me, Chubby Bub, is that only certain species of animals spawn fleas? Now, if that's true, then... Then, theoretically, does a bear cub spawn fleas? I feel like that's possible. And I feel like they could- they definitely spawn in July. Okay, well, I just got another mosquito. They become easy after you discover one and donate it to museum? Yeah, they become trivial after that. 
Okay, another mosquito. I mean, it is a 2% chance is what you told me, right? And they can spawn in July. I feel like they can spawn in July. I don't see why a bear wouldn't get fleas. That's kind of what I'm saying. Hello. Yeah, so me and Kristen on Tuesday, we went out. Cupcake is snooty, so she can't get one. All right. Yeah, that's right. Not only can certain species get fleas, certain personalities can't get fleas. Right. Forgot about that. Um, yeah, so on Tuesday, we went out to go bowling. And we were going to go out to eat after bowling. And there was someone doing karaoke at the place we wanted to go to. And I immediately just turned around and said, nope not doing that i don't think peppies can get them either so yeah we just kind of left we found somewhere else to eat after that i don't think hippos can get them also what's up bubbles how are you doing bangle would be your best option for the flea can peppies get them i don't think peppies can get them chow could work yeah i think chow could probably work it's only normals and snooties for personality okay well hey what's up man you got you got flea for me yeah, just keep, like, flicking the camera like this, and then, theoretically, every time you do a camera flick, a bug should spawn in this acre. But you want to be away from the water acres, because those are just going to spawn fireflies, more than likely. Yo, Miss Barbs. <laughs> Thank you for the two months. Thank you, I appreciate that. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, anyway, well, we don't have to worry about the flea now. I have the free, the flea scheduled for later anyway, so if we don't get it now, it's no big deal. Let's go for the hermit crab and the diving beetle. We want a hermit crab and a diving beetle still. My birthday twin, and I absolutely hate her for that. Why you hate Bubbles? She's okay. She's not great, but she's fine. She's all right. Flea just manifests itself out of nowhere. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Oh, sorry, dude. Like, geez, I just left him without a purpose in this life. Gee, like, dude, I I just, like, I just ruined his life. He just kind of sat there for a little bit after kicking his ball away, and he's like, well, fuck, what do I do now, man? And then he just flew away. He was just like, oh, shit, well, I'm fucked. Like, I just lost all purpose in life. I'm sorry, man. Like, I kind of feel bad now. He said, I eat. I'm gonna head out. I can't have fleas or any without any fur. Though an anteater can't get fleas either. Does an anteater have fur? That's a genuine question. I actually have no idea. I felt like they always, like, had, like, spines. Like a porcupine or something like that. That was so mean. That was pretty mean, man. Like, looking back on it, I don't think I'd ever feel bad for a dung beetle. But, like, I do. Use the shovel and bang on Nook's door. He isn't closed. I can't even do that right now. He ain't closed. He's still he's still open. It is fur? Oh, interesting. Okay. I mean, just to get it to despawn, I suppose. Bird types can get them. Interesting. So, basically, take any logic and throw it out the windy, because birds can get fleas in this game. Alright. Good to know. Good to know. I mean, could I theoretically theoretically just keep like doing this and then walking over to the shell to see if it spawns a hermit crab yo what's up kenny how are you doing how are you i'm doing all right bangle or chow is who to go for then yeah it seems like those are the likely options seems like those are the likely options which that's fair Hermit crabs are considered bugs by Animal Crossing logic? Yeah, crabs, coconut crabs, hermit crabs. They're all technically bugs. Not really, though. First stream I caught. How's everyone doing? Doing good. How are you doing, Sunday? How are you doing? I mean, I guess I should check the entire acre, not just that little area. Yeah, see, now there's a mosquito over here. And that technically counts as the acre. Yeah, I do need to catch the flea. But my speculation is that the flea should not be too tough. The flea, I don't think, will be too tough, to be honest with you. But that's just... That's just my thinking. 
That's just my thinking. I may be wrong, though. Switch sports. Skill in real-life bowling? No, because I can't curve the ball. I can't curve the ball in real bowling. Gulliver and Derwin are my birthday twins. Triplets, I guess. Yo, there you go. Side to conversation. Dagnall will place completely contextless in his YouTube video. I don't know. People were like, I love it when Dagnall just randomly, like, non-sequiturs a conversation in the video. And I'm like, you know what, man? Sounds good to me. I guess I'll keep doing that. I don't know who my birthday twin is. Yeah, I don't know. Pick up all the shells so you'll know when a crab spawns. See, I think the crab spawns inside of the shell, though. Like, you don't pick up... Like, I feel like a shell is on the ground. I don't know uh -huh, what I'm trying please. to say. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Yo, Celeste's Moon, thank you for the four months in a row. No, I will not finish E-plus in this stream. E-plus is going to take so long. I feel like of all the games, E-plus will take the longest... And I don't even think it'll be close, to be honest with you. I think E-plus is going to take forever. I think E-plus is going to take forever. Like, I don't know, I hear a fucking mosquito again. There we go. Leela and Nate. Oh, Leela, the fucking little, the little cap, the little captain's daughter, right? Yeah. The quickest? I don't know. I don't think, like... I don't think Wild World introduced too many things, although, now that I think about it, Wild World did introduce the Peacock Butterfly, I think, which will require me getting a black, purple, or blue flower, which is gonna be tough. That's gonna be tough. So, we'll see. Wild World might take a while, actually. What's E+, it's a Japanese exclusive version of Animal Crossing for the GameCube. And it adds, like, it's kind of like an enhanced version. Maybe that's what the E stands for. I don't know. I was finally able to make a stream. Welcome. I hope you enjoy your time here. Hope you enjoy your time here. Like, hermit crabs. I'm, I'm doing this right, right? Like, I'm doing everything right to get a hermit crab here, right? It stands for E-Reader. Oh, yeah, that probably makes more sense because it utilizes the E-Reader, which is the, those cards. They're kind of like amiibo cards before amiibo cards. Where you could scan in villagers. It was kind of cool. It was a little bit ahead of its time. But it was still kind of cool. Got lucky with my birthday villager, Carmen. Yo, Carmen's pretty good. I mean, I got lucky with mine, with Agent S. Then again, like, you know. It's hardly really lucky, you know. My first stream of yours that I watched. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I also need to look for a diving beetle, so I mean, like, let's go, like, up and down the, let's go up and down the river as well. Might as well. Although, I feel like maybe not, now is not the best time to get a diving beetle, considering how many spawning spaces are being taken up by fireflies. Ah, yes, E for the English word enhanced in a Japanese video game. Is this, is this supposed to be like a gotcha or like, you know, like, I, bro, I was just speculating. You don't gotta like, you know, you know bring excessive amount of logic into the situation. Stands for e-reader, which as far as I'm concerned is, you know, pretty English term. I don't know. I guess the real meaning is e-reader. Sounds pretty English to me. The e-reader villagers are not coded into the game, but are basically DLC, which allowed them to hold a magazine contest for a new villager. Nindori one? Who's Nindori? Who's Nindori? Yo, what's up, Squidge Cat? How are you doing? Or Squid Jacat? I don't know, either way. Yeah, Japanese games use English words all the time. Peacock butterflies are a new leaf, so there's no need to do flower breeding in New Horizons. Peacock butterflies are in Wild World, I thought. And... So, like, okay, so the tentative rule was that I want to do, I want to do, like, the, I want to do the bugs that, in the game that they debuted. So, I'm going to catch all the bugs in this game. Um, because, so, like, that's all 48 in this game. Because, like, my, my rule with the fishing challenge was that if a fish debuted in a certain game, that's the game that I want to catch it in. So, that's going to be my rule for this one. So, the Peacock Butterfly having debuted in Wild World means that I'm going to try to catch it in Wild World. Is the plan, at least. 
playing Animal Crossing for the first time tomorrow. Yo, I hope you enjoy it. Catching the New Horizons bugs in the order that they appear in the Critterpedia. And, like, I can't break that order. I don't know. It's a little kind of samey as to what I'm trying to do here. But, uh... Now, if you want to make it really interesting, the fish, where I don't know what a fish is going to be before I catch it. Well, that would be really tough. That would be really, really tough to do for fish. Because, I don't know, bugs would be easy enough because you know what you're going to catch before you catch it. Ooh, but with fish, though, that would be really difficult. Because, of course, like, assuming if you get it out of order, you have to start, you have to restart the challenge entirely. Oh, that would be really tough with fish. With bugs, you know, simple enough, I suppose, but I don't know. I didn't even realize I could run with left trigger. Look at me. Look at me running with left trigger. They literally made fish harder to catch in this game. The catch window is smaller. Like an E+, plus compared to Animal Crossing. Is it rare for bugs to spawn in this game? Apparently the bugs that I need... Apparently the bugs that I need, which is the diving beetle and the hermit crab. Interesting. An E-plus fishing is harder. Well, good thing I didn't do it in this game, then. Good thing I didn't do it in this game. Ugh. I gotta go. It was fun. Good luck with the rest of your run. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed your time here. Frida, the hot dog sheep, is it, is my birthday twin? What you know, that's not, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Frida's awesome. We got a problem with that? That's Paul, dude. I have a lot of flowers now. I just logged into New Horizons after a while. My flowers have gone crazy. Yo, it'll do that. They will do that. Yeah, NPCs can get fleas in this game. This is gonna be, this is gonna try to get the flea in this game. I'm gonna try to get the flea in this game. That's the goal, at least. Like, I don't know. Am I, I've never caught a hermit crab or a diving beetle in this game. Am I doing this right? Am I doing this right? Like, I assume hermit crabs spawn the same way that regular crabs do. So, I don't know. I don't know. Chatter, the mouse made of cheese. Alright, now that's just unfortunate. That's just unfortunate. Rolled, he looks funny. Rolled's a good guy. I'm gonna laugh and say that I got the flea early. I'm happy for you, man. There's nothing to laugh about. If you let a flower spread for a whole year. That's a great question, dude. That is a great question. That would, golly, that would make for a great video, I'm sure. Only by a handsome, smart, intelligent Animal Crossing YouTuber, though. I just forgot how to pick up things. Pick up things. I don't have a birthday, buddy. My birthday is April Fool's Day. It, correct me if I'm wrong, I think they made it so that Cephalopod's birthday is on April 1st. I think you might, I think you might, or Cephalobot, sorry. I think you might actually have a birthday twin now, man. I, th I think, unless I'm wrong, I think they made Cephalopod, Cephalobot's birthday April 1st. But correct me about that if I'm wrong. Correct me about that if I'm wrong. I might be. I might be. Yeah, it's April 1st now. There you go. Now you got a twinny. Sounds like you got a twinny now. Okay, like, unloading the chunk, reloading the chunk. I just looked it up, so ye- Oh, hell yeah, dude, there you go. There you go. Oh, yeah! All the days I did that didn't have a birthday have a birthday now, I think? No, I don't think all of them got birthdays. I think most of them do. I think there's only, like, a handful of days in the year that does not have a regular villager with a birthday. But... I think most of them definitely do now. Most of them definitely do. Yo, what's up, Silver Malware? How are you doing? I know Halloween got a birthday. Yeah, Halloween got a birthday, but I'm pretty sure... Oh, there's a mosquito over the ocean. Pretty sure, like, um, Christmas Eve still doesn't have a birthday. I mean, Jingle, but... Like, I don't know, it doesn't really count. Because it's not really an NPC, like a villager. So, I don't know. Have Rosie as their birthday twin? I have no idea. When's Rosie's birthday? I have no idea. Rodney? Never heard of him before. Rodney is not very well liked amongst the Animal Crossing community. 
But you know, that doesn't mean you don't have to like them. My birthday twins Gaston crying emoji. Why are you crying emoji? Gaston's the man. That's the man. Wait, Chadwick is now Christmas Eve. Interesting. What about April 15th? I think there was no April 15th birthdays. Are there any April 15ths now? Hey, what's up, Raven? How are you doing? Favorite villager isn't hated, just forgotten. Who is it? I, I might hate him. You never know. Shino is Halloween now? Wait, Shino is Halloween. Okay. No April 15th. I'm on the wiki right now. Yeah, I remember April 15th. Weirdly enough, it was just a day where, like, nobody had a birthday. Like, a lot of the days that villagers don't have birthdays are, like, real-life days. Like, you know, obviously, Christmas, April Fool's Day, Halloween. But April 15th, just some random-ass day that nobody was born in Animal Crossing, apparently. Is Grams from New Leaf? Well, again, like, actual villagers, you know? Not special NPCs. Because it's tax day? Is that really the logic to it? Hey, I'll take this. What is this? What is this? I mean, I it counts. I'll take it. What is this? A Dorcas Tenatus? A villain? What is this? It says, I caught Dorcas Tenatus. Dorcas Tenatus. What is this? I caught a Dorcas. I caught a... It, it keeps changing it. It keeps changing it. It means you're a dork? Shit! Dorcas what is this bug? Titanus. Is you? No! It's a mountain stag? Okay. I, I just... I, I wish my translate app would... The katakana says Hirata Kuwagata. Yeah, I don't know what that is, though. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Just learn Japanese, maybe. It's the stag beetle, no suffix. Okay, so it's just a regular stag beetle. Well, in that case, then, that's not bad. That's five, right? That's five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, perfect. Lovely, wonderful. Wonderful. Now, I still need a hermit crab. Is the beetle family Lucinidae? I, I wasn't, I wasn't looking for a biology lesson, lesson, but cool. I guess we learned something today. Dorcas Tidinus is now is my fave now. <laughs> Friendship ended with the mountain stag. Now Dorcas Tidinus is my best friend. I guess it gives me the scientific name. Yeah, like that's weird. Like I don't know. I guess. Dorcas is my birthday twin. There you go. I thought it was the flat stag beetle. I mean, I would like confirmation. Like, if I go over here, what does it say? Like, okay, what what is it? What does it call that in the in the translate app here? What does it call that? No, 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 man. Just just give me this. No, it says Dorcas. T Tidinus again. That's the giant stag? Wait, that's pretty rare. It's the flat stag beetle pre-Wild World. It's the flat stag. It's this one. Okay, so that's the stag beetle from Wild World. And in this game, it's the flat stag beetle. Okay. Well, that's much easier. All right, all right, all right. If it was the giant stag, I would have been pogging, dude. That thing's pretty expensive. And that's just a cockroach. How you gonna catch a fucking flat stag beetle gonna miss the cockroach? How you gonna do that, man? How does how does a human being do that? Jeez Louise. Is also named the Hirata Kuwagata. So that's good. Yeah, I'll be sure to remember that when it comes around time to catch that. I'll be sure to remember that. Is also the fave because my mom is from Miko. Nikoakin? I have no idea where that is. But hey, there you go. Is that like where they come from? 
The Hermit Crab does spawn a new shell, not an existing one. Oh, so it does spawn a new shell, not an existing one. Well, if that's the case, then... Thank you for looking that up, first of all. Second of all, let's go ahead and pick up all of these. Let's go ahead and pick all of these up. And make it so that if we see a new shell, we'll know that it's a hermit crab. It also spawns more during rain. Well, if that's the case, then I have to specifically look for a rainy day at a later point in the run. So maybe I should just wait for it then. Gotta start doing Duolingo again? Yeah, that's pretty true. I still need, though, if I'm gonna skip the, the hermit crab for right now, I still do need a diving beetle. I still do need a diving beetle. I guess let's keep looking up and down the rivers. Which is kind of inconvenient because the fireflies spawn in the river. So maybe I should look for the diving beetle at a different time, too. Yeah, I guess I could do that. Alright, let's just sell everything that we have so far. I mean, we still made a lot of good progress for this split. Even getting a couple of bugs that I didn't necessarily need right now. You know what I should do as well is buy those flowers. No, don't sell that. Buy those flowers and, um plant those down because there's no flowers that spawn naturally you have to plant any flowers on the ground that was a giant stag beetle no that wasn't a giant stag beetle that would have that would have sold for so much more if it did sell that beetle individually to see the price well the price was not very much so i know it wasn't a giant stag that had to i think you were right about it being a flat stag i think you were right about it i wouldn't be second guessing yourself I wouldn't be second-guessing yourself. Um, I don't think there's, like, necessarily a great place. I, You know where I should plant the flowers is right on, like, an acre border so that when it comes time to catch flower bugs, I can just keep, like, refreshing the acre. I think that would be pretty smart. That's a little, like, out-of-the-box thinking right there. Yeah, that's how you plant them. Oh my god, I'm a mess. There we go. Yeah, so like now if I need to spawn a flower bug. Wait, I thought I was near a border. Am I dumb? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, if I need to spawn a flower beat or a flower bug now, I can just keep refreshing it here like this. Pretty big brain maneuver, to be quite honest. It says the first paragraph of its entry that it's a giant stag and flat stag prior to Wild World. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're looking at a fish. I thought you were looking at a water bug. Can I be blunt for a second? Sure, man. Can you catch fish out of season on Nook Islands in AC&H? Uh, you can on Captain Island, depending on what season they're associated with. Alright, I think I'm going to move on here and try to get the diving beetle and the... And the Hermit Crab at a later date. Probably during the July split would be good. Because I think they can both still spawn in July. And we're going to be looking for a rainy day in July. Which might help the spawns of both of those. Being both water-based bugs. That was 100% a flat stag. Yeah, I think so. I think so. So now we're going to want to move on to January 4th, 2022. At 12 p.m. noon to get a pill bug, a mole cricket, a bagworm, and a bee. That's going to be tough. I don't know how to catch a bee in this game. I don't know if I've ever done it before. I don't know if I've ever caught a bee in this game. But we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. Nookopedia. Okay, if people are using the fandom wiki... If people are using the fandom wiki, then... I would recommend using Nookopedia. It's backed... I feel like it's just backed by better data. But I don't know. I, I always use... I always prefer Wik or, uh, Nookopedia myself. Red's tent theme in this game is a fucking banger, despite being a different major than Nook's Cranny in this game. Oh, it is! It absolutely is. Skip the bee in this one and catch it in New Leaf to make it more easier? No, because I'm going to try to follow a rule where if a bug debuted in a certain game, I'm going to try to catch it in that game. That's going to be my, like, uh... That's what I'm going to try to do. So, we want to go to... Yeah, so we want to go one... I mean, it says January 4th, and then at 12th. 
Yeah, like, that's the tentative rule. Just to, like, incentivize me to try out all the different games, you know? Just to try to try out all the different games. Yeah, I'm raw. So just like the fish challenge. Yeah, so just like the fish challenge, exactly. And welcome, Rachel Reen. How are you doing? I love your videos. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. It do be kind of snowing, though. So, Pillbug, Mole Cricket, Bagworm, and Bee. So, we're going to have to shake some trees for both the Bee and the Bagworm as well. All right. And keep your ears open for a Mole Cricket as well. I just got the golden watering can in AC and H or a New Horizons. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Happy for you. You can't. Okay, you can't. Really annoying. You can't shake trees. I mean, this wasn't a thing I think until New Leaf. You can't shake trees with your net out. So yeah, this should be fun. What's my boy borking about over there? What's my boy borking about? But the game luckily does seem to pause whenever you go into your inventory. The game pauses when you go into your inventory, so I think, theoretically, the way I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shake a tree, run away, go into my inventory, grab the net, turn towards the bees, and try to catch them. I think it should be pretty easy if I do that, but I guess only time will tell. Alright, so we got a pill bug. Mole cricket, bagworm, and bee. Let's try to get the mole cricket. Let's try to keep our ears out for a mole cricket. Ooh, all right. This is so cool. The campers in the winter time, and they did this in New Leaf as well, but the campers in winter time use an igloo instead of a tent. Look at it. Wait a minute. You live here. Why are you camping? You live here. This is your job. This is... Can they camp when they live here? Or did she move out and now is camping? I don't understand. Yo, what's up, Karen? How are you doing? In this game, it's one of your villagers in the igloo. Girl, you live here! What you got in the igloo? You got a perfectly good house. Interesting. That's kind of, kind of cool, though. That, that chowder looks pretty yummy. That chowder looks pretty good. Anyway, there you go. That was pretty good. Yeah, it was pretty funny. I don't know. Like, I, I guess, like, they can just... What? No. I don't know what you're asking me to do. He probably wants to play a game or something like that. Yeah, soup looks pretty good, man. Looks pretty good. All right, back to... Uh, what was I doing? Uh, mole cricket. Keep your ears out for a mole cricket. The bear is named Crispy. Yeah, the English name is Cupcake, but I guess she's called Crispy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't see the logic myself. Yo, what's up, Mitsuki Desu? How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Why not? I don't really think like, like a cupcake is very crispy, you know? That's mostly what I, that's mostly my logic to it. When I think cupcakes, I think like, you know, you want them to be soft, moist. A lot of people don't like that word, and I don't really understand why. You want them to be soft and moist, not really crunchy. You've got a crunchy cupcake, you've probably gone a little stale. I don't know, that's just my logic to it. Soggy? I don't know about soggy, that implies like it's drenched. I want it moist, but not drenched. Like, there is a difference. Flea? No. God, I could go for a cupcake? So true, bestie. I could as well. She's called Barbell in German? Interesting, okay. So is the Barbel Steed called a Crispy Steed? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I want cheesecake. Yo, HelloFresh sent me... Not not to shill. HelloFresh sent me a uh, an old cheesecake in my in my box one day. That thing was pretty good. A little nice little cheesecake in there, man. It was pretty good. But not, not a shill, by the way. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. Unsponsored here. Another Top Gun ad? Yo, I'm sorry, man. I wish I could stop the corporate, you know, mind-boggling that's trying to happen. But unfortunately, I can't. Are we at six bugs? I feel like we're at seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, it's true. It's true. Alright, we want a bagworm and a bee. 
Is it like every other game where a bee only gets like... You, you only get like five bees a day? Is that how it works in this game as well? Yeah, so in this game, Lord or Baker, there's the coconut crab, which is only in Animal Forest E+, which is why I'm playing this version of the game. And I'm like, I might as well get all the fish that were in Animal Crossing GameCube at Animal Forest E+, while I'm here as well. So yeah, that's why I'm playing this game. Specific B logic, but I don't remember. Interesting, okay. I mean, I'm just gonna... I guess I'm just gonna shake trees. That's about the only thing I can do, really. Eating Doritos with guacamole. I mean, the Doritos are... I, I feel like Doritos aren't like a dipping chip. Those aren't like a dipping chip. Like, I have never dipped my Doritos in something. I feel like they're perfectly like... It, it's one thing to like have a, a corn chip that's unflavored. But Doritos, they're specifically flavored. To where you don't really need to dip them. That sounds good. I'm not a guacamole guy, but even still, like, even if I did like guacamole, I don't know if I would dip my Doritos in them. They have a dipping built in. Yeah, it's called the flavor. Oh, hello. Throne. All right. I'm <laughs> just looking at that like, yeah, okay. I, I don't know how to read that. What the fuck? Wait. What, 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 what was that that just fell out? Oh, it was an apple. I just shook a damn fruit tree. Sorry, I'm stupid. I just got scared. I don't know why. Like, I didn't see it as a fruit tree. I did not see any fruit on that tree. I got scared. And now I can't find the last apple. Oh, well. We'll figure it out. Dunking sour cream and onion chips in sour cream is a right? That's too much sour. Like, I, I like sour cream, but, like, my goodness. One or the other would be fine. They will scar you for life? I don't know, man. I'm kind of a gamer. I don't know if they're gonna... I. I'm kind of a gamer, man. I don't think that a bee will be too bad. I don't think a bee will be too bad. I'm I'm kind of a gamer. I think you I think you underestimate my abilities. By bees in the older game sounds like a wood chipper. Is it that bad? Well, we won't hear it because I'm not gonna get stung because I've never been stung by bees. I've never been stung by bees. I got perfect track records with bees, so we'll be fine. Trust me. We'll be fine. I mean, I kind of think you are a gamer. It's not even like a think, it's a foregone conclusion. I'm a gamer, man. I'm a gamer. I ain't gonna get stung by bees. Now, I actually, you know, the, the real tricky part is actually just finding them. And also a bagworm as well. I got stung by wasps so many times, man. Well, that's because you're a gamer in training, okay? You gotta, you know, gotta build up the ability. I got my last exam tomorrow, so I gotta go to bed. See you guys. Yo, good luck on your last exam. Good luck on your last exam. Hopefully it goes well. Have a good night. Have a good night. Uh, Fleabag? Nope. Unfortunate. Fleabag? Unfortunate. Gamer Dagnal with his Among Us mailbox? Don't point out the Among Us mailbox, man. I don't like it. As in Machamp? Machamp. Oh, like Machowkin. Machowkin? I, I don't. I still don't know if I got it right. But you know, I'm out here trying. I'm out here trying. Diagonal? Why? Why what, man? Chow and Bangle are together. Isn't this perfect flea opportunity? Yeah, maybe. But I mean. Do they spawn during this time? I think they I think they're all year in these earlier games, so I mean maybe, but I'm not really too focused on the flea right now. I'm not really too focused on the flea right now. But I suppose it would be a pretty good chance to get it. Okay, here we go, here we go. Gamer gamer hours have begun. That was bullshit! That's bullshit! That's bullshit! Bullshit! I caught that. I caught that. No, oh, dude. I uh, reviewed the footage, man. I caught that. That I, I caught. I swung right through the damn pile of bees. 
No, I swung right. You can't even, like, goof on me about that, man. Like, anyone with, like, two eyes can tell me that I swung right through that damn, like, whole-ass pile of bees. I swung right through them. And I didn't... It said no. As horseshit. The game's keeping me down. No, no, no. I, I, I refuse to accept this as reality. Stop the count. I refuse. So they won't get stung? I won't- I didn't get stung, man. That was bullshit. I got robbed. It's a fraudulent- it was a fraudulent sting. It was a fraudulent sting. I didn't get stung. Some of those trees are so close. Yeah, they can like be diagonally against each other. It's kind of strange. I kind of hate it. This game takes no prisoners, only casualties? Nah, man. I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. Like, that was, I mean, it was really fast, but I feel like my react, I reacted fine to it. I feel like I reacted just fine to it. I'm in a car driving on a trip, so how are you? Well, I hope you're not driving and watching stream. I feel like you should be focused on driving, but I hope you're doing well. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. And what's up, Wolfie? How are you doing as well? How are you doing? Well, all I'm saying, man, is like, if you pause that clip at the right moment... You'll see that my net went right through that whole swarm of bees. The hitbox and the character's positioning have to be just so. Oh, boy. This is fucking horse shit. Okay. Try number two. They're already coming at me. Yo, oh, let's go! Let's fucking go! Alright, that wasn't too bad, man. That wasn't too bad. Not bad at all. Clapping hands, light skin tone. All right. Clapping hands, light that should be worth tone. at least Clapping like five hands, million bells, tone. I think. All right. Good job. We got the bee. Still didn't get the bagworm out of all that shaking. No bagworm. So now we're going to have to um, keep shaking. We have to keep shaking. Yo, Sapphire. God damn. So much time. Thanks, Dag. Thank you for the 26 months. That is a long ass time. That is a long-ass time. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. Thank you, thank you. And enjoy your emotes. And enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate it. Thank you. That is a very long time indeed. I hope you enjoyed it. Is that one cur Curve Bowling King back at it again being a true gamer? I mean, what can I say, man? Like, I gotta, I gotta use these God-given skills. Gotta use these God-given skills. Blathers in shambles right now. My man's, I mean, luckily I'm not giving any bugs to him. He should be thankful, if anything. For the giant petal tail in CF? Yeah, there's gonna be some, like, this isn't gonna be the only game that's tough. City Folk, I mean, Wild World introduced the peacock butterfly, which requires hybrid breeding, which I don't really remember how hybrid breeding is in that game, because I don't think I ever did it as a kid. So... Probably getting a peacock butterfly in Wild World will be a pain in the ass. Giant petal tail in City Folk will be a pain in the ass. What does New Leaf introduce? I feel like once you get past those games, it might not be too bad. But... Yeah. After that... I feel like you're alright. You missed a dropped bell pouch? Oh no. But like, the trees are so damn close together that it's so hard to tell. Like... Like... Oh, jeez. I mean, I'll probably find it, like, freaking five years from now. Oh, I got it. Never mind. Yeah, they're, like, so close together that, like, I can't even tell. Giraffe stag will be annoying. I don't know. Like, you get an island nicely trimmed up to spawn one, and I don't think it'll take too, too long. The cicada shell. Well, no, the cicada shell was in New Leaf, and it was really common in New Leaf, I remember. I think it was in New Leaf, and I remember it being, like, super common. So, actually, the cicada shell, I don't think, will be too bad. Woo, two years. Last month, I went out with my friend, and she had Honky Tonk the Donkey Donk on her playlist. Perfect taste. I'm taking a summer class, and I want to home. I have no friends here. Sad. How'd she even get them goddamn britches on? Thank you, Carolyn, for the 24 months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing. I appreciate that as well. And Froggy Gorl. Thanks for the Prime. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing as well. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. And thank you again, Carolyn, as well. That's amazing. Thank you very much. Um, like, a bagworm is not this rare. It's not this rare. It's not special. It's, it's <laughs> a bagworm. Does eating fruit do anything? Nah, it's just for fun. I, I just needed inventory space. Like, a bagworm is not, like... Uh, it's getting a little ridiculous, don't you think? For, like, a bagworm? The 30k bell bags are fat? Yeah, these are, like, little skinny. These are, like, little skinny bags. Thanking subs reminds me of evil Gardic Phone Dag last night on the Discord. Oh, yeah, y'all were playing Gardic Phone in my Discord last night. How was that? Bagworm is 2%? So, theoretically, every tree I shake has a 2% chance of having a bagworm? I don't know, like... I don't know, it's kind of a confusing... It's kind of confusing to say it's like 2%, because it's like, okay, 2% of every tree that I shake, or 2% every time I load into an acre, or 2%... I don't know, it's kind of weird. Okay, well, I mean, I would like more bells, so I will try. Okay, that was just Per acre spawn. If a bug spawns in an acre, it's a 2% chance it'll be a bagworm. Okay, okay. I really wish I could shake the fucking... I really wish I could shake it with the fucking net out, but either way, it would just make the game, like, you know, way too easy. Okay, so, theoretically, if I just keep flicking between acres, then... I mean, being wintertime, not many things should spawn, so, like, if I just keep, like... I don't know, like, if I just keep, like, flicking in and out of an acre, and then just keep checking that acre, like, all the trees in that acre, or, like, okay, cut down every tree in an acre, leave only one tree, and then just keep flicking between acres, checking that one tree? I don't know. Let's see if we have an axe available. We do not. Alright, well, I need to get more flowers anyway, and also sell all this shit. Barley in shambles? Oh, yeah, barley. Hmm. Gotta go. Have a wonderful stream. Yo, you have a wonderful rest of your day, and thank you again for the subscription. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. The man's gonna die. He got stung twice in the same day. Oh, he's okay. He's okay. Look, I'll even buy some medicine. 1200? Forget it. Never mind. 1200 for some damn medicine? Good God. Now I know why they say healthcare is fucked up in this country. My god. Christ. There you go. Hey, we can make some pink tulips. Does fruit not stack in this game? No, you couldn't make fruit stack until New Leaf. Badly. Which was a very welcome change. A very welcome change. Alright, well with no axe, um... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um... With no axe... Hmm. Yeah, Nook Care took a leaf out of the U.S. Yeah, so true. This game does not have good health care. There are no benefits for my part-time employment at Tom Nook. He gets me to work 38 hours a week so that he doesn't have to give me full-time benefits. I didn't see the start. Is this E+. Plus? Yes, this is E+. Plus. This is E+. Plus. 1200 for medicine? I thought this was Japan, not the States. I don't know, man. I mean, I guess, like, it's technically... 1200 would mean that if we're assuming that bells in this game are equivalent to Japanese yen, would that be, like... What would that be? Like, 12 bucks for some medicine? I mean, that's still a lot, man. That's still a lot. Considering, like, it's probably, like, what? Ibuprofen? That's, that's still a lot, man. Or would that be a buck twenty? Am I stupid? No, that'd be a buck twenty. Well, that's not bad then. I mean, it's still a racket, man. Like twelve hundred compared to previous games. That's a lot. Or later games. Twenty-five bucks for a good-looking sofa. Hey, man, I'd like that. That'd be pretty good. That'd be pretty good. I mean, there's only four trees in this acre. 
<clears throat> I don't know. There's only four trees in this acre. Could I, like... Oh, well, no. I think there's just more, maybe. Where in the world did lucking come from? Did lucking for good lucky looking so far. Oh, I think I knew what you meant, though. I think I knew what you meant. I have good lucking on this challenge. Not, s well, I don't know. My lucking so far has been okay. My lucking so far has been okay, at least until this damn bag worm. $12 would be 1200 bells. So $12 for some like ibuprofen, man. That's quite a lot. And it's only like one use, right? That's that's like that's kind of like hospital rates, man. Where like you go to the hospital, they give you a cough drop, and they put it on your bill for like fifty dollars for a Hall's cough drop. It's kind of like hospital prices right there. Sounds cheap for where I live. Yeah, I'm sorry. Hey, what's up, Drew Lawrence? How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. I have popcorn, so I'm good. Hell yeah, dude. Sounds like you're doing all right. Yeah, I would really like an axe. An axe. I mean, I guess. It did say you don't need a bagworm on this split. But I don't know, man. I don't know. Bagworm said, I I'm a head out. I mean it I, I guess, like I didn't think it would be that rare. What are the bugs do you have to catch? I just came in. Right now, all I need to worry about is the bagworm. Shit. All I need to worry about is the bagworm right now. And then we can move on to July 4th, where I have, like, a shit ton of things that I need to catch. I guess I could get a bagworm then, but I'd really rather get it in winter, where not many bugs spawn. I wish there was a way of seeing it without having to shake the tree. Villagers will look at a tree that has a bagworm in it. Uh, well, what did I do wrong there, Einstein? What did I do wrong that time? That looked pretty good. Villagers will, like, look at trees if they have a bagworm in them, so that's one way of telling, but I feel like that's... I feel like that's more uncommon to see than an actual bagworm would be, so I guess there is kind of a tell. There is kind of a tell. Does it make a noise when it drops? I didn't hear anything. Um, but speaking of noise... Speaking of noise, I haven't heard a mole cricket yet. I haven't heard a mole cricket yet. Now that that that's just that just reminded me. I also need a mole cricket, and I haven't even heard one. I haven't heard a mole cricket yet. Unless I just oh, okay. I I hear that's really quiet. That's really quiet, dude. Like, I have to turn my volume way up to hear that. I don't know why. Okay, now it's to the right. I'm gonna dig it up. It's gonna go into the ocean, man. There you are. Okay. <laughs> dude, like, I swear to God, like, the timing for those last two bugs have been perfect, but... Maybe I have been hearing them, but they were like, I don't know. Maybe I'm too used to them being like obnoxiously loud in future games. But man, I could not hear that thing. I could not hear that thing at all. All right. There you go. We got a mole cricket. We got the bagworm. Why are you filling in the holes, man? You're just going to save and quit and they'll be gone. Why is it in Japanese? Because this is Animal Forest E+, which has some bugs that are only exclusive to this version of the game. So that's why we need to play this version here. At least they aren't annoying. I mean, I think I'd rather have them be quiet and hard to find than have them be, you know, the alternative form. Like they are in newer games. So I guess maybe I should be thankful. But when I'm looking for one specifically, I wouldn't have minded it being just a little bit louder. Because now I'm like, oh, I probably did hear some and I just didn't like register it because I didn't they're not as loud and obnoxious as they are in future games. Thank the Lord, it only took a few holes. I mean, if your, like, auditory hearing is pretty good, like, your spatial hearing is pretty good, you can probably find them pretty quickly. Alright, so now we're moving on to July 4th, 2021. And we have a whole list of things that we need during this time. The common butterfly, the yellow butterfly, the tiger butterfly, the purple butterfly, 
The brown cicada, the robust cicada, the walker cicada, the common dragonfly, the pond skater, the bee. I already got the bee. The darner dragonfly, the banded dragonfly, the ladybug, and then the spotted ladybug. It's two different kinds of ladybugs. The cockroach, the drone beetle, the longhorn beetle, the jewel beetle, the spider, and the flea. And the flea. And if we find a rainy day, then we'll get the snail. That's the plan. That's a lot of cicadas. It's all but the evening cicada. It's all but the evening cicada. What is this? Who's fucking junk mailing me? How dare you? I don't know who that is. Flea is super simple in this game. Yeah, it's like unload, reload an acre, and then find a villager that can actually qualify for spawning one. And then I think it's actually going to be pretty easy. Yeah, there's roaches. I actually saw one earlier and I missed it, so... That doesn't bode well for a lot of the more rare bugs that spawn on trees in this game. Yeah, the flea, I think... I mean, I don't want to jinx it, but I think the flea will be okay. I think the flea will not be too bad. Ugh. Ugh. Alright, good stretch. How far are we? Hour and a half in? It's not bad. Yeah, only certain animal types can get fleas. Um, and then only certain personalities can get fleas in this game as well. As opposed to future games where, like, fucking everyone could get fleas. So we want to go 2021, 7, 4 at noon. So let's just put it back to the top of the hour. And then we're probably going to want to buy another thing of flowers from Tom Nook. Just to have as many spawning spaces as possible for a lot of the butterflies that we need to catch. And... Really, the big thing from this split is going to be the Banded Dragonfly. The Banded Dragonfly is fucking quick as fuck in this game. So, that'll be fun. That will be fun. I think that's going to be the toughest one of all of them. Myself. That's just my speculation, though. The Brown Cicada, however... Not so much. And I was not nervous about missing it there. I totally had confidence the entire time. Absolutely. And then, bloop. There we go. Insomnia, Allergies, and Animal Crossing. <laughs> Sounds like a good book title, man. Looks like it's a good night to... It looks like a good night to me. Oh, hey, I appreciate that. Minus the insomnia part, that does sound pretty awesome. Drone beetle. Yeah. Minus the insomnia part, that does sound pretty good. You know, I don't, I don't really want, you know... Maybe, I mean, I can maybe help with your insomnia, but... Oh, I should probably buy that axe. I can maybe help, but, you know, this doesn't sound so nice. All the confidence. Yeah, totally confident. Alright, so this axe, I think it'll help if I'm struggling to get, like, a bug later on. I can cut down, like, all but one tree in an acre, and then try to use that to spawn something that I really need. Like, maybe if I'm looking for the flea and I'm having, like, a really hard time, I can find an acre where a flea... where a flea candidate is, cut down all the trees, have no flowers, basically make it so that nothing but the flea and ground-based bugs can spawn. And then maybe, like, I don't know, maybe that'll work. Blink, there we go. Alright, so... A lot of butterflies are in this split, so that's where we're gonna keep refreshing between these acres where the flowers are. And I'm not going to say every time we flick the camera, there should be a new thing that spawns. Holy shit, that's a banded dragonfly and it's gone. And it's gone. <laughs> and it's gone already. What the fuck, dude? That was like... Mm. <laughs> he's just waltzed right by me. And as soon as I flick over the camera, he's just gone. Oh my god. Alright. Well, that's probably going to be the best chance I get for one of those for a while. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's a diving beetle. <laughs> I need that. Get over here, please. Please get over here. Can I catch you? Okay, yeah, yeah. You work the same as you do now. I mean, dude, we're getting bugs pretty quick here, man. But, like, that's going to pain me if I don't get another banded dragonfly pretty quickly. That's gonna be painful, man. Hey, a jewel beetle. Dude, wait, I mean, like... We're kind of gaming. Like, I feel like we've doubled the amount of bugs that we've gotten in the last, like, minute. 
versus ooh, a common dragonfly versus like the first like hour that we played this game dude i can't even catch a damn common one man i don't think expect me to get a freaking banded dragonfly i can't even catch the damn common dragonfly get over here please i'm dying man i'm dying all right i feel like we're In all of this bug catching, I feel like we might have lost count here. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. No, we're right. We're all good. The bugs are coming too fast, too furious. I was afraid I lost count there. All right. Well, um, still need a few booter flies, specifically the common, the yellow, the purple. So until we get those, I guess let's just keep doing this. Sorry if this gives you, like, a headache. <laughs> I don't know, like, the, the, uh, I mean, wait. Those are pretty expensive. I might as well just keep catching them. And I mean, shit, like, while we're at it here, let's, um, let's cut down every tree in the acre so that only things that, uh, only things that, only, the, the only thing that can spawn bugs in this acre are the flowers. Might as well, right? deforestation yeah dagnall on deforestation.com okay this is not a you know we at, we at dagnall incorporated yada 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 we do not believe in uh deforest please only keep these practices in the virtual world yada 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 okay like look wait is there any i mean there is still more things on trees that i need so let's not go too crazy here let's just keep that let's keep that one tree in there nothing spawns on tree stumps right so we're good to keep those around right we're good to keep those around. Okay, we already got a tiger, but that's fine. And I mean, we're we're so close to the store, we might as well just like sell everything when we get an inventory full of it. Because in case you don't remember, in order to get the animal island in this game, which is what we're gonna need, we're gonna need to pay off all of our debts. So I mean, building up some capital will be good here. Yeah, there you go, DagnallonDeforestation.com. Still, I got that domain for a year, so I might as well get my mileage out of it. And it links me to the USA Environmental Protection Agency. Working as intended. Working as intended. Animal Island is... It's kind of like the island in New Horizons. Except, uh... In the original Animal Crossing, you needed the GBA link to get it. Now, in this game, you can unlock it by simply... Uh, paying off all your debts, and then you can essentially buy the Animal Island, so... That's what we're going to try to get, because there is some things that... There's some bugs that we're going to need to unlock the island to access. Man, yeah, this is trivial, man. Just keep flicking back and forth between the fucking acres. Like, man, this is... This makes bug catching so easy. Like, that being said, I'm still struggling to get some of the things that I need, but, like, man. This is simple. Biggest flex in AC and H is getting a flea on the third day and watching you struggle with them. Every challenge fills my satanic soul with joy, and I hope it's the same this time. <sighs> it's good to have fans on my side. Good to have some fans on my side. Fish? I mean, you don't need to scare away the fish. I was trying to get the bug. I was trying to get the diving beetle. I mean, it also does do this for fish as well, but I find that it doesn't... It's not as handy about fish because you don't know what fish you're going to catch before you catch it. So it's not as handy with fish. That happened to me in the world record? That happened to you in the world record where you got to flee right away? You just got to believe? Yeah, you just got to believe. Yeah, I believe. I've been given enough precedent in all these challenges to have nothing but confidence in my ability to catch a flea. Talk about sadistic, I know, man. Catching bugs on trees looks much easier in this game. I feel like it's harder because you can't sneak up to the trees. You have to, like... You have to, like, you know, just feather the stick over in order to not scare them away. There we go. Surprise, it took me, like, four tiger butterflies before I found a common butterfly. It's not so common, huh? Alright, so now we just need a yellow butterfly and then a great purple emperor butterfly. Yeah, confidence is key, which is why I struggle in life so much. Oakley, thanks for the prime. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. You know what? Something might be in this tree. I mean, if you went like five flicks without any anything spawning, I feel like something might be in this tree. All right, I'll fuck myself. 
Thank you, Oakley, for the subscription. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ground bug? Locust, maybe? Yeah, maybe. In which case, I do need a locust. Or that. A darner dragonfly. Bro, I can't even catch the damn darner dragonflies, man. That's insane. But yeah, that is a darner dragonfly. Alright, yeah. So, if I don't notice anything after a few flicks, I should probably go check the rest of the acre. And, yo, sweet jelly. Thank you for the tier one. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. That was embarrassing. <laughs> That was a little embarrassing right there. Good thing I didn't I didn't need the tiger butterfly, but still. Let's pretty embarrassing good. display right there. And uh mine got. Thank you for the two months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing as well. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, whoop. There we go. All right. Good. Good. We didn't embarrass ourselves on the butterfly that we needed the most. Oh, okay. So that's the seven spotted ladybug, I think. Or is that the regular ladybug? I don't know, actually. Which one was that? That's the one with the black. That's black with red dots. And then there's one that's red with black dots. That's the regular one. Oh, okay. So we still need the seven spotted one. Okay. Well, either way, thank you again, Mind Got, Wheat Jelly, and Oakley for the subscriptions. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Does it really matter if there's only two? Oh, I was just curious, really. I was just curious. The seven spotted one is red. Right, okay. It's weird, but I think the... Oh, the wikis classify this as the same ladybug in future games, even though the ladybugs in future games look more like the seven-spotted one. But I don't know. Maybe for... I don't know. Maybe that is true. I don't know. You're making some serious progress? Yeah, like, I mean, this split takes a lot of bugs, so, I mean, I kind of expected this, but I guess we are, we are getting them pretty fast and furious. We are getting them pretty fast and furious, so I'm quite happy with that. Hi, future YouTube viewer. Please take a break and stretch. I mean, I don't know if I'll remember to include that in the video, but I guess I could add a reminder halfway through. I actually forgot to do that in the fish video, despite it being like 40 minutes long. Usually in my longer videos, I'm like, oh, make sure you stretch and, you know, take a break. But I actually forgot to do that because I'm scumbag in that 40-minute fish video. These streams fuel my soul. I'm glad they fuel your soul. We all need a little soul fueling. I think. I think. I appreciate those stretch breaks. Yeah, there you go. <gasps> oh, you, you're a bastard. Like, dude, it's just, it's just, just, it's impossible. It's too fast, man. There we go. It's just too fast. I, I didn't even get a chance. Like, at least on that first one, I had a chance. That one is just like, that's impossible, dude. Forget it. That's impossible. Anyway, is that all the flower bugs that I need? No, I still need the ladybugs. So let's not dig up the flowers quite yet. Wonder why the character's eyes always look at the right side of the screen? There's an ever-looming presence watching over him or watching to the side of him. Yeah, that's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. Okay. Alright. Alright. Sweet. Surely <laughs> instills a lot of confidence to get the banded dragonfly. I'm a bit late, but I'm when I can't I even get the, the damn stream. common dragonfly. Yo, Trash Pandacoot. I'm a bit late, but I'm glad I caught the stream. Yo, I'm glad to have you here. Thank you. I, I always enjoy reading your name. It's, it's a good one. It's a very good one. Thank you so much for the two months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Wouldn't putting flowers, one of the flowers in the other acre, increase your chances? It's pretty true. Unfortunately, there's no, well, fortunately, I guess. There's no, like, super rare bugs that spawn on flowers. 
so it's not really that necessary to min-max it like that. However, it is a good it it is a good tip. It is a good tip. It is a good tip. The character's eyes, they do that in all games? Yeah, they kind of do, or at least this specific, like, Tired Eyes character does. Is way more satisfying in this game than AC and H? Oh, dude, I love the... Woohoo! 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 I love the... I love that fucking catching sound, dude. I wish that they would, like... I don't know about bring it back, but, like, remix it would be kind of cool. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, what was that? Just a darner. I went on the wiki to discover you have 2.2 million uh, bells of debt in this game. It's 1.4, I think, that you need before you can unlock the island. At least I thought it was 1.4, right? Remix, but it's just the air horn noise. That'd be pretty good. I love the new leaf one. The new leaf one is like... It's, it's like something like that, right? No, I don't do the greatest impression, but I think it is. I'm good with the woohoo one we have nowadays. I don't know, man. I really like this one. I really just like the instrumentals in this game, just more in general. It just kind of feels like they were just, like, having fun when they made it, you know? It just feels like they were just having a good time when they made the the instrumentals and the music to this game. Yeah, it's like... Something like that. I don't like this catching sound. Oh, come on, man. It's so good. I like the one from Wild World, but then again, that was my first. Yeah, some nostalgia there for sure. I mean, I think Wild World and City Folk's music was very good as well. I think New Horizons is good. It's just... Oh, nice. I need that. Cool. Yeah, you could catch cockroaches in these older games. I think they got rid of them in City Folk. But yeah, you're actually able to catch cockroaches. Yo, I own it. Thank you for everything and the best wishes to you all. Thank you so much for the 800 bits. That is insanely generous. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. That is a lot. Thank you. Thank you so much. The woohoo followed by tribal music and New Horizons opposed to this monkey sound. It's not monkey sound! Is Oh, fuck me. It's not monkey sound, okay? Is good is silly, is quirky, okay, is funny. It just feels good. It just feels good. It's a good feel. Thank you, though, Ione. I appreciate that. And what's up, yours truly? Or yours truly, how are you doing? My first stream, how are you? I'm doing good, Cheetah. How are you doing? Welcome. Okay. Sit. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. A bug one instead of a fish one? Indeed. Yeah. And the bugs are... Their own beast, in many ways. Their own beast. Huh? You can be on flowers, too? What the fuck? Multi-talented king. He could be your tree or your flower. I, I don't know. There's a joke in there somewhere, I'm sure. What the fuck, though? I didn't know they could do that. Is that, like, the first... Is that, like, the only instance of a bug in an Animal Crossing game... That can spawn in two different places, like one on trees, one on flowers. Yeah, I can be I can be your bark or your pollen. Exactly. Is that the only instance of that happening? Yeah, he can be your angel tree or your devil flower. Yeah, yeah, there you go. It is it is good jokes. I could be your bark or your pollen. Yeah, you're all so funny. He can also be on Rotten Turnips. Holy shit, dude. He's so talented. A talented boy. Mamma mia. The ants can spawn on turnips and candy? I mean, they're kind of the same thing, though, because... Oh, wait, I need that cicada. They're kind of the same thing. Because, in many ways, they're both just, like, pieces of trash on the ground. I don't know, but maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. No, I'm still looking for the red ladybug. I got the black and red spotted ladybug, that one. I need the red I need the red one with black spots, the regular ladybug. Or the not regular ladybug. I don't know, dude, it's still confusing. Too many damn ladybugs in this game. 
Thanks for the high tree, Candace. <clears throat> Halfway done with this game? Yeah, dude, we're like, we're Beyblade letting them rip here, man. Alright, be ready. Could be a banded dragonfly. Could be a banded dragonfly. It could be a banded dragonfly around here, man. You never know. You always gotta, always gotta be sure. Or maybe it's in the trees? Where's my mans? It must be in the trees. Like a... What, what could be in the trees, though? Because I don't think a bagworm can spawn. Oh! That could be in the trees. I didn't know there was a spider in this game. Wait, what? Yeah, there is a spider. I literally wrote it down. And I just forgot that it exists. Alright, cool. Now I was getting a little I was getting a little confused there. Oh, there we go. That's the ladybug that I need. Dude. Wait, we're kind of insane? Like, what else do I need? What else do I need? I need a banded dragonfly and a flea. Like, is that it? Oh, I need a pond skater as well. Which, with all these water bugs spawning... Oh, well, a pond skater's probably only on the pond, right? I mean, we're kind of insane? Like, this progress is amazing? Hang on, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17... 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 26. Yeah, like my counter is right. All right. Yeah, it's in the pond in the lake. Yeah, that makes sense. Because I was like, all these like water bugs that I'm spawning, I didn't see a pond skater. And then I'm like, you know, the name might imply that it's only in the ponds. But, you know, maybe I'm reading into it too much. Are there any other flower bugs in the entire game that I still need? There is a snail. There is a snail. Oh yeah, there's actually a... Well... At least just the snail. Like I was gonna say, I should probably get rid of those flowers. But I guess don't do that until we have the snail. Snails spawn on rocks and bushes. Multi-environment. Ooh woo. Oh, I guess that's true. I don't know, but like... None of them are, like, on the trees and on the ground, like the cockroaches, you know? I don't know, I guess it's kind of unique in the sense that it's, like, the only one to be either on a tree or on something else. I definitely think it's the only one that does that. But yeah, you are right. You are right. But, yeah, it's a good point, I suppose. It's a good point. So yeah, I guess we'll keep those flowers there for the snail. Okay, my game, like, froze. I got scared. What the fuck was that dragonfly, dude? It was probably a banded dragonfly. And I'm gonna cry. Do you have a flea, man? You got a flea for me? You got a... Like, how am I gonna manipulate them to where, like, I get them into a position to nicely have them spawn a flea? I'm kind of wondering what'll be the best way of doing that. I'm kind of wondering what the best way of doing that will be. Because I really don't know. What I should do is probably cut down all the trees in this acre as well. Unless I just want to keep scaring away all these. Where, where, where? Robust cicada? There you are. Or brown cicada. I mean, I guess. Is the banded dragonfly in this run what the stringfish was in the museum run? Yeah, well... I mean, the band dragonfly, I've seen two of them already, and I just missed them both. I think it's kind of different to the stringfish in that the stringfish is rare. The band dragonfly isn't that rare, but it's hard as shit to catch, which is kind of the problem with it. Compared to this game, where the band dragonfly isn't all that rare, but it's just hard as hell to catch. Ginger Hawk, thanks for the tier one, two months in a row, or sorry, four months in a row. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing for another month. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I guess just keep doing this and then, you know, scare away. Check Chow occasionally for fleas, too. Like, he could spawn fleas and maybe I could, like, push him up to, like, that flower acre. Maybe I could push him up to that flower acre where I can, like, I don't know. Have, like, no trees in there at all and have them spawn a flea really easily. Counting down the months until I get my custom command. Yo, how close are you, bestie? I want to be the 1,000 pisser. 
I'm the one who pisses. Just trap the ugly bastard? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Okay. So, multiple bugs can exist in an acre, but every time you reload an acre, only one spawns? Is that right? Or am I wrong about that? Flea? Nope, Longhorn Beetle. I mean, dude, it's cool that he's hanging out here. I'm happy about that. Fleas are visible in this game? You might have to talk to them and see if they're itchy? Whoa, 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 whoa. you telling me... I gotta talk to the bastard? I gotta talk to him? Oh, no. Wait, are they really not visible? That's so annoying. I mean, or alternatively, I could hit him with a net and then see if I catch one. That'd probably be easier than talking to him. I'm not sure. Interesting. Well, that would be a real pain in the ass if that was the case. I'm gonna hope it's not. Probably not smart of me to just assume. I've heard it makes an ass out of you and me. Yeah, do I have to talk to the stinky bear? Oh, no. I mean, I guess it's not the end of the world. Or I could just hit him with a net, right? Suppose either one works. Okay, that works. Choose violence over peace. Hit him with the net. If it's being chow, I definitely feel more, you know, veered towards violence. But, yeah. Dude, you're being a little bitch, you know that? Like, you're being a little, you're being a little tuckus. There you go. Just hit the bear. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'll it'd definitely be faster than just talking to him. Oh, I mean, I don't need it, but it's worth money. So, yoink. Yeah, and it's more difficult because Japanese as well. Like, when they are itchy, they will have, like, a... Their catchphrase will be overwritten with, like, Ow! Or itchy, itchy, or something like that. And I won't be able to tell when that's the case. Because I can't read Japanese. Hey, stinky boy. Don't be coil, stinky boy. There we go. Just smack him when you see him? Exactly. Just smack him. Have a little smack. Still waiting on a pond skater as well. Like, this guy's being a little bit of a dick. And I fear that I don't have enough... Uh, I feel like I don't have enough durability on this axe to clear out all these trees in this acre. But I guess knocking a couple of, down, knocking a couple of them down will be good. Yeah, might as well knock a couple of them down, right? Maximize my chances. Like, this tree isn't technically in this acre, I don't think, but let's just knock it down just to be sure. Okay, that just means it took another, uh, bit of damage. You catch all the cicadas already? I still need the evening cicada, but that's not available right at this moment, so... I'm not too worried about that one. I mean, it actually did hold out pretty good. It did hold out pretty good, so I don't know. Yeah, is it the race to get the one the one thousand piss? Yeah, best of luck, everyone. We're at nine ninety nine. Oh shit, who's getting the last one? I mean, okay, on my screen it was Rhino Crossing, so congrats on being the one thousandth pisser on my screen. But it may have been one before you that actually registered the command, so I don't know, man. It's kind of tough. It's kind of tough to say. Hey, we all won. How about that? We all win. We're all the 1,000th pisser. No, I won. It's my stream, so I win. GG's to all the pissers. Good job. Good pissing, everyone. Hey. Yunk. Alright. He's not getting mad at me, which is good. <laughs> so I don't have to listen to his dialogue cussing me out. That's pretty good. Our stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, your stream. Absolutely. I mean, where where is this bug? There's no bug in this acre. I this is a, this is a bugless acre. This is a bugless acre. He doesn't have a flea. I don't see anything on the ground. I don't see anything flying around. There's nothing on Oh, I guess I didn't get all the trees, but I don't see anything. Nothing underground, I think, can spawn. Maybe something 
in the trees? Or there's no trees. I'd like to give you a fact about blobfish. What's what's your fact about blobfish? I'm all ears, man. Where's there's no bug? There's no bug. There's no bug. There's, like, do I have to talk to you and then like you're like, oh, I'm fucking itchy. Help me. Uh oh. Yangy. I was just, I was legitimately trying to talk to him on that last one there. I was legitimately just trying to have a conversation. I mean, I guess I could walk out. Wow, he got over that quick. Holy shit. He got over that really quick. Mamma mia. Hit him again? I mean, I might. Or I can, like, refresh the acre. Like, go into a building and then exit again. No, no, no. I don't, I don't really care to talk to you, man. Sorry. Like, leave and then... Leave and then come back out, and we'll see. I don't know. Were you a theater kid at school? No, I was not a theater kid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to either you or your dad, who probably thought I was, but no, they didn't really offer, like, theater or anything like that at my school. And even if they did, I don't really think I would have been a good theater kid, to be honest with you. I don't think I would have been a good theater kid. Not a performer. Although I reckon there's a high crossover of, you know, people who are streamers on Twitch to theater kids. So I don't know. I give off baseball kid. Now that I was, I was a baseball kid. I, um, my dad, uh, my dad, like, uh, took me to baseball practice. I was in leagues as a kid. I was kind of a, I was kind of a baseballer. Yeah. It's kind of a baseballer. Oh, dude, more, uh, flea fodder. Hell yeah. I'm the class clown. I mean, I tried my moments where I was trying to be, you know, I was trying to get some giggles from the class. I wasn't really the class clown, though, you know? I was a good student at the end of the day. Like, teachers liked me for the most part. I feel like teachers don't generally like the class clown. Dad, you kind of like the guy who likes to smell his own farts. That's kind of true. I mean, you know, when you make them, you're always, like, you know, a little bit proud of it sometimes. Like, you know. You're a little proud of your own farts sometimes, man. I don't know. Wait, you can sneak in this game? Kristen claims that I fart in her face? That's definitely not true, though. I've never done that. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. You can give me 100 bits and tell the story if you want. I was a good student, that's true. I was a good student. A based baller? Stay winning? What can I say? Boy bosses stay winning. Because it's a story that terrorizes me. Um, you're so animated and can talk endlessly, that's why I thought theater. I did not guess baseball. Yeah, I'm kind of a- I'm kind of a baseballer. You know. I'm kind of a baseballer. But yeah, I don't know. I guess I could see the high overlap of, like, Twitch streamers to theater kids, considering, yeah, I mean, it is kind of like putting on a performance in a way, is streaming, so... I don't know. I guess I can see it. But no. They didn't really offer, like, theater at my schools. So, no, not really, unfortunately. Glunk. Boys. I mean, I got two of you out here, and neither of you spawn in a flea? This is tragic. I was the bully kid. Oh, I mean, I got bullied too, okay? Just because I was a baseball kid didn't exempt me from being bullied as well, okay? Trust me. I was a quiet student and teachers liked me, but I was always off in my own world, so I never got any work done. Yeah, I mean, I could kind of be like that as well. I can kind of be like that as well. Okay, there's like no bugs in this acre. Also, like, what are the chances of a pond skater, man? Why is this thing like eluding me so much? It's just a pond skater, man. Get the ball out of here, because that might spawn a dung beetle, maybe. No, get the fucking ball out of here. It might spawn a dung beetle, so I don't want that. Like, what is in this acre that's taking up a spawning space? You'll be able to see and hear the flea. Okay. Well, if that's the case, then it should be pretty easy. I can't see or hear anything that's in this acre, though, so... I don't know. 
Let's try refreshing, maybe. Not eating the ball. School robbed me of any shred of self-confidence? Yeah, school does that. It's pretty pog. It's pretty pog. Especially when the adults do it. So you've been beating your villages up for no reason? I mean, look, it's Chow, man. I don't have a whole lot of sympathy for him. I don't have a whole lot of sympathy for him. No, and... Nope. I assume it'll probably be easier to hear them, but then again, the mole cricket was quite quiet, so... I don't know. Maybe it won't be too easy. Oh, you know, I'll just hit him. If I'm not sure, I'll just hit him anyway. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. I still don't see any bug. Where, where's my bug? I would like my bug. Okay, there's my bug. There's my bug. Like, what are the chances of a pond skater, man? If I really, like... This thing is not that rare, right? From 8 a.m. to 7 p.m.? So if you're at a different time, that's why? No, man, I'm at noon. 1234. July 4th, 1234. I, I mean, it's in the route, specifically, is where I've taken all these times from. When I had surgery, I needed Dag's help with getting in and out of bed. He was helping me get into bed, then Mans turned around and farted in my face. This is slander and defamation to the highest extent. But it was pretty funny. Like, look, you had to be there. If you were there, you would have laughed, man. It was pretty funny. Thanks for the 100 bits. I appreciate that. It was pretty funny, man. It was just good timing, really. It was just good timing. What are you brunning me about, man? That's just boys being boys. Only bug missing from my AC and H collection, the fucking flea. Yeah, man. It's a little bastard, isn't it? A little bastard. It's just boys being boys, exactly. He knew you were captive in your own home. Nah, man, it was funny. It was funny. You guys would have laughed, I promise. Great time to wake up from my nap. Hey. Good morning, I guess. <laughs> Not the sniffer. The sniffer's so good. I love the sniffer. Objection. Hearsay. Hey, it, true. So true. It is all hearsay. Now, I can confirm it happened, but it is still hearsay. Is it bad when my 7th grade teacher wore flip-flops every day the whole year, rain, shine, or snow? No, that's kind of girl bossing, man. That's kind of girl bossing. I am H.O. You're either a smart fella or a fart smeller. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like that. Like, hello? I mean, I guess just keep flicking the camera. So true, bestie. That's, that's so true. That's pretty true. I'm at a cafe and people are staring at me. What are they staring at you about? Like, what are you doing? You like laughing? Having a little giggle to yourself? I don't know, man. Don't let don't let people at a cafe judge you. They're paying like an exorbitant amount for their morning coffee. You know, like they really they're in no position to judge you. It's because that they're at that cafe buying coffee that they'll never be able to afford a home. Oh, Oh, okay. I'm sad that my sneeze ruined my joke, but it was still pretty funny. If anything, it might have even made it better. Might have even made it better, I don't know. You got a flea man? Where you at? You got a flea my man? No? Okay. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the blessings. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I tried to squeeze the joke in there before the sneeze arrived, but, you know, that's okay. It's alright, we'll get him next time, boys. Bro, this is like prime flea opportunity, man. How have I not seen a damn flea yet? I got two villagers, both who can qualify for fleas. I mean, geez, I just found a damn pond skater, which should not be that rare. Apparently the most difficult bug to catch in this entire game as well. Hey, dick ass. Thank you. My god. All right. We got the pond skater. Yes, yeah, sell it. 
or release it, sure. I didn't know those things they can they can fly and they choose to skitter around on water. Oh, that's fucked. Later, skater. Is that what it said? Wait, that's actually really cool. Is that what it said as the pun? Later, skater? That's pretty good, actually. Or did you just make that up? That's pretty good, actually. I like that. Maybe you're the villager with the flea? That'd be nice. That'd be pretty good. Yo, femur. Or firmer. No idea. I just came up with that. That's pretty good. You should be a pun, you should be a pun writer. Yo, thank you so much, Firmer, for the prime. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, stinky boys. Time to, boys, it's it's 12:30. Time for your flea. Hey, <laughs> boys. Boys, <laughs> it's time for you flee. I mean, bro, they're like right here. This is literally like prime flea opportunity. Why is this emote on your channel? Pog Plan is funny, man. Pog Plan is so good. I love Pog Plan. Did you hear about the circus fire? No, because it was intense. That's pretty funny. I've heard that one before, though. I've heard that one before. Things getting weird? Nah, man. This is just diagonal. This is just Thursday. One reference, an ice skating trick, though? That's cool. Which one's that? Which game is that from? Dag, please, I'm trying to tell you a blobfish fact. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I guess I've missed it. I appreciate you, and I like your content a lot, so I thought I'd watch while eating dinner. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I hope your dinner's good. Hope your dinner is good. Like, both of these guys do qualify for a flea, right? They're both animals with fur. They're both... They're both... I think all male types can get fleas, is that right? So they both qualify. I, I'm just getting unlucky, I guess. The flea is just sleeping on their head? I mean, I'd like to think... <laughs> I think that they both qualify, right? Only normal and snooty can't. Yeah, so... Oh, where'd he go? Chico! Where'd he go? He, he disappeared! He's gone! He died! Where, where'd he go? Okay, what? What's going on? That was it, really weird. It was very strange. Still need a banded dragonfly, by the way. Still looking for one of them boys. Hmm, interesting. All right. Blobfish, everyone knows, isn't the pink goopy one. It's the corpse of an actual blobfish. Yeah, I know that, man, because, like, they live in pressurized waters, and so when people bring them up to the surface, that pressure, like, releases... And that's why they look all sad and pathetic when you reel them in. Yeah, yeah, I, I knew that. I knew that. Wouldn't it be easier to get both of them in New Horizons? Well, I have a rule in place um, where if a bug debuted in a game, that must be the game that you catch it in. So that's why I'm trying to get a flea in this game, as opposed to in New Horizons. Where, no, I don't think it would be easier at all. I think it's actually probably easiest in this game. It's actually probably easiest in this game. Ah. Just a darner. Time for my healthy five hours of sleep again. A eh? Yo, go get your uh, sleep. Have a good night. I hope it's a good five hours. I hope it's a good five hours. Bedge chatter. Oh, I need to enable bedge. I did enable... Um, <laughs> Hang on. There was one new emote that I enabled. I forget what it was, though. I forget what it was. Oh, and I don't have... No, it wasn't chatting. Hang on. I enabled one yesterday. Forget what it was, though. Oh, yeah, it was uh, Pet the Artist. Since there's the new artist badges, 
since there's new artist badges, if there's ever an artist that shows up in chat, y'all can hit him with a pet the artist if you want. Y'all can hit him with a pet the artist. There you go. I don't have access to any of the emotes. On better Twitch TV, I mean, you only need the extension on better Twitch TV. So, I feel like you should have access to them if you have it installed. There you go, hit him with a pet the artist. The mole on Chow's face is secretly a flea. I will be honest, it's definitely fooled me a couple of times, that mole. But I think that the fleas themselves are smaller than that. Are you 7TV and BTTV? Yeah, I mean, they both work, probably. I have no idea why I don't have access. Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. I'm not seeing a bug in this acre. Which might mean that I might need to refresh. I'm sorry, but why is Chow ugly? You don't have to be sorry, man. Like, my man's is just... My man's is just disgusting. He's just disgusting. There's no need to apologize for just telling the truth, man. No need to apologize for telling the truth. Yeah, another... Uh, we, we did so happen to get Chow again, which is pretty awesome. All right. Boy's just running around. Pretty epic that we got Chow again, but, you know, it's fine. Hey! Sally. Callie? Sally. That's Sally, right? Callie's, uh, the one with the big cheeks. Like, actual face cheeks, you sickos. Come on, guys, leave Chow alone. No, Chow, like, deserves this, man. Chow deserves this. This is completely fair. This is... This is getting a little... This is getting a little silly, right? Like, surely this is a little silly at this point. Am I doing something wrong? Like, I know it's 2% every time a bug spawns that it could be a flea. But... Theoretically... With two villagers, wouldn't it be 4%? Or is it still 2%? Just like, it's 1% for each villager. Hmm. Is ugly people discrimination? No, it's ugly bear discrimination, okay? I'm gonna head out later, Dag. Yo, you have a good night, Ruby. You have a good night. So would it be 2% on each villager, or would it be 1% on each villager to total 2%? I don't know. Sally, aka Hazel in GameCube, not to be confused with Sally in Wild World, now named Callie, nor Hazel, introduced in New Leaf. Yeah, wasn't there, like, that glitch villager that looks like... Like, she kind of looks like Hazel, but also looks like Blair, and so people call her, like, Blazel or something like that. And she was, like, a villager that was in the beta that got cut or something like that. Which one is that one called? Nibbles? No, not Nibbles. It's a whole nother one. Like, it's a villager that doesn't exist. That's Shacky, nicknamed Blazel. Oh, okay. Yeah, and she was, like, cut or something like that. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Who, for real, is the best bear? The best, like, big bear? Ooh. Teddy's pretty good. I don't know. Pinky's pretty good. I don't know. That's a good question. Charlize? Charlize is okay. Nate? No, not Nate. Damn seaweed eyebrows, Nate. Nah. That's not for me. Grizzly? Grizzly's pretty good. I like, um... Uh, what's Big Man called? I forget his name. Tutu? No, Tutu. No, your Stitches is like a bear cub. We're talking about the big bears. We're talking about the big bears. Stitches is a cub. I just remembered my project is due tomorrow, so I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Well, that's why they call it Due Tomorrow, right? <laughs> Please do your assignment. I don't want to be held liable. I don't want to have, like, secondhand guilt over you getting, like, an F on a project. Alright? Go go, go do your project, man. Like, I, I don't want to have to be the person that you're like, Oh, I was too busy watching Dagnall and I failed my assignment. And then I, therefore, I failed my entire grade. I don't want to, I don't want to be, I don't want to, I don't want to be stuck with that guilt. Go do your assignment. Now, that being said, I was definitely, like, you know, a pretty big procrastinator in school as well. So, like, I get it, but, like, you know, do as I say, not as I do. 
Favorite cat villager? Kit Kat, man. Simply Kit Kat. Do tomorrow, obviously. Nah, 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 man. You gotta knock it out now, man. Knock it out now. But yeah, if you knew me in high school, you'd be like, oh, that's fucking hypocritical of you to say. You're right. It is. Your stream is chill, watching you do assignments while watching. There you go, like, do assignments while watching. Get the best of both worlds. Get the best of both worlds. Is Rover a villager in any game? No, he's not a villager. I don't think there's ever been a special NPC turned villager or villager turned special NPC, except for Porter, who people speculate is Champ the monkey. A lot of people speculate, and you can definitely see why, because they look basically the same. Champ, the monkey villager from City Folk, and I think he, he might have been in Wild World as well. People speculate that he's a porter, and it makes a lot of sense because, I mean, they do look like pretty much the same. Procrastinations by middle name? That's pretty unfortunate of a middle name, honestly. Feline? Yeah, they didn't bring him back. Well, that was like a crossover villager, though, you know? Kind of makes sense. Like, they didn't bring back any of the crossover villagers. That was a monster hunter crossover villager. But they, I don't know. It kind of doesn't make sense how they didn't bring back any of, like, the Nintendo franchise crossover villagers. Like, Wolf Link or Epona. Like, why didn't they bring those back? Because I can understand why they wouldn't want to do another monster hunter crossover. Because maybe they don't have the rights to it anymore. But, like, what about, like, Wolf Link? Or one of, like, the ones that's just from another Nintendo series. Like, why didn't they bring those back in New Horizons? Or, I mean, hell, like, there were so many, like, furniture items in, the, in New Leaf that were crossovers of other Nintendo franchises. Like, there was the Pikmin item. There was the Master Sword. There was the, the fucking Metroid ship I can't remember the name of. The R-Wing. Yeah, like, why didn't they bring those back? I don't know. It's not like they lost the rights to them. Like, my brother in Christ, you are First Nintendo. I don't know. Yo, How's it Natalie going Brown. Down? Help. Sorry. Help. 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 And I need to get the bandit dragonfly still. Yo, it's going well, Natalie. Thank you so much for the two months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What the fuck? I didn't even do anything wrong that time. Thank you. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Meow and Bao are probably the most unlikely to return. Right, because weren't those, like, Tamagotchi... I don't think they were officially, like, a crossover with Tamagotchi. But I think it's because of the association with Tamagotchi that they would probably never come back. I don't know, though. I don't know. Or, like, I, I don't know. I don't know what the technical reason for it is, but... Despite being, like, really cool villagers, yeah, I don't think Meow and Bao will be back either. Luckily, the modding community, if you have a hacked Switch, has made Meow and Bao mods, so that's always an option. Nindori? I don't know who Nindori is. I don't know who Nindori is. Doesn't ring a bell. Although, we were talking about it earlier, and I asked who that was, and I don't know if anyone answered me. Favorite bunny villager? Maybe Bonbon. Bon. Maybe not a popular answer amongst the masses, but probably maybe Bonbon. Bon. Bonbon's bon pretty good, man. What kind of villager would you be? I'd be a human, man. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it's, it's kind of like, what's your fursona? It's kind of what you're asking me. That's a very personal question, man. I don't know if I'm ready to reveal that information to the public. Mostly because I don't really have a, pers a fursona. But like, I don't know is possible because he still appears in the Nintendo magazine. But who is Nindori? It sounds like a Nidoran from Pokemon. Is that what it is? Cottagecore lesbian Gabby? She's pretty cottagecore lesbian. She's pretty cottagecore lesbian. What are you doing? Wait, they can like come to a rest on the water? Wait, maybe I should wait for the banded dragonfly to do that then. I'd be a dag type villager. Exactly. I'm not a cranky villager, man. I'm a nice guy, okay? I'm a nice guy. Okay? I wouldn't be a cranky villager. I'd be a very nice villager. Are you sure you can catch a flea this way? I mean, this is how I've been doing it for the last 15 minutes, and nobody has corrected me. Even the people that know this game, they haven't corrected me. So, as far as I'm concerned, I don't really see why you wouldn't be able to, because... 
I don't really see why you wouldn't be able to. I don't know. I just thought I saw something there. I don't really see why you wouldn't be able to, considering every time you load in an acre, there's a new bug that spawns. And I mean, theoretically, with villagers in that acre, a, a flea could spawn on the villagers. So I don't know. Thanks for the hydrate, though. So if you want to see Kit, the jock squirrel, come back. Oh, yeah. Man, like, if you asked me to name all the, all the like, cut villagers, there's so many that I wouldn't even remember, and that's one of them. I definitely remember them, though, but, yeah. If, it, if you didn't say it, I'd have been like, I don't know who the fuck that is. Boys? No? Kit is just conky. <laughs> he is kind of conker, yeah, isn't he? It's actually kind of true. I want Wendell, the walrus? I mean, that was a special NPC. I don't think you're going to get him as a regular NPC, sadly. Sadly, I don't think you will. I want Nosegay. Yeah, so many people want Nosegay, Woolio, or... I don't know, it's probably other ones that are highly requested. Meow and Bow. Everyone wants those back. There's a lot of... I really don't know why they wouldn't just bring back all the ones that they cut, you know? I really don't know why they wouldn't. Unless there was, like, a problem with, like, the rights with which to use them. Like, in the case of Feline being a Monster Hunter crossover villager. Like, I can see why they wouldn't bring that back if they don't have the rights to it. But, I don't know. Like, all the ones that they just cut that they made up themselves back in the older games. Like, why wouldn't you bring them back? I don't really understand. I don't really understand. Just seems like something that everyone would enjoy that you have to make the conscious decision to not do, you know? I don't know. Kind of lame. Kind of lame. Having dinner while having COVID while watching Dagnall, we stay winning besides the COVID. Yeah, the COVID isn't very pog, but I'm glad that you're, in, you know, hopefully enjoying your dinner. You may not be able to taste it, though, which is, you know, slightly inconvenient. If two are in separate acres, it'd be better chance for one to spawn. Maybe. So, like, could I, like, push... I don't know. Either one over to the other acre that I keep cycling between, and then maybe it would be better. Can I even, like, push them... Like, to another acre? Does that even work? Like, yeah, like, I can't even... Oh, sorry, man. I I'm so sorry. But, yeah, I can't even push them, like, into the other acre. I think... I think they stay in the acre. I think they stay in the acre that they're in. I don't think they can go to other acres. They cut a bunch of villagers because Wild World was a small game and then a bunch have been slowly returning over the years. Yeah, I get it. Like, I know why they might have cut them from Wild World, but I don't really see the logic as to having not brought all of them back. I don't know. Like, they did bring some of them back, but I don't know. Just, like, weirdly specific with the ones that they did and didn't bring back. He's crying! I, just, I feel bad. I kind of like Chico, man. He's kind of... He's kind of... Uh, I got a soft spot for him, you know? Especially if he were to have a flea, but, you know. Please apologize. I think I could actually go to the wishing well and one of the options is apologize. But I think that's if, like, you had to do a delivery and you didn't do it you could go to like the wishing well and be like i'm sorry i didn't do this delivery and then be like you are forgiven or something like that I mean, it's actually a thing but i don't think you could do that for just like you know pushing around some rat i don't think they let you do that time traveling to the next day make it easier to catch a flea i don't think so why would it i don't really see why it would Ugh. I don't know, though. Maybe. Do fleas spread? No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Of course, to spread, you would need to have one in the first place, which is all I need, so... Try to trap them around holes. Like, they're not really going anywhere, though. Like, I don't really need to do that. They're not going anywhere. It's not the fact that they're, like, moving around is why I can't, like, catch one. It's just simply the fact I can't find one. No, I mean, I can see him, you know, crystal clear, but it's just simply the fact that, like, they're just not spawning any is more the problem. And I don't know why. And you know what? Like, in all this, like, you know, cycling between the acres, I also haven't seen another banded dragonfly either. And I keep seeing some common ones, but no banded ones either. It's kind of sad. Yeah, this is E+. This is E+. 
you can see the flea. Yeah, yeah, I think I was told that you can see the flea, which is why... Yeah, I don't know. It's why it's being, like, extra annoying right now. It's because, like, yeah, I could literally see the flea. If they had one. Hunty! Hot dog. Hot dog. Thanks for the 25 months. I appreciate that. Tier 3. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing for another month. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you're doing well, bestie. Are hermit crabs around all year? It's actually a good question. Um, yeah, I still need a hermit crab, don't I? I don't know. What are the hermit crab spawns? Are they all year and all day? I don't think they're all year, but I think they're all day. How many times have you excited the exited the acre and despawned a flea? Um, I don't really want to think about that. But maybe a couple of times? Maybe a couple of times. I don't know. I feel like it's easier to, like, spawn a bug than it is to despawn a bug, you know? Like, I feel like if you leave an acre, you're not going to necessarily despawn a bug. But if you load the acre, you'll spawn a bug. Like, I feel like you can leave the acre and still, like, have the bug there. I don't know. I don't know if what I'm saying makes sense. All day, March to December. Okay, so... Theoretically, I could get one now. It's not on my... It's not on my catch list, though, so I don't know. I don't know if now would be the best time for it. Fleas cannot appear on alligator, anteater, duck, elephant, frog, hippo, octopus, penguin, or rhinoceros villagers. They also cannot appear on villagers with normal Lucini personalities. Yes. Yes, that's why I have a, a bear and a mouse, both of which are not on that list. And uh, neither of which are normal or snooty. So... We're, we're good. All good. Wow, that great purple emperor is not worth that much, huh? I thought that was going to be a decent amount. Have we gotten the flea yet? No. No flea. Unfortunately. Oh. But we get the banger 1 a.m. We get the 1 a.m. meow. The, the cat meowing remix. It's pretty good. It almost makes up for the... The void I feel inside. Almost. I mean, I guess anteaters not getting fleas makes sense. They would just eat them. I mean, I feel like all the animals would quite enjoy a little flea snack. I don't know. I feel like most animals are pretty cool with, like, eating bugs. I feel like anteaters... Yeah, I mean, I know that they're known for it, but, like, I don't know. Has it not been evening this entire time? The original not get darker for nighttime? No, it did. It did. Or are you saying that, like, it looks really dark for being 1 p.m.? I don't know. Maybe it's a cloudy day outside. No, no banded dragonfly either. Which is also unfortunate. I'm trying to... Like, that's half of what I'm trying to get spawned as well. Uh, along with the flea. Does eating fleas lead to worms? I got no idea, man. I have, I can't say I really know. I, I would say probably don't try it, though. Not because you might get worms, but mostly because it's kind of gross. On the quest to get a giant trevally? Yo, good luck, man. That thing could be a pain in the ass. Good luck. I think that's how dogs get worms. Uh, maybe, man. I have no idea. I have no idea. You could have caught a pan. Yeah, I could have. I had a couple chances to get one, maybe. But, uh... <laughs> All I'm saying is y'all try to get one, okay? It's pretty freaking difficult. Pretty freaking difficult. I never had a flea, but I did have a tick one time on the back of my head. I worked as a uh, camp counselor over the summer in, like, the hot North Carolina heat. And I came home one time, and I had, like, an itch on the back of my head. And I... It was like a scab. Like, I could only describe it as, like, a scab. And I was trying to, like, peel it off. And it turned out to be a tick. It must have just got on me, though, because, like, it was, like, skinny. It was not, like, one of them big blown-up ticks that's been sucking blood for, like, days on end. Luckily. Minus one viewer after that story? I mean, like, look, you gotta take the good with the bad, right? You know? You gotta take the good with the bad. I'm just, I'm just being honest with you. I'm just sharing a little... I'm just sharing a slice of life story. Like, y'all be watching animes about how, like... 
I bet if it was an anime about some, like, big titty girl getting a tick, y'all would be like, oh, so true. But because it's me, oh, disgusting. Yeah, yeah, I'm sharing a slice of life of my story. You don't want to hear my slice of life. I'm not a big titty anime girl. Yeah, suddenly you're not so interested, huh? I love when big titty girls... Yeah, I know, man. I know. I know y'all are... I know, I know my audience, all right? I know my audience. Diagonal big titty anime girl confirmed? Sadly not. Not until I'm part of Hollow Live. Biting bugs are uncomfy? Yeah, I, I agree with that. So true, I would say. I think the flea is a bug in this game that spawns on a village when the game is loaded. And I don't think it can load mid-game, but then again, I have no clue. That just seems correct. I don't think that's how it works, but what you're saying is, like, I would need to go into a house and then come back out to get it to spawn. And if that's true, then, like, I feel like somebody would have told me by this point? I don't know. Like, I feel like I would have been told by this point by the experts. The, the 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 nerds the animal forest e plus nerds i feel like they would have been like hey you're doing it wrong no i feel like it can spawn mid game because i don't know like every time you enter an acre it is a two percent chance of spawning is what i was told hey, what's up <laughs> so zane how are you doing or wait are you just saying like that's my anime name dagnaru chan Maybe. Why'd you have to call 80% of your chat out? Because 80% of my chat calls me out on my shit. So when I start, you know, when I punch back, suddenly it's like, oh, don't call me out, Dagno, don't call me out. You big fucking doofus. Like, they all call me names, big fucking doofus. The BFD. And suddenly I call you guys out. Whoa, whoa. Take it easy there. You know. I'm gonna assume this is false, but would friendship matter on catching a flea? No, but now that I think about it, um, I think that there is a thing in New Horizons where you had to have introduced yourself at least once to a villager before they can get a flea to spawn. On the off chance I haven't introduced myself to Chico, I guess I can do that, but I've definitely introduced myself to Chow already. Or Ra? Yeah, my name's Ra, actually. BFD was my middle name in high school? That was your middle name? For what? Why was your middle name BFD? Big Fat Donk? What? What's a donk? Wait, isn't that like a car? Do you have a big car? Do the same fish have the same spawn rates for every game or do they change? No, they definitely change. I'm pretty sure every game has like their own sort of unique spawning rates for fish and for bugs so help 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 badonk a donk honky tonk badonk a donk ra chan i hate <laughs> i hate that i don't like it but it's pretty funny it's pretty funny yeah i was gonna say like when you leave an acre you don't really despawn bugs because like that tyro butterfly he didn't despawn I would pat Chico on the head? I bet he'd like that. I bet he'd be cool with that. My BF's co-worker is named BDK, Big Dick Kennedy. Alright, first of all, who who out here be calling Ke be called Kennedy? Second of all, why is this such a known fact that he has a lar that he's phallically inclined? Why is why do a lot of people know how phallically inclined he is that he is well known for being Big Dick Kennedy? Or is it like uh, his his like attitude eludes big dick energy? Is that what it is, or is it like he's actually just like phallically inclined? Interesting. She's female. Okay, so I mean that kind of throws a whole nother thing into it. Nothing bad ever happens to the Kennedys. I feel like the mouse villagers get headaches from the giant ears standing up all the time. Nah, man, they're fine. They're fine. Seems like something that should be kept in private. That's kind of what I'm saying, man. Kind of what I'm saying. 
Her attitude eludes big dick energy. Well, that makes sense, I suppose. That's like the proverbial big dick energy. Explain Penelope's ears is quite simple. What? I didn't even get a chance! I didn't even get a chance, man! Oh, Dagna, you should have just warped over to where he was and then reacted in the four point fucking point four seconds before it flew away. I didn't even get a chance that time. That's just mean. That's just mean, man. That's not cool. That's just not cool, man. It just he was there for like a second and then he just boom, just leaves. It's just mean. This is cruel. Yeah, that was the banded dragonfly that I still need. And that's the third one that I've seen. And only the... Uh, well, only one of the three were actually, like, catchable. I feel. I feel like only one of the three that I've seen are actually, like, catchable. Kind of, you know, a little bit ass, in my opinion. But, you know, <laughs> just, just get good, Dagnal. Just get good. Fucking stupid. bullying villagers i'm not bullying villagers man but all i'm saying is that if they wanted to stop being bullied they would spawn a flea it's quite simple really it's kind of a give and take society that we live in you give me a flea i take my net away from your face aziz moved into my acpg town no acpg what is acpg Pocket Gramp? What is that? Oh, population growing. I'm stupid. That's kind of Pog, though. Aziz pretty cool. I just got the Breath of Stress Air ad. What the hell is that? I've never seen that before. First, I'm learning about the damn Geico Cuphead crossover ad. Now I'm learning about the Breath of Stress Air ad. At this point, since Chow's not leaving, he might as well... He might like it to be afraid of him. Maybe. Maybe. Hey, hey, you wanna... <sighs> Catch the tiger butterfly, man. I'm not here for you. It's not all about you, Chow. It's not all about you, man. It's not... Not here for you. It's not the Chow show. Ah, it's an anti-vaping ad. I see. Okay. That's kind of clever. Um... The Cuphead what ad? Just just look up on YouTube. Cuphead Geico ad. Cuphead and the insurance company Geico did a crossover. There's there's now a Cuphead Geico ad out there. It's pretty uh It's pretty horrible. Um I mean as as bad as a commercial can be. I mean they're already never very fun. Yeah, pond skater. I mean these things I'm not even seeing that much either. How rare are pond skaters, man? Took me forever to get one of these. Please? Please? I brought it up to Dag a few streams ago. Yeah, and I watched it, and I'm like, what the fuck? I've never seen an ad for it before. I had to look it up on YouTube to see it. It's crazy. Can you please? Quit being a dick? Can I just, just stop being a dick, please. Please. Alright, well, I just missed it that time. Please? Okay. No, no bug for me, I guess. I'll just, I'll just wait. I'll wait. You just, you take, you... How am I missing this? How am I missing this bug? This is, this is stupid. Okay, actually, I'm getting mad. I'm getting mad. Has it been an hour? What, since we started looking for the flea? Yeah, maybe. It's probably been about that, yeah. Probably been about that. At least it feels that way. You want to, um, if I go over there, he's going to move. If I go over there, he's going to go somewhere else. How am I missing this bug, man? This is impossible. I shouldn't be missing this bug. I shouldn't be missing this bug. Look, y'all can goof on me all you want about the, about me saying the flea isn't going to be that difficult. I don't care, man. It can take two, three hours, and it would still be not difficult compared to how it is in, like, New Horizons, okay? You and, like, it can take two more hours, and I would still be like, yeah, that was easier than New Horizons. I would. Like, it, literally, it's taken me, like, eight hours in New Horizons before. Looney Star, thanks for the tier one. I appreciate that. Thank you. 
Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes, and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that, thank you. Did you just let it go, the pawn skater? Yeah, I don't gotta keep it, man. I ain't gotta keep it. Look at all these, look at all these bugs. I ain't got room for all these bugs. I think you're just unlucky, mate. Yeah, I think so, too. Like, the world record for Golden Net in this game is, like, over an hour. Like, a little over an hour. So you don't need to tell me that I'm getting unlucky to, you know, have it take that long just to get one bug. I know I'm getting unlucky. I know I'm getting unlucky. Watch easy flea spawns in New Horizons when I'm not even trying for it. Well, that's when I always get fleas is when I'm not trying to get them. That's always when I try to get... That's always when I get my fleas. Yeah, the flea was like seven hours. Yeah, like, it, until it takes seven hours, it will be easier than New Horizons. So, yeah. And probably easier than, like, Wild World as well, where you can't, like, keep flicking between acres, you know? This ability to, like, flick between acres makes it so that pretty much everything in this game is easier to catch. It's such, like, a useful tool to get things to spawn. And you couldn't do it in Wild World, can't do it in City Folk. So I feel like kind of by default, it's easier than all those games. You chased the Pond Skater for so long to only release it. So perhaps try for a different one now and you'll see a flea along the way. Like, try for a different bug. I don't know. Like, I feel like now is like... I, I feel like it's kind of like now or never. Like, if I'm not getting it now, man, how am I going to get it like... Wait, is that the flea noise? I'm listening. I didn't hear it. You must be going nuts. Like, unless you're hearing this, this cicada over here. Not that. There's a cicada around here somewhere. The hermit crab? I mean, I could go for the hermit crab, but in order to, like, hunt for the hermit crab and the flea, I would need to have a villager by the beach. So I draw to keep up the amazing work and also good luck on the flea. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know. Unless you were hearing like the walker cicada over there. I didn't hear it. Then again, I don't have my game volume incredibly high. I mean, I obviously couldn't hear like the mole cricket, but I'm also like looking at the villagers. I feel like they will be pretty easy to see as well. It might have been in the balloon. Ah, that would be just my luck, wouldn't it? Couldn't even. You can't even shoot them down in this game. They're merely aesthetic. They're merely aesthetic. You have double the odds since I have two villagers. Since two villagers? Yeah, I mean, that you would think, right? So every... If it's a 2% chance, even if I just have one villager, the flea is a 2% chance, apparently. That's what I was told. 2% chance. So every 50 times a bug, a, a bug spawns in this acre, you're likely to at least see one flea. So, I know it's not a guarantee that once every 50 times you flick into this acre, you'll get a bug that is a flea. But, by that statistic, I feel like it be sh should have happened a few times by this point, I feel. Should have happened a few times by this point. Balloons can get stuck in trees and you might be able to get them down with a net. Is that true? I know that they didn't have a slingshot in this game. But I didn't know that they could get stuck in trees and then you can get whatever's inside of them. Is that right? Interesting. I did not know that. Oh no, he's struggling on the flea again? This isn't even struggling, man. Like, I'm getting annoyed, but I assure you it ain't struggling yet, okay? It ain't struggling yet. Call me when this takes seven hours and we'll call it struggling. Right now, though, not, not too bad. This is, this is child's play still. This is child's play. This is painful. You're not even doing it. I, I, you're not even the one out here grinding for it. You think it's painful? What do you think I'm doing? I'm out here. I'm out here the one trying to do it. Yeah, at least I don't have to, like, save and quit like I had to do in New Horizons. That, yeah. At least that's good. Was that a... No. Don't waste those insects. We need money for the island. That's pretty true. I'm like, oh, if I go into nooks, it's going to be the one time that I get the flea to spawn, and it's going to despawn, but yeah, probably not very good logic. Probably not great logic. 
I'm struggling to find an Emperor Butterfly. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry to hear that. I wish you the best of luck in your Emperor Butterfly. We all out here struggling, apparently. I mean, it was only 1930. Although any little bit counts. I'm sitting on the couch with my cat, Turbo. I can't imagine doing this kind of grinding. I mean, I don't know. You can make fun out of this. I feel like, t to an extent, like, me doing this on stream makes it, like, more tolerable than if I was just trying to grind for it without the entertainment value of chat for, you know, as much entertainment as y'all could possibly be. It makes it a little bit more fun to do it on stream. Finally able to catch your live stream. Yo, thank you. Hope you enjoy your time here. How are you doing today? Like, sometimes the leaves will get kicked up, and I'll be like, oh, that's the flea. No. How many bugs are there in this game? 48. 48. And we are over halfway at this point. Cheer you up in your struggles. Lit and cheer up. Lit and cheer up. Lit and cheer up. Sorry if that didn't work. I mean, that's, I appreciate the sentiment, though. Y you're trying to cheer me up. Most people try to punch me down. You're trying to cheer me up. I appreciate that. Merely the sentiment is good enough for me. It was supposed to be emotes? Yeah, that's okay, though. That's okay. Yeah, y'all my own personal comedy club, exactly. Love watching the videos, but it's the first time I can see it live. Well, I appreciate that. I'm glad that you can witness the video in the making. Yeah, I don't know how many people who watch my YouTube videos watch the live streams as well. But just like I did with the fish video, I'm going to try to put this up on the second channel. Hello, if you're watching it on the second channel right now. I'm going to put this up on the second channel. Um, I'm going to try to do it at the same time I put the main video up on my main channel. But uh, I can't promise anything because... If you know, if you watch those videos on the second channel of the unedited VODs, they were like 10 hours and 11 hours. As I was rendering them, they took, I think the first one took like 17, 16 or 17 hours to render. And then the uh, part two took like 20. So it takes like a couple of days to get them both rendered. And, you know, while I'm doing them, considering rendering, rendering on my editing software is such a tedious process. It, of course, takes, like... It basically makes it so you can't even use your PC, so... I can't promise anything, but, you know. What non-Animal Crossing YouTubers do you watch? I watch a lot of non... I that's most... I In fact, that's 100% of my YouTubers that I watch. I'd, I'd have to give you, like, my whole subscription list to really show you, like, all of them that I watch. Do you have a spare rendering PC? No. <clears throat> no, and... I suppose if it was, like, more of a constant thing that I was uploading and rendering these super long VODs, like, maybe it would be a worthwhile investment. I do have my old PC, but Kristen uses my old PC, so I wouldn't want to take it away from her just to be like, oh, I gotta render something. Yeah, so. I don't have a spare rendering PC, but if I was truly a professional, maybe I should consider doing something like that. But, you know, true professional. I do love the longer videos in your extra channel. Nice to... It's just unfair. It's unfair. It's unfair. I, didn't, I, I don't even get a chance. I don't even get a chance. It, it's just gone. It's just gone. It's, ju it's just... It's fucking gone. I don't even get a chance. I don't even get a chance. I didn't even get a chance. I love your videos, live streams. Best Animal Crossing streamer on both Twitch and YouTube. Thank you for being so entertaining. Thank you. Thank you, Kelly, for the two months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. And thank you for the kind words as well. Wolfcat. Thank you for the subscription. Thank you for the subscription as well. I appreciate that. Thank you. 
Thank you for the Prime. I appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your advertisement-free viewing experience. I do appreciate it very much. Yeah, it was the Dragonfly. It was my fourth time seeing the Dragonfly and my third time basically where it was impossible to catch completely. So, yeah, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome that 75% of the time that you see a abandoned dragonfly, which is already pretty rare in itself, it's just completely uncatchable, so that's pretty cool. Pretty awesome that they made it so that, like, yeah, it, it's so fast and uncatchable. And if it leaves, like, the acre that you're in, Chico had a flea? Chico had a flea? Ooh. Tough scene. Um, well, <sighs> yeah, I'll make a sports channel after, uh, after, after stream. You might have to remind me, though. Posh Dinosaur. Thanks for the Prime. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, I guess we confirmed that it works, which is kind of, you know, there's something to be said about that. Something to be said about that. That's positive. Um... I would be more mad if I saw the flea. And then it despawned because I was, you know, I didn't register it quick enough in my brain. And then I flicked the screen away. I would be more mad if I did that. I assume, like, is, did somebody clip the flea? Like, can I see what it looks like at least? Like, can I, can I, I just want to see it. Like, I just want to see what it looks like, you know? I just want to, like, get, a, get, a, get an eye for it, you know? Just know what I'm looking for. Like, was it obvious, or is it, like, pretty, pretty, like, excusable to have not seen it? Or is it, like, just totally obvious? I'm an idiot. Uh, I should really just, like, log off. I'm a, I'm not a true gamer. Like, how, how obvious was it? How obvious was it? It looks like the New Horizons flea. I mean, those aren't, like, that easy to spot. If there's any, like, copium for myself. It's not that easy to see those. Like, one pixel? Like, that's... That's not easy, man. That's not easy. Maybe I should listen for him instead of look for him. Then again, so many people saw him, so maybe it's... You know, maybe it's... Less obvious or more obvious than I make it out to be. I don't know. Alright, that's gone. Pretty difficult to see. Well, in that case, being that Chico is, like, probably the same color as the flea as well, I don't know, man. I really don't know how bad I feel. I don't know, but it's kind of tough to feel too bad about it. Kind of tough to feel too bad about it. Like, he's flicking up all these leaves. I'm like, what if there's a flea in there? The flea doesn't make a sound, only in the newer ones. See, this is, like... I'm getting, like, conflicting information because some people say, oh, yeah, they make a sound. Oh, some say they don't make a sound. So I don't know, man. I don't know what to believe. I don't know what to believe. I'll just, like, look out for it because the only thing I know for sure is that you can see them. The only thing I know for sure is that you can see them. It was a black dot swarming above his head. Was it, like, jumping off of him or is it, like, swarming? Like, a like, just around his head. Or is it, like, jumping off of them like they do in the newer games? It jumped off the back of his head. I kind of see a clip of it, chat. Like, I, I, I hope that somebody went back and clipped it, maybe. Because, like, I gotta know what to look out for. If I can see it, then I can know what to look out for in the future. Nope. I just wonder why they gave the character horns. It's yeah, a good question. I don't know, just kind of accept it. 
the reality. So it was jumping. Okay. Nope. Uh, villager moved in front of my bridge has the same fucking name as me. I tried to clip it, but it was too late. I mean, you can definitely, like, go back in the VOD and clip. I I think you can, at least. Flea has no sound. I checked the speed run. Okay. Well, I'll keep an eye out for it, then. I'll keep an eye out for it. Hey, man. You gotta... I mean, I gotta, I gotta hit him if he's gonna be hiding behind the freaking house. I look back in the VOD. It's so tiny. Okay. You, so I'm validated, then. I mean, I'm validated no matter what, because I'm a human being and I can make mistakes, but, I mean, I don't know, man. Like, it... Oh! Oh! Fuck! Oh! Mm -hmm. How are you supposed to catch that? Exactly, man! Thank you! Thank you! It's just... Uh, oh, bro, come on! Come on! You do it, then! It's not easy! It's hard, man! This is a tough game. I miss the banded dragonfly. Thank you, I'm uninteresting, for the eight months in a row. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That dragonfly cruised at 300 MPH. Sorry, I live my entire life around making fun of Americans. Can you put that in the metric system, please? It zoomed so fast. That John is fucking quick. I don't care what anyone tells me. You can make fun of me all you want. Okay? That thing is fast. That thing is freaking fast. The flea, okay, is easy to catch. It's just hard to find. It's, uh, what's the fucking banded dragonfly? Is both. Thank you for the hydrate. Hi. Got it. I got it. Okay. Alright. Right. I got it. Alright. Why are you sad, man? Why? Why are you sad? Why is he upset? Oh, fuck. I had a flea. Just get over it. Big baby. Seriously. Fucking cry. What is he so mad about? He's fucking... Oh, fucking... I single-handedly made it so that this video is not gonna be like 30 hours long. Oh. Gee, cheer up, you fucking loser. Jesus Christ. God damn. Yeah, maybe I took his friend. I don't know, maybe he said something like that in Japanese, I have no idea. That flea better be worth, like, ten grand. Alright, awesome. Okay, um, well now I guess we can try for a... a hermit crab and a banded dragonfly? Um, uh, I don't really know how... easy? I don't really know how hermit crabs work, but... I mean, banned dragonflies we just see occasionally. Yeah, you're welcome, rat. Like, dude, he's not even thankful for the fact that I got the flea off of him. My god. I don't know, the hermit crab, people said it actually is better to look for it in rain. I don't think a banded dragonfly would spawn in rain, would it? Can someone check for me? It might be a little specific to check. But... Does the banded dragonfly in Animal Forest E+, spawn in the rain? It's a little bit of a very specific question, but... I need the rain for a flea. The rain increases the chance of hermit crabs. And if I can get a banded dragonfly as well, then I mean... I probably want to try to find a... I probably want to try to find a rainy day then, to get the three things that I need before I can end this split. 
I don't know, though. I think I'm going to take a bathroom break while somebody does that research for me. Or maybe I can look it up myself here. Why are your villagers so gross? Oh, sorry, man. I guess I, I guess like I should have just picked better ones, right? I should have picked better ones. Let me see. I can maybe find it myself. Let's see. Let's go. I mean, I'll show you like the spreadsheet that I use here. Go here. So this is the spreadsheet with like everything about this game ever. Here's the banded dragonfly right here. Spawn in rain, no. Okay, so we need to have it on a sunny day. Okay. Well, in that case, we probably shouldn't leave today quite yet before we work on getting that. Okay. Well, I'm going to use the bathroom either way. Um, thank you all for being here thus far today. I very much appreciate it. Whoopsie daisies. That's my GeoGuessr screen. That's that's what I'd be looking at the entire time. Um, yeah, I'll be back in a couple of minutes while I take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. We're going to come back and uh, try to get a banded dragonfly, I guess. Try to get a banded dragonfly. If somebody can, um, if somebody can, like, figure out a way to get it in some sort of efficient manner, then I, I would appreciate it if such a manner exists, but, uh, yeah, let me know. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Do you think you should have stopped the timer? No, man. Timer don't stop for nobody. Timer don't stop for nobody. Your counter reset? Thank you. What were we at? I mean, it's, it's probably something I should do is anyways, check how many we have. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Okay, so we're at 28. Good to see. So while I was gone, did anyone... It's a 4% on the mainland. It's a 5% on the island. Can you... How big is the island? Can you unload and reload an, uh, an acre on the island? Like, how big is it? I've never been there before. I mean, but if that's the case, that's not... <laughs> It's not like a huge improvement. It's not like a huge improvement. It's two acres. Okay, so you could unload and then reload the same two acres. I mean... Look, if push comes to shove and I'm at like... Five hours and I still haven't got one, I can consider it. But, I don't know. Is there a way that, um... Is there a way that theoretically I could... Theoretically, I could hunt for a hermit crab and a banded dragonfly efficiently at the same time. The best way I can think of doing it is find an acre that has some beach in it and then find an acre that doesn't have many trees in it and keep, like, going back between those two acres. Like, keep, keep reloading that acre. Like, I mean, I don't know. Google says no. What do you mean Google says no to what? Just found a YouTube and marathon some of your videos. Great stuff that you do. Thank you. And then we're working on another one as we speak. Working on another one as we speak. Like this acre. I mean, this acre's got one, two, three, four trees in it. If I were to keep five, six, seven, eight, okay, I'll fuck myself. <laughs> and if I keep reloading this, I mean, I don't know how much longer my axe can hold out here. Probably not much longer. I think that tree technically isn't this acre. Damn it! Um, okay. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, time travel to another day. I mean, I have to find a rainy day at some point anyway, so, hmm, I don't know. Let's clean up all the shells that could be hermit crabs here. I mean, shit, let's just clean up all the shells anyway. No, I gotta just craft a new one. That's a regular crab, by the way. Don't get fooled. Just a regular crab. And, like, despawn all the shells, scare away anything that's on the trees, just, like, literally just keep doing a circle. I mean, I guess catch you just to get you to despawn here. Just get vamoose, scat, whoop, there you go. So when does that gosh darn flea come in? We already got the flea. We already got the flea. We already got the flea. We are good on the flea. We don't need to worry about it in this game or any future game. We are good. The flea is done. We are good. So luckily, 
we don't need to worry about that to be honest with you like that's not even the biggest pain in the ass i think in this game the fact that we have to go to the island to get coconuts and get the queen alexandra's uh petal tail butterfly those are the big pains in the asses man it's it's not the flea in this game it's not the flea in this game it's the coconut crab i need to go get a coconut it's the queen alexandra's bird wing it's the hercules beetle as well so there's a lot of things in this game that are going to be more difficult than the flea i feel and the hercules beetle yep so i don't know i feel like the flea is not even our biggest enemy here every time i catch a flea i think about you so you probably never think about me then. Which, you know, that's kind of fair. I had no idea the, I the island had special bugs. Well, it does in this game. In the original Animal Crossing that had the island, it did not. That was only a thing in Animal Forest E+. So that's probably why. That's probably why you didn't know. Because you probably never played this version of the game. And I don't blame you because it was a Japan-only exclusive version of the game. Where the only reason I'm able to play is because I can emulate it. The power of emulation. Okay. It happened twice. That's true. We did see two fleas. So, but we, you know, we only caught one. Okay. I mean, you know. Still pretty good. Yeah, but that's probably why you didn't know. Are you playing on the Japanese version? Because it has bugs that are not in any other English version. Of Animal Crossing. Specifically, it's Animal Forest E+, which introduces some bugs. And my tentative rule for this challenge is to... Is where if a bug debuts in a certain game, that's the game I gotta catch it in. So that's why I wanna try to get it in Animal Forest E+, as opposed to Wild World. Because, yeah, the, the petal tail is in Wild World. Ugh! The petal tail is in Wild World, as is the Hercules beetles. The coconut crab is not, so that the coconut crab specifically is only in Animal Forest E+, so that's why I'm playing Animal Forest E+. A lot of the reason why I'm playing Animal Forest E+, because of the damn coconut crab. Like, I would legitimately like to see other people try and do this. Like, I, 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 I'm not a bad Animal Crossing player, man. I, I think I'm, like, of average skill set. For as much as you could be skilled in an Animal Crossing game. I mean, come on, man, it's Animal Crossing. But, like, I like to think that as far as the average skill set of an Animal Crossing player, I'm kind of up there. But, I don't really think that, like... Oh, oh, I don't know, man. This is fucking insane. Like, this is re-e-fucking-donkulous. This is a little ridiculous. Alexandra Swallowtail, 0.93%. On the island? That's pretty rare. But with only two acres, and then with a little, like, you know, bring some axes and chop down some trees, if that's even possible, I feel like that won't be too, too bad. I feel like that won't be too too bad. Like you see this darner dragonfly that I missed three chances for. You don't you don't even get three. You don't even get like one most of the time with those fucking bandit dragonflies. I don't know. Guacamole guy or salsa guy? I'm a salsa guy, although like with tortilla chips, like the, uh, assuming this question's being asked with the assumption that we're eating tortilla chips, I'd probably just go for like a nice. Like, cheese. Like, I'm, I'm a cheese guy beyond anything else. The Banded Dragonfly is a reference to Sonic the Hedgehog? No, man, I think the Banded Dragonfly is a reference to the Banded Dragonfly, which is a real bug. I think. Like, that's, my, that's always been my assumption of it, but, like... I don't know. I think it's a reference to the, to, the, to the Banded Dragonfly that exists in real life. Like, this is fucked. Like, if I if I ran towards that thing to catch up to it, it probably would have gotten scared away. If anything, though, it's nice how we're seeing so many of them because it's given me confidence that it shouldn't take too, too much longer. Like, but if I had run up to that thing to try to catch it, I don't think... I think it would have gotten scared. Like, I think it would have gotten scared away. I don't think I would have caught it. I don't think I would have caught it. So... I don't know, but it's like, it's nice that at least I'm seeing so many of them. Like, I am seeing a lot of fucking banded dragonflies. But, I don't know. 
The Banded Dragonfly is a real-life reference to Sonic? Like, the Banded Dragonfly evolved purely because Sonic? Maybe, man. I don't know. I suppose it's possible, though. I suppose it's possible. Hedgehogs are actually a Sonic reference? That's true. Now, that's not even possible. That's just fact. That's just fact. They evolved solely because they were like, oh, Sonic and Hedgehog. That's my theory. I think it's true. Ask Neil deGrasse Tyson, or as I like to call him, Neil Smoke deGrasse Tyson. Go give him a ring, man. I think he'll confirm that. He's smart scientist, man. The frame rate of butterflies. Yeah, the frame rate of the game. Fucking beautiful. Clean, smooth, 60 FPS. Hey, that's a stink bug. Do I need... Or is that a drone beetle? Which one is that? Have I caught that before? What is that? I feel like... Is that a drone beetle or a stink bug? Are they the same thing? Is that one of these? What is that? What did I just catch? Yeah, the frame rate of the game, though, is fucking amazing. And then the frame rate of the fucking bugs is... It's like 2 FPS, man. I think it's this thing, right? It's gotta be. And in that case, I probably caught it already. I don't know, though. I don't know if that's a new catch. Do you like pineapple on pizza? I've never had it before, man. I've never had it before. Never had it. God added echidnas in reference to Sonic the Hedgehog 2? Yeah, I believe that. I believe that. It didn't look like a stink bug. It kind of did. I don't even know if a stink bug is in this game, though. I don't know. I don't know. Get over here. What's your favorite pizza, though? I don't know, man. Like, uh, fucking... Uh, I don't know. It depends on my mood. All right. It depends on my mood, man. Like, I, I could be, like, a, just a... I could just be in the mood for a cheese pizza sometimes. I'll be like, I want nothing more than just, like, a cheese pizza. I don't want anything else on it. I just want cheese. No pepperoni, no bacon, no sausage, no nothing. I don't know, man. You catch me in the right mood, it might be a cheese pizza. Just a plain-ass cheese pizza. If you catch me in the right mood, maybe it'll be a pepperoni pizza. Maybe if I'm in a super saucy mood, it'll be like a barbecue chicken bacon pizza. But shit, man, like, objectively, I don't know. It's really tough to say. I know you're a PA guy, Wawa or Sheets. I'm Team Sheets. If you're Team Wawa, respectfully, respectfully, and I can't say this enough, because what I'm about to say is going to be really brutal to hear. You're wrong. But if you're Team Sheets, then you're all right. I kind of hate pizza, NGL. I mean, that's like high treason, I feel. I feel like that's like high treason, man. Yeah, Sheets is based. I think it's kind of based, but like, I don't know, based on the internet, like, saying based on the internet, that has so, diff so many different meanings. <clears throat> you're son of a fuck. You're son of a fuck. You know that you're a real fuck. You're a real fuck, you know that? Oh, I hate you. I hate you. I'm gonna curse your mother. Um, yeah, like, what's it mean to be based? I don't know. Like, sometimes I'll be seeing, like, people throw around, like, based when someone, like, insults a, a demographic of people, and I'm like, that's not very based. But, like, when Sheets is based, I'm like, yeah, you're right. It's kind of cool, right? But I don't know. Sheets and Wawa, what even are they? They're, like, gas station convenience stores, um, Sheets being notoriously Western Pennsylvania, Wawa being notoriously Eastern Pennsylvania. In, the, in Pennsylvania, there's, like, this battle between Wawa or Sheets. Which one is better? It was a drone beetle. Yeah, I have a drone beetle already, I think. And it's kind of like this battle between which one's better, Wawa or Sheets. It's like the interstate battle. So, I don't know. I'm Team Sheets. I'm Team Sheets myself. Yeah, I missed it again. It's it's fine. How many is that now? It's like six, seven. Yeah, kind of sad. Battle in Virginia as well. Damn, are they all the way down in Virginia as well? Hmm. Oh well. I know that Wawa's quite, uh, quite, you know, far away from Pennsylvania. I didn't know Sheets was that far away. I think Sheets likes to keep it close to home. I'm Team Bushies. Bussies? Bussies? What the heck is that, man? I've never heard that before. 
There's a Royal Farms in PA? I don't know what Royal Farms is, man. It's like the ugly stepchild from the sounds of it. Some PA shit? Yeah, it's just PA things, okay? It's pronounced Bucky's. I'm not gonna pronounce that as Bucky's. I'm gonna pronounce it as Bushy, like Gary Bushy. Or Bussies, alternatively. This is ridiculous, man. Like, this is insulting. That's just insulting, man. A gigantic Texas gas station? I thought that Texas gas stations were like the come and go. Spelled hilariously K-U-M and go. Like... Like, they actually made a place called Damn Come and Go. I thought that that, like, when I went through, like, the Midwest, those were the gas stations that I saw were the Damn Come and Goes, which is hilarious. But, don't you guys, like, heb down there? I know it's not a gas station, it's, like, an actual supermarket, but, like, y'all, like, heb down there. H-E-B? Heb? How do you say it? I never knew. I think it's, I think it's heb. Like, you, you, you say it, you don't spell it out. What language is your game in, and why? Uh, it's in Japanese, because it's the Japanese exclusive version of the game. Which has exclusive bugs. The letters H-E-B. Okay. Do you ever call it the Heb? Like, do you always say it, or do you ever, like, actually, like, call it the Heb? Like, if I went to Texas, and I said, Hey, I'm going to the Heb. What y'all want? Or, uh, Hey, I need to buy a new AR-12 from the Heb. Y'all want anything while I'm there? Like, would y'all get mad at me? I would get castrated? Interesting. Interesting. If you only go to Sheets or Wegmans, which one would you pick? I mean, Wegmans has everything. Sheets doesn't have everything. Wegmans got everything, though. They're completely different. It's like apples to oranges, man. It's like apples to oranges. Like, I don't know. It's like... You want, sheets is good for, like, a quick trip. If you need, like, a pack of smokes or a, and a lottery ticket. But Wegmans is good for if you need both of those things and your entire week's worth of groceries. Uh, geez, you might need, like, some new cookware. You can get that at Weggies. I mean, Wegmans is good for a lot, man. Quick Trip has Fago, and that's an automatic win. Yeah, we had Fago at Sheets, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, that's not a quick treat. You ain't special. Delicious Carolina Reaper cheese puffs. Not spicy, though. How are you going to call something Carolina Reaper, like, like the second hottest pepper in the world, and then not have it be spicy? Unless your spice tolerance is just insane, how can it not be spicy? That's, that's impossible. I discussed Wegmans at some point. Not sponsored. I just like Wegmans. I just like Wegmans. It's just good. It's just good. That's only like the second walker cicada that I've seen, actually. It's kind of weird. And also, no hermit crabs. A uh, guy from Mega Mind Face, where he goes like, or something like that. Yeah, like, no hermit crabs. Like, am I doing something wrong with the hermit crabs? Should I not even be trying for, like, a hermit crab right now? Because there's no point. I know that they're sp more often in rain, but, like, not even at all. I have an emote for that. Interesting. What What is it called? No dogs, I see. You only get Walmart and Shell? Well, you guys, you can't get mad at that, okay? In Canada, you only have Walmart and Shell. Yeah, you had Target, but then you fucked it up. You had Target, but then it closed down. Okay? So don't get mad that you only have Walmart and Shell when you blew your chance of getting Target. Okay? You fucked up. The guy is Megamind? That's his name? His name is just Megamind? It's not like... Ralph or something? I don't know. It's fucked up, man. They also have Toys R Us. Y'all still got Toys R Us up there in Canada? Oh, that's crazy. Huh. How are they doing? Yeah, I managed to get the flea. Now it's the banded dragonfly and the hermit crab. Ralph breaks Megamind? Yeah, maybe that's what I was thinking. Ralph from the Wreck-It Ralph. I don't know. You haven't seen Megamind? No, I haven't seen Megamind before, man. Sorry. I know, I know. Ooh. I think. That has to be. A hermit crab. Alright, um... Well... Uh, this is still, like, kind of tough because I still need the damn Banded Dragonfly. 
Um. So. Just thinking. Just having to think. I guess let's go back to, like, the acres where we cut down all the trees. Good luck with the flea grind. We're already done with the flea. We're already done with the flea. We got the flea. We are good. We are Gucci. All Gucci. With the flea. It's the banded dragonfly. And it's the... What did I just do? It's the banded dragonfly. And that's it. Like, that's all we need right now. And then after that, I mean, I have a whole different, like, list of things that I need after that. But none of them are very hard. Like, after this, we have to go to a rainy day in July in the morning, like the very early morning. But none of the things that we need at that time are very tough to get. I guess there's some rare beetles, but I really don't feel like those should be too bad. I don't feel like those should be too bad at all. We'll see. <clears throat> the way he walks up to you when you enter the store, it's pretty good, right? It's pretty good. Oh, sorry, I just gotta do a stretch. Oh. What's up, Artsy? How are you doing? When you time travel, pay off your debt. But I time travel backwards in the run. Does it count if you do it like that? I guess I don't have to go backwards, but I feel like... If you time travel forwards, you might get a lot of weeds, and then you might get the Rafflesia, and then that might make so that nothing can spawn. So, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I should probably at least get it paid off, though, right? And then confirm it with him? I don't know, though. I love Low Poly Tom Nook. He's pretty good. I like him. My first time watching your stream? Welcome. Welcome. I hope you enjoy your time here. Alright, I guess let's... Do you pay it off at, like, the ABD? Or... Like, at the Town Hall? Like you do in future games? Or is that... Do you do it directly to him in this game? I honestly don't think I've ever done it. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever paid off my debt in this game before. It isn't in this game. Okay, well, that's good at least. The post office. Okay, you pay it... Right, 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 right. It's not, like, not that machine. That's the e-reader machine. That's the e-reader machine. Alright, so that's mail a letter. This is probably... Yeah, that's the debt. Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. And then... There we go. There you go, big man. Paying off his big man debts. Look at him. Oops. No, I'm good. Alright, very good. Now let's go back and talk to Tom. He'll be like, okay, you want to confirm your expansion? I'll be like, yeah. That's such a good sound. Just a good sound. I think that, that used to be my subscription sound before I changed it. Maybe it was better that way. I don't know. I like it. I miss hearing that. Mostly because I got money whenever I heard it. I forgot to tell you, I'm moving to Alberta. Only real reason why I'm moving is it's cheaper there. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I, I hope it works out for you, man. That's a big move. It's a big move. But I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, man. Um, what, what's he gonna ask me? He's gonna, like, ask me to... Okay, so that's probably confirming the expansion, and then this is roof color, probably. Um... Sure. That one. Green. I'm gonna assume green. If I'm right, ten gift subs. Just kidding, by the way. Not... I'm not actually. ACGC sound samples? They're so good, man. Like, the sound effects in this game are so good. Or, like, the little blurbs and bibs. Alright. So, acre where there's little to no trees. Acre where there's little to no trees to try to get a banded dragonfly to spawn. I mean, I got flowers in this acre, but that's not bad. Like, I don't think... I can catch whatever spawns on the flowers very quickly, so I don't know. About the hoot noises in this game. It's so ear... It is good, dude. It's genuinely very good. It's genuinely very good. All right, well, time to refresh uh, acres over and over again. Hang on. I saw something. Okay, just you. 
Time to refresh the acres over now. Y'all were tired of refreshing the acres when I was trying to get the hermit crab? Oh, sucks for you, I guess. I guess we'll have to do this for the snail as well, but I don't reckon the snail should take too long. If only the banded dragonflies spawned in the rain, then we can try to knock both of those out at the same time, but... Oh well. Oh well. Help. The occasional meows are so cute. Yeah, luckily it just changed to 2 o'clock, so the meows are no longer... The meows are no longer here, but oh well. Still, all the hourly tracks in this game are good. Okay, I'm back. Did you catch it yet? Catch what? I feel like I've had... It, there's been like a few different things that I've spent amount of time catching. What specifically are you referencing? No banded dragonfly yet? No, it's the, that's the I, honestly like, dude. I really think that that's the only like tough thing I have remaining in this game. I think the only tough thing I have remaining is the banded dragonfly. I like maybe some of the beetles might be rare, but I don't really think it's going to be particularly tough to catch. We got the flea, we got the motherfucking hermit crab. I mean, even the coconut crab, which takes like a lot to catch, like it takes like a lot of free, you know, things to do to get it. It's really not tough to catch. Catch those cicadas, you'll need the money. Yeah, I probably should, you're right. Probably should. But where is the, there, okay, cool. Yeah, I probably catch the cicadas, especially considering Nook's Cranny's right here as well. First time catching you live. Love your YouTube content. Thank you, Eternal Sunshine. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I don't know. It probably is worth it. Like, I'm like, oh, they're only worth probably like a couple of hundred. But I guess every little bit counts, right? Every little bit counts. I do have... If I get to the end of all the mainland bugs in this game, I have a... I have a trick up my sleeve for getting something that uh, for getting money quickly there's a glitch in this game where you can there's a dupe glitch in the game i mean i feel like every animal crossing game has like a dupe glitch to it some of them are multiplayer some of them are like single player there's a tricky glitch that you can do to where you can essentially duplicate an item that you put in your house so if i really am at the need if I really need, if I really need money after getting all the things that I can catch on the mainland, I do have a trick up my proverbial sleeve. But we'll worry about that. We'll burn that bridge should we need to. Should we need to. Feels like the dra banded dragonfly always spawns at the bottom of the screen. Uh, I haven't noticed, but if you feel, I don't know, if other people feel that way, I suppose I could believe it. I'm returned from showering. I am now clean. Happy to hear, Storm Clouds. Hell yeah, I'm glad that you're clean. Nothing better than a nice, pleasing shower. Thank. Do you like cod? Like the meal in real life? Uh, I like fish. I don't know if I've ever had cod. I thought you were talking about the video game at first, in which case, not a huge fan, but uh, I don't know. I like fish. I'd have a hard time believing that there's a fish out there that I probably wouldn't like, although I'm not a big tuna guy. Not a big tuna guy. Apparently, I apparently know more about Animal Crossing than my therapist who's been a fan of the series since the GameCube version. So you're gonna be so bold as to, like, call them, like, a fake fan? I don't know, man. It's, that's what it sounds like to me. How about shellfish? Let's see. I mean, shellfish is, like, I mean, fish for... Seafood with a shell, like oysters, clams. And I've never had oysters or clams. I've never had lobster. I've never had crab. So I guess, really, like, a lot of my shellfish... Well, I haven't had any. I haven't had any shellfish, really. Maybe I gotta go to, like, some high-class dining establishment that specializes in, like, seafood and shellfish, specifically, like, a red lobster or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, the tell your therapist, ah, you're not as good as my Twitch streamer. I mean, I might even be a better therapist for all you know. My water heater broke yesterday and I never realized how much I take a warm shower for granted. That's why I don't understand people who are like, I only take cold showers. They, they invigorate me in the morning. I'm like, there's nothing worse than the feeling of like cold water hitting your body in the morning. Like, yeah, it wakes you up. But you know what else like wakes you up? 
like a nuclear bomb going off outside your window just because it's a good wake up that invigorates you does not mean that it's a welcome thing it does not mean that it's a good thing I, it's just like yeah i love the feeling of punching myself in the goddamn face every morning yeah oh it's invigorating no for all the wrong reasons yeah Like, I don't know, you want cold water, like, you could splash it on your face. I've done that before when I'm tired, I'll, like, splash cold water on my face. I'm not gonna splash my whole fucking body in cold water, man, nah. Forget that. It's the same kind of people that, like, have their entire life, like, to a schedule, totally in control. And they'll claim that they're like, oh, I'm, I'm happy the way that I am, you know? I, I, here's the people that like the cold showers, okay? I wake up at 3.30 a.m. and I go on a two-hour run. I eat five protein shakes for dinner and then I take a cold shower in the morning. I sit in my, uh, single, in my, in my, uh, $3,000 a month, uh, studio apartment bedroom in downtown New York City. And then after I'm done, after my entire day is done, I like to wind down with a couple episodes of Seinfeld before I go to sleep at 6.30. That's the kind of people that like cold showers, man them kinds of people to an extent i envy those kinds of people because they do have like a a routine a sense of stability in their life but i'm not that i'm not that don't call me i'm not calling you out because again like to an extent i envy you but like not not your three thousand dollars a month rent that's not really what i envy you about but like to an extent you have your life in control you know everything in your day is like calculated and coordinated so I don't know. It's like, on one hand, I envy you. On the other hand, it's like, I don't know. Every kind of person that, like, takes cold showers is, like, the same kind of person like that. Like, the gym bros. Yeah, kind of. If they're not going on their morning run, they're going to, like, the fucking... The, the Planet Fitness down the road, you know? Worst villager in Animal Crossing? What's your favorite villager? Those people who drink enriched water for breakfast? Yeah, boxed water is better. Yeah, same. You played Toontown as a kid? No. No, I never played Toontown or no no Wizard 101 either. Sorry to report. I take them because I'm poor. Well, that's fair. That's perfectly fine. There's good reason. Girl boss, etc. I actually talking about you in therapy earlier. We were talking about... What we were gonna do after our meeting, I said I was gonna watch your stream. Yo, shout outs to my boy. Yeah, I mean, you know, you gotta gotta get my name out there any way possible. Shout outs to my boy, twitch.tv slash Dagnal. You know, give me give me a shout out to your therapist. You know, every viewer counts. Every viewer I'm only half kidding. Gym bros aren't allowed in Planet Fitness. That's true. They got that lunk alarm where if you like if you're acting like a gym bro, they'll set off the entire... They'll set off the alarm at the Planet Fitness. That's kind of true. On one hand, it's like... That's kind of cool how they discourage the behavior of people being, like, excessively obnoxious gym bros. On the other hand, I'm like... Don't they do that shit for attention? And by setting off the lunk alarm, you're doing exactly what they want you to do and give them attention? I don't know. I feel like that's exactly, like, what they want when they do stuff like that. And also, like, what if somebody who's not a gym bro, like, makes a mistake and, like, drops a weight? And then they're like, oh, lunk. And then they hit the alarm, just bringing, like, making an ass out of this person who made, like, a genuine mistake. I don't know. I, I don't really like the, the whole lunk alarm thing. Although I do like how Planet Fitness, like, discourages gym bro behavior. I just don't know if they do it in a great way. I just don't know if they do it in a great way. That's really all I'm saying. My mom just called you Dad Noel. I'm okay with that. You know, like grunt. Like when somebody like grunts, like they'll, they'll like lift a heavy weight and they'll go like, Hoo! and they'll be a lunk. And it's like, no, man, I'm just exasperated by this very heavy weight that I have to, you know, lift. It's not a lunk. Keep getting ads for Top Gun 2? Apparently a lot of people are getting Top Gun 2 ads today. Could be my anti-socialness, but gyms scare me. I mean, if I could get, like, just as good of a exercise at home, I would definitely prefer that. 
Why do you want to alert everyone to it with a huge alarm? Surely it's better to quietly deal with it? Yeah, like, basically. I don't know. I, I went, I used to have a membership to Planet Fitness. They were pretty good. At least mine was. I suppose your local one may vary, but I thought it was fine. I never had the lunk alarm set off by me or by anyone else in the gym while I was there. So really, it's probably like just something that is there, but probably never really actually comes into play. I don't know. Aloha Daydream. Thanks so much for the subscription. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I thought you guys were joking about the alarm. No, we're not joking about the alarm. The, the Look up the Lunk Alarm Planet Fitness. It's very much a thing. It seems, like, absurd, but no, it's very true. I forgot I had Prime. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. No one needs to subscribe, though. I appreciate that. I have a Ring Fit for my gym at home. Hey, man, I don't have Ring Fit. Is it actually, like, is, is it actually like a good exercise? I've never done it before. I've never done it before. I also wouldn't play it on stream. I'm not like, you know, like I play Switch Sports, but I'm not really looking to get like too sweaty on stream, you know? I'll do my workout to my own time. All worth it when you get Froggy Chair. Well, I appreciate that. Enjoy your Froggy Chair and your other emotes as well. And your other emotes as well. Mm, something, something's got to be around here, man. There's, there's nothing else. Nothing on the flowers. Nothing on the trees. Suppose there could be something in the trees. Unless just nothing spawned. Something got to be in the trees, right? Gotta, something got to be in the trees. Yo, spider snack. Thank you. Thanks for the five gift subs. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. That's amazing. Thank you. For the gift subs, too. Who got them? Sarah Strawberra, Bloody Rose, Sleepy Pyro, Lundov, and Angel Marie. Everyone enjoy your emotes and your ad-free viewing courtesy of Spider Snack. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And thank you, Bumbelina. has been watching your videos for a while. Finally managed to get to a stream. Appreciate all your work. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it very much. Thank you very much. Thank you again, Spider Snack, as well. Been helping me a lot during COVID quarantine. Just wanted to say thanks for the great content. You're welcome. Thank you for enjoying it. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Something. Something. Dragon? Fly? A fly that is a dragon? Nothing at all? There's another spider. No room for me to do ring fit? Yeah, that's also true. I don't really have a whole lot of room in my room, which is really just a closet, to do ring fit. So that's also another good reason as to why i never done ring fit before. just don't really have the facilities with which to do so. Heading to my school dance in an hour, I gotta say. I'm looking pretty dapper. There you go. Hell yeah, dude. Never have I felt confidence in myself before a school dance. So you got me beat on that one. You got me beat on that one. I hope you enjoy it, though. I hope you enjoy it. Why not cut down the tree? Uh, I don't have an axe anymore. I mean, I suppose, like, I'm gonna have to time travel anyway to another day to get the snail, but then I'm gonna need it to be raining, and I'm like... I don't know. And also, like, you also told me to catch the cicadas, though, so I'm like, I don't know, it is still kind of serving a purpose. Yeah, roaches on flowers, the multi-talented kings. I don't know. I feel like uh, it probably would help to cut it down. Unfortunately, I don't have an axe anymore, though. No, I'm working on the banded dragonfly. I'm working on it. And also the, uh... Well, no, just the banded dragonfly, really. The snail will be when it rains, but that is, like, next on the list after that. Uh, but yeah, I guess I could try time travel to a day, have him have an axe, cut down the- cut down the tree. Yeah, I guess let's do that. If nothing else, to, like, mix it up a little bit. Sixth grade school dance, they were blasting Minecraft song parodies. When I was in the sixth grade, Minecraft wasn't even out. That's crazy. Like, Minecraft song... First of all, that's awesome, because Minecraft song parodies, like... 
I mean, dude, they're good. Like, I don't know, man. You goof on it all you want, man. Minecraft song parodies. Them things just hit different sometimes. <laughs> Some There's legitimately a fair few amount of Minecraft parody songs that are better than the songs that they parodied, okay? All I'm saying is I be singing and I'll blow stuff up with my TNT more than I be singing Dynamite by Tayo Cruz, okay? That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying it's better, but I am saying I could tell you which one's catchier and had more of an impact on my youth. No, we can't listen to it on stream, unfortunately. I don't want to have to... I don't want to... I don't want to get emotional. I don't want to get emotional on my stream, okay? How many bugs are in this game? 48. 48. Yo, where'd my man's eyes go? You got eyes, man. Or or is or his nostrils his eyes? Sniffa? Alright, let's go back, see if we can't find a rainy day. Although I should probably go forward to get my house expanded. Yeah. Hang on. Here. Let's go forward to get my house expanded. I don't know if it'll get expanded when you go backwards. Yeah, it's fine. Front-facing hippo. Front-facing Biff can't hurt you. He's not real. Front-facing Biff. Is it really a middle school dance if they didn't play Cotton Eye Joe? Oh, of course not. Cotton Eye Joe and the one where they go like, uh, cha-cha real smooth. I believe it's called the cha-cha slide. I don't know if you had a middle school dance if you did not have either of those songs. Yeah. I don't know if you actually had a middle school dance. I think... I think... I think you just... I dreamt it. Huh? He's expanding. You son of a bitch. You fucking turd. Shoulda got them apple bottom jeans. Boots with the fur. With the fur! Yeah, that one as well, huh? That one as well. Alright, I um, guess let's go another day ahead. And it's actually kind of good, because being that it's going to be Nook and Go, he'll have more tools available, therefore more likely to have an axe, so maybe it's not so much a bad thing. The whole crowd is looking at her. What's amazing is that if a song came out in, like, the years 2009 to 2012, and it reached a level of popularity... There's, like, a 100% chance that there's a Minecraft song parody about it. Like, what's the biggest... Okay, not even the biggest one. Somebody look up for me. What's, like, the... What was, like, the the the, the eighth biggest song of, like, 2011? 2010, 2011, some year like that. And then, do me a favor, look up what that song was, and then type into YouTube... The name of the song, and then Minecraft parody. And I can probably guarantee you a fair few amount of results will show up. Gangnam Style? I thought it's gotta be number one, man. There's no way it's number eight. No way. Surely. I wanna say Granada by Bruno Mars. Grenade? I would catch a grenade for... I... I would... Hmm... I would go to the end with ya, and then, like, y'all fighting the Ender Dragon or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. Alright, it's raining. Cool. Alright, so we're getting the snail today, and great singing. Thanks, man. It's my four hours streaming voice. Um, we, we get the snail. It's, the mission, mission is simple. We get the snail. It's a simple mission. Super bass by Nicki Minaj. Oh, there's gotta be a super bass. Oh, come on. There's gotta be a super bass parody of Nicki Minaj. Oh, you can't even... Come on now. I, I, I don't even need to look that one up to verify. On the Floor by Jennifer Lopez and Pitbull was 11 in 2011. It's crazy, but that song is now 11 years old as well. Ain't that fucked up? I mean, dude, I should be getting a snail, like, double time. I got a rock and I got flowers. What? No snail? Mega Mind face? Where's my snail? Bad romance or poker face? Oh, any Lady Gaga song has a Minecraft parody about it. 
Where's my snail? I'm literally going between like two things that can spawn a snail and I ain't getting nothing. Hey, what's up, big man? Oh, he's got a tumbleweed. Hell yeah. 125,000 for my next loan. I mean, I'm already kind of like halfway there. Um, axe? No? You're a dirty bitch, you know that? You're a dirty bitch. What does the squid... What does the squid say? Oh, fuck. That's, got, that's later than 2011, right? Surely, I'm not that old. What a dapper gentleman. He's kind of dapper, man, yeah. He's kind of... He's kind of dripping. Kind of guy dripping so much sauce, gotta been looking like Ragu. No, not that song? What do you mean, not that song, man? Like, look, it wasn't my favorite song, but what does the fox say is hardly the worst. You know? What does the fox say? And it goes like, ring ding 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 <laughs> It's hardly the worst, man. That's not 2013! Get out of here! No! I was a senior in high school, man. There's no way. I was a senior in high school. I specifically remember my song, my friend telling me about that song. There's no way. There's not a chance that was 2013. Get the fire. It's 2014. 2014, surely. Unless, like, that song did not get popular until, like, well after its release. Like, I think I definitely heard about that song in, like, 2014. Like, come on. You can't mess with me like that. You can't do that. September 2013. Wow, you're not fucking with me. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. I don't know. I was a freshie in high school. Damn, y'all are like kids. It's insane. My first grade teacher played that all the time. She was like 50. I feel like that's like a song that 50 year old would love. I don't know. That makes total sense. That's not weird. IMHO. You were a senior in high school? Damn, I'm old? Like, I know me saying that. It'll be like, oh, Dagnall, you're so... Don't make me feel old. But then I'd be seeing, like, how y'all are still in high school. And I'm like, damn, I'm the fucking old fart. I'm the fucking dickhead. This is in my fourth year of teaching. Look at Grandpa over here. Hey, he's teaching what? The uh, granny's at the retirement home? Nah, I'm not an old fart. I'm young. I'm hip. I'm with it. Tucka, 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 tucka. I'm cool, man. Get over here, man. I need a snail. A snail is not that rare. Now, surely, a snail is not this rare. Sky's Minecraft parody was the first Minecraft parody I saw. Makes me sad. It makes you sad because he's a shit person, right? Like, you know, seeing one of your YouTube idols as a kid and then having, you know, growing up only to find them being like a huge dickhead years down the line. I've had that happen with a couple of YouTubers of mine. It's always a bad feeling. 13 or 14 in my cringe years. We all still in our cringe years, man. Don't act like you're above that. We're all there. We're all still there. So many YouTubers I used to watch turned out to be nonces. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's kind of disgusting, right? The cringe years never stop. Yeah, I don't... Wait, that can still spawn in rain. Interesting. I'm thinking Tabuscus. I... See, I don't remember, like, Tabuscus specific. I remember the drama about it, but I don't know. I don't remember anything about it. But yeah, I used to like Tabuscus as well. I remember, like, he introduced me to, like, Terraria on his, like, Toby Games channel. I was like, dude, this is awesome. And then, like, yeah, I don't know, years down the line, I'm like, oh, he was actually an asshole. And I'm like, well, shit. Luckily... A lot of the YouTubers I used to watch, I, I don't know, not too many of them turned out to be bad people. I still watch a lot of ones that are good. Like Ethos Lab. Pretty much the only Minecraft YouTuber I still watch. Nugget biscuit, nugget and a biscuit. Oh my god, dude, don't hit me with me. Remember casual blackface on YouTube in like 2008? No, I don't remember that. I don't remember that. Just a little casual blackface. No, I don't. I didn't have high-speed internet until, like, 2010, so I missed a lot of the, like, good parts of YouTube before I had, like, you know, high-speed internet, man. Like, I when I had to, like, get my dial-up and it took me, like, 10 minutes to load a video and they're like, Ah, get off the dial-up! There's somebody that might call us! 
You cannot afford forward, forward my diamond sword, sword. Oh my gosh. Why? Okay, a snail. We're, we're on the same page here. A snail is not. A snail is. A snail is a very common creature. A snail is a very common thing. This is not. This is not usual, right? This is not. This is. This is. This is unusual, correct? Like, I'm not crazy. I guess let me go buy another flower or two. How many there are available? Yeah, loading char Charlie, Charlie, Candy Mountain Child. Oh my god, don't even start with me. I guess let's buy some more flowers? I don't know. Like, I don't think I need more. They're pretty common? That's what I thought. Charlie bit my finger? Yeah, or me at the zoo or something like that. I'm 28, I still love Charlie. I've been- I, I've been watching a lot of Happy Tree Friends. <laughs> Not so much lately. Um, but yeah, like, YouTube's been, like, recommending me, like, Happy Tree Friends on YouTube. I'm like, damn, that's a fucking throwback, dude. That's a throwback for me. My friends would be, like, showing me Happy Tree Friends back in, like, middle school. I'm like, oh, jeez, this looks violent. I don't think y'all- I don't think you guys should be watching this. Carl, that kills people. Oh, gee, oh, what? Oh. Homestar Runner? Never got into Homestar Runner. Never got into it. Lemonade Stand? Lemonade Stand on CoolMathGames.com? That was, like, my introduction into microeconomics, man. Like, I- I was kind of a gamer. I was kind of a Lemonade Stand gamer. My friend scarred me with salad fingers. I don't want to know what salad fingers is. I saw llamas with hats first. Isn't the guy that made llamas with hats like making like a TV show now? So many years down the line? I don't know his name, but yeah. Apparently he's doing well for himself, I guess. Pretty pog. I, I was scarred with My Little Pony creepy pastas. I never got that obsession. Never got the, the My Little Pony obsession myself. Like, understood it. Papa's Pizzeria? The, the fucking Papa games were like, they're so stupid. Like, no no offense to Papa or their the players, the purveyors of their games, but like, they're all the same, man. All the Papa's games are the same, it's just there's different foods. And, oh, this one you have to sprinkle syrup on the ice cream, so it's different. It's different than Papa's Burgeria, where you have to, uh, to put the condiments on the burger and cook them to the right rarity as the customer orders. It's different, I swear! No, it's the same game, man. They're all the same. It's, it's Papa's got you damn- Papa's got you in a damn- He's got you in a ruse! Next, he's gonna start selling you essential oils, man! Papa's essential oilery! And then you're gonna be like, No, it's good, it's good! No, it's not good! You're being put through a ruse. It's all pyramid scheme. Papa's pyramid scheme, more like. It's bullshit. Don't fall for it, chat. Y'all be like, NFTs are bad, and then new Papa's Pizzeria comes out, and you're like, so true, so true. Stop being a hater. How about stop being a liker? How about instead of liking my stream, you start liking my videos on YouTube and start subscribing with your bunny on Twitch, okay? How about that? Papa, Papa's Pyramid Schema. Jesus Christ, man, that took forever. For a damn snail. All ever is snail. It took me that long. Christ, me. My God. Jesus. For a snail. Like, it's just, I thought, like, the tough part would be finding a rainy day, for goodness sakes. So true, bestie. So true. I know. I know. That was... Really embarrassing. And, like, the world record for this shit did it, like, over an hour? Christ, that took me, like, ten minutes in itself. For a snail! Anyway, um, now... Go to the next day. Get an axe. Chop down more things. Get a bandit. I don't care if I have to deforest the entire island, man. I don't care about the deforce the entire island. I'm getting this fucking banded dragonfly today. I just want to get the banded dragonfly and then be done for today, okay? It's already been four and a half hours. I'm dying out here. My voice ain't meant to go this long. 
Today is Bruce's birthday. Just gave him a killer B-Day gift. What'd you give him? Not self-promoting? What do you mean, self-promoting? Would self-promote... It's not self-promoting if it's in my own stream. That's just promoting. I don't know. I feel like... Can you get mad at me for promoting my things in my own stream? Would you play Papa's Diarrhea? No, man, I don't think I would play Papa's Diarrhea. I don't think I would. Would that be like he runs like a funeral home? Like, die Aria. The red and black bulldog jacket? Oh, that, that suits him. That suits him. It was from what you said before? Oh, okay, I got you. No problem, then. Alright, we want... Seven, seven, sure. Is there a better time for it than whatever I set it to, like 2.30? Probably not. I don't really... I think that, like, things have peak dates. I don't really think they have peak times, though. Papa's Morgaria. Yeah, there you go. Sprinkle a little... Yeah, sew up the patient's eyeball. It's, it's different. It's cool. I promise. Let's at least check for an axe. Need... I mean, I guess we could just go back to a day that we know it's not raining. So... You know, to avoid that. I drew a banded dragonfly so I can manifest it for you. Thank you. I might that might just be what I need. Fuck can you, can you draw me an axe next? I'm getting angry. I'm getting mad. In June it starts raining a lot. Yeah, well I already played. I, I mean I played this on the fourth and it wasn't raining, so if we just go back to the fourth it shouldn't be, right? Papa's execution or real? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Maybe I'll actually start playing them. I'm having so much fun. I'm glad that you're having fun. I'm glad that you're having fun. I hope that I can provide a fun environment. What are you barking about, man? What's, the, what's going on? Hey! What you barking about? What's going on? I love this chat right now. It's pretty good. I got one of the better chats, I would say. I don't know. Like, I say that. Like, y'all annoy me sometimes, but I've seen some pretty bad chats out there. Like, go to a streamer who has, like, a thousand or more viewers at any given time. That'll make you come back here crying. That'll make... That'll... You'll come back here screaming and crying for old twitch.tv slash Dagnall. Yeah. He needs treats? No, he don't need treats. Almost time for the Battle of Alberta. Yeah, I want to get this damn band of dragonfly. I got hockey to watch. I got fucking... I got shit to do. I've stepped outside for a total of, I think, 30 seconds today, man. I got stuff to do. Oh, yeah, we can get rid of these now. Get rid of the flowers. Get rid of the trees if I can get an axe. And then, theoretically, the only thing that should spawn is dragonflies because i don't think anything else spawns in the air without flowers maybe some butterflies spawn without the without the need of flowers but look whatever that's fine theoretically we buy this axe we cut down everything and we should be getting dragonflies very easily now catching them is a whole different thing but catching is a whole different thing but uh i mean you know give myself the maximum amount of tries and I mean, gee whiz, it might not take too, too long. I mean, I suppose... What else can spawn? Papa's tracking device implemented in your left butt cheek? Huh. Maybe. Like, now I just, you know, keep leaving and then re-entering the acre. Do a lap around. Yeah, should be good. Papa's fracking Rhea? Yeah, the shop expanded. How many, uh, it goes all the way up to Nookington's in this game, right? It goes all the way up to Nookington's in this game, I think. Papa's gonna sue this chat for defamation? You mean Papa's lawsuit area? <laughs> Papa's court area? That's pretty good. I can feel like you can make a game out of that. Papa's gonorrhea? Oh no. Nah, he likes that one. He, he thought that was good. I'm researching different AC games right now. I'm looking for some I may want to buy at some point. Which ones you looking at? I mean, you know, your mileage may vary from my experience, but I can recommend some for you. 
I mean, I'd say the only one that isn't worth going back and playing is probably, like, Wild World. As, as sad as it is to say, as I loved Wild World, but... I don't know, man. I feel like it doesn't hold up as well as a lot of the older ones, you know? It doesn't hold up as well as a lot of the older ones. Hey! Relax, man. He's been borky this last few days. I don't know why. He's just been a little borker. Oh, yeah, okay, so... Yeah, some butterflies can spawn without flowers. That's fine. I mean, as long as we just keep scaring away. I say city folk because all the others are pretty unique. I mean, and city folk is just wild world, but better, essentially. In every way, graphically. It has the city. I don't know. I'd say that... GameCube offers its own twists on things. New Leaf is still really good if you're, especially if you're looking for like, you know, if you have a 3DS and you don't need to get your hands on one of those. And City Folk is good. I don't know. I think they're all good. I think Wild World is good too. I just think that like City Folk does everything that Wild World does, but better. Where are you getting Bright Nights? That's true. Wild World, like, a lot of people don't see the appeal in Wild World and. I get it, but it does have some pretty good holidays that are only exclusive to Wild World, which kind of sucks, man, because the Acorn Festival is fun as hell, but, you know, in order to play it, you need to play Wild World, so, which is not bad, but I would definitely prefer something that runs at greater than 10 frames per second myself. Myself, but that's just me. But they ended up getting a bit rushed to get a Wii AC game out. It wasn't supposed to be so similar to Wild World, but they end up getting a bit rushed. I mean, what was it supposed to be about? I don't suppose that was ever revealed. Like, what what, what was it supposed to be more like? Was it supposed to be like New Leaf? Because New Leaf only came out four years after City Folk did. So you kind of have to wonder, considering that's not that long of a gap, at least in comparison to the difference between New Leaf and New Horizons... Consider the gap of only four years. Maybe New Leaf was what they wanted to make City Folk, but I don't know. If that's true, then they had to get it out, then I don't know. But City Folk came out in 08. The Wii came out in 06. So it's not like they already waited a decent amount of time before releasing an Animal Crossing for the Wii. How's my day? My day is all right. It'd be even better if I can get a Banded Dragonfly before the heat death of the universe, but we'll see. Which one's the DS? Wild World is the DS. New Leaf is the 3DS. They wanted more interactive content, even custom villagers. Interesting. That's kind of cool. I'm kind of sad that they didn't take their time then. Another year? I would have been alright with that. Papa's Fockeria. Good one, man. Want to try old Animal Crossing games? Would you recommend New Leaf? Yeah, if you have a 3DS, go get New Leaf. I imagine... Getting your hands on a copy of New Leaf wouldn't be too bad. You already got the hard part of having the 3DS, which isn't even being made anymore. And I mean, like, you don't even need, like, a copy of it. Can you not still get it off the eStore? I know that, like, last, earlier this week, I... Earlier this week, they made it so that you can't, um, buy things off the eStore with a credit card anymore. But I think you can add funds with a credit card and then use those funds to buy games so maybe before that's done and done you should get yourself a copy of uh new leaf got my copy of new leaf for 10 bucks or a physical copy yeah more tangible maybe less expensive as well yeah i would say consider getting yourself a copy of new leaf as well very much worth it Secondhand game is better, though, since it's a lot cheaper. But then you also run into the, you know, what if it's damaged? You know, whoever owned it last time may have, like, put it up for, you know, may have given it away because it broke. And, you know, you're kind of a risk you gotta take. Now, I don't think that that would be likely to happen, but, you know, it could. It could. I think... <laughs> I think I give up. I think I give up, chat. I think I'm going to tap out. I think I'm going to worry about the banded dragonfly maybe on the island because I I, I, I think I give up. I think, I think I give up. Like, I, I can't. I, I want to, I, I want to, I, 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 I think I give up, man. I think I'm tapping out. I think the banded dragonfly has got me on this one, man. 
Like, it's not even spawning now. Like, forget, like, even catching it. I can't even get it to damn spawn right now, for God's sakes. Do I need an SD card to get 2DS games from the eShop? I don't think so. I don't think so? I don't know, to be honest with you. Glad to catch a stream. Yo, thank you, Dissolve. I appreciate that. We are on the tail end of it here because I am getting pretty sick of looking for a band of dragonfly. But I'm glad that you can join me regardless. And yeah, I think I'm gonna think I'm gonna think I'm gonna think I'm gonna mm, either try again on the island once I get there, or maybe just catch one along the way. I don't know, but I feel like the game is telling me to stop. So I think that's what I'll do. I think that's what I'll do. I mean, it's been four and a half hours. That's like, that's longer than I normally go. I got very scared there for a second. That's longer than I normally go, so I'm not, I'm not too up, I'm upset about it. Been here for a while. I've been content on YouTube for a long time. My froggy Blumby likes watching too. Hey, shout outs to Blumby. And thank you. I appreciate that. Again, you also are catching the tail end of the stream. So I'm sorry that you joined me right as I'm about to wrap it up here. But yeah, thank you for joining regardless. All right, I'm manifesting. I'm going to put my pussy crystals in a circle here. We're going to point towards uh, Jupiter in retrograde. Um... Lord, please blesseth me with a banded dragonfly. In the good name of Papa and his pizzeria above, amen. All right, I'm going to load this acre here, and we're going to get a banded dragonfly, courtesy of Papa and his pussyria. Thanks everyone for watching today. Very much appreciate it. I'm going to be live again tomorrow at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. GMT, 7 a.m. AEST. For more Animal Crossing New Horizons, sorry, Animal Forest E+. Um, we're going to finish off day one at 4.18.04. And 31 of 93, I mean, you know, you might look at that and be like, hey, you're a third of the way through. We are... It's true, but we still got a long way to go. The quest is simple. The quest is simple. Banded Dragonfly, try to get it within 20 minutes. If we don't, then we're going to move on to another time frame to get a bunch of other things that we need, all right? That's the plan. We should be at... Yo! And Jasty. Thank you so much for the subscription as well. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, that would make sense then. All right. Eh, eh. There we go. All right. Business handled. Business taken care of. I never had a 3DS and I went from City Folk to New Horizons. I mean, City Folk was fun in its own right as well. Wait, what time is it here? What time is it? 7, 5, 10, 16. I mean, that's probably fine. I know for a fact the 4th is not raining though, so let's go to the 4th and let's just do it at noon. Yo, K-Kabomitable? Thank you. Thank you for the Prime. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes. And enjoy your ad-free viewing as well. I appreciate that. First stream I've caught live. Welcome. I hope you enjoy it. What's up, Tandem Drifts? How are you doing? Welcome. All right. My son, my very striped son. We're going to get a banded dragonfly today. Get every item in AC? No, man. That's ridiculous. Like, I know, I know, oh, but Dad, you're the Animal Crossing masochist. You, you would do the things that nobody else would, right? No, but like, I wouldn't do that. Like, that's, 
That's too much, man. That's too much. How is the missus feeling? I don't know. You should ask her. Yo. Manifesting the banded dragonfly for you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, um, I hope that the manifestation works, genuinely, because I had no luck with it yesterday. I had no luck with it yesterday. But thank you, Pharaoh, for the three months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Are you open today? It looked like the damn lights were out. I thought it was maybe closed for renovation. Well, either way. Thank you so much, though. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And enjoy your emotes. And enjoy your ad-free viewing. I mean, Kristen, I guess she's okay. No no worse or better than yesterday, I think, right? He looks like a caution sign. Maybe, maybe my clothes are telling the banded dragonfly to stay away. Maybe. Maybe that's why I'm struggling so much. I don't know. Yo, what's up, lion? How are you doing? Welcome. Eh, do you see that fish spawn? I swear to God, I just saw that fish, like, zap into the river. I don't know, I don't know, maybe my mind's playing tricks on me. But, that looked, that, that looked like that fish just, like, zapped into the water. Just teleported. Banded dragonflies are allergic to stripes? Ironic. Bro, teleported? Okay, so I'm not the only one who saw that. Because I swear to God, that man's just, like, actually just, you know, straight into the, straight into the river. Had any luck with the hermit crab? Yeah, we got the hermit crab. We got everything that we needed yesterday, except the banded dragonfly. It's literally the only thing that's eluded me thus far. It is just so hard to catch one. It's just so difficult to catch one. I love seeing fish spawn. I've, I don't know if I ever saw one spawn. I think I've seen them spawn, like, in games previous. Like, the game will try to do it off camera, but if you're quick enough, sometimes you can see it on camera. Yeah, maybe I could dress in green or something like that. I don't know. Maybe that'll help. But yeah, we got the hermit crab yesterday. We got all the crabs, I guess, except for the coconut crab, but that's going to require the island. So I don't think we're going to get to the island today, but I'm hoping to get to the point where we can start working on getting to the island. I'm going to hope that we can. Wish me luck on my village run. Good luck. Who are you trying to get? I hope, I hope whoever it is comes quickly enough. Which game is this? This is Animal Forest E+. Japanese only exclusive version of Animal Crossing. Because this is the only game that has the coconut crab. Every bug now? Yeah! How many more bugs do you need in this game? Oh, we're at 31, and there's 48 bugs in this game, so 17 more. And a lot of the 17 are not tough. They just require, like, circumstances that are really tough to get set up. And by that, I mean some of them require the island. And the island has a lot of, like, bullshit that you need to do to unlock it. So, thanks for the hydrate. Yeah, the nut crab. Is there not an English patch for this game? Yes, there is, actually. Um, there is an English patch for this game. I'm playing it in Japanese because... Reasons? I don't know. I kind of like playing it in the native version that it was released in because it feels more... I don't know, official? For lack of a better word. Ah, I know what this is. It's my Whipple Ball. I got some... Uh, I got... Oh, don't, don't reveal your address there. Okay, good, I didn't. Um, I got some wiffle balls. I got a wiffle ball set. Off of Amazon. That has arrived. My wiffle ball, happy to report my wiffle ball set off of Amazon has arrived. Dox no, luckily not, but that, yeah, probably should be a little bit more careful. Nearly doxed himself. It's fine, it's fine. Did an English presentation today reviewing every Animal Crossing game and nobody in my class knew what I was talking about? Nobody knew what- Animal Crossing's hip with the kids. Nobody knew Animal Crossing? Oh, that's hip with the kids though, man. Everyone knows Animal Crossing. You gonna tell me that. I'd be willing to bet, like, with, I don't know, with the popularity of New Horizons, you're telling me nobody knew? I just got to the barium swallow study conversation. I had to tell you that I had one of those tests done and the barium wasn't that bad. Well, that's good. If I ever need to get a barium swallow done, I'll make sure to keep that in mind. Wiffle ball is great, man. Wiffle ball is great. 
They deserve jail. Who deserves jail? Oh, nobody knew Animal Crossing. Oh, yeah, I think jail's probably the right choice there, then. Fortnite kids, that must be it, yeah. Looking for Tutu. Oh, okay, Tutu and Ace. All right, well, good luck with that. I guess every island's like a 1 in 200, then, to have one of the two. Or Electric Chair? Ah, I mean... I don't know if I'd go that far, but life imprisonment might be fine. Barium swallow test, make your poo look funny. I mean, isn't that the point? Like, it's it's meant to be like a, it's like a digestive substance. It's supposed to, like, highlight your digestive tract or something like that. I don't know. I come from a family of Crohn's and uh ibs havers so i i don't know i i'm i'm willing to bet that there's a non-zero chance that i have to take a barium swallow at some point in my life is all i'm saying Ooh, dr weechu thanks for the tier one i appreciate that thank you thank you thank you thank you i appreciate that thank you very much enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing thank you you're still looking for the banded dragonfly? Yeah, I'm giving it 20 minutes. 20, 20 or so minutes before I give up and just try to get it on the island. Is That's what I'm swearing by, okay? I would really, really, really like to get it before I get to the island. But if I can, I can. You know, I'm not gonna... Oh, see ya, dude. Alright. <laughs> he just fucking clipped into the... He no-clipped out of the world there for a second. I'm giving it 20 minutes, okay? That's the limit I'm putting myself on, okay? 20 minutes. If I can't get it in 20 minutes, then I'll just get it on the island. As much as I don't want to have to wait until the island, I'll just get it on the island. If that's got to be how it is. Come on, man. An Anada Dandy. Anna... A Ananda Dandy? Ananda Dandy? Thank you for the tier one as well. I appreciate that. Thank you. No, that's the official wiffle ball, man. The skinny yellow bat and the balls with the holes in it. It's official. It's official. Thank you. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and your ad-free viewing. Thank you very much for the tier one. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Least favorite NPC? I don't know, man. It's hard to not say Lyle. It's hard to not say Lyle. I have popcorn and brownies. Ooh. I mean, it's a weird combination, but I, I like popcorn and brownies. It's a weird combination, though. I can't say I've ever eaten the two together, probably. I'm quite upset because I have counseling and I might miss some of the stream. It's okay, man. Stream's not going anywhere. Counseling is a limited resource. Stream is... It'll be here forever. Once I upload this to YouTube as part of the, you know, full unedited bods. But, you know, it'll be there. Till the collapse of the internet i suppose at least right okay like just sometimes like nothing spawns in the acre quite strange same rules as all fish you did a week ago yeah it's the same rules which is not really many rules but the rule is that if a, if a bug debuted in a certain game that's going to be the game that i try to catch it in so in this game being the kind of first in the series i have to catch every bug in this game are you aware that your mic has a ground hum does it i'm looking i'm like keeping it quiet so that i can monitor the levels it's like picking up sound even when i'm completely quiet is that what you're referring to? Because that's interesting. Um, I might need to change out the XLR cables or something like that. Uh, no, I wasn't aware of that. I wasn't aware of that. I don't hear the hum. I mean, I reckon most people probably won't, but... Yeah, uh, yeah that's annoying. Um, I don't know why. I don't know if it's like... Something with uh, my mixer, something with my microphone, I don't know. I hope that it's, yeah, I hope that it's nothing that I can't fix rather easily. I had to put my phone to my ear. I mean, that tells me that it's not, like, so bad, but I don't know. 
Yeah, but when I stay, like, completely quiet, I can see, like, it picking up a little bit of audio, which I can only assume is that. And I actually have a noise gate on my microphone to where noises underneath a certain decibel level will not be picked up. And if it's still picking it up, then, ugh. I still hear nothing, so not too bad. Yeah, it can't be that bad then, I guess. I only heard it when you're completely quiet. Well, the solution is just fucking be obnoxiously loud for the entire time. Sounds like it, it sounds like a plan to me. Wow. Summy Rain. Thanks for the six months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And enjoy your emotes and your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't wait to move on to the other games. Yeah, I mean, it'll mean that I'm done with this game, so yeah, I, I kind of am too. None of the other games have, like, the restriction that this game has as far as, like, certain bugs spawning, so I don't know. Well, I'm not even getting, like, anything to spawn, dude. Like, I can't even get anything to spawn in this damn acre. Like, unless, like, there's no tree stump. There's nothing... I, I, I don't know, like, I gotta fucking dig up the tree stumps. I don't think these should matter. Like, at all. Why is the island so small? I don't know. It's an older game. Less... Less technical ability to be able to make big islands? I don't know. Do you, What do you like about the first AC game? I don't know. I feel like it had a lot of uniqueness to it. In the ways of, like, holidays that only ever appeared in this game. I think that it had a lot of fun characters into it. Something that you don't really see in modern Animal Crossing games. But I don't know, like, what am I doing wrong here? It's only slightly annoying, so it's fine. I mean, does it overpower my, like, normal amount of annoying? I don't know. Like, now I'm like, now I'm like, oh, well now I gotta get figured out. Because now... Let's go! Let's go! Oh, yes! We got it. We got it. Oh, thank God. Can we just say, thank God, everything pauses when you go into the inventory. Thank God, everything pauses when you go into the inventory. Oh, that's that saves my ass right there. That saved my ass. Alright, let's go. Whew. And now we can move on without having to worry about anything. How long have you been searching for that thing? Uh, we're at four and a half hours, so I would say probably about four and a half hours. Uh, but you know, that's fine. It's still nothing compared to the amount of time that I've searched for fleas in previous games. And, uh, yo. Quiet. Quiet. Quiet is violent. Thank you so much for the two months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And enjoy your emotes and your ad-free viewing. I appreciate it very much. All right, now we'll leave this time frame and we'll go on to July 2nd. That's my birthday, actually. But that's that's actually the date that the route said. July 2nd at 5.58 a.m., Let's actually just do 6 o'clock a.m. Because the only reason you want to do it at 5.58 is because in case it's raining during 5.58, they want you to catch a snail within those two minutes before the day rolls over. So let's actually just go to 6 a.m. And then we want to get a evening cicada, a dynastid beetle, a flat stag beetle, which we already have, a saw stag beetle, a mountain beetle, a giant beetle, and that's it for that time frame. So a lot of rare beetles, but I think it shouldn't be too bad. Yo, what's up, Zoinks? How are you doing? Where do you find routes? Uh, I usually go to speedrun.com and I find the game. And then usually in the guides tab, they'll tell you, like, the various routes that speedrunners use to run the game as efficiently as possible. That's where I pulled this one from. That's where I pulled this one from. So we want 6 o'clock... Dagnall's birthday is also in July. Yeah, I'm a cancer, babe. I'm a cancer, baby. You're my comfort streamer slash YouTuber for me. Hey, I'm glad to be so. I'm glad to be. Why'd you decide to do this challenge? I don't know. I did the fish challenge, and I felt like the bugs was only a 
was only a reasonable follow-up. Okay, can't be raining, so... Back to the lab again. My friend always says I'm a cancer. We like to cry a lot. Is that right? Do you prefer English or Japanese animalese? I don't know. It's kind of... I really do like the GameCube animalese, but the Japanese one... I don't know. Maybe it's just because I haven't listened to it too much. I find it to be unique and cool. I don't know, though. No, not strongly opinionated on it either way. What's up, Cable Bear? How are you doing? All right, let's try the third then, I guess. It's funny that all my comfort streamers have the same name. What 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 name is that? Are they all called Dagdle? That'd be a little weird. Cancers in the chat call that the Krusty Crab. I don't I just I don't think I understand. Oh yeah, I know a Cancer's a crab. Okay, I I got that. Damn it. I got that part down. I know a cancer is a crab. Why are we crusty, though? Why, why is so crusty? Favorite AC game? I don't know, man. I guess either New Leaf or New Horizons. Oh, no. They're all named Daniel. Oh, okay. I'm also a cancer. Fourth of July. Hell yeah, brother. Makes my patriotic heart proud. I'm an Aquarius. No one ever talks about us. Are, are Aquarius is like basic bitches? Aquarius is a pretty like not great item in the Binding of Isaac, but that's all I really know about Aquarius. Kristen's an Aquarius, if it helps you feel better. Wait, why seven? No, 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 no. Why seven? When did I change that? Huh? Why did you go to seven? I must have did that. I'm a Sagittarius. Sagittarius is pretty pog in the Binding of Isaac, at least. 19th of July? There you go. Leos are the best? Yeah, totally. What do you mean your god-given name isn't Dagnal? No, my god-given name isn't Dagnal. I feel like I'd be subject to a lot of bullying in school if that was the case. Alright, so I hear an evening cicada. I think it's down, yeah. Like, auditory hearing in this game is tough, okay? Give me a break. Cicada. Evening cicada. Now... It's a small problem. I really don't know the difference between a flat stag beetle, a saw stag beetle, a mountain beetle, and a giant beetle. So, basically, I'm gonna need some help from some people that do know. Uh, uh, good, 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 good morning, precious. Wake up! I gotta need some help from the people that know what the- WAKE UP! From the people that know Animal Crossing GameCube, I'm gonna need y'all to help me out here, because I really don't know the difference. God, why is it- I know it's 6 a.m., my god, but... Christ, wake up! I'm gonna need some help, okay? If y'all could help me with telling me what bugs are what- Look at this guy! An officer of the law is not sleeping at 6 a.m., no sir! Do they not sleep inside? I don't know. I guess not, man. Like, good good gracious. Wait, that seems... I don't know. It seems big. But I don't know. Anyone want to tell me which one this is? If, if, any, if anyone knows? Okay. Well, you know, this is a perfect opportunity for me to go and get my... Translate app. This is a perfect opportunity. You had that one already? Okay, well, it's good to have the Translate app on me anyway. I really wish there was a way that the game said that this is like the first time you caught it. Like in New Leaf, it'll say, I wonder what my encyclopedia says about my new catch. And in New Horizons, it says yes when it's a first time catch. Really wish they had the foresight with which to do something like that in this game, but perhaps I'm asking for too much. Is it one with six legs? A beetle with six legs? Is that how many they normally have? I don't know. Dorcas Malorcus? Yeah, like, I don't know, maybe they'll all be Dorcas Malorcus again, I don't know. That's a pointy basketball. Hey man, loan a few of your polygons to this game, okay? And otherwise don't complain. I think it says 
that with a new bug. Does it actually in this game? Does it? If that is true, then that would help a lot. Oh, I mean, hey, maybe. I don't know. Maybe they're worth a lot. Every insect has six legs. I feel like that's just not true. I mean, why are centipedes called centipedes and not sextipedes? <laughs> That was a good one. That was a good one, man. That was a good one. I like that one. If you didn't laugh at that, yeah, you just you, you fucking you don't know humor, okay? You don't know humor. That was a good one. Nice. Thanks, man. Nice. That was pretty good. They aren't technically insects. They're arthropods. They're arthropods. Oh, your joke is ruined now, streamer. No. It was still funny, okay? If not, if, even if it's incorrect on a technicality, it's still funny, okay? I'm funny. Validate me. Hey, what's up, Jonester? You know, I do need to pay off the island. And this could be a good opportunity to do so. It could also be a good opportunity to completely fuck myself if my prices are never good. Hmm. Hmm. Has the Japanese names in the column if you need to check? I lo I could do that. Or I could completely inaccurately translate them and still struggle my way through it. Okay, yeah, she's been going around 60 years now. I think I'm having her explain turnips to me and I don't need to have that done. I don't need that done. No, it's all right. I'm good. How much are you selling for? 107? Uh, that's a lot of money, man. Um, You can only buy in 10s, 50s, and 100s. Well, 100 would be 10,000 something. Oh, fuck. You don't even get a confirmation. All right, boys. I'm in. I'm into it now. All right. We're, we're in deep now, boys. Um, make sure that, make sure prices can get absurdly high in this game. No, 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 I, I do want more, actually. I do want more. Okay, so that's a hundred. Is there a way of, I remember in Wild World, if you set them on a table, they never spoil. I don't suppose that's a, something you can do in this game? Yeah, give me a hundred more, man. Like, fuck it, dude. We're going all in. We're going all fucking in. First time catching a stream and the first thing I witnessed is Dagnall getting trapped in a Japanese stock market. It's a pretty normal occurrence, honestly. It's a pretty normal occurrence. Why do you need to pay off your loan? What bug needs that? Uh, we need to pay off our loan to unlock the island and therefore get the Queen Alexandra's Swallowtail and the Hercules Beetle, which only spawn on the island in this game. All right, boys. Might be my last one here. Oh, yeah, I'm out of money. All right, um... Best of luck to me. Let's make sure we don't time travel too much with these. Uh, otherwise, I will be, uh, screwed. I will be S-O-L. Does the game have ants or flies? It does have ants, and we will need to get ants at some point. There's a way of getting ants without turnips, though, and that's just with candy, which is actually going to be what I do after this split is done. So... Yeah, we'll worry about that in a second. I nearly scared you away, and I think I need you. I don't know what it is. So wait, what was that thing that it says when it's a new catch? I don't know who posted that, but if you could post it again, that'd be just swell. Well, it does say that. That It does say that. Hang on. It's trying, It's 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 translating. Okay, this one just says a stag beetle. Yay, I caught a sawtooth squirrel. I don't think that's what you caught, man. The chin's chin. I can't say anything. <laughs> I don't think this is accurate. Oh, he's saying yata, which is like, yay. Okay, so that is a new catch then. And is that a saw stag or a regular stag? That's a saw stag. All right, works for me then. Works for me. Saw stag. You're back asleep, huh? Alright, well, you know what? Girl boss has got a girl boss. It's a tough life out here. That ain't no squirrel? I don't think so. But, I honestly, truly, I have no idea. 
A saber tooth squirrel. Yeah. Sawtooth squirrel, it just said. Did it actually say squirrel? Is that like just something that's like a mistranslation or something? I don't know. This game has so much charm. It truly it does, man. Truly this game does. That's just why, like, if people don't understand like what's so charming about these older games, then they'll never understand, like. Does I say it again? Wait, is that another new one? Is that another new one? I thought that was just the saw stag again. No, wait, this says the exact same thing. Well, it says yay again, though, even though it's not a new catch. Hmm. Squirrels are so yasified in Japan? I don't know what you mean by that, man. I don't know what you mean by that. Giant stag or flat stag? Looks like a flat stag again. Did we get the banded dragonfly? We did, yes. We did get the banded dragonfly. So now we're moving on to the beetles. It's another Dorcas Titanus. It, it says yay for all of them, man. He's just happy to catch it, I guess. I thought the yay was like a sign that it was a first time catch, though. Y'all lied to me. Y'all lied to me. My delicate little soul. And you lied to me. It's unbelievable, man. Truly. Uh, I think that's sweet. I, I, I mean, like, I again, I'm just gonna catch everything. First of all, I mean, they're probably worth a decent chunk of change. So, I mean, we might as well. Might as well catch all of them. And you know what? This is actually... Oh, nice job, dude. This is actually a good opportunity to show you guys something, actually. Um, Something that's only in this version of the game. Something that's only in this version of the game. I mean, look, I got all these bugs here, but I can't sell them. Because it's 6 a.m. Ain't no one open at 6 a.m. Dorcas Tit Anus. Yeah, so true. So true. So true. Hey, open. Open up. Get, open up! I want in! No, he gives the worst prices if you wake him up. I know, I just wanted to show it. I just wanted to show it. I just wanted to show it. I know, I know you won't get as many bells. I just wanted to show it. It's funny, it's funny. Although, like, how do you even do it with this store? Considering, like, it doesn't... How do you even do it with this door? Because the door won't open because it's a sliding door. Maybe whack it with your axe? No, I don't think it, I don't think the axe would be any different. You can wake him up. Yeah, and I'm trying to show you. I'm trying to show y'all, but I don't know if you can do it with this store. Equip dynamite? Maybe. I know Nook's Cranny, you were able to do it. I don't know. It's time to start moving buildings around because I'm too impatient to shovel slash pick them up. That's fair. I think you can do it with this store. I saw a screenshot. It's very... It's too close to opening? I don't know. I thought as long as it was closed, it would work. That was my thinking, at least. I don't know. I know you can in Nookingtons, because Timmy and Tommy will be in their pajamas. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cute. Yo! Soy milk. Here to shower you with support. I appreciate that. Thank you for the raid. How is your stream? Tell me all about yourself. Finally figured out how, how to subscribe. Thank you again for the raid. The I appreciate laughing. that. Thank you for filling you so need to hit the door. I thought I was hitting face. the dang door. I thought I was hitting this goddamn door. All right, let's try it, though. I'm gonna bang right on the door. Chow sleeping outside. What an idiot. He's an idiot for many reasons, okay? Him sleeping outside is hardly the biggest fool maneuver of his. Let me in! Why is everyone sleeping outside? I don't know, man. I don't really don't know. Well, you got a perfectly good bed in there. What am I... Do you let anyone... Do you let anyone raid your streams? My brother in Christ, I just did. Somebody just did. I I don't know. Started HHP for a second time. It's been lots of fun. I watch all your YouTube videos, so it's nice to catch a stream. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I hope you're enjoying HHP. I also sleep on my doorstep every other night. So true. So true. 
You really can't- I can't really stop people from raiding? Oh, no, I can. You can enable a setting that doesn't allow raids, but I definitely don't do that. Because I don't really know why you would. I don't really know why you would. It's just kind of- I don't know. I guess I could see it if you get, like, a lot of hate raids for whatever reason. Then you might want to do it. But... That's another Dorcas. Another Dorcas. Another Dorcas. Alright, too bad. Yeah, you can gatekeep them, I guess, if that's how you want to call it. But yeah, no, you can. Like an old school retweet? Yeah! Totally! Been wanting to stream some version of AC, but I'm not sure which capture card to get since I love to stream the Wii games too. I mean, there is all there is always Dolphin. I would say you might need a little bit of a not a true gaming PC, but I reckon your average like laptop may not be able to both you know play and capture Animal Crossing City Folk on the Wii. But you could try it with Dolphin emulator. Someone raided me today and I felt special. You you are special for many reasons. I'm sure. There was a rumor with Tom Nook would knock you out with a shovel if you wake him up on Christmas. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. Always remember the what's up Gary I don't Kriegasm. think so. Thanks for the 100 bits. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, what do we got here? Is another sauce stag? Yeah, that's another sauce stag. Why are you doing the Japanese version? This is a Japanese exclusive uh, game. There is an English translation patch out there, but I don't know. I kind of like playing it in its original state, you know? With all the, you know, like having to like deduce like what's, you know, what is what is kind of fun, you know? It's kind of fun. I kind of like it. What bugs are you going for? Right now I'm going for the regular stag beetle, the mountain beetle, and the giant beetle. Those are the bugs that I'm going for right now. The bugs have been going okay today. We only got three so far, but the three that we got have been pretty good. One of which is the banded dragonfly. So, pretty happy about that. I used to want to learn Japanese, but I gave up. I feel like a lot of people have... Releasing that stag was painful to watch. I mean, what else? I mean, I... I guess this can go, because that's not worth very much. The hermit crab, I'm gonna guess, isn't worth very much. Oh, see, man. <laughs> he dug a little burrow. Uh, but other than that, man, like, is there a time that I could do this that where Nook is open, where I can keep selling them? But I had, I'd have to time travel, and then my turnips might spoil. I'd have to go forward. I thought you already got the flat stag. I did already get the flat stag. Did I say the flat stag? I might have. I need the mountain stag, the regular stag... And the giant beetle. Drop the turnips outside the store? I could. That's true. That might also give me the opportunity to get an ant. I also took Japanese in high school. I can barely remember any of it. I feel like... and I don't want to call no one out here. But, like, did y'all... Wait, that's just the camera app. <laughs> I was just using the camera app. Um... I mean, like, I feel like a lot of people, like, enjoy... That's another Dorcas. Three lines is the mountain beetle? Oh, okay. Why are you doing this to yourself? Why am I doing what to myself? Why am I doing what to myself? I don't know. Like, why am I playing video games for a living? Because it's fun. I enjoy it. It's another damn Dorcas, dude. Um... So, drop these outside, and then it might even spawn an ant while we're at it. So, that might be handy. Not that an ant is particularly tough. That's what I was trying to do, but it wasn't working. Kristen telling me I can use the shovel to open up nooks. I was trying to do it, but even if I did, his prices are shit when you wake him up, so I wouldn't even want to sell anyway. Did I mean a dynasty beetle? I do need a dynasty beetle, actually, yeah. Yeah, I think I missed that one. I could put the beetles in my house. My house isn't very big at this point, but it might be worth doing. I mean, theoretically, all these bugs could spawn at, like, the evening hours at a time where Tom Nooks is also still open. Get out of here, man. 
You ain't worth nothing. No regular stag in this game? Okay, yeah, so sorry. They're a dynastid beetle instead of those instead of the regular stag. I think that's yeah, you're right, you're right. You you totally right. Is that bubbles? That was bubbles back there. You you alright, man? Oh wait, he's clipping in with a shell. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, it looked weird. Yeah, that's bubbles. Good eye. Those beetles are worth 2,000 each, so keep them. Okay. And probably not, you know, evening cicadas probably not worth nothing. Imagine drone beetles slash stink bugs probably ain't worth much. Bubbles from the wire? Wait, that looks different. That looks different. You're, you're, you're different. Uh, yeah! Whoa! Big text! Yeah, that's different. Yeah! Whoa, what's that say, I wonder? Ooh, you, su, suo, t, s, u, o, 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 <laughs> That's a giant stag, all right. Hell yeah, what's this say? I caught Owagata. Oh, no, wait, hang on. It, it's, it's thinking. I caught a suicide squad? Legit, that's what it said. For a quick second there, it said, I caught a suicide squad. <laughs> that's what it said! Look, it's... Look, maybe I can take a quick screenshot of it. Look, okay. Look, I, I got a screenshot of it, alright? Before you call me a freaking liar... Or you call me a freaking liar. I caught a suicide squad. I don't know, man. That's what it said. Don't get mad at me. Anyway, that's 35. Um, Like, hey, look, okay. I'm just saying, all the damn sprites look the same. All of these sprites look the same. The only difference I see between this sprite and this sprite is the the line in between its wings on its back are much darker on this one than on this one. And also maybe the mandibles are a little wider. Bro, you can't, like, they're different. Yeah, this is the giant stag I just caught. These are the flat stags. It's a little thicker as well, but man, that is really hard to tell. That is really hard to tell. Like, at a quick glance, at least. I don't know. The giant stag dummy thick. I guess I could buy more... Well, no, because I'd have to sell. Oh, and there's the dynasty beetle. Okay. Wait, is that it? No, I still need the mountain beetle. Is the mountain beetle, like, the, the king of all beetles? Or is the giant stag the king of all beetles? Okay. I, I hesitate to see what this one says. I know that that one's a dynasty, though, because, you know, it's it's pretty unique in shape. The giant is the king. Okay, so the mountain, theoretically, then, is more common than the giant stag. So, hopefully, that one doesn't take us too long. Hopefully, you know, it looks, you know, vastly different from the, from the giant stag, so that I'm able to tell what it is before I catch it. I caught a suicide squad. Make it round and round. That's that's legit like what is said. I, I, sh I showed you the screenshot. I don't know. That was a uh, Kabuto. Bro, that's a Pokemon. You can't even mess with me, man. Kabuto's a freaking Pokemon. Of the evening cicada was the golden stag? No, that's a loud golden stag. It has like circular mandibles. Okay, I'll try to keep that in mind. I don't really know what that means, but I'll try to keep it in mind. I know what a circle is, and I know what mandibles are, so I think I can put two and two together. Giant beetle's 1%, mountain stag is 5%. Oh, well that's positive then. That's good to hear. Kind of circular. It, it's brown. Pretty brown. Pretty brown. Kabuto equals rhinoceros beetle. Interesting. Yeah, I felt like I was going to miss that. But... Hang on a second. Pull up the old translate app here. So you wouldn't get these moments if I had played the English version, you know? You wouldn't have gotten these moments. 
Mm, yeah, that's a mountain. Hooray, I caught Mayama Stag. Oh, so did they change it to the Mayama Stag in future games? Ah, okay, so we're good then, right? We got the Evening Cicada, the Dynastid, the Flat Stag, the Saw Stag, the Mountain, and the Giant. So we're good. Whoop. We're good. All right, and now let us time travel a day forward. Like, I could, the next split is October 23rd, but yeah, we want to try to get a good turnip price. So let's go a day forward for a week or so and see what we're, see what our turnip prices can be. And also do it at a time where Nooks is open so that I can sell these beetles and also, of course, get a turnip price. Thanks for the hydrate. Mm. That's how I learned Mount Fujiyama was redundant. All right. Is Mount Fujiyama just Mount Fuji? What's it called? Like Mount Mountain Mountain or something? I don't know. The Dorcas Titanus, the Sawtooth Squirrel, the Suicide Squad, and the Mayama Stag. Yeah, exactly. We on island time? Not yet. Our next split is going to be in October 23rd. Where we have to get the cricket, the pine cricket, and the bell cricket, and the ant. Which I might get the ant before that, because I have turnips on the ground. And then we're on to September, where we get the red dragonfly, the grasshopper, the praying mantis, the long locust, the migratory locust. And then it's island time. And then it's island time. I never played any before ACNL. This is Animal Forest E+, a Japanese exclusive version of Animal Crossing for the GameCube. It's kind of like GameCube enhanced in a way. Alrighty, we want to go here and we want to go one day forward. And let's put it at a time where Nooks is open. I mean, shit, dude. How can you not do it like at... How can you not do it at like 5 o'clock to get the 5 o'clock bangers? Although, there are turnip prices in the morning and the evening. Generally... Would you want to do it in the morning for better turnip prices, or the evening for better turnip prices? Yeah, the Hercules is only on the island, as is the Queen Alexandra's uh, Swallowtail, which is the birdwing butterfly in future games. Hmm. Sure this game- I'm not sure this game has different prices for morning and evening. Okay. Well, I'll trust you are right about that. And let's do it at 5 o'clock, because 5 o'clock p.m. music is a banger, so. The crickets are easy, because they're all different colors. Black, brown, and green all spawn in the bushes. And the bushes are like those piles of leaves that are on the ground, right? Because I remember reading that they're in bushes, and I'm like, wait, bushes? That don't make no sense. Damn, this is a heavy rain. Sheesh. Yes, okay. Good, good, good. I mean, that must mean that they're kind of hard to see then if they're in those, but I'm sure that they're not going to be too big of a deal. Uh, all right, let's sell our beetles first, then let's check our turnip prices. No point picking them up if the price isn't going to be very good. All right, man. First of all, sell. Second of all, I need to figure out which one of those options is to check turnip prices. And then... This ought to be a good payday here. Yeah, 25000 ain't bad. All right. Um... No, no more selling. And then, tell me, my friend, which one of these is turnip prices? First one will be selling. Show me the catalog. Is it a turnip? It looks like turnips are these third one. 112? I mean, 112, <laughs> it would be a profit, because I bought them at 107. Um... That's, a, that's not quite what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a little bit higher than that, I think. Looking for a little bit higher than a five bell per turnip profit. So I think what I'm going to do is probably try again tomorrow. I guess let's pick them up. Might as well if I have the inventory room. Rain music in this game? Oh, it's so good. Yeah, I guess now we don't get the 5 p.m. theme because we're just going to get the rainy day theme, aren't we? Hey, what's up, Pomely? How are you doing? Rainy days in AC are always so cozy. Oh, very much so. You can get like 900 prices in this game. I, if I get a 900, I will literally do the Pog Tasty emote, but in real life. I will literally do the Pog Tasty in real life. 
I'll be so happy. Yeah, this is the one where the 2 a.m. music is like... Boop, 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 boop. Hi, chatters. As per my badge, I can't hear streams. I'm currently at work. All right, well, fuck you then. You can't hear me. No, I'm just kidding. If you do hear me, hope your day is good. I don't like rainy days in New Horizons because of my flowers. I haven't sorted them out yet. I'm sure you've been told this before, but you can put the uh, transparent patterns around them, and that kind of limits the breeding, but... Yeah, it is kind of a pain in the ass, isn't it? It is kind of a pain in the ass. For the sixth. Yeah, I will literally do the Pog Tasty if I get, like, something at least in, like, the few or several hundreds. I will be pretty happy. How's the challenge going, streamer, even though I can't hear your response? It's good. It's good. It's my naturally generated ones on a cliff. I see. Okay, the ones that you probably can't reach yet. 5 p.m. It's so good. It's so good. There is morning and night prices. In this game, there is? Okay. I don't... Again, though, I don't really know which one's better. Don't really know which one's better. I mean, I don't know if, like, turnips are on a pattern in this game, but it went from 112 to 119. In New Horizons, usually that would indicate an increasing pattern. I don't know if, like, pattern, turnip patterns are really a thing in this game. For all I know, they might just be randomly generated. But... I don't know. There are patterns. Okay, well then that's positive, then. If it's going up, if it went from 112 to 119, then that's a positive sign that maybe it's a... It's a spike pattern. And if they work similar to New Horizons, the spike is usually, like, Wednesday... And it just went to... This is Tuesday, so maybe tomorrow or Thursday could be, like, a pretty big price if indeed the pattern is increasing. It could also just be random. We're trying to go to the island now. I'm trying to get my turnips to sell for a lot so that I can help expedite the island process. So, yeah, kind of. This is all in the name of the island, I suppose. Each day's exact prices are determined at the beginning of the week. Okay. I mean, I think that's how it works in every game, right? What's up, Galaxy Clouds? How are you doing? Alright, we'll try the seventh. So if there is evening prices, I don't know, man. I guess I'm taking a chance by not doing by not checking the morning and then the evening prices, but I don't know. If this price is below what I bought them for, I'm gonna be in like I'm gonna be a little bit panicked here. This mouse's eyes? What, bro, Chico ain't bad, man. Chico kind of pog. Why does mouse have an eye infection? Don't fucking judge him. You're sick ass over there judging him for having an infection. Good gracious. Chow, pog, tasty. That might be a perma ban. Why do you need the island? It only spawned the Queen Alexandra's petal tail and the Hercules beetle only spawn on the island in this game. I'm doing good. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Mm. Not a good sign. If it goes even lower tomorrow, I'm going to cry. I'm going to shit. I'm going to be a little upset. So check day and night. They have a giant spike every once in a while and will sell for like eight times the price. But this pattern probably tells me it's not going to spike now. Because it went up and now it's gone down. Increasing patterns go up, 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 up until they hit their peak and then they go down. At least that's how they work in normal games. Well, modern games. Turnip calculator says fluctuating pattern. And, but like, is that a New Horizons one? Because I think it's definitely different than New Horizons turnip calculator. I, I think that it's probably, I think it's probably changed so much since this game. It may be big next week. Well, that wouldn't help me a whole lot. What's the best price to sell turnips in New Horizons? I think 660 is the max, if I'm not mistaken. I think 660 is the max. 
But, you know, you might see him, like, hack Bile and set him to, like, 2 billion. Alright, um, if it's not good at this time, I might just sell it at a loss. And just, just, j I'll just take the L. I'll just take the L. Yo! Bavibin. Thanks for the tier one, I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes, and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Alright. If it's, like, bad today, like, if it's worse than what it was yesterday, I think I'll probably just sell. I'll take the L like a real gamer, exactly. That's the Apple TV! Let's go! Oops, wrong thing. That's the catalog. No, no, no. I'm good, man. I'm good. Check the, uh... It... It went back up. It went back up. Not by much. I think we hodl. <laughs> I hate that term. I think we hold on to them for one more day. Is gonna spike? Is it gonna spike? Like, you, you're genuine about this. You've given me a lot of good intel on this game, so I have a reason to believe you, you know what you're talking about here. Now... Now, do I go to the morning or go to the evening? Hmm. Saturday is the best price. How do you know? It could every few weeks. It'll spike. Saturday is the best price. Isn't Saturday usually the worst? I don't think it ever spikes on... S I don't think it ever spikes on Saturday. Like, eight times profit. Okay, well, now I'm gonna check the morning and the evening. <laughs> this is... Ooh. I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like I'm at a casino right now. I got a bunch of people like, Oh, keep going. One more day. One more day. I don't know, man. I'm getting a little nervous. I'm getting a little nervous. Alright, go to like 11? Did I change the day? Did I go forward a day? Because if I went backwards... Uh, 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 no, 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 no. What was the last day that I... I'm gonna reset the emulator. Because I am not sure if I reset the, uh... I'm not sure if I reset the date there. I'm not sure, so I'm gonna re I'm gonna restart here. Chat looks like he's permanently holding in a fart. Interesting. This is gonna be hell for you. Nah, man, we're good. I'm already 37 bugs in. We're having a little detour right now. We're having a little detour. All right. So we were at we were at the eighth. Now we wanna go to the ninth at 11:08. So it's in the a.m. What's up, Afartis? How are you doing? I'm- I'm raw. That's me. A little economics detour? Yeah! A little fun lesson in microeconomics here. Yeah! Who needs college? Alright, so we'll check the prices in the AM and then the PM, and then we'll see. We'll see. How long has it been? Uh... Let's see, like... What's that say? 5 hours, 13 minutes, and 36 seconds? Yeah, that sounds right. But will this make the video? Only if I sell for a profit. I don't want to make myself look bad by selling at a loss. No, no, no. Only if I look good doing it. It keeps going up. It's, it's going back up. It went from like, what, 82? 89? And now 96, was it? It do be kind of rising, though. It do be kind of rising. Look, man, at this point, if I even get just like a little bit of a profit, I will take it. How much do you buy them for? 107, which is a rough price. But if it's anything like New Horizons, the higher you buy them for, the higher potential spike you might get. So I'm going to suck that copium down. I'm gonna suck that copium down. Yeah, I'm gonna take, like, even the tiniest little profit, even if I get it at this point. Just so I can say, at least, like, I tried. 
and had a good time doing it, you know. Alright, but now let's go to the evening. That was 96, right? Copium, my favorite? Yummy. Alright, so we want to go... I mean, yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah, send me. Is that the best chicken quesadilla I've ever made? I'm so happy. Like, genuinely. You probably had, like, a lot of chicken quesadillas at this point in your life. So, I mean, I feel like t the best you've ever had? That's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. I'm happy. Best way to make bells other than turnips? I want to max out my inventory space for my house. Other than turnips? Probably deep sea diving, man. And then, like, I don't know. If you don't want to do turnips, I would say, like, deep sea diving. And then you can roll your profits from deep sea diving into turnips. But I don't know. It didn't change. Are there no evening prices in this game? Okay, also, what day is it right now? What what day of the week is it? What day of the week is it? Because I don't want to go to Sunday and have my turnips spoil. What is this? Okay, yeah, I know it says 7-9, man. Oh, yeah, crops as well. It's Saturday? Wait, it's Saturday. Friday. Okay, I mean... Can, can I have a... Can I, can I have some... Can I, can I have some, like, consistency to the answers? Don't trust us? And not right now, I don't. Not right now, I don't. Um... I, I don't want to time travel again, just in case it's not, just in case it is Saturday, Friday, what's the year, uh, it's 2021, I think, okay, yeah, that's actually a good point, it's 2021, and it's the 9th of, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, it's 2021, and then July, July 9th in 2021 was, a. Uh, Friday then. Okay, okay. So we got one more day. We got one more day. Um whatever it is tomorrow, we gotta sell it. <laughs> we gotta sell it. <gasps> Alright. Alright. Friday, Friday. What's up, Blurmo? How are you doing? Is that month day or is it day month? Yeah, it's weird. That's month day, even though I'm pretty sure in Japan they go the other way around, right? I don't know. It's kind of weird how it does that. Unless it knows that I'm a filthy American and we do month day year. In before turnip prices are like 94. Man, if it's 94, that's not the worst thing in the world. That's just, that's like maybe like a that's a few thousand bells of loss, but it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Whoopsie daisies, what am I doing? I don't know what I just did. I I I I've changed the animalies. This is this is just not what I want. This is just not what I want here. There we go. Yeah, Japan does day month. Yeah, why do they do it month day then? I wonder. In this game. I don't know. Surprise date in a few minutes, so I have to get ready. Wishing you the best of luck with the run. Yo, enjoy your date. Sounds like a good time. Hell yeah. Alright, so we want... I mean, apparently the prices don't change in between morning and evening. So sure, just keep it in the evening, I guess. Works for me. It's gonna be like 36. If it's 36, I'll probably cry. But that's okay. Yeah, they do it like year, month, date. And it's like, look, my, my, my fans in Europe, you don't agree with me much, okay? My, our ways of doing it in America are much different than those of you in Europe. But at least we can agree on one thing. Year, month, date? Eh. Fucking weird. Weird. Losers. Nah, they actually got the right idea. Uh, I'm buying Froggy shirt, just by the way. Okay, it's gonna be a two bell per turnip loss. That's not bad, man. Like, can't be too mad at that. One oh, we bought for 107, we sell for 105. It's not the worst thing in the world. 
We get 63,000 bells back. We recuperate our losses almost. Apparently turnips stored in the island cabana don't rot. Interesting. I wish I had one. I wish I had one. All right. Oh yeah, I also get a raffle ticket. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now he dripping so much sauce, got a been looking like ragu. Yeah. Ooh. All right, please sell. I don't want these. All right, now we have to go to October 23rd, 2020, 8 p.m., no rain, to get a cricket, a pine cricket, and a bell cricket, and an ant, which we can get by buying some candy at the store and then dropping it. Oh, yeah. We do agree, however, day, month, year is so much better. Just incorrect. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't agree. When you say the date today, what are you going to say? You're going to say it's May 27, 2022. You're going to say it's month, day, and then year. Uh, no, I'll say it's the 27th of May, 2022. No, you won't. Don't lie just to validate your argument. Don't lie to me. I know you don't say it like that. How's the Hello Fresh going? Um, it's been fresh, which is good. It's been fresh. I don't know what I'm making today, but the other day I made some nice enchiladas, which were pretty good. They're actually flautas, flautas, but I made them like enchiladas, because fuck society. I'd say 27th of May? Nah, man. I, I feel like, I feel like this is just a further, like, the... The day, month, year argument, man. I feel like this is just to further the argument. I, I don't feel like people would say it like that. Alright, 2020, October 23rd. I don't know why the 20... Oh, I guess the 23rd, because then candy will be available. And we'll want 8 p.m., which is 20. And we want it not raining, although I really feel like it wouldn't be raining at this time. You're wrong, Dag? No, I'm never wrong, man. I'm the streamer. That means I'm always right. In most other languages I know, you say the day before the month. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Like, I just... I guess I'm just built different. I guess I'm just built different. Oh, it's so dark. So spooky. So spooky. So I guess we can hear the crickets in the bushes. We don't necessarily need to see them, but let's go get... A, oh, whoop. Get out of here! Hey! Skip! Scoop! Skip! Please get into my net, if you don't mind, man. Please, I would really... Hardest bug to catch in this game, to be quite honest with you. Like, the banded dragonfly was tough, man. Don't get me wrong, but, like, good god. Holy shit. Stop jumping! Quit it! Stop! He's too fast! He too quick, he fast as fuck, boy! 38. <laughs> Damn. Why he's so fast? Please. If I asked you what your birthday is in English, would you say January 5th or the 5th of January? I would I would say the I would say January 5th, 5th, man. Like, what's my birthday? July 2nd. That's how I've always said it. That's how I've always said it. Alright, piece of candy to spawn an ant. I just fell backwards on my chair. Sorry about that. Hope you're alright. Seems rather unfortunate. Alright, maybe like just drop this little guy right there. Despawn, respawn. All right, easiest, probably the easiest bug I've ever caught. It's probably the easiest bug I ever caught right there. The Fourth of July, like you call it the, you call it July Fourth instead of the Fourth of July. Oh wait, no, no, no. Okay, you're saying you call it the Fourth of July instead of July Fourth, and that's kind of true. I guess I do say Fourth of July, but that's because it's you know, that's typically how it's referred to. Alright, anyway, number 40. We only have eight more bugs to go. Now, was that a bell cricket or a pine cricket? I actually have no idea what the hell a pine cricket looks like. Has anyone ever tried to cancel you? No, no, not really, man. <laughs> not really. Just the green one now. Okay, so the green one's a pine cricket. Okay, that's just a regular cricket again. I, I hate these sons of bitches, dude. I hate these sons of bitches. They fucked my wife. They hate me. I do have a question for all Americans here. What's the question? I can maybe answer. Was established before America was Americanized? Exactly. True. So true. Please. Four. I... 
I'm going to scream. I'm going to cry. Like, bro, you're going to make me cry. You're about to make me start crying in the club right now, man. You're really about to do this to me. Why do Americans celebrate Cinco de Mayo? I don't know. I think we celebrate... I think we're just looking for a reason to celebrate. Same reason why we celebrate... Uh, what's the Irish one? St. Patrick's Day? We just look for a reason to get shit-faced, dude. That's, that's really it. I don't really abide by it because I'm not a drinker, but... I think that's... I think it's literally just a reason to, like, drink for a day. Just get shit-faced. Have a good reason for it. Please? So that was a bell cricket, so I still need the pine cricket. Okay, Paul. To get swifty? No, but, like, what I mean is... Oh, there's the pine cricket. Alright. Uh, yoink. Pine cricket was the nicest to me of all of them. Man, I gotta bring that guy back. Alright, that's all the crickets. And that's all we needed during that time frame. That was easy as hell. Alright. Wait, why Cinco de Mayo specifically? Like, why did you even conclude that that was the one Mexican celebration that stood out the most? I, I, I don't know, man. I didn't, I didn't really create the celebration. I don't really celebrate it, nor did I really say that, hey, Cinco de Mayo. I don't know. I didn't make the dang holiday. I didn't, I didn't, I'm not really the one who dictated why we celebrate it, to be quite honest with you. Wish I had an answer for you, though. Why are the strawberries so high definition on that umbrella? I don't know. Pine Cricket is a way higher chance in September. This route did not exactly optimize. I don't know if percentages were known then. I mean, it didn't take me too long. I feel like the time that it would take to time travel to two different dates. I guess unless you mean like catch them all in September instead of October. I guess because they're trying to get the candy and the ant at the same time as the crickets i think that's the logic to it instead of having to go to september get all the crickets and then go to the october to get a piece of candy to spawn an ant i think they're trying to like put it together at the same time good evening jesse how are you doing and what's up bimmy bug how are you doing as well all right now september 22nd at 12 p.m for a red dragonfly a grasshopper a praying mantis a long locust and a migratory locust. And actually, I need to go get some flowers for the praying mantis, I think. Same with so-called English pubs. Just because you have a picture of the royal family everywhere, your fish and chips, your fish and chips doesn't make it English. Yeah, so true. So true. Thanks for the hydrate. If you say month day is correct, the way is the correct way to say dates, then why are you saying Cinco de Mayo and not Mayo and not Mayo Cinco? Exact checkmate atheists. Exactly. So true. I don't know, man. I don't know why we celebrate the holidays that we do. I mean, for fuck's sake, like I had Columbus Day off for school when I was a kid, man. At that point, just throw all logic out the window. Fucking Columbus Day. That guy, that dickhead. We, they even taught us that he was a dickhead in school. Like, they didn't hide the fact that he was a piece of shit, and yet they still gave us a day off for him. Crazy. I don't know why we celebrate the things that we do. It's almost because, like, it was people 300 years ago that decided these things or something like that. Yeah, now it's Indigenous People's Day, which is pretty pog. I don't know, though. I feel like people are going to try to uncancel... What is this? What is this? Is this like the fall sports festival? What is this? What did that say? I couldn't pull out my translate app fast enough. Alright, let's go get some flowers. Oh, I need you. Oh man, I feel like these things are going to be real pains in the asses to catch. We need to go get some flowers first. For what it's really about? Mayonnaise. Exactly. So true. We do need a mayonnaise-based holiday. We do need a mayonnaise-based holiday. Uh, yeah, just get whatever flowers I can. I think mantis is probably spawn on flowers, right? It said something program. The only thing I can think during this time of the year is the fall sports festival, maybe? In which case... I don't know. I should go check it out, maybe. 
What is Mardi Gras? I don't really know what Mardi Gras is. I know that it's popular in New Orleans because they have a large, like, French history to it, and I think it's a French holiday, so I don't know. That's all I know about it, though. Man. Green, blue flowers without needing... Without hybrids? Interesting. There should be... Well, I guess there is wind flowers in New Horizons. Ah, either way. Quite literally what it means? Yeah, but what does it mean? Alright. Praying Mantis? Now we don't need... Now we don't need these anymore. Fat Tuesday? Hey, man. You know, I mean, I'm putting on a little bit of weight, but like, you know... It's Fat Tuesday, a.k.a. the day before Ash Wednesday in Lent. Ah, okay. Well, that makes sense, then. Breeding flowers challenge in older games? Well, they didn't have flower breeding in this game. Um, it was only a thing in Wild World and later. I guess, but, like, I don't know. Like, what would be the end goal, I guess? What would be the end goal? All right. So now we just need Grasshopper, Red Dragonfly, Long Locust, Migratory Locust. So three of four are just on the ground, and then the last one is flying around. A Red Dragonfly. Clunk. Alright, that's a Migratory? I mean, it's new either way, but... Is that a Migratory Locust? I think so. Long Locust is... Or is that a Grasshopper? I don't know the dra- Oh, don't worry. This dragonfly is not going to be hard. The red dragonfly is not difficult. Now, was that a grasshopper or a migratory locust? I actually have no idea. Hey, doi- Diagonal Boink, how are you doing today? What did you just address me as? Diagonal Boink? Yeah, I'm doing alright today. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, what? I guess I'm alright though, man. Thanks. How long do you estimate this will take? I don't know. I have really no idea. Uh, oh, that's the migratory. Okay, so I caught a grasshopper. Don't go onto the train tracks! What? Get- What the fuck are you doing, man? Get out of there! What? Get off of those! Get- Get off the train tracks, man. You're going to get in trouble. You're going to get in trouble, man. Better get off the... You, you, you're you going to get in trouble, man. Mom's going to get mad, man. Better get off those train tracks. All right. Well, fuck me, I guess. I guess I'll... You're still there, man. He's... You're a son of a bitch, you know that? You're a son of a bitch. I think I hear something. I hear. I hear. Another grasshopper. Eh, unfortunate. He touched the butt. The way he hops without moving his legs. Iconic. I mean, he's got wings, right? Is he still there? Alright, good. He's gone. Alright. So we got two grasshoppers, right? Yeah, okay. So that was a migratory locust on the train tracks. I need that guy. And then a long locust as well. Maybe I shouldn't run to avoid that happening again. Like, boing without a D, so it's doing? How am I doing? Oh, okay, I'm good. Yeah, I'm alright today. <laughs> I'm alright today. How are you? Alright, see you, man. Viva el español. Los demás idiomas no los entiendo. I don't know what I just said. I could have just said something bad, man. I could have just said something bad. For all I know. This is a grasshopper again. He's not making a noise, though, this time. You know what, dude? Get out of here. Shoot. You're gonna be a... No, you... That was super good Spanish. What the hell? Was it good? Oh my god, he pronounced it perfectly. Did I? <laughs> I'm usually pretty bad with languages. It's pretty good. All right. Pretty happy with that. Yo! Vivacious Galapagos Penguin. Thanks for the gift sub to Last Jaybird. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. 
and last jaybird enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing i appreciate that thank you thank you thank you thank you i ah, i hear something long locust get your ass over here and jesse the messy thanks for the five months in a row i appreciate that thank you thank you thank you thank you enjoy your emotes enjoy your ad free viewing i appreciate that thank you thank you thank you Long live the Spanish language. I don't understand the other languages. Oh, okay. Right. Entiendo. Understand. Okay. And then, of course, Espanol being Spanish. Okay. Okay. I can kind of put two and two together. I mean, I took Spanish one and two in high school. And I don't remember anything from it. Other than a select fair few amount of, like, words. Like, El Baño. But that's pretty much it. Should I go to sleep? It's 19 past midnight for me. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm really not like your parental guardian who can tell you what to and to not do. I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, man. You need to try speaking Welsh? No, I'm all right, man. I, I don't think I'm going to... I don't think I'm going to start speaking Welsh. That's, uh, that's kind of one of those languages I kind of refuse to acknowledge because... I mean, I don't really need to point... I, I don't really need a good example when y'all got like a village in your uh in your country that's like 60 letters long just a bunch of like fucking mishmash of the most random letters god could have possibly put together i don't really think i need justification as to why i'm not learning welsh then you're tried speaking dutch no i haven't might be worth doing all right you guys spawn around like water beds forgot about that i was like wait i haven't gotten a red dragonfly yet I'm Welsh, womp womp. I mean, it's pretty cool. You know, you shouldn't feel shame for that. I'm just saying, you guys, your language is like a little bit fucked up is all I'm saying. Yeah, just like a key, like somebody literally was like, hey, yo, we just found this new village in Wales. What should we call it? And then they're like, on the keyboard, just completely like a disgrace to other places that are called things that are actually pronounceable. Yeah, Stanley's Welsh, technically. He's definitely from America, but I guess he has Welsh ancestry. I want to eat the dragonfly. Okay, I mean, you know, you could do that. Could probably do that. I'm sorry, Carolyn. Yeah, this is something I've had to go through a few times myself. I hope it gets better for you. It will get better for you. Time heals those wounds, but it isn't easy at the start, I promise. But... Hopefully it gets better for you soon. Over here talking about Yoshi popping eggs out. Huh? It directly translates to the local train station. Like, and it's fucked up because the local trans train station is like a fucking mouthful. But they somehow made it even more of a mouthful than if you had just called it the local train station. Like, ain't that fucked up? It was made up for tourism. Isn't there like a more... Isn't there a name for it that's like way more nice and easy to spell? And that's like the actual long form version of the village? I don't know, man. Still fucked up. It's like the bastardization of a language. How to invalidate your language in two simple steps. Find a village. Call it that. You've now invalidated your language. Landfair? Landfair? I don't know how to speak Welsh, man. Yeah, y'all like your doubled L's and your W's and your... I don't know, man. And like your lack of vowels. You guys love that in Wales, don't you? Do people in Wales like really even know Welsh? I feel like you just learn English now. Kind of like Irish. Like, I feel like Irish is not really as predominantly spoken in Ireland as just English is, right? My friend lives in Pison. Czech people know. It's a really nice village. Well, not Czech, so I have no idea. I've never heard of it before. Might have been there in GeoGuessr, though. I- I- You bastard, man! I can't catch them! I can't catch these fucking things! They keep jumping away! Sparked soul. Uh, thanks for the prime. I appreciate that. Thank you.
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. No, I haven't caught the locust. I've caught the grasshopper of the long locust, but not the migratory locust. I still need the migratory locust. English is my first language, as I'm from South Wales. Very few Welsh speakers here, but I do speak quite a bit of Welsh, just not daily. Yeah, interesting. I mean, I imagine maybe it's, like, taught in schools, but, like, the language that your parents teach you from a young age is probably English, right? At least that's always been my assumption. Please? Please? Like, I, I, I will shit myself. I don't even need this thing, man. Just despawn it. What are you doing? All of Wales hates England? Isn't, like, the UK just, like, a big fucking, like, jerk-off of, like, how all the different regions of the UK hate each other? Like, everyone hates... Everyone hates England. Ireland hates Northern Ireland because it's not actual Ireland. Or maybe they like North Ireland? I don't know. But don't they all hate... Yeah, they all hate England. And I think Scottish people hate everyone and themselves. And then Irish people, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, even England hates England, yeah. True, pretty true. The ball, yeah, poor guy. As an English person, we deserve the hate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. something like colonization doesn't sit well with people around the world. Although I wouldn't hold the average English person responsible for that. So, you know. Hey, hey, relax, settle fucking down. He's not by the train station, so we might be all right. God fucking damn it, man. How close can you get to these things before they get scared? Oh my fucking God, I'm going to, I'm going to get mad. Thank you. Christ. All right, I think that's everything in, I think that's everything Um, that, we can get on the mainland. Literally, the only two things that we need now are the two bugs that spawn on the island. That being the Hercules beetle right here. Or... No, no, wait. Wait, 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 wait. What am I missing? I have three things missing. I missed a beetle. Or... What is this? Oh, the coconut crab. Oh, I'm so stupid. Wait, so we should be at 45 then. I don't know. My counter must have got messed up at some point. Yeah, that's true. Sorry. 45. Right, so this is the coconut crab. This is the Hercules beetle. And this is the Queen Alexandra's swallowtail. Okay. And all three of those require the island. Two of which are caught on the island... The coconut crab requires coconut trees, which only spawn on the island. So, interesting. I wonder where my counter got messed up then. That'll be kind of difficult to work through in editing. Fun. <laughs> okay, so now we gotta unlock the island. Which is going to be... I have a way of... <laughs> okay. In order to unlock the island, you need to pay off all your loans as a way of essentially purchasing the island for yourself. Um, and then after that, you can take Captain's boat to the island to catch the Queen Alexandra's Swallowtail and the Hercules Beetle. Okay? But we're going to need to get money to pay off all of our loans. And in order to do that, I have a way. I have a dupe glitch. I don't... I didn't make it up, but there is a dupe glitch that I could use to get it set up in order to dupe a very expensive item and then use that to pay off my loans. Now, the setup for the dupe glitch is quite difficult. I don't know if I'll actually be able to do it today. I might have to practice it a little bit, but we'll see. Where's the wishing well, by the way? Like, I thought... Where's the wishing well? I was looking for Tortimer to see if there's, like... Why do the apples look so juicy in this game? They do be looking kind of juicy, don't they? They do be looking kind of juicy. Can I recap? I just got here. I mean, the recap's quite simple. We just need uh, two more bugs. Three more bugs. 
There's a wishing well in AC? Yeah, and I can't find it. <laughs> I don't even know where- where's my- I, I literally have a map here. Wait, am I dumb? It's li literally right above the museum and I missed it? Get out of here. It's right above the museum and I just completely missed it? Use the glitch, use the glitch. I'm gonna try to use the glitch. I'm just trying to, like, find the wishing well. There it is. Like, you got something for me today, man? What is this? Yeah, it's the sports fair, right? Yeah, yeah, it's the sports fair. You got a gun! Oh, shit, let me stay out the way here. So, wait. What's the wishing well do? Uh, it's where it hosts event, and today is the fall sports fair. So I feel like I could get a... If I release this, maybe. A, can I get, like, a fall medal for this? Yeah, give me a fall medal, and I think that sells for a lot. So that'll be the item that I dupe. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think that's what that is. How's the challenge going? It's going good. We're kind of at a standstill now, because now I need... Because now I need to perform a glitch, a dupe glitch, with which to keep duplicating this fall metal that I have now and selling it for a lot of money to pay off all my loans. Who gave her a gun? Got a gun! All right. Um... How am I gonna do this, man? How am I gonna- I think I also need, like, a two-by-one table. I'm gonna need a two-by-one table. In this game, the wishing well is also used for the e-reader and GBA stuff. Oh, okay, interesting. Prison house. Let's get- It does look like a prison cell, doesn't it? Um, okay, well, start out by just putting this down here this is a that's a fall metal right yeah okay so that's what we want that's what we want let's also sell all of our bullshit here let's <laughs> prison cell is this hey man it's gonna be a prison mansion here after i'm done with it okay it's gonna be a damn prison mansion you need a two by one table in the tape deck yeah so really just the two by one table should be all we need and then after that, we should be good to do the dupe. However, um, it'll be quite tough to... Like, the actual dupe glitch itself is kind of hard to perform. But hopefully with enough attempts, we can get it. Okay, so that's just a one by one. All right, and then let's... Uh, I think, I mean, we can leave the notebook. I don't think we need to, like, get rid of the notebook. All right, then let's save and quit and try to find a day where Nooks is selling a two-by-one table. Why are you paying off all your loans? You pay off all your loans, you unlock the island. The island unlocks exclusive bugs that you can't get on the mainland. How much do you need to pay it off? It's like 1.4 million bells, I think. And we already paid off our first loan. So we're not... <laughs> we're not too... You know, we haven't made much progress, but you know. I was hoping that along the course of this challenge, I was going to get pretty close to paying it off just naturally. It seems as though I <laughs> overestimated how much bugs are actually worth in this game. So, that's okay. You could just enter codes for 30k bells three times a day if you want. I could, but how do you do that on the Japanese version? How do you do that on the Japanese version? Like, are there codes specifically for the Japanese version, or do you use English characters? You probably use Japanese characters, right? I imagine so, at least. And also having to do that three times a day? Oh my god, that sounds like hell, I don't know. There are different codes. I figured, I figured as much. Back in roughly an hour? Yo, hope to see you back soon. You're better at working with Japanese than yesterday? I'm feeling my way around it. I mean, I mean, I've played enough Animal Crossing in my life to be able to feel my way around. It. What? What is this? This is a fucking patch of grass. My brother in Christ just dug up a little bit of grass outside, and now he's selling it at his store. This is peak capitalism right here, dude. What the? And for 1,200 as well. What the fuck? 
Some grace. My man's just literally tore up a piece of fucking astroturf. And then now he's... I guess now you can touch grass without actually leaving your house. An innovative technology for the average Twitch viewer. Alright, well, still no two-by-one table, though. This is the 30k bell code. And you tell me I have to type that in three times a day until I have 1.4 million? I think I'll just do the Duke glitch. I think I'll just do the Duke glitch. Um, as soon as I get a two-by-one table, that is. Grace. You didn't have to call me out so hard. You called yourself out by saying that I called you out. If you had not said anything, I would have assumed that you touch grass on the daily. He's running a business? Yeah, some fucking fraudulent ass. Lloyd having a seizure outside your house? He's just seizure core, man. Duplitches in this game are funny. You descend from the ceiling. It is quite funny. I can't wait to actually get it working so that I can show you guys. It is pretty funny, though. It is pretty funny. Okay, well, let's just keep going to day four till we get a two-by-one table. I think as soon as we get a two-by-one table, we're good. Thanks for the hydrate. Imagine not touching grass at least once a decade. I know, man. I know. Touching grass is overrated. It's pretty pog, actually. Grass ain't shit when I have hot pockets and Twitch streams. What a combination, man. What a combination. Who the heck is the player character walking around? That's Cupcake, and she was cut after this game. I believe this is the last game she was featured in. Two by one table? Can I have a... That's a fucking... That's a fucking... <laughs> this is... This is chat after I failed to catch the banded dragonfly for the eighth time in a row. Unfortunately, that is a table, but it's a two by two. Um, at least I think that's a table. It doesn't, it doesn't work either way, so... Wish there was a way to more quickly refresh. Like, I didn't have to go all the way back home just to save and quit, but oh well. Oh well. Tom Nook, grass, take it or leave it. Looks horrifying. Pretty terrifying. <clears throat> yeah, it's a Dharma. I, I forget what they're called. Dharmas? And then there's mini Dharmas. Can you eat an Animal Crossing? You can, but it doesn't provide you with stamina benefits like it does in New Horizons. You can just eat the fruit off the tree, though, if you're bored. Spent the last few days just reworking my whole damn island. Almost done. Heck yeah. Yo, hell yeah, dude. I took a walk in the rain today. It was nice until halfway through I had sensory overload for my wet sweatshirt. Lots of snails, though. That's pretty good. I mean, you know, minus the sensory overload part. Ah, shit. I fucked up. I gotta reset. Um... Minus the sensory overload part, that sounds pretty cool. Going on a nice walk. It's a giant. Oh, that's a giant Dharma. Okay. My brother said that Animal Crossing is terrifying and cursed. Well, that's rather appropriate as soon as this motherfucker loads onto the screen. I can see why you would think that when you look at this sack of shit over here. So, you know, he's kind of valid. Kind of valid. I want to eat the mouse. Why do you want to eat the mouse, man? <laughs> Why do you want to eat Chico, man? He's a good boy. What are you playing on? Dolphin emulator on my PC. Chow is cursed nightmare fuel. Like, if, if my man's his only experience with Animal Crossing is GameCube Chow, then yeah. I feel like he'll definitely think lesser of this game for sure. Chow is back. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we got Chow again. Pretty epic. Pretty awesome. I guess it's Destiny. That's a bench! Damn it. That's a bench. I don't think I can use that. I don't think you can put things on a bench. Urgh. Urgh, I'm mad. This is my mad voice. Urgh. Time to put this stream on the TV and take a fat nap. Best way to start my five-day weekend. Oh, fuck, dude. Hell yeah. I haven't had a five-day weekend in forever. The Chow Curse. He's my soulmate, exactly. I've never met anyone who likes Chow. That's pretty accurate. Five days? Jealous? Yeah, dude, like, I, I'm i a streamer, and I don't even get five-day weekends. I gotta unionize. 
Mm. I like Chow. You like Chow. You don't love Chow, though. Like, Chow, you're okay with him. You're content with him. But you don't love him. Like, you don't stand Chow. How many times has Chow showed up in your games? A, little, a few too many times. Then again, I guess once is still too many, by definition. You better not stand Chow? Uh-uh. I'm a teacher, so I have the whole summer off? Good. You deserve it. You deserve it. I like bubbles. I'm more of a Biff guy myself. Thanks to the office being closed Sunday and Monday? Yo, hell yeah. It's me? I love Chow? I mean, I guess. I guess we all have our quirks. Every villager is someone's favorite in the world? That's true. I'm just kind of like, I don't know. You just don't see many people whose favorite villager is like, what the fuck is this? This is that damn doll from Squid Games that turns around and blasts you with her eyes if you, like, move past the red light, green light. Yeah, you know what I mean. Barreled is straight ugly. You are gonna be straight banned if you keep talking shit about the most handsome man in Animal Crossing. I love Biff. He's my boy. That is my boy. Even if he has a fuck ugly house. I let Tom Nook pick my next villager and Chev removed in. Not bad at all. Yeah, that's pretty good. What are your thoughts on Sherb? I need to know. Sherb is good. I like Sherb. Squid Game and Animal Crossing? Bat chest. You're checking Nook's store every day. You could do turnips too. I could. I don't have... Like, why would I check the turnip prices unless I buy them though? I guess I could, though, if next Sunday comes around and I set the time to the AM. Yeah, I guess I could. Although, I don't know, I wouldn't get enough to pay off my loans, though. What the fuck is this emote? Dat sauce? What is the- what is dat sauce, man? Don't po- don't pose dat sauce, please. Thank you, Life is Strange, for the tier one. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Why? I just don't like Das Sauce, dude. It's not good. J just be normal. Post, like, Bat Chest or something. Who fucking, like, you... I know that you're being, like, you're fucking, like, scrolling through all the fucking global emotes being like, Haha, which one's the most, like, quirky? <laughs> and you found Das Sauce and you're like, oh, he's gonna love this one. Yeah, I know how you operate. No, stop posting Das Sauce, dude. It sucks dick. I'm leaving. Have a great day or night. Yo, you have a great day or night as well. I saw someone use it yesterday. Thought it would, might be cool. Sorry, man. No, it's not cool, man. I, that's not cool. I don't like Das Sauce. I don't like Das Sauce, man. It's not good. Alright, it's fucking plant cottagecore lesbian day at Nook store today, apparently. Now, what are your turnip prices, actually? Oh, it's Sunday. Interesting. Yeah, post pot friend, man. Any pot friends? Any friends? Love your videos. Thank you for all you do. Well, thank you, Life is Strange. I hope you enjoy. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna buy turnips right now. I don't think I'm gonna worry about that. I can't see a lot of the emotes like that sauce. I only see the name. Interesting. What are you watching on? I'm gonna melt. It's so hot here. It's like a nice, chilly, like, low 60s where I'm at today. Remember when nets wouldn't break? Good times. I mean, that was as recently as New Leaf, unfortunately. Like, normal Twitch? Twitch.tv on my PC? That's weird. If it's a global emote, it should definitely show up. Cottagecore lesbians are the best Animal Crossing players, TBH. And I took that personally. It's BT- Oh, it's better Twitch TV Global. Oh, okay. I thought it was Twitch Global. Okay, okay. Yeah, you need better Twitch TV if you can't see them. Which is a uh, browser extension. What about Lesbian Core Cottages? Pretty fog. It's raining so much over here. I haven't had rain in... Probably like two months. Pretty, pretty epic. Pretty epic that we're gonna break out into wildfire season here in a little bit. 
Is better Twitch TV on Firefox? I very much imagine so. I love the long unedited videos on Dagnal 2 as well. Hey, well that'll, this will be going up on that as well. So say hi to your future self. Dagnal, say gay rights, please. Gay rights, please. That's a two by two. It was, it's a matching set as well. Like, you can use a two by two, right? You can't. Why are you not catching bugs? I need to get a two by one table from Nooks. Thank you, Mr. Dagnall. You're welcome, man. You're welcome. I need to get a two-by-one table from Nooks. It's really complicated, okay? I need, like, a whole ass, like, whiteboard to show you what I'm doing, okay? So, I get a two-by-one table from Nooks, okay? And that allows me to do a dupe glitch, okay? And then I use the dupe glitch to get me a lot of money by duplicating an expensive item okay and then i use that money to pay off all my loans and then the loans unlock the ability to go to the island the island spawns exclusive bugs that i wouldn't be able to get anywhere else okay it's this whole convoluted like five step plan here that i got going on okay pepe sylvia pepe sylvia i got boxes full of pepe What about Das Sauce rights? No, no Das Sauce rights. No. So I'm done having pizza for dinner. How's the grind going? It's going good. It's going good. Great impression. I thought it was pretty good. Looks like you're touching the screen. Yeah, the magic of green screenery. What's it, what is the expensive item? The fall metal. I think it sells for like 19,000 bells or something like that. Good stream, Dagnal. That sauce. Repost in chat to let Dagnal know. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. I wish I could have pizza for dinner, but I'm on a diet and my chest... My cheat day isn't until tomorrow. I read that it's chest day. Like, oh, it's chest day. Like, it's leg day at the gym. It's chest day. Gotta work on my chest. Are you gonna upload the entire hunt like you do with the fish challenge? That is the plan, yeah. That is the plan. Yo, what's up, Bray in the fan? How are you doing? Bad stream, Dagnal! That's fair. What's the most expensive item in all the Animal Crossing games? Probably the Royal Crown. Or the Throne. I think it's the Royal Crown, though. Diets are overrated and less medically advised. LMAO. Are you a dietitian, man? I can't find better Twitch on Firefox. I'll just cope with watching the global emotes on the stream itself. Yeah, I guess you can watch them, like, on the actual screen. But, yeah. Oh, well. It still is a good app for making your Twitch browsing experience better. I lost a lot of weight over the past few months. I used to weigh 267. Now I weigh 244.3. That's awesome, man. It's over 20 pounds. Pretty awesome. I thought you said pirates are overrated. Like, pirates, like... We definitely glorify the pirate life, if that's what you're implying. Yeah, I think they are a little overrated. Like, being a pirate kind of sucked dick, from what it sounded like. It ain't like it was in Pirates of the Caribbean, man. Great progress, yeah. So, struggling with the giant Trevally? It's a tough fish, man. It's a tough fish. I traded with someone on Nookazon, and they gave me that crown as a little extra gift. Like, what? Yeah, people are very generous on Nookazon. Captain Jack Sparrow is not overrated. He glorifies the pirate life. He glorifies the... Fuck. He glorifies the pirate life. That's all I'm saying, man. I'm not saying, like, he's a bad, like, character in a movie. I wasn't a huge Pirates of the Caribbean guy, but... I think that he definitely glorifies the pirate life a little bit. I love your YouTube videos. Well, welcome. How do I say your name? H. Kolb? Thank you. Do you have any of the mini Animal Crossing plushies? Um, yeah, I got like, I got, I got this son of a bitch who ain't even in the game no more. So, I guess I probably got more. I probably got more. 
How does he glorify the pirate life? He almost dies in every movie. Well, on top of almost dying, okay, you're probably literally dying as a pirate. You're probably getting an insane amount of diseases as a pirate. And a pirate's life is not all about drinking ale. It's all about... Oh, yeah, I have this as well. Rosie. It's not all about drinking ale. It's more like, you know... Drinking ale to cope with the fact that your life sucks so much because you're out on sea 360 days of the year with a bunch of other smelly crewmates around you. Probably never actually getting to see any combat or anything at all. Pirate's life? Yeah, we glorify the pirate's life. It ain't like it is in the movies, man. Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival on the Wii U. No, I've never played it before. Stop being a hater. I'm not a hater, man. Oh. Oh, okay. Um I it's it's raffle day and I really want to win that middle prize because I I really want that middle prize because that would be exactly what I need. I do need tickets. Yeah. Well, that sucks. Um, yeah. All right. How would you know? Are you a pirate? Uh, I'll have you know, I watched an educational video on YouTube about how pirates' lives really were. Okay, so basically I'm an expert. Crewmates? No, man. Pirates be like, kill people and do bad things? Yeah, it's pretty like, you know, kind of glorified pirate life a little bit, I feel. Pirates are low-key kind of hot. No, I assure you, if you saw, like, a normal pirate that wasn't, like, excessively decorated for, like, a movie scene, you would probably not be like, that thing is hot. You'd probably be like, that thing is grody, disease-ridden, disgusting. You would, not, you would probably not find a real pirate hot, man. Fictional gay pirate rights. Oh no, he's hot. They probably stink. Probably. What do you mean, probably? Uh, sailing the seven seas 300 days a year. They don't got showers. Facilities. They smell like death. Probably, yeah. They smell of masculinity. Yeah, maybe that's all right with you, man. I prefer, you know, I prefer to smell like Old Spice. Deodorant. I don't know. They have seawater. Yes, notoriously great-smelling seawater. I don't know, man. Kind of tell me, like, that you don't live by an ocean without telling me you don't live by an ocean. Because if you do, you would know that seawater don't smell very good. It smells like rotten damn seaweed. It's awful. They have the oceans to cleanse. I just- you just don't know what an ocean smells like if you think that I would ever bathe in an ocean, man. Smells worse during Red Tide, too? I don't know what Red Tide is. It sounds like a euphemism for a period. Didn't they have a lot of STDs? I'm sure they had a lot of STDs, too, man. Why so angry? I'm just very passionate about the pirate fandom, you know? Just very passionate about it. As in, like, people don't understand pirates. Like, and how shitty their lives actually were. I hate pirate simps, exactly. It's so when algae blooms in the warm ocean waters. Yeah. Buy some pansies or cosmos for the Alexandra Swallowtail to spawn on the island. Do they not have flowers by default on the island? Oh, but maybe not cosmos or pansies, though. Okay. I mean, I guess. I, if I can tell what a cosmo or a pansy is before I buy it, I can buy it, I suppose. I write my own pirate fanfics in my free time. I don't- I've never wrote a fanfic. And I feel like I can hold that over most of y'all's heads because I feel like... I don't know. I feel like I- that, I don't know. Like, I have a leg up on everyone in chat because I never wrote fanfics before. I don't know. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with flexing your creative juices. But, you know. Luckily, I never had a fanfics phase before. Which is fine. Make writing a fanfic into the video? Bro, if I- If I wanted to put every funny moment that ever happened... Can I put things on this? Surely I can. Surely I can put things on this. I have to. Like, this isn't a bench, right? Surely I can. 
And then, sure, let me buy some... So I'm gonna last some flowers as well while I'm at it. I don't like writing? That's fair. The swallowtail spawns on trees? Really? Interesting. I've never wrote one, but I realize I have a cursed thing in my notes app. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I wanna ask what you mean by that. I'll just I'll just accept that. I'll just accept that. Writing a fanfic about AC. No, man, I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't think I'm going to do that. All right, I think we have everything we need. Um, I don't want that either. I just want to make sure I can actually put things on top of here. So I'll make sure I can actually put things on top of here. It might be like a bench, and maybe I can. Okay, pick this up real quick, and then blunk it right, right there we go. Okay, we can put things on top of there. Alright, so I think I have everything that I need to start trying to do the glitch. Let me let me pull up the video that I that I use to reference how to do the glitch. Like, let's see. Animal Crossing GameCube dupe glitch. Let's see here. So here's how you do it. And I'm gonna use this as reference myself as well on how to do this okay so here we go this is from uh i don't think bosby right, discovered the glitch but he made the video that i'm going to use to perform it here i don't can you guys you guys can hear it right surely okay so first things first you drop a glass table and you put it right in the middle of the room okay but take your table, doesn't have to be a glass table to be clear, but any two by one table. Drop that in the middle of the room, okay? That was this, right? We're off to a good start. Alright, that was this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, drop that. It's quite specific. Yeah, like this thing, it requires like a very specific amount of setup to do. This is a dupe glitch. Okay, what is this for? This is a this is me attempting to do a dupe glitch. That's what this is, okay? That's what this is. Okay? Okay. And then right, he sets up a couple of shirts. I think this is like just to like make sure that you're lined up correctly. Okay, so a couple of shirts right in front of Oopsie. Couple of shirts right in front of and to the right of this table. Okie dokie. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna go, it doesn't matter which shirt. I think it's like this. I mean, I suppose I, I just to be just to be safe, I'm gonna do it as shirts, even though umbrellas probably also works. No, my froggy! No no no, you can't come on now. <laughs> the stone room? Yeah! I actually picked this room specifically because there's a trick that you can use with the wallpaper to make sure that you're doing it right, but I don't know. Oh wait, no, this is to equip. Okay, so not we don't want to do equipping. We don't want to do equipping. Umbrellas work? I-I-R-C? Okay. I mean... Okay. Umbrellas work. Okay, okay, so umbrellas work. So we're gonna do an umbrella there, and we're gonna do an umbrella here. Alright, that works. Okay. Re-reference my video. Okay. Basically pixel perfect. You have to be standing on a very, very small set of coordinates. Oh, so are... three of them. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. I probably should have uh, got to that part first. Yeah, I guess I don't even have to leave this screen. Y'all can just watch me on this screen here. All right, right here, right here. All right, there you go. Three umbrellas all right there, right okay? And then, uh, I guess I should do it all the way back to the doorway. You run up this way, and then once you're standing on the set of coordinates, you drop a two-by-one item that then forces you to the right far enough that it pushes you up on top of this table. And once you're on top of the table, some wacky things start to happen. So the way the setup works is you grab the bottommost item of your three, then you let go... And you run straight up, and you see this this line on the table that I'm standing on, th this dark line right here, just around like the edge of it. Uh, as soon as you're the top of your head is touching that table, you want to pause. So you have to try a couple times to get it right. 
and then uh, assuming that the top of your head is touching the table. You Wait, so do I need another two by one yes. item? Oh, I think I need another two by one item. No, no, this is very fake. This is very real. This is very real. No, it, the fact that my house is bigger won't matter. It's fine. Um, but actually, now that I think about it, I think I might need another two by one item to do it. I know the video is quiet. Like, bro, I got it cranked. I got it cranked all the way up. I'm not making it any louder, unfortunately. I think... I think I need another 2 by one item to do this, actually. Okay. That's unfortunate, because... Is that the spring metal? Yeah, okay. I need another 2 by one item. Counter reset? That's fine. What were we at? 45? 45? Alright, that's fine. Yeah, the fact that his house is smaller, though, should not matter. The fact that my house is... I paid off the first loan, he didn't. But I think it should work just as fine. It should work just as fine. Are there any, like... Are there any fish that I could catch really quickly that are 2 by one sized when you put them down in the house? Like a sea bass? Is that a 2 by one Could I catch, like, a sea bass really quickly and then have that, like, work as my 2 by one item? Maybe. I guess we could try it, right? Yeah, sea bass I two by one. Okay, so theoretically, I buy that fishing rod in there. I catch a sea bass. Or maybe he had a two by one item. I mean, shit, maybe he just had one, though. No, he didn't. Okay. So, buy the fishing rod in here. Catch a sea bass or any two by one fish. And then that should also work, maybe? You sold the... I sold the tape deck. Does it have to be a tape deck, or can it be any one-by-one one item? Does it have to be a tape deck? I don't think it has to be a tape deck, does it? Just any one-by-one one item will work. I feel like any one-by-one. One. Okay, okay, okay. No big deal. No big deal. No big deal. But yes, that was a big dummy move of mine. I forgot that this requires having the tape deck as well. Uh, We'll call it a little whoopsie-daisies, all right? We'll call it a little whoopsie-daisies. How about that? Let's call it a little whoopsie-daisies. Hey, man. You want to, like... You're still on this game? Yeah, man. Takes a while. Takes a while. It's not, like, you know, I have a timer here, but it's hardly, like, a speed run world record attempt. Wow. Wait, didn't y'all say yesterday that, like, fishing in this game is stupidly difficult? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Alright. Well. Perhaps I, uh, perhaps I, hmm. Perhaps maybe this won't be as easy as I thought. Okay, there's my one by one. Blue, I mean, I can't imagine a bluegill is anything but a one by one. Okay, so that's fine. Now we got to go down to the ocean. At least the most accessible two by one fish I can think is probably a sea bass. So, or a red snapper might be a two by one. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Oh, you're just guessing that it's a two by one? Well, I hope you're right. I hope you're right. It's not stupidly difficult, but it's a bit more. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I would have caught that first fish if this was the original GameCube. But I don't know. You're doing great, Sweaty. Thanks. Thank you. Red Snappers are one by one. I mean, are you going off, like, the New Horizons dimensions? Because, I mean, it's probably changed so much since then. It's probably changed so much since then. Because, yeah, sea bass are, like, really small. At least their shadow size in this game is really small. So, we'll see. We'll see. Like, look at that thing. I think it's tiny. But let's try putting it in our house and see. Hey, boys, boys. Oh, Jesus Christ, the red dragonflies, dude. I was gone for an hour. Did I miss anything? Nope, not really, man. Now we're trying to perform a dupe glitch. So, that's really all we're trying to do now. Red snappers are one by one. In this game, they're one by one? Okay. The boys, the lads, the fellas. All right. Sea bass, two by one, please. So we back in the mines, got our pickaxe swinging from side to side, side, side to side. 
Oh, what a pain in the ass. Um, all right. Uh, <laughs> I need a two by one item. I suppose I could dig up these fossils, and then maybe there's a decent chance that one of those would be a two by one item. Or shake down some furniture from trees and hope that those are two by one. I don't know. I don't know. Or I don't know. What else could I do? I don't know. I thought sea bass would be big enough. There are some big river fish. I don't know how many of them are available right now, though. I don't know how many of them are available right now. I might, it might just be worth time traveling to, like, get another 2 by one item. There has to be a big fish available right now. I mean, there might be. Most fish are one by one except rare ones like the string fish, coelacanth, and giant catfish. Best bet would be the eel. Okay, the eel is a... It's not like a long shadow in this game. It's just like a regular shadow, so it's kind of hard to tell when an eel is versus what just a regular fish is. But I think my better bet would probably be just trying to time travel until I get it. Why are sold out signs in English if this is the Japanese version? Good question. I really don't know. I really don't know. I feel like my better bet, though, would be to just probably keep time traveling until I can get a two-by-one item. Uh, hello? Like the... It's not my house. It's not my house. Not my house. AC gives no shits about continuity? No. Pretty much. Good luck for today. Thank you, Lana. I appreciate that. I would, I would really like this... I would really, really like to save my game, man. I would really like to save my game. Thank you. Oh, all right. Little big stretch. I forgot that I needed another two by one item to do this, and I'm mad. All right, it's fine. Though. It's fine. It's fine. Ugh. Uh, all right. If you're willing to catch a coelacanth, that's a two by one. I'm like, what would take longer? Time traveling until I find a two by one item in nooks or catching the coelacanth or any other two by one fish. I'm kind of like, surely it would be faster to just time travel until I get a two by one item. I think nooks is a better idea. I agree. I agree. This game would probably be a great way to practice Japanese. It probably would, yeah. It probably would, considering, like... You know, it's one thing to, like, play a game and know all the dialogue already, but just read it in a different language. You're like, oh, I know what that means, because I played the English version. But in this game, like, I don't know, you'd probably be getting a lot of dialogue that you've never seen before. So it would actually test your ability to read Japanese, you know? Right, yeah, in this game... If you miss the coelacanth, you can't... Yeah, you have to restart your game to actually get another attempt at it. Yeah. I have you in the background while I'm watching a horror movie. Interesting. I f do I help your terror? Like, do am I helping with the... Am I helping with, you know, satiating the terror you might feel? I'm not a horror movie guy myself. Have a nice stream. Yo, thank you, Froggy Google. I appreciate that. Oh god, Biff? What's wrong with Biff, dude? What's wrong with Biff? He's a good guy. I love how catching a coelacanth is an option here. Yeah, who'd, who'd have thought that we have to maybe catch fish in a bug speedrun? I do be scary, apparently. Maybe I'm even more scary, yeah, I don't know. Yo, what's up, Sad Jess? How are you doing? Welcome. Yeah, I think Nooks is probably the better way of doing it. Unless somebody can tell me, like, the best time to catch an eel or something like that, I don't know. Yo. Colon closing parenthesis closing parenthesis. Natalie! Thanks for the two months! I appreciate that, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you very much, and enjoy your emotes, and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thank you, Christ Games, as well, thank you. Yeah, I guess Biff's house is a good reason to hate him, but, you know, that's okay. That's the Nintendo overlords that gave him that house. He didn't make that house. For all we know, he could hate it just as much as we do. I wouldn't blame Biff too much for that. 
Have you seen the Winnie the Pooh horror movie that's coming out? What? Are you talking about? <laughs> I feel like you just like put... I think... I think you might have just like went to a website that was like random sentence generator and then you posted it in my chat. A Winnie the Pooh horror movie. I don't know the peak times, though. Yeah, so not right now. Not right now, then. What do you mean, though? I wish our villagers would do the announcements upon startup in New Horizons to give Isabel a break. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. I kind of miss it. No, it's real. What do you mean? What? What? There's a Winnie the Pooh horror movie coming out? Hey, what's up, Fungi Hark? How are you doing? It's real. It's a real movie that's coming up. Why? Why? Disney's not attached to it. Well, then how the hell are they going to get away with that? Disney's not attached to it, yet you're using a Disney property? How are you getting? How are you going to get away with that? Oh, Winnie the Pooh is public domain now, so people are using it for things? Oh, interesting. Interesting. I did not know that. <laughs> cool. Well, I guess, uh... I guess I'll be on the lookout for Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Interesting. It's real. That's from the sounds of it. I'm like, yeah, like, how would Disney ever let that happen? But I guess if it's not their property anymore. I guess. I, I guess. I suppose so. Nice vending machine. I think Pooh and Piglet go on a bloody rampage or something. I mean, that sounds pretty amateur. Like... They couldn't even have made it, like, a psychological horror. They're just like, oh, the two cute characters go out and they start murdering everything. Like, I don't know. It's, it's pretty pretty basic. I don't know. Like, I feel like somebody could have got a little more creative than that. As long as it's based on the original books instead of specifically the Disney interpretation, it's fine. Kind of like how there are other Peter Pan adaptions. Like, the peanut butter. Yeah. What a stupid sounding movie. It sounds like a 20s 10 creepypasta. Yeah, that's a, that's, that's, you put your finger on it better than I could. It sounds like it's a creepypasta from like the 2010s. Like the little red shirt poo is Disney property, but the classic one is public domain now. Oh, I see. Okay. I really didn't know there was any other Winnie the Poohs out there. I thought the Disney one was the ubiquitous Winnie the Pooh. William the Pooh. Nice if Hollywood made original ideas instead of refurbishing older stories. So true, Bestie. I also hate the movies industry. Pinocchio painting nails emoji movie? It was a Pinocchio movie? I mean, I guess, like, yeah, Shrek used Pinocchio. Even though probably the Pinocchio from the Disney movie is probably Disney's Pinocchio. But Pinocchio on, like, a broader scale is probably, like, public domain or something like that. Thank you! I mean, I think this works, even though it is a table. This probably works, right? Probably works. If I had to guess. Let's try it. Anything you think is Disney is not... Anything you think is Disney is not? Bro, doesn't, like, Disney own everything, though? Like, I feel like Disney owns me. I don't know. Anyway, I think this should probably work. Because Shrek also had all the princesses, which aren't necessarily Disney. That's true. Man, so DreamWorks kind of just said, like, yeah, let's just go ape shit with all this, like, public domain, huh? Interesting. All right, well, now let us grab you... And grab you. Okay. How'd you get the rosy plush? Somebody gifted it to me. A viewer actually gifted it to me. I don't know. How did they get it? The world may never know. Alright, so back to this now. Back to this. Okay, so now what do I do now that I got the... Uh, Nine times out of ten, if you have the right frame. Now that I got the one by one item or the two by one item. Okay, so right. I think you can just keep doing this until... Until you're supposed to, like, glitch up on top of the table if you do it right. Brooke! 
I'm like stupid busy so I never catch a stream. Thanks for the but 27 months. But hope everything months. is going well. Dagnall love. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. That's okay that you're not able to catch a stream. Everyone's got their busyness. Everyone's so busy these days. I don't blame you. Thank you, though, for the 27 months. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. And hello, Giraffic, Giraffic Park. Wait, that's so good. Branch out into other games in the series. Thanks for all you do. You're welcome. And thank you for, for, thank you for tuning in and enjoying the content. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you again to Brooke as well. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, this is what's supposed to happen if I do it right. Pause on the frame that okay? He's it. saying that if you line up the text box with this part of the wall That's here, right. that should be the right frame with which to do it. And then if you do it right, if you do it right, this is how it should work. Intersects with the very top of this white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so here's what happens: you glitch on so top of the table, the table and then after the you, space you space glitch on top of the table, what do you do? I mean, maybe I should just get to that part first before I worry about what you do after that, right? Maybe I should just worry about getting on top of the table first. I think let's do that. Let's just try to. So I think this. Let me try to find the frame here. Like, one above this? Like, right there might be the frame that I need to do it. Right there might be the frame I need to do it. Oops. Okay, so don't... How did I do this? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Thanks for the hydrate. Okay, so... <clears throat> assuming... No. How do how does he do this where he sprints as soon as he's done? How does he do that to where he sprints as soon as he Hang on, I got to watch that again. I'll watch it again. I can't. I got to watch it again. All right. Let's go back here. How does he do this to where he sprints as soon as he lets go of that without picking up that without picking it up? Dude, show it again, my son. He like sprints as soon as he lets it go. How does he do that? So, you're going to start using a see that, but unfortunately I'm using a smaller house than Sockholder was using, so you can't really see that. Like, how does he sprint as soon as he lets go of that item without picking it up? Actually, you know how he does it. I think that you can use left trigger to also sprint. I think you can use left trigger to also sprint. Alright, let's practice that. No? Damn it, I can't do it without... Hang on, like this, and then up like that. Okay, so maybe like that, okay. And then, <clears throat> what should the inventory bubble intersect with? What line of the wall? Okay, so there's the small brick here, and then there's the, the long brick to the right. When I opened your stream and saw the old version of Animal Crossing made my day. It's good to see that some people still enjoy the classics. Thank you, Ghost Charlie. When you opened your stream, I saw the old version of Animal Crossing. It made my day. Good to see that some people still enjoy the classics. I do. I do enjoy the classics. Thank you very much for the 100 bits. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that very much. Okay, so that is... Okay. Okay. My childhood? Yo, hell yeah, dude. Mine too. Well, actually, Wild War was more my childhood. Yo, what's up, Wolfie? How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Okay, so let go, and then... Sprint up. I think I'm too early. But still worth trying. Like, he does like a stop and goes backwards, but I think that might be okay. Yo, what's up, Jess from... What is that? Jess from... Ipima? I poema. I really enjoy let's play of this Animal Crossing NGL. I don't know if I'd ever do a let's play, but maybe. Is it? I don't think he's supposed to do like the skirt backwards. This game is literally older than me. This game is probably older than a lot of you. Is sad as it is to say. 
Okay, so I think you have to keep holding forward so you don't do the skirt backwards. All right. The counter reset again. I mean, I'm going to keep, like, going back and forth between that video. So I'm not going to reset it. I'm not going to reset it quite yet. Because, at least not until I at least perform the glitch once. This game came out in 03? Or did it come out in 01? I think the original came out in 01. I think the original came out in 01, but this game specifically I don't think came out in 01. It's older than me as well? Yeah, yeah, the counter, I know the counters are back to zero. No worries, no worries. Let's go! Ooh. All right, now don't move a fucking muscle. Don't move. Don't move. Consult the video. Okay, so he's going to do it now. And as soon as he's up on the table, what does he do? Okay, he goes to the right of the table, but I don't think it matters too much. Uh, the count. I know the count is a zero. Don't worry. Sure. Don't worry. So you're gonna drop the spring metal. So the spring metal can be sold for nineteen thousand bills, making it a quick item that you can get that sells for a ton of money. Okay. So, so he drops the spring metal on the left of the table, and then he picks up the table. Okay. He drops the spring metal on the left of the table, and then he picks up the table. Okay. So go over here. Drop. The spring metal, or the fall metal. I think they're both fine. And then he picks up the table. Okay, beautiful. And then I think he picks up everything else in the room. And now the metal is floating. And now the metal is floating. Okay, so does he pick up everything else in the room? Pick up the table, and you see that the spring metal is now floating. Okay, yes. So this is when things get a little interesting. If you now drop a one by one item under the table, I use the tape deck because you always have it. Okay, and now you want to face, you want to face, you want to clean up everything in the room, first of all. And then you want to face the metal, and you want to drop the one-by-one one item, which for me is the bluegill. And then it'll get teleported to the top of the screen. Alright, alright, now we're getting funky. And then if you walk out of your house, and then walk back into it. You'll see that they switch positions, and now the tape deck is below the uh, metal. So now what I'm going to do is pull the tape deck down into a good position. And now when I walk back... Okay, so pull the I tape deck... In. For whatever reason, the metal is... Pull the tape deck, or, well, my one-by-one one item down. Let's leave, leave the house, come back in. Leave the house, come back in. And then now they're going to switch positions, okay? And then we're going to pull the one by one item down next to the door they've switched positions okay now we're going to pull this down by the door okay i think just right next to the door works fine and then now he leaves the house again where it is always going to be on top of the uh, tape deck wait hang on let's go back here so wait he pulled it down is below the uh, metal so now what I'm going to do is... Pull Interesting. He pulls the tape deck. Yeah. Wait, he pulls the tape deck. He pulls the tape deck, but the metal doesn't move. My metal did move. To a good position. My metal did move. And now, when I walk back out and walk back in, for whatever reason, the metal is not... So if I walk in, pick up the spring metal... Okay, well, let's... If we messed it up, then that's fine. We'll, we'll just try it again. I mean, we got it. We got this far once. We can do it again. And now we'll leave? No, yeah, we'll try it for sure. I think, I speculate, I think I know why this wouldn't work if it doesn't work, in which case I'll need a new one-by-one one item. Okay, so you're supposed to pick that up, walk out of the house, and then walk back in... And ideally, you can pick it up again. Yeah, so now it's gone. 
Is it because it's a fish? Yeah, so I think the fact that you can... Hmm... My speculation is that you can put things on top of the fish, and that's why maybe it doesn't work compared to the tape deck. No? It's open on top, so maybe not. I'm trying to dupe the metal. I'm trying to dupe the metal. It doesn't have a lid, though. So wait, why didn't it work? Why didn't it work? I mean, I suppose it's not there, right? Why are you trying to dupe the metal? Because it's worth a lot of money, and I can sell it to get a bunch of money to pay off the island. Didn't pull it right? I don't think he says in the video that you have to pull it right, does he? I don't think he says in the video that you have to pull it right. If he did, then I missed that. And that's where I'm mistaken. Drop the, uh, drop the fishing rod. I mean, fuck, let's drop everything that we don't need for this. Yeah, the dupe glitch, yeah. Let's just drop everything that we're not using right now, just to keep the inventory nice and clean. Maybe try pull it right first. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. And then we have... We should have our table. We should have our two 2x1 two items. One being a table. Our our metal and then our 1x1 one one item. Do you have saves or backups? Like save states? I could use save states, but I don't know if I want to. In case of corruption? Well, that would be smart. But in case of corruption, I could just reload. I think I'd be okay. Didn't they patch this out in the later games? I don't... I think so. I mean, I don't think so because we already had the glitch working. Yeah, maybe don't do that. Mm. Um, I had the glitch working, so they obviously didn't patch out the like weird teleportation glitch that your furniture items do. But yeah, did they patch out the actual duplication itself? I don't know. I don't know. Does the dupe glitch in New Horizons still work? I think that the dupe glitches in New Horizons still work. I don't know, though. Okay. Drop your... Not that. That's the thing we want to dupe right there. Shit. No, the speedrun uses this glitch, but, like, does the speedrun use a different version of the game? I don't know. So, that's... may It could be the case, maybe. Tell me what's going on. Like, what am I trying to do? I am trying to duplicate this item right here. I'm trying to, I'm trying to set up a duplication glitch. It's very difficult. It's kind of, it's kind of convoluted and weird, and it's, it's funky. Okay, it's funky, but it's, it's kind of fun trying it out here. It's kind of fun. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to set up a, a duplication glitch. Okay. I guess let's try it again, and if it doesn't work this time, then... If it doesn't work this time, then that's a sign that maybe I should try using something other than the bluegill. Is what it sounds like to me. Try using something other than the bluegill. Okay. Got our three items there. It could be the fish. It could be the fish. In which case, finding another one-by-one one item shouldn't be too hard. But... I don't know. Like, does he have any one-by-one one items that might work? I guess I could go check. I guess I can go check. Let's try... Because he does say in the video, any one-by-one one item. I don't know. I feel like if it could be any one-by-one one item, then the fish would have been fine. But... Oh, just for posterity's sake. I don't see why a chair wouldn't work. Let's try it. I'd say find another one-by-one one item. Try the chair. The lime chair, I think. Let's try it. Let's try it. I don't know, maybe it's weird. Maybe it doesn't work because it's a chair. I don't know. What if you just use the shirt pattern? Yeah, what if I, what if I just use the shirt pattern? I suppose that would be fine. 
suppose if if this doesn't work then we can try the shirt pattern um yeah suppose that could work as well all right and so now what we have to do grab this run here that might actually be good right there okay that's the lime chair let's put that aside this is the thing that we want to okay i think i did it too late because now i'm out of space okay okay i did it too late did it too late Tape decks go on top of stuff. I don't know if this matters. But the bluegill should as well, right? You can put a bluegill on top of a table. You can put a bluegill on top of a table, I imagine. So if that's what's holding me back, then I don't see why the bluegill would have failed. I think that's a little bit too early. And also, I need to keep holding forward when I do it. Okay, way too late, way too late. Maybe good... No, too late. Okay, too late. Too late? Okay, so when it doesn't let me put it down at all, that means it's too late. Okay, and that means I need to do it early. So I'm too late when I do it here. Okay, stop doing that, please. I feel like this is too early now, if anything. Yeah, okay, so ideally, after I put down the table, I should glitch on top of that glass top table. Ideally. I mean, I already did it once, so, you know, i obviously proven that I'm capable of doing it. What's up, Lizzie Crossing? How are you doing? That looks good. No, what? That looks perfect. Ideally, okay, so what he said is, ideally, uh, the top of that inventory bubble, it should line up with that wall. It should line up with, like, where the brick... I think it needs to be one below that, man. It's got to be so precise. See, that looks good again, but I guess that's just too late. It has to be at the last frame before you're out of space to put the table down, it looks like. It has to be at the last frame before you can put the table down. Before you can't put the table down. This glitch is being done because I need to duplicate a lot of money. So that's why I'm doing this. That might work. Okay, I think that was one frame too early. There's one frame too early there. I think this is too late. Yeah. This is the wrong time to join? Why? We're doing science, man. It's fun. At least I'm enjoying this. Then again, I guess I'm the one doing it. Maybe watching me do this over and over again isn't all that fun. Ah, uh, that was like... I think that was a couple frames too early, maybe. That looks... Yeah, a little bit too late. Too early? Yeah. You managed to do it so fast earlier? Yeah, like... A little too early? Yeah. I'm just so confused. It's okay. If you see me glitch on top of the table, that means I succeeded. If I did not glitch on top of the table, that means I failed. It's that simple, really. Too late? Nope. Too late? On my second monitor while playing Stardew? Yo, how's your Stardew? Glitching is fun? I think so. Too early? little too early you could slow down dolphin and use frame advance i don't know man it's, i'm already kind of pushing the uh, bounds of legality here not that i have to follow any like rules or regulations but i don't know i did it already once at real time that looks good damn it that wasn't good oh that looked good that looked good honestly I don't know. Not that there's any, like, laws that I have to abide by when doing this. I just feel like... That looks good, I think? Damn it. Really? Or... Maybe... Looks good again. Good luck. Thank you. I'm gonna need it, apparently. And that's three times that looks good now. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. And then... He dropped... He dropped the metal on the left side of the table. I don't really know if it has to be facing a certain direction. And then he got rid of the table. He got rid of everything else. And then underneath the picture, he put a... Not that. That's the table. It's just the lime chair. Wait a minute. This is the lime chair. No, that's the table. Should be fine. No, now it's not fine because... Oh, fuck. I messed up. 
Okay, I need to... I need to be able to read what the lime chair is. What's the lime chair? Fuck. I, I put the wrong thing down. I actually put it to where I essentially restored normalcy by putting a table underneath something that I could put it on top of. Okay, that's the lime chair right there. I have the lime chair. I'm going to put the lime chair not there. I am going to put the lime chair in the corner of my inventory here, okay? I'm going to drop these tickets here because they're bothering me. <laughs> that's the chair. We got it, boys. All right, that's fine. We did it once. We'll do it again. It's fine. We did it once. We'll do it again. Please stop picking shit up. Unpog. We we pogint. Pogintid. Alright, put the two by one ch table down again. That's the metal. Alright. <laughs> Grab the metal. We want to do the metal first, the lime chair second. So this is a good order to have things in here, okay? This is a good order. We want to put a two by one table down. That one's fine. That one works just fine. We want to go back in here. We want to put our we want to put our shirts back down. Okay. Beautiful. Three shirts. One, two, and three. Okay, beautiful. Did his numbers delete? No, that's... that. Yeah, my numbers deleted. It's fine. That looks good. I don't know, man. That looks good. Oh, no. It was just too late. All right, now move the table back up here. Move the table back up here. So that's the first thing my inventory selects. Okay, way too early. Way too early. Little too late? Yeah, little too late. Yeah, Pogint. I can fix the counter later. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Alright. That looks good. That looks good. Okay, we are going to put the spring metal down first. And then we are going to... Undo your table. Grab all of this. We are going to go into here, and we're going to put the lime chair down underneath here. Or that, as well. Alright, we're going to leave our house. We are going to re-enter our house, and they should be switched, so that the lime chair is on the bottom now, and that is on the top. We're going to pull it right first. And we're going to pull it into a position that is more accessible. Okay. Let's just do it like that. Just, let's just do it like that. Okay. And we're going to leave. And we're going to re-enter. And we're going to try to grab the metal. We're going to hope that the metal... I don't know. Does the position matter? I have no idea. Because the metal moved with the chair that time as well. Yeah, they're both still moving together, which I feel like means I did it wrong. Yeah, because now the metal's gone. What am I doing wrong? Maybe... No, it's not this house size. I don't think the house size matters. <laughs> Take their tape deck? Yeah. Um, but they said any any one-by-one one item, so I don't know. Does the metal have to be facing forward? I think I had it forward the first time, right? I think I had it forward the first time, though. Check the comments on the video. Oh, I don't know if I want to read YouTube comments. I don't know. Um... You did have it facing forward. I think the tape deck is special. Is the chair 1x1 one one and not 1.5x1.5? 1 1 no, 1.5 furniture was not a thing in this game. Is it because it's the Japanese version? No, I've seen it done in this version of the game. Is the tape deck special? Like, what makes the tape deck special? Find a code for the tape deck. No. The dimensions of the chair is the issue. So somebody said... Thank you, Soapy Dog, for the bit. Somebody said that if that if the chair doesn't work, then try using a custom design shirt. And I thought that was a good idea. That sounds like a good idea. Maybe now I'll try that. 
Maybe because the chair and the metal were facing the same direction both times, but it didn't work. Well, geez, I really... If this all is true, then I really wish that the video would have went into detail saying, like, what to do specifically. If you drag the chair a bit further, it might help. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna Google it for you. Yeah, if, like, Google can come up with something obvious that I'm doing wrong, then do let me know, because as far as I'm concerned, this is how you do it. I don't know, though. I, I like, if, if the tape, if it needs to be a tape deck, then they should have said, specifically, it needs to be a tape deck. I don't know. Damn it. That looked good. No, it's not the size of the room. It's not the size of the room. I know for a fact that you can do it in this size of the room. As recently as one year ago, people were able to get it work? Yeah, like, literally the speedrun, the world record all bug speedrun uses this glitch. So, I know it, I know it can work. It's not the, it's not the fact that, oh, I'm worried that they patched it out, is the reason why I don't think it would work. That's not the reason. The reason is... The reason that I'm worried is because, like, maybe it needs specific items. Did I drop the fucking spring metal and not the lime chair? I think I, I think I dropped the wrong thing. I think I dropped the wrong thing, chat. I think I dropped the spring metal outside, not the lime chair. It's hard. I mean, we're getting it to work, man. We're, I'm getting it to work pretty good. Yeah, I have the lime chair, not the spring metal. All right. Help. Okay. We're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it again. That one took like three tries, man. We got it. All right. We got it. And all of our setup is still in place. So theoretically, we move this down here. So that was what we just picked up. Or wait. All right. What was this? Is this the table? Or is this the spring metal? Is this the table of the spring metal? That's the table. Okay, so that's the thing we want to put down the spring metals in the bottom right corner. All right, beautiful, beautiful. When bugs isn't the worst part of this job. I don't know, man. That banded dragonfly gave me big balls, dude. That banded dragonfly gave me big balls. So I don't know. I don't think it's the worst part of it yet. That looked really good. I don't know. This is great progress towards a difficult objective. It is. Like, I'm surprised I picked it up as quickly as I did. Too late. Yeah. Surprised I picked it up as quickly as I did, you know? Too early? Yeah. Actually, it's the auto metal. Yeah. Which, I feel like that shouldn't make a difference, right? This setup only works in the first house. Is that right? Is that right? Does it need to have a different setup in the second house? Like, is there... In the video, he actually recommended a bigger house? That's what I thought he said. That's what I thought I remember him saying. But maybe that specific setup is only... By first house, I think he meant top right house. You mean top left house, which is the one that I'm using. Oh. Well, in that case, I, I'm using the, the house that he uses in-game, the top left one. Too late. I think this should work. Like, I really don't think the house size should matter. Because, yeah, when he says the first house, I think he just means the top left of the four houses. Because it has this specific wallpaper, which helps you line up the, the glitch. Where he replies to someone having trouble. Like, can you give me the full context of the comment? Because then maybe I can s understand what he means by that. You have to leave and come back after placing the item on top of the floating item. That's what I do. That's what I do. I, I leave the house after doing that. 
It's going well, Stormcloud, even though we're not really too focused on bugs themselves at the moment. It's going okay. So, yeah, after I put the... After I put the chair down, or after I put the one-by-one one item down, that should work. Huh? <laughs> okay, interesting. Um, alright, I guess we're using this table now. Um, interesting, never saw that one before. Okay. Well, I don't know if I'm doing it right, because I cannot get the right frame, and if I press the right button, the shirt gets deleted. Well, it's not the right- I'm getting the right frame. The right- I, I think what they're talking about is the actual right frame to put down the table, in which case the top left house is- The top left house is the one that they recommend doing that to help with that. So I think what they mean, Tamar, is they're using the wrong actual house itself. Not the wrong size house but the wrong actual house itself. Because otherwise, I don't even think they'd be able to get this far. See, like, I can't even turn the metal. Like, so if, I, if the metal has to be oriented a certain way, then I can't even turn it from here. I'm trying to grab it, but I can't. Okay, and then we're gonna glunk, and we're gonna glunk, and then we're gonna glunk, and then we're gonna glunk, and then we're gonna glunk. And then now... We put a shirt down. In this case, I'm going to use a shirt. Right there. You're going to leave. And you're going to come back in. And then they should be swapped to where the shirt is now on the bottom. Yes. And the metal should be up there. Now, here's where I... Here's where it goes wrong. Now, here's where it goes wrong. I cannot get it to where I drag the shirt. Okay, now grab the metal? No. No, no, you don't grab the metal. No. Now grab the metal, don't drag the items. I guess the dragging is optional, right? The wiki says just grab it and leave. It must be something with the, with the, it must be, you must need a tape deck. You must need a tape deck. That's the only thing I can think. Does the wiki say? Sorry, that didn't work. No, no, you're good. Thank you for trying to help. Does the wiki say anything about the one by one item specifically? It's the tape deck magic? Like, that's the only thing I can think at this point, man. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. If I just... Wait, hang on. If you face... What's this comment that I missed? Can you repost that comment, uh, the Haven? I think I missed that. No, codes existed. I could use codes, and that's like a... Yeah, yeah but codes are so... The variation of the item? I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, you know what I want to do to get a, a freaking tape deck is I'll just reset the game. Like, I'll just... Here's what I'll do, okay? I'm going to reset. Because I never changed the date from getting those two-by-one items. So... We're... Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're good. We're good to reset. I'm gonna buy another two by one item from the store, and I'm not going to sell the tape deck this time. No resetting. Yeah, I'm gonna get yelled at, but that's fine. It's fine. If you face towards the wall and then drop the metal, it'll face forwards. Okay, so whether that matters or not, we don't know, but it's something that we can try. All right, yell at me. There you go. Alright, the first time isn't gonna be so bad. He's gonna go easy on me. He's gonna go easy on me this time. Just... Please. Please. I just wanna... <laughs> I, just wanna I just wanna play the video game. I just wanna play the video game, man. I know, I know. I'm a bad person. I'm gonna grow up to be a criminal. I'm gonna grow up to be a criminal because I reset my Animal Crossing game. In this game, Rossetti actually counts how many times you try to button mash out of his die. I think he does that in future games as well. 
think he does that in future games as well. Okay, there should be a two-by-one table in Nook's store today. There should be a two-by-one table. I think it's the glass one. He should have a glass table in his store today, and he does. Okay, and also the lime chair. Yeah. All right. Yes, I would like that, please. And I think at this point in the save, I, I didn't sell my tape deck yet because luckily I didn't go completely brain dead. Um, <laughs> all right. I still should have all the things in my house still, right? I think. And now I'm also going to drop this. Drop. No, no, eh, eh, there you go. Drop. Drop everything I don't need right now. Okay, you don't need the tickets either. I'm gonna need that two by one tape just to spit them all out. That's so funny. Who just said retussy? Don't say retussy. I did sell the tape deck! No! I sold the tape deck. I thought I was good. Oh. Mm. You can buy it from your catalog. You are a fucking genius. You know that? You are a fucking genius. You are a goddamn legend. You know that? You are a fucking legend. You are so smart, intelligent. Your parents should be so proud of you and the person you turned out to be. You know that? You know that? You're so smart and intelligent. Alright. Tape deck. Give me that. All right. All right. And now, we go to tomorrow. We get the tape deck in the mail. And then... <laughs> oh my god, how the hell am I gonna edit this shit? To be honest with you, I don't even know if this all these, like, failed attempts are gonna work their way into the final video, because, my god. Yeah, I was about to say, I probably gotta clear my mailbox here. Um... Okay, that is the toss. All right, we're going to toss all this bullshit. I just want to make sure I actually have room in the mailbox here. Is this reset before or after you caught those bugs? No, this is after, because remember how I did so much time traveling to try to get the right items that I needed? Yeah, no, this is definitely after. I mean, I can show you the Critterpedia just to make sure. But no, this is definitely after I caught the bugs. So, no worries there. But that is a good, good question, though. Good question. And even if it wasn't, I think I would probably still count as them caught, even though they're not technically in the Critterpedia. But yeah, they're all still there. No worries. No worries. Uh, anyone want to translate these? Yeah, I sent my- I sold my tape deck, and it seems like the tape deck is the key to getting all this to work. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but for the sake of, uh, keeping things consistent, it seems like the tape deck is the best thing to use. Yeah, we're good, though. We're good. But even if I did, like, reload a state where I didn't catch the bugs yet, I probably would have still counted them as sold. I need y'all to know that from the time I watched this stream to now, I have not witnessed a single bug catching. That's okay. This is all prep. This is all prep and setup, okay? That's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. Okay, while I'm at it here, let's, um... Let's sell all the shit that I don't need. Let's put everything down in the house that I do need. The umbrellas can stay this table okay this table we'll keep that in our inventory here this bluegill and this spring metal this all need the bluegill can get released it doesn't matter all this for the last three bugs in the game yep 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 fun category um that's okay can you believe the world record for this shit is like just over an hour you doing good man i'm doing good axe no i'm good man how are you doing today man hope you're doing well all right, now we'll save. Wrong house. It's very confusing, okay? They both got yellow roofs. What? An hour? Yeah, it's like an hour and like... It's like an hour and like 12 minutes, I think it was? I don't know. All right, we'll save. We'll go to the next day. We'll get our tape deck from the mail. And we'll have everything in order. Seemingly. Hi, Queen. What's up, Bestie Lynn? How are you doing? World Records 120. Yeah, well. Still, like, <laughs> insane compared to where I'm at now. Oh, my lord. 
The person may need to touch grass. Nah, man, that's Cold Eggman. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Don't give him a hard time. Don't tell him to touch grass. That's my man's. I've never talked to him in my life, but that's my man's. The other poor gyroid's so confused. He's so lonely. Face the wall when you put the metal so it faces forward. Okay. Okay. Just to keep everything as consistent as possible with the video that uh, I'm referencing. Okay. This should be my tape deck. Please, my tape deck. Found Sherb on an island? Yo, hell yeah, dude. Take him. Alright, my tape deck. My deck of tape. Just gonna assume that that's the tape. We're gonna assume that that's the tape deck there. Okay? Now. Alright? This was the tape deck, okay? So that's gonna be the thing that we put down second. So put it right there. This should be the spring metal slash fall metal. So let's put that down right there. Let's grab this. Let's... Okay. That was way too early. Sorry, I'm a little out of practice at this point. I'm a little out of practice at this point. That's a little early. I mean, I should still try, even if I know I'm early. Let's go. Let's fucking go. We're gonna put this down facing the wall. You know, put it down facing the wall. It's gonna go right there, okay? You're gonna clean this up. You're gonna go here. You're gonna clean this up. You're gonna clean this up. You're gonna clean this up. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand right here and you're gonna put the tape deck down. The tape deck being the key to everything. Beautiful. You're gonna leave. You're gonna walk back in. We're gonna walk back in. We're gonna grab the metal. We're gonna leave. We're gonna walk back in, and that metal should hopefully be there again. Let's walk in. Go! Let's go. We got it working. We got it working. Oh my god. And that's the dupe glitch. That's the dupe glitch. Oh my god. That's the dupe glitch right there. Oh my lord. All right. And now, we're just gonna keep selling these metals. Let me check something just real quickly here. Let me check something just real quickly. Apparently the tape deck, it, it's, I don't know, it seems like it's not any one by one item. Seems like it's not any one by one item from the looks of it. Let me check something real quick here. I just want to make sure that the autumn metal also works along with the spring metal. Okay, so this is the autumn metal here. Yeah, I have three of them. Sure, so this should be like close to 60,000 then. 42,000? Eh, I mean, I guess it works. It's fine. Oh, right, the bell bags only go up to 30,000. Oh my god, that's so annoying. Yeah, and then just sell those just to get them out of here. All right. Um, <laughs> proud of your perseverance? Thank you. Although, any other means of doing this would have been, would have required more perseverance. It seems like the spring medals are better than the fall medals, but I'm not, I'm not too miffed by that, to be honest with you. It's still bank. It's still pretty good. Now, I'm worried that if I pull this closer to the door, it won't work anymore. Do you guys think that I should pull this tape deck closer to the door so that I can just not have to walk across the house every time? Do you, do you think I should try? No? You don't think I should at least give it a little shot? Don't touch it? What if it's ruined? Then I'll just do it again. Then I'll just do it again, man. Like, I, this took like two minutes. This took two minutes. I don't know, man. I'm kind of tempted. You say, like, it ain't broke, don't fix it, but I don't know. It's kind of broke to have to walk all the way across this room. Kind of getting a little tired of all this, man. Get a little tired. You sold your table thingies? It's fine. We don't need to do it anymore. We don't need the tables anymore. That's true. I guess, um... I guess... Now that I did sell the tables, having to set it up again would be a pain in the ass. So if it does break, you're right, you're right. All right, y'all so smart. Y'all so smart and intelligent and wise. You're right, you're right. All right, well, this is what we do now. This is our life until we have, uh, what is it, 1.4 million bells? Oh, yeah, the counter now we can finally put the counter back at uh, 45. 45, because we have three bugs remaining that require the island. 
Which is why I'm doing all of this in the first place. I guess get your pockets first full, then try it. Um, no, I think, I think I'm gonna just leave it for now. I think for now I'm just gonna leave it. 45 bugs in one second. Yo, world record. Let's go. What if I could play some music while I do this, like on the tape deck? I don't, I, I really don't think I should be pushing my, my luck here, but, you know. 45 is a sexy number. Uh, so true. So true. So true. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like I could... Maybe it was something about having it face forward? I don't know. What was the trick to getting that to work? I mean, I assume it was the tape deck, but... I mean, jeez, I don't know what it was. That's true, I sold my... I did sell my one song, didn't I? Yeah, from Mom. Oh. Is that a stone on a stick from... That's a stone on a stick from Stardew Valley? What the fuck is that emote? <laughs> it's an interesting emote. I think it's the type of item that the tape deck is classed as. Like, a chair is furniture? Maybe. I don't know, to be honest with you. I don't know. I guess uh, it seems like the tape deck is what made it work, but maybe it was something about the orientation of the metal? I don't know. Clothes are clothes? I don't know. I mean, I feel like a tape deck and a... And, uh, well, two, two tables, only slightly differently colored. This should be, like, a lot of money here, though, right? Should be, like, a couple hundred thousand, maybe? Yeah, pretty good. And, theoretically, I mean, now my inventory's, like, fucking clogged of bell bags, so let's go pay off a loan. Let's go pay off a loan. Now, if I go to tomorrow... To get the bigger house. I, I I should I should get all the bells I need to pay off all the loans. I should get all the bells that I need to pay off the loans. And then... And then time travel to the next day. To, to actually get the loans paid off. Right? Okay. So why do we need the money? We need the money to buy the island. The island has... The island having bugs that we aren't able to get on the mainland. Just leave your bells outside for today. Okay. You're... You guys' task while I'm gone is to tell me how many bell bags I need. How many of these 30,000 bell bags do I need to pay off all my loans? Right now I have eight. How many do I need? I think it's 1.4 million that I need. I think it's 1.4 million. I'm not doing math. Well, it's a collective group effort here, okay? While I'm off to use the bathroom, you guys figure out how many I need. How many bell bags I need, okay? I'll be back in a couple minutes. Don't go anywhere. How many we need? 47? Alright. 47. 47 bell bags. Okay. What's up, Taquito? How are you doing? Chrissy? Let's, Let's go. go. Thanks for the four months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. 78 more medals if they're 14k each. Okay. And 47 bell bags. Okay. What's 47 divided by 3? Because I'm going to do them in lines of 3 here. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. We're at 47 minus... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we're at 39. All right, remember that. 39. Yo, what's up, Alexa? How are you doing? Welcome. Glad to have you here. So we're at 30... 39. We're at 39. <laughs> 39. All right, remember 39. We need 30, 39 more bell bags here. 39 more bell bags. But those in your inventory means that I need around 39. Okay, 39 more, and we're good. 16-ish lines of 30. Let's just remember 39. Let's just remember 39 for the moment. Yeah, let's get all the money that we need now before we time travel, because I feel like if I time travel to tomorrow, there's a chance that this gets ruined, so I don't know. I just joined what's happening. We're dupe glitching an expensive item. 
with which to pay off our loans quickly, unlock the island, the island housing the last few bugs that we need. That's what we need. Finished all my exams finally. Yo, congrats. Hell yeah, dude. Very happy for you. I hope they went well, and I hope you did well on them. Making money using a duplicating glitch to buy the island to go fishing. Not go fishing, go bug catching. But yeah, other than that, you are correct. My workday is almost over. Got a few more minutes left of my lunch, and I saw you in my recommended. I forgot I hadn't followed you yet. I enjoy your videos so much. Thank you. I hope the rest of your workday goes well. Can't wait to see the island. Yeah, dude, I've never been to the island before. I've never been to the island before, so I'm also looking forward to it. I'm also looking forward to it. And the island has the Queen Alexandra's Swallowtail and the Hercules Beetle, which are the two bugs that are only that only spawn on that island. And the only th way to get a coconut is to go to the island. The coconut, if you plant it on your island, will have a coconut crab, which is a bug that's exclusive to Animal Forest E+. Cod bug need more, so we buy island. So, yeah, so, so bug, exactly. Yes, so true. So true. Why does Twitch say that you play AC and H? Um, I put AC and H as my game for the purposes of nobody's looking at the Animal Forest E plus category on Twitch, so I just decided to put it in New Horizons. Generally, Twitch is okay with that, so. It's good for discoverability. Exactly. Exactly. Call me a scumbag if you want, but... Mm -mm. Did the duplicating work? Is working as we speak. Yes. Coconut crabs are so scary. Like, in real life? I don't think I've ever seen one in real life. Now, I'm worried that... Where can I plant coconuts on my mainland? I remember in City Folk, you have to plant... You, you could plant them anywhere on the island. But in this game... Or no, sorry, not anywhere on the island, but if you dug up a tree and then replanted a coconut where a tree used to be in City Folk, you could plant it there even if it isn't on the beach. Okay, so only on the beach acre. And they're not guaranteed to grow in this game, so I should probably grab as many as they offer, really. But also, wait, would the coconut crab not also just spawn on the island itself, or can it only spawn on the mainland? Because I have always, I have just assumed that I need to go to the island, bring one back to the mainland, and then have one spawn here? But maybe I, maybe I could just get it on the island? It spawns on the island too? Well, jeez, why don't I just do that then? Why don't I just get it on the island? What times are they? Because I need to go to two different times on the island. 11 p.m. in July for the Hercules Beetle. And then 2, 12 p.m. in August for the Alexandra Swallowtail Butterfly. Would they spawn... Are they, like, all day, all year? Are they, like, all day, all year? Yeah, fruitless palm trees as well, so it's even more specific than just coconut trees. All right, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, nope. 34, 33, 32. 32. Blunk. January, or sorry, June to September, 7 p.m. to 8 a.m. Okay, so you'd want to get them when you get the Hercules Beetle, then. So you'd want to get them when you get the Hercules Beetle. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. How much longer are you going to stream today? I want to go to bed, but I don't want to miss the stream. I don't know. We'll see how much longer the, uh, the three bugs that we need still will take. Honestly, I feel like getting the money to unlock the island and then the actual process of paying off the debts is going to take a while still. So, I don't know. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Yeah, I love that they just spit out all the bell bags. It's so funny. But yeah, I'll probably be streaming for... I don't know, it might be a longer stream today, depending on how quickly I can get these bugs. I mean, the Hercules Beetle and the Queen Alexandra Swallowtail, they're not, like, easy bugs to get. But I feel like if I optimize the island to only spawn the things that I need, they probably wouldn't take too long. Bye, I'm going now. All right, Cable Bear, thanks so much for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you. But it's 2 a.m. here? I mean, dude, like, go to bed then. I'm not gonna be the dictator of bedtime, man. A lot of people are like, 
Oh, Dagmo, it's 4 a.m. Should I watch your stream or go to bed? Like, I don't know, man. I'm not your parents. I'm not your consciousness. I'm not your conscience, I should say. I, 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 I can't decide these things. Hope you're having fun being a bug catcher supreme. Yeah, it's pretty fun, actually. Since I got this dupe working... I don't know, man. I, I, I really enjoyed getting the dupe working, and I'm surprised I got it working as quickly as I did. It has its own time zone, and actually, I may be wrong about coconut crabs there, but we'll see. Okay. Thank you, uh, Indigo Indigoon. Thank you. Sometimes we just want your opinions, but, like, what good does my opinion do? Like, I don't know y'all's situations. I don't know, like... A lot of people are like, hey, Dagnall, what should I have for dinner? It's an innocent enough question, but I don't know what you guys like for dinner. I don't know. <laughs> hey, Dag, should I study or watch your stream? I don't know. What do you think I'm going to say? I'm going to just tell you to study. But ultimately, y'all are the judge, Judy, and executioners of what you end up doing. I guess you're indecisive. I mean, don't let me be the one to decide, because if you had followed the steps that I took in life, you probably wouldn't be in a great place. 1 a.m. here. I'm supposed to be studying for my exams tomorrow, but this is more important. It's not. It's really not, man. Ultimately, at the end of the day, the, this stream will not dictate the results of your life as much as you're doing well and your exams are. Like, you, that all, uh, this is not important. This is, this is, this should be an afterthought, man. This should be an afterthought. How many bells were we at? How many bell bags did I drop? Are we at 32 now? I forget. <laughs> We were at 39. How many more bell bags did I drop on that second go round? How many did we drop? I forgot. I guess I can go count them. Don't people study, do homework while watching you? Generally, yeah. Like, I don't know. I feel like people... I provide a stream that people can um, study. Wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? Chat, you gotta call me out on this stuff here, okay? I can just choose one, and he'll be like, do you want to sell all 15? Guys, you gotta, you gotta call me out on my, on my buffoonery over here, man. Y'all gotta call me out on my buffoonery. You gotta be like, hey, Ding Dong, what are you doing? Just, just, just select one of them. You don't have to bulk sell them. Just select one of them, and he'll be like, oh, do you want to sell all 15? I'll be like, yeah. Come on. You gotta call me out on my buffoonery here. So we needed 47. There's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So yeah, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, glunk, 26, and 25, but I can't put this down because I'm out of room. Good job, 25, right? Shoot, my lunch is over now. Hopefully you're still going after my shift is over. I got another two hours and then I'm free. Yeah, I don't know about two hours. That'll be a while. But we'll see. But thank you for joining either way. 43, 40, 37, 34, 31, 28, 25. All right, we have 25 more bags remaining. 25 more bags remaining. 14 to go? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think we got 25 to go. We got 25 to go. This is very satisfying, yeah. I love the mechanism here. The mechanism. The mechanics? I'm gonna go talk to my friends now. Hey, Ding Dong. Yeah, as long as you quote me. As long as you send them over my way. He's, you know, referencing a signature diagonal maneuver. Took a nap during your stream earlier. It was very lo-fi hip-hop beats to study and relax to. Hey, there you go. Hopefully I can catch one then. Have a great rest of your day. Yo, you have a great rest of your day as well. You have a great rest of your day as well. What does he ask after you... What does he ask after you sell them? I think he's like, is there anything else you want to do? Like, you'll you'll be put back to the menu where you, that you get when you first talk to him? I think that's what happens. At least I think he does that in future games. That's what I'm assuming he does in this game as well. And No, he's not going to sell you raffle tickets. That's only if you buy something. What up, everyone? Hope I can have a nice day. Yo, I hope you're having a good day as well, Liffy. Hell yeah. You were counting backwards to 25. I thought they meant 19 left. Nah, I can see the confusion there, though. Japanese cartoon character Doraemon is called Ding Dong in old-time Cantonese translation. 
Interesting. A ding dong is also a little Debbie snack, is it not? It's it's also a little Debbie snack, like a la cosmic brownies and ho hos. Which I find ho hos to be the funnier one. If you really want to get a good goof out of your friends, you'll call them ho hos. Yay, a cool fact. And they say you don't learn nothing on twitch.tv slash dagnal. Why are you collecting so much money? So that we can pay off all of our loans, therefore buying the island. Uh, you know how you needed the GBA link to get the island in Animal Crossing GameCube? Well, in Animal Forest E+, if you pay off all your loans, you can buy the island. The island then has bugs that we can't catch on the mainland here that we need to get to, to complete our bug collection. Do y'all prefer ding-dongs or ho-hos? I am a ho-hos kind of guy. You can call me a bit of a ho-ho-ho. Because I do enjoy my, my ho-hos. Although the uh, politically correct way of putting them is Swiss rolls, is it not? But in my brain, they're ho-hos. I just got back from my counseling. What did I miss? Uh, we're dupe glitching. We're dupe glitching. Ding-dongs? Y'all like ding-dongs more than ho-hos? I like Cosmic Brownie. Cosmic Brownie's pretty good, too. Don't sleep on Cosmic Brownies. But you know what is the true king of all Little Debbie snacks? You know what's the king of all Little Debbie snacks? Zebra cakes. Zebra cakes. It's that simple. My faves are zebra cakes. Perfect. You'll get along just fine. Don't you dare, Dag? What do you mean, don't you dare? Don't I dare what? Show my ass? Show my ass? You come onto my stream, you're gonna hear my opinions. You're gonna hear them raw and meaty. Chat! You gotta call me out! Yeah, so like, after this menu... Yeah, I think he's just asking if you want to sell anything else. Yeah, that's all he's doing, I think. Twinkies? No, I'm not a big Twinkies guy, to be honest with you. I'm not a big Twinkies guy. Not a big... No, I'm, I'm not much of a twink myself. Come back from the bathroom to hear the sentence, Show my ass from Dag. Yeah, show my ass. Alright, so it's 25, right? 24, 23, 22, 21, 20... Help. 19... 18. 18 more. 18 more. I love Twinks. I know, Axnu. I know. When I first played this game, I didn't know you could multi-select. Yeah, it's not exactly made very obvious. I had to have Kristen tell me how to do it. You have to press X on the controller to select multiple. It was kind of really annoying, like... Before, I, like, you had to sell things, like, one by one. And I was like, oh, man, I'm so glad they fixed that in future games. But in reality, you could do that in this game as well. They just never really made it very obvious. So close. We're getting there. What was it? 15? Wait, where were we at? Oh, God, do I have to count them again? <laughs> I keep losing track, man. I keep losing track. Nutty buddies are good. Everyone needs a nutty buddy, man. Yeah. Agree. Have... But have fun, ding dong dag. Yo, you have a good rest of your day as well. 18. Okay, we need 18. All right, cool. So that should be, I think, three more full inventories of these medals, I think. Three more full inventories, so not too much longer. I don't really touch any of the Little Debbie or whatever snacks. I haven't had them in a while. Being a grown-up means that I can't be caught dead eating that stuff no more. But also being an adult means that I have the freedom to buy them if I ever crave them. Which is nice. Okay, hey, Lay. Thanks so much for the 100 bits. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Would you like a Nutty Buddy or a Nutter Butter? Excellent question, user Unicorn Fluffy YT. I'm more of a Nutter Butter. Like the cookies, the peanut shaped with peanut butter in between cookies. I'm much more of a Nutter Butter kind of guy rather than a Nutty Buddy kind of guy. But they're both pretty good. Yeah, they turn sickeningly sweet as you age, just like Capri Suns. I haven't had a Capri Sun in a while. I can't tell if they're, like, sickeningly sweet. God, now I want all of these sweets? No. I'm sorry, man. I don't mean to get your cravings acting up. 
What does that even mean? It's very simple. A Nutter Butter is a cookie that is shaped like a peanut. It's like an Oreo, but instead of chocolate cookies, they're peanut butter cookies, and they have peanut butter in between instead of cream. It's very simple. They're a delicacy. They're wonderful. They're not good for you, but they're they're freaking... Oh, they are... I don't want a Nutter Butter right now, dude. I just ordered Chinese. Very happy. Yo, what'd you get? Correct me if I'm wrong. Actually, I'm not even wrong, so don't correct me. But this is, like, my opinion. General Tso's chicken. Going to a Chinese restaurant and getting General Tso's chicken is like going to a restaurant and ordering chicken tenders. Agree or disagree? Agree or disagree? Like, my logic is that, like, General Tso's chicken is kind of like the... I mean, it's it's really quite simple. It's the chicken tendies of the Chinese food industry. You don't know what that is? You don't know what General Tso's chicken is? It's like it's it's like a, it's like the most basic kind of chicken at every like Chinese. It's like the most basic kind of chicken, kind of like how chicken tenders are kind of like the basic, kind of like the basic bitch meal, you know. General Sao? Yeah, General T-S-O's. Yeah. General So's? I don't know, man. That's how I've always said it. I think it's an American Chinese food, though. What? Like, fortune cookies? You're telling me they don't actually give out fortune cookies in China? Oh, fuck. Yeah, maybe it's Americanized. I don't know. Alright, so 15? 18? Is it 18? 17? 16? 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. 11 more. 11 more. All right. Streamer, streamer, you are pronouncing the non-English word wrong. Fuck you. Yeah, sorry, man. Orange chicken's pretty basic. Yeah, but like Panda Express orange chicken, though? Whew. I don't know, man. I don't know. I genuinely, if I was like on death row and I had to have a last meal, I think I would just like order like a bucket, like a KFC sized bucket of Panda Express orange chicken. I think I would. I think that it literally is maybe the greatest food ever invented. I don't know what it is, man. I don't know what it is. I just, it's just, I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. It was perfect. You know how, like, you look, look up, like, what people order on, like, Death Row as their last meal. They order some stupid shit, man. They're like, yeah, I would like 100 Yoplait yogurts and a pound of jelly beans. And I'm like, man, you could have had so many other things, man. You could have had so many other things. You could have had Panda Express orange chicken. I order dick. Awesome comment, man. That's a good comment. Fortune cookies are gross, and them bitches don't even have fortunes. They just be saying some shit like, you should always have smile. You should, you, ha you have should always smile. <laughs> yeah, totally. You miss the Mill Creek Mall Panda Express? We have one, like, less than a mile away. It's a great and also horrible thing. Iconic behavior, TBH? True, pretty true. He's borking. I don't know why, man. I've never been to Panda Express. I kind of want to take you to Panda Express, man. I think if I ever see you, Axnew, I'm going to take you to Panda Express, dude. Mine have single words and phrases like fucking shoe and purple and your fortune cookies. Maybe that's your lucky item of the day. I don't know. Like, if you own a pair of shoes, you are going to have a good day. I don't know. I think that's how you interpret it. I've had a headache all day, and now I'm feeling a little nauseous. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. When I was working from home, I was there too often. It's, like, kind of bad, right? But also, at the same time, so good. Do you have to wait for you to finish your last meal before executing you? 
Um, probably not. Like, they'll probably say, like, okay, here's an hour, like, eat up. And also, isn't the last meal, like, the day before? I got food poisoning I don't know. from Panda Express the first time I ate there, so I can never eat there again without gagging. I mean, I get it, man. That would definitely make me never go back to a restaurant, but the day that I get food poisoning from Panda Express is gonna be a sad day indeed. I don't even know. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I didn't even know if food poisoning would keep me keep me from going back there. I don't know, man. I think I would take the chance again. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe I just, I, I don't know. That would be, it would take a lot for me to never want to go back to Panda Express. But maybe food poisoning would do it. But thanks for the 100 bits. I appreciate that. Thank you. Is all right, but neighborhood Chinese restaurant. Y'all gotta, yeah, I gotta keep myself in line here. I, I, I gotta stay focused. I realized I had COVID the day I couldn't taste my Panda Express order. I was so sad. Oh, like the orange chicken didn't like burn your nose hairs anymore. <sighs> Tragic, dude. Tragic. That stuff is strong. If you can't taste that, then yeah, something's wrong. Uh, what were we at? Ah, oh, fuck. What were we at, chat? Before I start counting here. Didn't you say the other day, no food is worth getting food poisoning? Yeah, probably. But I'm nothing if not a hypocrite. Alright, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Alright, only four more, boys. Not too much longer. Now I want orange chicken and I can't have any? Doctor's orders? Your doctor specifically ordered that you don't have orange chicken? Like, they specifically said orange chicken? Oh. Or they just say, like, meat. Oh, you can't have oranges. Oh, okay. I mean, I was gonna be honest with you, man. Panda Express orange chicken is not authentic enough to where I'd believe they actually use oranges in it. So, I don't know. But don't try it, though, because I don't want to be held responsible if you have die of, like, some horrible stomach disease. First stream I've caught. How's everyone doing? Doing good, stinky foot. How are you doing? And what's up, M. DeGrem? How are you doing? Taco Bell may blow up the toilet, but the crunch wrap is worth it. I have never blown up a toilet from Taco Bell. Like, legit, if y'all get, like, gastrointestinal distress from Taco Bell, you're weak. Like, you're actually, like, you're, you, you just, you're weak. I've never had that happen. Have you watched Heartstopper? No, is that that documentary where that guy ate McDonald's for like a month straight and he almost died? No, never seen it. I think that's a. Uh, I think that that one's called Super Size Me. I haven't yet, but it wouldn't stop me. Okay, well, so you're not weak then. It's like this meme that like people like taco bell like ruins their ga their gi tract i'm like i've never had taco bell give me gastrointestinal distress heart stopper is a gay romance oh, what the fuck man we're talking about food over here who are you gonna think i mean when i say heart stopper like that makes me sound like it's like in, in relevance to the food discussion that it's about like this documentary where a guy like you know, goes to every McDonald's across the United States to see how much weight he gains or something like that, but halfway through it, he, like, dies or something. Like, that's what it sounds like, man. Oh, it's a gay romance. That, it's just not even relevant. That's fine, though. I hope it's good. I was talking about it when it first dropped on Netflix. I thought we canceled Netflix, boys. Come on. I thought we canceled Netflix. Oh, is Netflix good again? We did? Yeah, Heartstopper's really good? Oh, okay. Talking about food, chat, gay romance movie. I mean, that's kind of that's kind of what we're like over here, though. It was right before it, so just in time. Ah, okay, when Netflix was ethical. Okay, got it, got it. Alright, we're good. Just pirate the gay romance, screw Netflix. So true, bestie. What's up, Zan Float? How are you doing? Welcome. Oh, nice. Population growing. Animal Forest E+, technically. 
Animal Forest E plus, technically. I don't play I don't pay for Netflix. So true. I leech off of somebody else's subscription, so therefore I'm not indebted to the corporation. Alright, let's go, boys. That should be it. That should be it. Alright, so now let's go to the town hall, pay off our debts, and then I think we have enough now to pay off everything that we need. So let's start by I mean, let's just grab as much money as we can, I guess. Go to the town hall, pay off every debt that we can. Hey, read the Japanese? Read the Japanese? Oh, I can't, man. I'm sorry. I can't read Japanese. I pirate games? See, I'm like... I don't know. Depending on who you're pirating them from, I'm... I don't know. I'm contradicted on that. If you're pirating, like, The Sims 4... This... What did I just do? What what did I just do? I want to pay off my loans. Is that the second option? Yeah, 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 okay, it's the second option. Let's go. There we go. Alright, beautiful. I think I tried to save a letter. I think I tried to save a letter. Old Nintendo games? See, that's cool with me, because old Nintendo games, like, until Nintendo makes them more accessible, then I'm kind of cool with that, you know? I'm cool with that. Like, Nintendo just refuses to make a lot of the older games accessible, and so and then they get mad when people pirate it. It's kind of like, well, what'd you expect, man? What did you expect? I wouldn't pirate Stardew, but I would pirate The Sims 4. See, that's true. Yeah, if you're pirating from EA versus, like, an independent developer, then that's much better. Yo, Amanda Rosemary, thanks for the five months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we confirmed our house expansion. Hey, relax, man, relax. I pirated all the DLC, but I bought the actual game. I mean, like, honestly, with how ludicrous the prices are for the DLC, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Yeah, like, don't pirate indie developer games, but, like, Nintendo, I'm not cutting their bottom line by pirating an old game that they don't even have access, that they don't even make, like, easily accessible anymore through a virtual console, you know? Thoughts on the new Kirby fame? Like, the new Kirby, oh, game? I don't know, I haven't played it. Oh, no, I made a typo in chat. You just posted cringe. My stinky little 17-year-old self bought all the Sims 4 DLC? I mean, it's fine if you enjoy it, man. Like, if you enjoy it, that's cool. That's all that matters, I suppose. It's a little, like, expensive, but, you know. Their ports would be garbage anyway. Yeah, and it's like the ports that they do make through the virtual console always have, like, ludicrous input delay and bullshit like that. What do you mean? I sent you a copy of the Boots of Nomori Plus and you dumped the ROM yourself very legally and ethically. Yes. Wow. Ooh. Wait, that's a big ass house. <laughs> I don't know why it's like rattling me how big this house is. All right, um, now I gotta talk to him before I go to the town hall, right? To actually get my next loan. No shame in buying stuff you like? No, I don't think so. I mean, unless it's like, you know, putting you in a state of financial ruin. Oh, he's closed. Yeah, I guess I should have seen that coming considering how much money I just sold to him. I guess I should have seen that coming. Alright, well, now we gotta go another day ahead. Hey, what's up, man? When they discontinued TS2, you could get the entirety of it for free. The Sims 2? People love The Sims 2 as well. Download a Sims mod that lets her Sims sell cocaine. It's very funny. That is pretty hilarious, man. That is pretty hilarious. Sims 2, Sims 3, and Sims 4 DLC. See, I have Sims 4 base game, but it's so bad as a base game. Like, I just legitimately, like, ran out of things to do within an hour of playing it. Drugs! Yeah, drugs. Do you need to pay off all your loans for certain bugs to spawn? I need to pay off all my loans to unlock the island. The island spawning certain bugs that only spawn on the island. So, yes. Essentially. Then there's the ethical debate about playing slash downloading a game that the dev doesn't want people to play anymore. 
like LCD dem? Never figured out the ethical solution to that? I think that if a dev insists on not making a game playable anymore, then I think that that's just kind of a dick move on their part, and I would not feel bad about pirating it. Personally, I suppose different strokes different folks, but... I would not feel bad about pirating a game that the dev does not want me to have access to for reasons that are completely ludicrous. I suppose depending on what those reasons are, I don't know. Are Sims games worth it? I don't know, man. I, I definitely got my money worth out of Sims 3 with just the base game and no expansions, but uh, your mileage may vary. I don't know. Tough to say, really. It was a mod where you can silly with... I'm not reading that. Not reading that. Alright, so that was what? 298,000? Yeah, we got enough. I got Sims 4 from PlayStation Plus for free? Yeah, but like the base game itself is just like, I don't know, it's not that good. Sims 4 is the worst game? I mean, like, that's the thing, is that it looks the best, and it's the one that's being most actively supported by EA. So that's why people feel like that's the one to play, but in reality, like, I don't know. I got so much more entertainment out of The Sims 3, even if it runs like a dog on my PC. I have an entire lunch made out of gummies. Why? <laughs> I guess, sure, go off, king. But why? I don't know, I'm not a gummy guy. I love The Sims 4. I'm glad that you like The Sims 4. I'm not saying, like, you can't enjoy The Sims 4. I'm just saying, I don't know. I don't like the way that they've... Oh, is this him upgrading the store? Or is this... Is this about me paying off my loan, or is this about him upgrading the store? I think I gotta leave and re-enter. For him to register that I just paid off my loan. I like it, but only with mods and see- Yeah, like, that's the thing, is that you need mods, right? I paid off the loan, right? I paid off the loan. What do I have to- How many times does it upgrade? There's one more after this. Or, the store or the house? I don't know what you mean. About... Wait a minute. I used to not... Hang on. Which one of these is to... Do I have to skip to tomorrow to actually, like... I'm confused. I thought that if I left and re-entered... Right here, maybe? Oops. Eh. Here. Three? Three what? 26,000? 20,000? What is he doing? What's he listing? Maybe I need to time travel to tomorrow. Because I'm not seeing an option to upgrade my house. He said something about Stonehenge? Stonehenge. Interesting. Work projects. Interesting. Pick one? Well, I, I want to... I'm just worried about my house. I don't want to build Stonehenge. You have to choose if you want a basement or an upgrade. Wait, is that what... Is that what this is? Let me see. Let me see here. Yeah, he's borking. He's getting on my nerves. Is that what this is? Huh? Stonehenge, 26,000 bells. Geoglyphs, 20,000 bells. Or... What? This has nothing to do with my house, though, right? This has nothing to do with my house. I... These are public works projects. Yeah, this isn't what I'm worried about. 
Like, where do I... Where do I talk about my house? Here? What is this? Where do I talk about my house? Listen to the word... Oh, this is for codes. Uh... I can't even back out of it. No, 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 no. I guess I'm gonna try to... I don't think it's a menu option. Well, then that's kind of screwed up, because I guess... I thought exiting the... Because he just told me, like, oh, we just expanded the store. And I'm like, that's great, but could we talk about my house? And he's like, no, you son of a bitch. All right, so I guess I'm going to go to tomorrow. I definitely didn't confirm my house expansion, so I don't know. I was Google translating the menu. I didn't see anything. I'm just going to try to go to tomorrow and see if we can do it then. It's no problem. Do you not upgrade your house at the post office? You pay off the debt at the post office, which I did. And then you have to go to Tom Nook to confirm the expansion. Which is what I was trying to do, but my mans refuses to acknowledge that I paid off the debt. Is the glitch still active? Let me check that. Not that I need it anymore, but I guess it would be good for research purposes. I'm not gonna pay it again. I shouldn't have to. Shouldn't have to. Is the, yeah, let me check that. I think, um, I don't really see why it wouldn't. I don't really see why it wouldn't. Considering leaving the house doesn't mess up the, the glitch, I don't suppose time traveling a day would mess it up either. But let's see. Do you add beds yet? Yeah, my house is the same size. Let me check. Oh, I actually have a full inventory. Uh, it looks active. Wait, I have a basement? Why does it look like on the exterior that I have a damn upstairs, but in the actual thing, I have a damn basement? Interesting. I don't know, it looks like it's still working. But I can't pick it up right now to check, because my inventory is full of bell bags. What's up, Aloha Daydream? How are you doing? Yeah, so this is... Yeah, now this is what I wanted. I Apparently I had to time travel a whole day before I got him to... Before I got him to... Is it Nookway the last... No, there's Nookingtons in this game. Or maybe I did confirm it. Is your video, what is the song that you do during the sped up parts? That's Animal Crossing 2AM. And then I speed it up to 150% during those segments. I mean, I guess let's go pay it off. It looks like I already confirmed it somehow. I don't know. I guess this is where using the English patch would have been nice. I head to bed. I hope you have a good rest of your stream. Yo, you have a good night. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. I mean, I got, yeah, I guess I already fucking... I guess I already did. Alright, cool. He got excited about the store upgrade. He forgot to let you up through at the house. I don't know. It seems like he did, though. It seems like he did let me upgrade the house. But I don't notice my house any bigger, so I don't know. I don't know. Oh, well. Are the rats in this game? Yes, Timmy and Tommy are in this game. Maybe I didn't pay it off. I don't know. I, I, I don't, I'm confused, man. I'm confused. I'm gonna try to catch more of your streams so you show your dog. Hey, well, I do... I haven't been doing dog cams as much lately. All right, so now he should be like, yeah, good job. I think he just said, add a second story. So yeah, I'll, I'll drink to that, brother. Make it red. There you go. All right. How many more... Like, what's the last expansion? What's the last expansion? We should be at, like, one or two more after this, I think. We're probably at one or, one or two more. Yeah, let me check the glitch here real quick. See if it still works. Actually grabbing the item. What game is the best music, do you think? Oh, definitely this one. I think Animal Crossing GameCube definitely has the best. New Leaf is good. I mean, they're all good. Like, even New Horizons, the one that I goof on the most, is still pretty good. Yeah, still works. Interesting. Alright. I didn't think it would mess it up. I didn't really see why it would, but... Good to see, I guess. Good to see. Alright, let's grab... How many more? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, New Leaf is good, though. I mean, New Horizons, it's... 
good. It just doesn't hit the same way that the older games do. But maybe that's just my nostalgia speaking. You get a statue when you finish the expansions? I think the statues are after... I think in order to get the statues, you have to pay off all the loans. In order to get the island, you need to get your house to the biggest size possible, which isn't necessarily paying off all the loans. I don't know. I think, I think that the statues have an extra fee associated to them. Different composer for hourly, indoor, and event? Compared to the other games. Yeah, I mean, you can kind of tell, because I feel like just the instruments that they use in this game are just completely different as to any other game. I don't know. I feel like all of them, like, offer their own, like, themes with the music. Like, I don't know. This game, I feel like, uses, like, a lot of... I, I'm not a music person, so I can't really tell. But, like... I don't know. This game uses, like, a lot of, like... I don't know. I don't know. How am I trying to say what I'm trying to say? Like, horns. Horns? Wind? Percussion? I don't know. I don't know what any of these words mean, okay? I'm just pulling them out of my ass, to be honest with you. One for e- Oh, okay. There was one for each category. Outdoor, indoor, and events. I see. I mean, they did a good job, man. They did a good job. Alright, so Thomas... Like brass? Yeah, like a lot of brass, I feel, you know? A lot of brass. But yeah, I guess that wasn't what you meant, huh? Wild World uses a lot of accordion? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I don't know, I'm like, I'm trying to recall the music. How much is my next loan? 598. Alright, so I actually need to get more... That's more money than I can actually handle at any given time. What is this? Why did he, like, say that super slow? What is this? What are you saying? It doesn't get big. Oh, wait. So is he saying that this is... Your house can't get any bigger? Oh, is this him saying that... Oh. So I think this is... This must be the last loan then, right? Surely. This might be the last loan. Maybe? I don't know. That, from my translator app, it said it doesn't get any bigger. It is the last loan. Oh, well, it seems like I got too much money then. It seems like I did too much. I don't know, because I feel like I won't be able to pay it off with just this pocket full, but the next one should do it. Except the island. Oh, okay. So the island is a loan after this. Okay. All right. Okay, so that's not going to be all of it, but... It's as much as I can hold in my pockets right now. Loan paid off? After this one? Yeah, I think so. If you have an upstairs and a basement? Yeah, I forgot. There's no side rooms in this game, is there? There's no side rooms. It's just uh, upstairs, downstairs, and then maxing out the size of your main room. The island costs three million more, but you can visit it while paying it off. Wait, really? You can visit the island without actually paying it off? So you really don't buy the island. You just... kind of... I don't know, you get to the point where you can visit it, at least. That's kind of weird. Do you have to, like, pay Captain to visit it? And then once you buy it, then it's free? Is that how it works? I guess that would make sense. I guess that would make sense. Alright, so that's everything. I don't know, I'm gonna have to, like, see what he says after this. If y'all have Wegmans near you, I highly recommend getting their cheese jalapeno bread. Sadly, I don't have Wegmans anymore, but that does sound pretty good. I miss the post office, I miss my gurals, I miss Pelly and Phyllis too, man. I miss them too. They've been replaced with a bastardization of them former selves with the damn card stand. It's tragic. I mean every bug in every AC game? No, just all 93 unique kinds of bugs that have been across all the different kinds of games. That's all that means. What is this? He's like, what is he saying? What, what you got for me, Tom? If this happens... Okay, so he's saying that he can't expand it anymore. What? What? 
on. <laughs> Private Island! Hey, that's what we want to see. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think. Yeah, I probably want the top option. I really want it. Yeah. Yeah, I really want it. All right. As expected, but not so fast. It's warm, very good, she is still good. It's a resort, I don't know. <laughs> Look, he's just telling me about the island, that's all I know. Oh, and now I get to name the island! Oh! Okay, um... Well, what are we naming the island, then? No, it's in regular GameCube as well, you just needed a GBA link to access it. I'm not naming it Pooh Island. I'm just going to name it Ra. Yep. It's Ra Island. That's it. There we go. So now can I go there? Why he's screaming at me? What is that? Is that three million? <laughs> Jeez, Louise. Interesting. Jesus fucking Christ. Wait, so I need to pay this one off? No. He's, uh, he's screaming at me, man. Why is he screaming at me? Interesting. Well, <clears throat> I guess... I probably don't need to pay that off, right? Let's get this out of my inventory. I probably don't need to pay that off, right? We should be good. We should be good. He was speaking a bunch of nonsense when translated to English? Yeah, I had, my Google Translate app had no idea what the hell he was trying to say there. He had no idea what the hell he was trying to say. Well, let me dump all this money here. Let me dump all this money. Let me grab the things that I might need here. I don't need the fishing rod. Let me dump all this money out here. And then let me go talk to Captain. Let's see if Captain... Let's save a little bit of money in case I need to pay to go to the island. Yeah, no, just go see Captain, yeah. I accidentally turned on light mode? Oh no. Not the light mode. Like, let's put like 300,000 just to like not have any more bags in my inventory here. There we go. So I guess I went a little bit overboard, but that's fine. And then give me my net. Give me that over how. And then I might need to like trim the island a little bit. So that's why I'm going to take the axe with me just to like optimize spawns. So, I mean, if I can go to the island now, I, I don't want to go to the island now. I want to go to the right time of year before I go to the island, which is 11 p.m. in July. So I should probably go to that time first, right? But let me go talk to him. That's true, it's always summer. So really, I just need to go to 11 p.m., don't I? Where is he at? I forget. There he is. What's your favorite food? Panda Express orange chicken. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Uh, okay. So, okay, so this is... Do I want to go to the island? Right? Jesus Christ, man. Just relax. God damn. Um, okay, so let's go to 11 p.m. I mean, for posterity's sake, I might as well go to July as well. Because we're going to be time traveling backwards, so it's not like anything's actually going to happen while we time travel. He's mad. I'm like, oh, sorry I wasted your time, man. God, I hate these islands. So hard to navigate. That's your boy, Captain. That's my boy. Get your own boy. Alright, let's go to July at 11 p.m. I know it probably doesn't need to be July since it's, uh... Since it's summer all the time on the island. But, just for posterity's sake. I'm such a chad for playing in Japanese. <laughs> in this game, especially in Japan, Captain's a pervert. He was pretty bad in New Leaf. Even as recently as New Leaf, he was pretty like... He was kind of perverted, yeah. I, I can only imagine it was even worse back in this day. Kinda. I bought the sauce and I put it on tofu. Yo, there you go. I've never had tofu, actually. I've never had tofu. He was my entire New Leaf childhood. I, I just remembered, like, if you were a girl character in Animal Crossing New Leaf and you were going to the island, he would be like, You're looking quite good there, lassie. And I'm like, oh, man. 
Come on, man. You can't you can't do that. It's the year of our Lord 2022 over here. You can't do that. All right, 11 p.m. Very good. Yeah. I just always took it as him being nice. I mean, you can interpret it that way, but when he's like, you know, it's pretty obvious flirting sometimes, I feel. Once you unlock the island, he asks if you want to go to his island instead? What? Does he really? Well, that's horrible. Uh, I don't suppose it's... Okay, question. If it's raining on your land, on your island, is it raining on the island? Oh, if that's the case, then we don't want it right now. We probably don't want it to be... We probably don't want it to be raining, but... If it doesn't rain on the island, island has different weather. Okay, so we're probably all right then. We are probably okay. All right, now I'd like to go. Do you start from scratch or is this the same file as the fishing one? Yeah, we started from scratch. All right, this is the first time I've ever been to the island in original Animal Crossing. Let's see if we get like the 1% chance to see a whale on the trip over. It could be raining there though. Well, let's hope it's not. Because I think that would probably make it so that the Hercules beetle doesn't spawn, if I had to guess. I don't know what he's saying. Just... just dance. He could be saying some, like, horrible shit right now, but it's groovy. There's a fish all the way out here. Did you see that? Party in the Pervmobile. They used the English version of the song in this version. It used, it used the melody of K.K. Island in the original Japanese version. I think the... KK Island will be once we actually get onto the island here. I think it plays like a, yeah, a version of KK Island once we're actually on the island. This is just for the trip over. Yeah, it used Marine Song on the trip over. And then on the island itself, it's KK Island or a remix of it. Yeah, so you hear it? Coconuts. Yeah, it's so good. Alright, so let's first off shake all the coconuts let's get as many as we can and we're gonna bring those back to our main island if we don't need the coconut if we can't get the coconut crab on this island we can bring it back to our main island to get it it also needs to be fruitless coconut trees to spawn the coconut trap crab so so in regards to the flowers okay chubby bub you said that the queen alexandra's bird wing butterfly spawns on trees i mean that's i can't fit anymore <laughs> I, i'm out of i'm out of inventory it spawns on trees so theoretically i get rid of all the flowers and then the hercules beetle spawns on palm trees if i had to guess right it probably spawns on palm trees just like it does in future games i remember they don't break those were the days yeah good times man good times oh see you man Let's, I mean, might as well catch you just to get you to despawn. It doesn't spawn on trees. Huh? Wait. The Hercules beetle doesn't spawn on trees? The coconuts look... They do kind of look like olives, don't they? Yeah. I mean, I guess let's just keep going back and forth. I mean, there's not a whole lot of room for things to spawn, so I reckon really this shouldn't take too, too long. Get out of here, you bastard. There you go. Scam! <laughs> he, like, flipped over, dude. What island villagers do I have? I don't know. Is this even occupied by somebody? Isn't this house just basically another way of storing your shit? Yeah, nobody... I don't have an islander because I would need to use an e-reader card to scan them in, right? I don't have an islander. You can eat the coconuts? That's pretty true. I could eat the coconuts. So the Hercules... Is on palm trees. Okay. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut down all but like a few palm trees. And if this is not good, then don't worry because 
we can just plant more. Okay. And the Queen Alexandra Swallowtail spawns on flowers. Let's leave that one. Although, let me at least get the coconuts off of there so a coconut crab can spawn. Okay. And then over here... Let's get rid of a few of these over here. Deforestation. A little bit. We do, we do a little deforestation as a treat. Just a little bit. Alright, that's probably good for that. Okay. And if the Alexandra flies around flowers. Well, I don't think we can get the Alexandra's birdwing butterfly right now because that is a daytime bug. So, I don't think we can get that right now anyway. So, I'm not worried about the Alexandra's birdwing right now. But after we get the Hercules beetle and the coconut crab, we should cut down all the trees to maximize the spawning rates for the Alexandra's birdwing butterfly after we get what we need. Because that'll be at... We'll need to go to noon to get that. So we're not worried about that right now. Seems like hermit crabs are... <laughs> Everyone else struggling to catch a hermit crab? Yeah, it seems like I should have waited to get one of those, huh? Seems like I should have waited. According to the wiki, it spawns all day? According to the wiki, the Queen Alexandra's birdwing butterfly spawns all day. Interesting. Um... Yo, yeah, what's up, random animal? How are you doing? Maybe? Oh, hi, man. You want you want to get out of here? You want vamoose? I checked for this game specifically. Okay, interesting. It spawns all day. I don't know why, but the route told me... Or the spreadsheet that I used told me that it's only in the afternoon. But maybe you're right. I mean, I guess I'll just I'll keep an eye out for it regardless. 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Yeah, and we're at 11 p.m. We're at 11 p.m. Yeah, these crabs are, like, taking up all the damn spawning spaces here. It says only 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. That's what I thought. Like, I didn't think that... They've never in any game been a nighttime bug. It's all day according to Nookopedia. All right, well, we got some contradicting sources then. Seems like sources seem to contradict each other, which is always fun. Yeah, I don't know. Good, just had dinner. Let's go, dude. Hell yeah. I feel like if I could, like, drop all these coconuts on the beach, could I prevent crabs and hermit crabs from spawning? Just, you know, a theory of mine might might help, might not do anything. I don't know. Maybe? Let's try it, I guess. Nookopedia is wrong here. After stream, I'll confirm and update it if it is. Yeah, that'd be good. Because I think I ran into the same problem where Nookopedia said it's all day, but then the spreadsheet said something else entirely, and I'm like, well, I guess I'll just I don't know, go by the spreadsheet, I guess. Yeah, like if I put a bunch of coconuts down here on the beach, could I theoretically prevent crabs or hermit crabs from spawning? Might help. Maybe it won't do anything. I don't know. Just kind of want to get them out of my inventory, though, to be honest with you. But, yeah. The insect spreadsheet is kind of weird. Oh, no. A crab definitely still spawned there. Alright, well, fuck me, I guess. No, Nookopedia is really trustworthy. Like, all the data that people gather from Nookopedia is very much correct. But sometimes, like, sources contradict each other. And so that's where a lot of the confusion kind of lies. Like, I, I trust Nookopedia. It's more accurate than the fandom wiki or really any other source that I use. Do coconut crabs spawn on the stumps? No, they should spawn on the side of the trees, right? I think they spawn on the side of the trees. But I also haven't seen anything. I'm also only seeing hermit crabs, so I don't know. I'm only seeing hermit crabs. Like, what are the spawn rates for... Yeah, like, I can only get hermit crabs to spawn, apparently. There's no way to despawn them easily without catching them, which is kind of annoying. It's a 1% chance. All right. And then I feel like hermit crabs and regular crabs are, like, the other 99% is what it seems like to me. From 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Yeah, so we'll have to come back at a later time for the Queen Alexandra Swallowtail. But it seems like we can get... And then 7 p.m. to 8 a.m. for the coconut crab. Yeah, so we should be able to get that. What's the coconut crab percentage chance then? I wonder. So if nothing... God, these hermit crabs. How many bugs have you caught so far? 45 of 93. 
And there's 48 total in this game, so only a few more. Only a few more. Okay, grab. Very in love with the graphics here. Oh, it's great. I don't know, like, I mean, it looks good because it's on an emulator. If it looked, if we were playing this on the original GameCube, it would not look as good, but yeah. It is pretty good. Yeah, but this is Dobutsu no Mori E+, a Japanese-only exclusive version of Animal Crossing. I mean, I kind of just want to get these out of here. We have enough flowers on this island. There's no real need to keep them around. Okay, crab. I mean, shit, I'm not even really checking the trees up here. Let me get rid of this tree as well. Nope, that is not what I wanted you to do, man. Breaking the law with an emulator? Look, I'd be really surprised if the cops come to my door for me using an emulator. I think they got better things to do, to be quite honest with you. But is it illegal? Yeah, maybe. What are you, a cop? So, I'm not too worried about it. I'm not too worried about it. Let's get these stumps out of here as well, kind of in the way. I assume this isn't, like, your, like, any changes you make to the island will save. Like, if you come back, the trees aren't going to be reset, I assume. So, we might as well get it set for a Queen Alexandra's Birdwing as well while we're at it. If the eye open up. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be a little surprised if they were getting mad at me for that. It's pretty trivial. I feel like they got better things to do. Criminals to catch. You want to see how I emulate these games? <laughs> Pretty good. They're definitely illegal because they are copies of games. Emulators themselves aren't illegal. This is my understanding of the legality of emulation. And I could be wrong. Correct me if I am. Emulators themselves are not illegal. Otherwise, why would the why are all these criminal scums out there? you know, working on emulators. No, I don't think that those are illegal. But I think acquiring copies of the game illegally and then emulating them, that's illegal. But emulators themselves are not illegal, I don't think. But theoretically, if you were to take a copy of the game and transfer it to your... This is, like, by the way, I could be very wrong here, but this has always been my interpretation of it. If you have a legal, a legally acquired copy of the game... You transfer that copy of the game to your PC, and then you play it through that? I think that's totally fine. I think that's fine. But I might even be wrong about that. I feel like there's a lot of gray areas in something like that. I don't know. Or maybe it's pretty straightforward. Because you don't buy the console? Yeah, I don't know. And then it's like, well, yeah, but you're like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. That's worse than robbing a bank. Pretty true, actually. Pretty true. I'm no worse than your average death row inmate. Okay, I mean, I don't see anything spawning on the beach here. Oh, never mind. I'm falling asleep in my chair. Time to head to bed. Yeah, it might be time to do that. Have yourself a good night. Thank you for being here. I wanted to stay and watch you finish this game. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be kind of a stretch to finish today. I mean, we're already at over four hours. It's already been a long stream, man. But, whew. It's already been a long stream. But, I mean, we're so close at this point. Like, we literally got the hard part of getting the island out of the way. I don't know, man. I feel like we might as well try to finish it today. On Nookopedia, it says common? Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it, man. These damn hermit crabs are... The, the hermit crabs and the regular crabs are insane. Like, this is ridiculous, and there's nothing I can do to prevent them from spawning. Like, I tried littering the beach with coconuts. That doesn't seem to work. Love the new video. I was just excited for this one. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Like, bro, this is ridiculous. What do you mean, common? Why do you do this to yourself? I'm getting paid to play video games, man! This is awesome! This is my childhood dream, what do you mean? And what am I doing to this to myself? This is awesome, dude! Would digging holes work better? Ooh, maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Um, I'd have to fucking release all this bullshit here. Uh, let's try it. I mean, I'm kind of willing to do anything at this point. Yeah, make holes in the sand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are good ideas. Good ideas. Since you were off Tuesday? I feel like I made up for it. 
With two longer streams? I feel like that's made up for a day off. Would getting every reaction AC&H challenge make for a good video? It doesn't sound very fun. I don't know, like, oh, it's just talking to your villagers and complete RNG to get the reactions that you need. I don't know. It doesn't really sound that fun. It just sounds like a collectathon for the sake of a collectathon rather than an actual engaging process of trying to complete a collection that actually requires skill and, you know, routing. It just kind of seems like a RNG fest, really. All right, pick up all the coconuts, drop them somewhere else. I really, I, I guess I can eat them to get rid of them, but I don't know. And then dig holes where the coconuts were. And then maybe not even that, man. That might not even do it. You have to plant normal trees on the island for the Alexandra Swallowtail. I have to bring a tree from the main island, grow it... I'm actually, like, molding. Like, why is it so fucking complicated, man? Oh my lord, this is too much, dude. This game is too much. You have to bring an oak sapling back. It doesn't even prevent the damn hermit crabs from spawning. How does that make sense? This doesn't make sense. Oh my god. This is just... This is stupid. <laughs> yeah, go away, man. Just fucking bash him on top of the head with the shovel. Alright, um... Yeah, hey, enjoy, man. Enjoy your, like, rock-hard coconut. Go away, please. Well, um... I guess. Let's, uh, fucking destroy all these, because I don't care. So, the Queen Alexandra's Birdwing does spawn on trees, then. What kind of fucking logic is that? Like, that's just, that's just silly. That's just silly. Literally every other butterfly in the game spawns on a flower. The fucking Queen Alexandra's butterfly spawns on a damn tree. Not only that, a normal tree that you have to bring to the island. That's just... That's fucking stupid. Crab has evolved its ability to levitate. Yeah, apparently. Apparently. Wouldn't the coconut crab be disguised as coconuts, as the name claims? No, I don't think that a coconut crab looks anything like a coconut. I think the association to coconuts is because they probably live in the same regions that coconuts are able to grow. But that's my speculation. I don't know if that's actually true or not. Or it's because they eat coconuts? Yeah, that might also be true. So, if I'm understanding this right... I don't need flowers at all, because if the Queen Alexandra's Birdwing Butterfly doesn't spawn on flowers, could I just theoretically get rid of all flowers on this island? I mean, seeing as I don't think anything that I need still spawns on flowers, could I just get rid of them? It wouldn't be too hard to bring some back from the mainland and plant them again if I do need them, so I might as well, right? I might as well get rid of them. I'm resetting my 140-hour island for better villagers. I'm really looking for Dom and Pajmina. Yo, best of luck. I hope you get them. I hope you get them. Coconut crabs live inside of coconuts. So, wait. If I see a coconut on the ground, it could be a coconut crab? I don't think so, because I'm pretty sure they spawn on trees themselves. Pretty sure they spawn on the trees themselves. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Alright, just get those out of here posterity's sake or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to... I haven't even seen a fucking bug that I need ever since coming to this damn island. I haven't even seen a bug... That's... I nearly... Y you saw that freeze? Yeah, I thought my game crashed and I was about to fucking cry. I, I was legitimately about to cry. I think I might have cried if my game crashed there. 
So they are disguised as coconuts. No, I don't think they're disguised as coconuts. I, I don't think that they are in this game, no. No, I, I think that they're just on trees. Okay, so coconut crabs can't appear on the island. All right, no problem then. We'll just bring a... We'll make sure that we have a coconut on our way back to the mainland. We'll have a coconut back on, on our way back to the mainland. IRL coconut crabs are huge. I'm pretty sure they're huge in... We'll bring like four just to make sure that at least one of them grows. Pretty sure they're pretty big in this game as well, to be honest with you. Pretty sure they're pretty big in this island and this game as well. So we only need the Hercules beetle right now. We only need the Hercules beetle. Hercules beetles don't prefer coconut trees with or without coconuts actually on them, I assume. In which case, I should have left some coconut trees with coconuts, but that's okay. No harm, no foul. I saw it. You almost shed a tear. Yeah, it like, it like froze for a second. Scared the shit out of me. So grow a regular tree on this island and then grow a coconut tree on your main island. Yes. That seems to be what I have to do. They, they make you do this like fucking... They make you do like this fucking like swapping game where you have to grow a regular tree on this island and then grow a fucking coconut tree on your island. Like, I don't know. For what reason? I don't know. To encourage you to go to the island? I don't know. Wiki page for coconut crabs. No, I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it under control. Okay, there's a crab. Awesome. Well, I'm just curious. What are the spawning rates of hermit crabs and coke or hermit crabs and regular crabs combined? Because it's got to be like 99%, right? Because this is fucking insane. I just literally can't get anything other than coconut crab or hermit crabs and regular crabs to spawn. I literally can't. It's the only thing that was spawn. Even though I'm pretty sure I'm doing everything right to get the Hercules beetle. I never seen anything spawn this quickly in AC before. Well, yeah, that's the benefit of being able to flick between the acres like you see me doing. If you unload an acre, or if you reload an acre like this, something new should spawn. In this case, a hermit crab. Yeah, and that's the only reason you're able to see things spawn as quickly as they are. And, of course, every time I do, it's a damn hermit crab, so... Pretty epic. Yeah, look at that. Awesome. Really cool. Are coconuts taking up spawning space? I don't see why they would. I don't see why they would. Okay, grab. Yo. Just jumping into Risa before I Yo, leave for my you. friend's graduation. Keep being awesome, man. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Congrats to them for graduating, and thank you so much for the six months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And yeah, congrats to your friend. Happy for him. Yeah, I don't think the coconuts... I, th I think they were just getting unlucky with how many hermit crabs are spawning. And the only way to despawn them reliably is to catch them, so... I don't know. Do not Google coconut crab at 3 a.m.? Not clickbait? Yeah, I wasn't planning on it, I guess. Help. The damn thing just appeared? Yeah, they just be appearing. Long stream today? Yeah, maybe it's a mistake, but, like, my goal was to finish E+, plus today, so that we can move right on to Wild World starting tomorrow, but, uh, I don't know, man. I guess we got the hard part done with unlocking the island, but, uh, maybe the hard part isn't done yet. Apparently the hard part isn't done yet. They use a bucket for shells? What the fuck? I just had Culver's for dinner? Yo. We, uh, when we went through the Midwest, we had White Castle instead of Culver's, and I'm still mauling about it to this day, because White Castle sucked dick. It sucked dick. They have spawn rates for E+, and you click checkboxes at the top of the insects tab for what's in the acre in to determine the spawn rates. I would have to pull up the spreadsheet to know what the hell you just said to me. 
Uh, what time is it in game? I made it 11 o'clock, so it's late enough for the Hercules Beetle. I had to make an entire Twitch account so I can comment that coconut crabs do not, in fact, live in coconuts. Well, there you go. There you go. I suppose if you, like, hollowed out a coconut, they might. I don't know. Gone wrong. Gone sexual. Crab. Yep. Guessing I should never try White Castle? No, I'm just mad because, like, on our road trip from Pennsylvania to California, we went through, like, I don't know, like, Illinois, all those, like, Midwest states, which are famous for, like, Culver's. But instead, we tried White Castle along the way, and White Castle was horrible, man. They're horrible. Like, I don't know. I got these, like, little burger sliders, and they weren't very good. And I'm like, man, we could have had Culver's. The, of, of the ubiquitous Midwest restaurants, we chose fucking White Castle. It was horrible. Would not recommend it. White Castle's good. They're not good. I mean, my... I also went to a White Castle in damn Gary, Indiana. Which, if you know anything about Gary, Indiana, is not exactly a nice place. So, maybe it was just something to do with that. Maybe I shouldn't hold White Castle responsible for the actions of Gary, Indiana, but I don't know, man. All I'm saying is that kind of ruined my White Castle experience, is all I'm saying. Alright, I mean, like, I'm, I, got, I got this palm tree here as well, and that's not spawning anything either. I, I really hope that I didn't mess up by... Shaking all the coconuts off of the trees, because Hercules beetles, for some reason, for one reason or another, only spawn on trees with coconuts? I don't know. I don't I don't think that's a thing. I've never read about that being a thing. But, I don't know. Gary's not that nice of a place. It's notoriously one of the worst places in America, yeah. Went to... One time we went to a big boy when I was a child and I got very ill. You went to a big boy? What the hell is a big boy? What's a white castle? I don't know, it's just a Midwest fast food chain. And it sucks. You might have seen, like, I see occasionally in, like, the frozen aisle of the grocery store, like, frozen white castle sliders. The actual, like, fresh ones weren't very good, but I guess if you want to try the frozen ones, maybe you can get a, a taste of white castle. But it wasn't very good. It wasn't very good. Wait, is a coconut crab considered insect in this game? Yes. I mean, just the same as like a hermit crab is as well. It's not an insect, but you can catch it with your net, so it's classified as an insect. Is this Wild World? No, this is uh, Animal Forest E+, for the GameCube. The frozen ones are terrible. I mean, the fresh ones weren't good either, so I'm not surprised. I'm a Midwest... It's a Midwestern burger place, and there's a huge Jimmy Neutron-looking statue of the titular big boy outside. Huh? What? There's a Jimmy Neutron-looking statue. Interesting. It's like a 50s-style diner, apparently. He's also a big boy? Is Like, that's big boy? That's big man? That's just his name? Interesting. I love the word titular. It's pretty good. They don't live in coconuts, but coconut octopi do. Oh, interesting. I'm learning a lot about coconut crabs today. I used to have one of those in the town I grew up in. I've never heard of it before. I can't say I've ever heard of it before. But there you go. And again, they just say you don't learn anything in twitch.tv slash that. I'm currently in July. I'm in July in-game. It's July of 11 p.m. But the months, from what I'm told, don't matter on the island. So, I don't think it matters. As long as it's at the right time of day, then they should spawn. Crabs spawn from the underground. Like the Need for Speed underground? Good game. I'm not looking for a crab right now, though. I'm just looking for Hercules Beetle. The big boy statue was in the Austin was in an Austin Powers movie, was it? Interesting. Which one? Google Freesht, and you'll see a big boy holding a burger. I'll keep that in mind in my free time later today. I'll keep that in mind.
Yo! Metaphy, thanks for the 100 bits. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you. Currently working on expanding my catalog and buying everything from the Able Sisters every day. It's so annoying. Yeah, those are kind of the risks that people should consider before they reset their island. I don't know, everyone's always like, Dagnall, should I reset my island? I'm like, I don't know, man. You gotta consider the pain in the ass that it is to make back up a lot of the progress that you made, so... Yeah. I think... <laughs> Chat? I think... I'm kinda done. Like, I don't... <laughs> I just can't... I can't sit here and just keep trying to spawn this thing today, man. I... I don't know, it's already been over four and a half hours, man. I'm tired. I'm tired, man. I kind of want to, like... I kind of want to come back tomorrow, man. I kind of want... Like, I'm just... I, I This Hercules beetle ain't spawning. If it spawned earlier, I might have the motivation to try to knock out these last three bugs, but... Jesus Christ, man. Like, this is just insane. I must be doing something wrong, right? I must be doing something wrong. Like, I can't, I can't, I can't get anything other than hermit crabs and crabs to spawn. Defeated by Animal Crossing once again? It would not be the first time, but, like, I literally can't get anything to spawn. The Hercules might be the one on normal trees. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're going to go back to our island and we're gonna grow these coconut trees, okay? We're gonna grow these coconut trees here, okay? And then we're going to go to a time where Nooks is open and we're gonna buy a sapling, or maybe two. And we're gonna grow them on this island. Uh, can I skip this, man? I nor I never skip cat and songs, man, but I guess it's a good time to go piss out my anger, alright? I'll be right back. So we need to plant this on... What is this? What are you asking me for? What, what are you asking me about? What, what is this question? I want to answer it correctly. God forbid I, 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 I fucking answer the wrong thing. I get my fucking save file deleted here. Let's see here. Um, It's good or no. Yeah, it was good, man. Good job. Do you want other people to be able to visit my island? Uh oh. Well, 
I don't think that'll be relevant anyway. All right, and now we need to plant coconuts in a beach acre, which I can only assume is like these. Make sure that there's enough room to like sneak in front of the tree though. So let's put it like back one. Like it doesn't have to be on the sand, right? Surely it doesn't have to be on the sand. Okay, good job. You should take a break, maybe wrap up the stream soon. You're probably right. You're probably correct. You're probably right. I probably should, but I'm so tantalizingly close that I'm like, man, I kind of just want to knock it out so that tomorrow I can just jump straight into Animal Crossing Wild World. That's what I want to do, but... No, yeah, good job, man. Good job. That's what I want to do, just to, like, not have to, like, play a little bit of Animal Forest E+, tomorrow, and then go over to Wild World, and kind of makes it easier, right? Kind of would make it easier. I mean, this would, this would also count as Beach Acre, so shit, I mean, throw one up here as well. All right, and then if we go to... We go to a time where we can get... Okay, let's go to noon. Let's go to noon. I'll try to determine exactly what's the situation for those two island bugs. Yeah, and that may be smart. That may be smart. That's kind of a honker. I don't have a fishing rod. Probably a giant catfish. I don't know. It would be smart to, like, take a break gather all the data that I need so that there's no misinformation out there. It would probably be smart. At the same time, I really... I don't know, man. I want to at least give it like a... Give it like a little shot here. Give it a shot here. You have 48 left. I do. Like, I don't want to finish the whole thing today. I just want to finish Animal Forest E+, with where there's only 48 total in the game. So I only need three more. Gonna head out as well. Yo, you have a good night. You and Carlsberg. You guys have a good night. I just wanna- g just give me like 10 minutes to see if I can't figure some shit out here. Let me at least get these coconut trees grown. Hopefully one of the five that I planted will grow and I don't get utterly fucked by the game. And then let me go to noon, let me buy a sapling from Nooks, grow it on the island, and then, assuming we can do all that, then maybe we'll hop on tomorrow and finish it up then. All right, let's just skip to a time where all the things that I planted will grow. Actually, not that late in the day, because now we need to we need to go to noon. It's a very confusing counter. Well, I mean, it takes into account all the different bugs across the entire series, so it makes sense. It makes sense. Just don't push yourself. Yeah, I know. I know my limits, trust me, chat. Like, a lot of people are like, oh, you don't work too hard, don't work too hard. I'm like, man, I do not work that hard. <laughs> I don't work that hard. And trust me when I say, I do know my limits. I do know my limits when it comes to, you know, how much I should work today. Like, if I was feeling utterly miserable, I would not continue streaming, I promise you. Who is that? The villager that just logged me in there? I don't remember, who was that? Was that Cupcake? All right, so an oak sapling. I mean, I don't suppose a pine sapling would work, but I'm not going to take the chance. I'm not going to take the chance. All right, so we're going to bring one of those to the island. Let's go down there and check if my coconut trees have spawned as well. I'll check if my coconut trees have spawned as well. Nook's walk? Why? Yo, what's wrong with Nook's walk? He just, he just be walking, man. He can't be, he can't, he can't walk around without being judged these days. Has to be past his bedtime? Bro, it's 6.30. It's 6.30 p.m., man. That wasn't even my bedtime when I was a freaking kindergartner. Yeah, most streamers know their limits and fans forget that. I don't know if they forget that, but I don't know. I think fans get off the idea that streamers torture themselves for, their, for the fans' content. Okay, so that one died. One grew, at least. That one died. And then two more grew. All right, so three out of five isn't bad. Three out of five isn't bad. And then now those trees should be able to spawn coconut crabs, but only if they don't have coconuts on them. But not right now. Not right now. Okay. And then we'll go and we'll plant this tree. We'll plant this tree on the island. 
Now, the sad part is that only being able to buy one sapling means that it's not guaranteed for it to actually grow. Because in this game, it's not guaranteed like it is in New Horizons. Are you saying they don't do that? I don't know. It's 2.30 a.m. and I'm loving it. Hey, I'm glad that you're enjoying it. I kind of want to see what he's saying, but I don't think my translator app would be able to handle this. Because his songs are usually just nonsense anyway. He's fucking dead. Gulliver fucking died. <laughs> I did not know that it could do that. I knew that there was like a 1% chance of like the whale, the giant shadow of like a whale could spawn. I didn't know you could just fucking find Gulliver just washed up. What the fuck? That's crazy. That's hilarious though at the same time. His shipmates, they murdered him. Oh, man. Alright, um... Okay. Oh, look, it's a ladybug. Um, hey, I wonder if this is a hermit crab. <laughs> Wait, it's not. My joke is ruined. Alright, plant this. Beautiful. And if that grows, great. If it doesn't grow, then whatever, we'll buy more. Alright, and now... And now, let's go a few days ahead and let's go back to 11 o'clock so that we can get the coconut crab. And then... The swall... Wait, I'm confused. What does the her... Are you saying the Hercules beetle spawns on the regular tree? Wait a minute. I'm so... Man, my brain is so scrambled right now. What happened? I didn't see it. We, we, were, we were sailing to the island and we just washed up on Gulliver. I saw a video where it did. Okay, the Hercules beetle spawns on a regular tree. And then the Queen Alexandra's birdwing butterfly spawns on a coconut tree. So really, I shouldn't have left. I should have tried to get the Alexandra's swallowtail while I was there. Oh well, I guess we can go back. Right? The Alexandra's... It spawns on fruit trees. Fr fruit trees? Fruit trees. Like... <clears throat> like I have to grab apples from my island and plant them? Okay, I mean, that's not a big deal. And if anything, it makes it so that I can more reliably grow them, because I can grab more of them. That's what it says on the wiki. Oh my goodness. Oh, man, I gotta get these sources straightened out. What is he... What is that? Is that even the right part of the stream? I don't know, man. This is the right part of anything right now. I'm so scrambled at this point. All right, I guess let's grab, um... Just, just to be sure. Just to be safe. Let's grab a few apples and bring them back to the island. Might as well. I mean, shit, if it, if it takes apple trees or just regular oak trees, well, let's do both of them just to be safe. Let's do both of them, just to be safe. Yeah, like, there's a lot of conflicting info. And I guess it makes sense, because, like, this game is not, like, very popular. If it was, like, a more popular game that was more well understood and documented, I suppose the sources would probably make a lot more sense. But I don't know. I don't know. Alright, let's go back. I missed the color thing. Well, hey, maybe we'll get it again here. Maybe we'll get it again. Yeah, send me back. And then we should try to get the Alexandra's Birdwing while we're here as well. Because we're at the right time frame for it, I think. I miss Gulliver again. Go back. I mean, I don't know if he'll show up again, but here we go. Nope, he ain't there now. From what I can find, the Hercules Beetle has to be on a non-palm tree. Not sure about the Alexandra's Birdwing. So the Alexandra's Birdwing is on a tree, though. We know for sure that it's on a tree. We don't know what kind of tree, but a kind of tree. Okay. Trying to figure this out as a child without the wiki's help? I mean, I feel like eventually you would stumble upon everything that you need, but I don't know. 
I don't know. Maybe. He was floating face down, or did he get hit? No, like, he was floating face down when we swam by him. It's kind of crazy. Alright, but I guess let's plant these apples here, and... I don't know. Thanks for the hydrate. I took a nap. What have I missed? Torture. Hope your nap was good. He's just fucking... Yeah, he's just fucking dead. The Slake Achilles Beetle. Very good. Very good. Alright. Queen Alexandra's Birdwing. Might spawn... Might maybe be spawning on these trees. Might maybe be not. I don't know. But I'll tell you what one thing we'll do is we'll grab this... And we'll grab that, and we'll put it right here, and we'll plant one of these. There you go. Is Gulliver on your beach? No, I don't think so. I think Gulliver died, man. I think Gulliver died. It's so funny. <laughs> this is pretty funny. I'm gonna include that in the video for sure. Gulliver's my birthday twin, RIP. Yeah, RIP to a real one. Alright. Just to cover our bases here. Let's plant three of them. More than likely, at least one of them will grow, right? So now, from what I can understand, we are at a time frame where the Queen Alexandra's Birdwing can spawn, so let's try for it, I guess. Let's try for it. And release all this other bullshit here. I think Hermit Crabs can still spawn, but definitely not going to be as common as they were. He was your birthday twin, yeah. Hi, Dagmo, and hi, Stanley, wherever you are. I think he's just out there snoozing. I think he's just out there snoozing. Kristen and him are both taking a snooze. I think it means Gulliver will be on the beach the next day. Mate, I don't know. I guess that kind of makes sense. Oh, he wasn't that far out there. I don't know. It takes him a whole day just to wash like 10 meters ashore. I guess. Makes sense. Though. Uh, get out of here. All right. So... Alexandra's birdwing butterfly on a coconut tree or on some tree during this time frame. All right. Let's give it like, I don't know, give it like 10 minutes. 10 minutes is probably going to be my limit. I, I was already pretty close to ending stream today after the, uh, after the Hercules beetle, but I don't know. I'll give it 10 minutes. I'll, that'll be my limit for today. Any Geminis in chat? No, sorry, man. I'm a cancer. I'm a Cancer. And it's also my star sign. Hey, look at you! Good thing I still don't need that thing. Otherwise, I'd be drive driven extra crazy. Good thing I don't need that thing anymore. Willow's my birthday twin, which is kind of sad because I looked it up and I never knew she existed. Willow? Oh, she's a cutie. Willow's good. Lucky you. Hey, Agent S is my birthday twin, and... If I like Agent S because she's my birthday twin, or I'm happy that she's my birthday twin, and I would have liked her even if she wasn't. But I don't know. She is pretty good though. Yes, hello. I'm a Gemini. I think. Wait, if you're a Gemini, doesn't that mean that your birthday's coming up? Because my mom, whose birthday was only a few days ago, like a week ago, is a Gemini. Would that mean that y'all's birthday's coming up if you're a Gemini? I'm first in my BF's twin is Moose. Oh, no. Poor guy. Poor guy. Agent S is a great... She is a great villager. I think it's just... I, I think that it's... Uh, she's even better because she's my birthday twin. I don't just like her because she's my birthday twin. She was already good. Jeremiah is a br blue lazy frog. Yo, Jeremiah is the man. That's the man right there. Apollo? Oh, so July 4th then. I know, I always know Apollo's birthday because he's like America personified. So, of course, his birthday has to be July 4th as well. I should probably get rid of these flowers. I mean, I don't need them. So, and it's just spawning bugs that I don't need. So, I should get it out of here. Bree? What are you, what are you dash facing about Bree for? Bree's awesome. Bree is great. Oh, yeah, I guess yellow butterflies don't need flowers, though. Oh, well. Whatever. Whatever. Or tiger butterflies, for that matter. I had two Animal Crossing birthday twins because I'm extra awesome. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. I'm sure the developers had you specifically in mind when they did that. Absolutely. I'm a Sagittarius. I'm Dagnal, man. I'm just Dagnal. They sure did. I'm sure they did. 
Mine's Barbara. There's a little bit of lore with Barbara. There's a little bit of lore with Barbara. I don't know if I should tell the story, but... When they were sending out review copies of Animal Crossing Wild World, I think it was just some random employee's copy of the game, and therefore some random employee's town that they sent out for people to review. And one of the villagers on that island's name was Barbara. And Barbara, they made her catchphrase a racial slur, I'm pretty sure. But using it like special characters so that it got around the swear filter. And so this Barbara that had a racial slur as a catchphrase was sent to all these reviewers. And I think Nintendo had to apologize for it. Of course, this was back before Wild World came out. He finds the Alexandra Swallowtail on the flowers. I kept saying flowers. I mean, no big deal. I can just run back to Nooks and go get some flowers, or... It's not, it's not a big deal. Hmm. Alright. Guess we're taking another trip. Well, she is a snooty type. Yeah, a Karen type. Yeah, but anyway, pretty sure, uh, pretty sure that was like a story before the release of Wild World. It might also just spawn by itself. Tell you what, I think I'm gonna get it wrapped up for today. I think I'm gonna get it wrapped up for today. I think that I need to do some research myself before I, uh, before I go smashing my head into a wall in that I don't know anything about the things that I need. I think I probably gotta take it upon myself to do my own research here instead of relying on other people. Yeah, I just came back. Well, I mean, I've been streaming for almost five hours, so I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Um, thank you all for being here today. I very much appreciate it. I'm gonna be live again tomorrow at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. GMT, 7 a.m. AEST for more Animal Crossing E4, Animal Forest E+. My brain has been thoroughly scrambled for this last hour, so sorry if I'm completely nonsensical. But, uh... I'm tired, I'm hungry, and I'm pretty exhausted, so I think I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna do some research tonight to try to see what the best way of getting these last, uh... These last few bugs are, but let's make sure we save before we quit here. Thanks, Captain. Say thanks to Captain. Y'all thank the bus driver after you're done? I hope you do. I hope you do. Yeah, thanks, man. That was great. What was that sound? Oh, that was his reaction sound. Okay. Thanks, Captain. I never understood that, actually. Why do people like... I mean, I get it. The bus driver does a thankful job, but I've never actually felt the urge with which to thank the bus driver after... I don't know. After they drive me to my desired location. I don't want to be like, oh, that's your job. You know? But I don't know. Like, people deserve to be thanked for their jobs, but I don't know. I don't know. I guess it's just polite, right? Yeah. I don't know. Or, hilarious. Um, or, like, thanking the pilots after, like, a flight. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. Or, cla here's the one I don't get, man. Clapping at the end of a movie. Like, the actors are actually there. Now, this one I truly don't understand. Clapping at the end of a movie at the movie theater, like, the actors are actually there, like, hearing your appreciation. Now that I never do. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that one. Yeah, the clapping at the end of a flight? I don't know, maybe, like, thanking... Maybe thanking the, the pilots is one thing, but clapping at the end of the flight, yeah, that one I don't get. Anyway, uh, I'm out of here. See ya. Um, coconut crab, Hercules beetle, Queen Alexandra's bird wing. Okay? That's all we need. We don't need anything else. We're good. After that, we are good and we're moving on to Wild World. Which I have already routed. Um, I already have Wild World planned out for how I'm going to do it. So, if we get to Wild World today, I think... I don't know. Wild World's kind of tough because it actually did introduce a lot of bugs that are kind of difficult to catch. But we'll see, man. I, I don't think it'll be... I don't think it'll be too bad. What was the date? It's... It was August something. August 12th at 8.05. Well, the Hercules beetle spawns on regular trees on the island. 
So we're going to go to 11 o'clock to try to get the Hercules beetle. I'm also going to go a few days ahead because I think I planted the oak trees on my island a few days before. So if I go to this day, then I should have all the regular trees grown on the island and we can hopefully get a Hercules beetle. Aaron Leon. Aaron Leon? Aaron Leon? Thanks for the prime. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I said it to noon. Well, I guess this is a good opportunity to get all the shit out of my inventory. Uh, I accidentally said it to noon, or 11 a.m. instead of 11 p.m., but... Not the worst thing in the world. Let's me clear my inventory out nice and easily. And then we'll save and quit and go to actual 11 p.m. here. That's a lot of brain work. I... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this just, like, they per... They specifically made it so fucking difficult to get every bug in this game. Like, maybe it's just me that finds this complicated, but you need a regular tree on the island, and then you need to go to the island, bring a coconut tree to your island, which is the only place that a coconut crab will spawn, and it's like, fucking god. Christ. I can't handle this. This takes too much brain power, dude. But that's okay. And then, of course, in order to even get the island, you need to pay off all your debts, which is a pain in the ass enough. You don't have to select every single bug. Well, I do in that case, because I had different kinds of bugs, so I did have to select every kind of bug. Pretty sure I did, at least. They want you to work for it? I mean, fuck, dude, I'm working. Wild World is then gonna be another pain in the ass, because then I have to do flower breeding in Wild World. It's like they gave me the two hardest games to do in this challenge. And then City Folk, New Leaf, New Horizons, man, I don't think any of those will be too hard. I don't think any of those will be too hard, but we'll see. Go out and help my friend who's in my city, be a tourist, have a good stream, and have fun. Yo, go be a good tour guide. Hell yeah. Enjoy. Watching stream outside while on my work break. Hell yeah, do girl boss, I think. That's pretty girl boss. You're getting paid to watch my stream. Ad break? I'm sorry, I can't control the ads, unfortunately. I cannot control the ads. Why does that mouse have no eyes? He has eyes! Don't be insensitive, okay? They're just closed. He could just be sleeping. 30 second ad about a vacuum? Hey, if you buy that vacuum, then I get a part of the commission for that vacuum. That's a lie, by the way, for legal purposes. This is a lie. This is a joke. This is just a wee goof. I accidentally filled my money spot before putting in the money. People still do that? That's crazy. I stopped doing that forever ago. Then again, I got, you know, 50 million in the bazank over here. Let's do a quick check for the coconut crab. I don't think I'll have it right now. I don't actually... I think it's... Is it all day, all year? I have no idea, man. Oh, but it also does take... It takes coconut trees that don't have coconuts on them, so I would need to shake them off for them to even spawn, so... No big deal. I suppose a way of shaking... You know what? Like, I was like, I, I should... I should, I should hit it with an axe to get the coconuts off, but, like, trying to, like, ten-brain it right there. How about you just, like, shake the coconuts off? That would also help. Bring back diagonal buildings. So true, bestie. I really like them in this game. I think it was because, like, I don't know for what reason they did them in this game, but they do look good. They do look good. I mean, maybe I can get one to spawn now. I don't know. It, like, if I can get one to... I'm not really looking for the coconut crab now, but I mean, hell, if it wants to spawn, I'm not gonna say no. If I can, like, do a quick flick of the wrist here. Get a quick, like... I don't know. I don't even know if they can spawn right now. I don't even know if they can spawn right now. I just wish I could rotate houses. Yeah, you'd think that, like... You know, with all these things that they did that allows you to design your island to the way that you want, they would let you do that, but I don't know. I mean, I guess the airport's diagonal. I guess the airport is, like, facing diagonal. Whatever, we'll worry about it later. Yeah, I'm going to the island. 30 second ad for McDonald's? I mean, I've seen worse ads. Subscribing is the best thing ever, so you don't get ads? I mean, I hate that, like, you're incentivized to... Subscribe, just to get an ad-free viewing experience. The frog hat is pretty great. It is wonderful. I don't know why. I think the Captain songs in this game go harder than any of the other ones. 
I think it's the simplicity of just the simple beat in the background, the rowing oar, the animalese makes it sound really nice as well. He has a better flow. Yeah, I think he has a better flow as well. I think it just goes harder in this game. I mean, don't get me wrong, they go hard in New Horizons and New Leaf as well, but... It's just good. It's the drum. Yeah, it's just like the simple drum. It's all it needs, just a little drumming. Yo, my day is good, Lulu Lindsay. How are you doing? Thanks for the two bits. And the woo in the background as well. I don't know, is it like a slower tempo? Yeah, kind of. I don't know, I like it. Or maybe just because I don't hear it very often compared to the millions of times that I've heard the New Horizons and New Leaf ones. Alright, thanks man. Appreciate it. Alright, let's get this bread, and by this bread I mean this Hercules beetle. If I don't get it, I will cry. Alright, this seems like a lot of trees grew. Did every tree that I planted grew? Well, that's good. That's great news. Well, alright. Alright. That, uh, that's a big bug. That's a, whew, that's a, that's a, that's a big bug, man. Almost like it's the biggest bug in the world or something like that. I gotta be, like, super careful here. I think as long as they're shaking, you're good. Beautiful. Look at that. That didn't take long at all. That didn't take long at all. Get the translator out? Yeah, what's the translator app say about this one? I mean, we, I know it's the right bug. Mostly just curious as to, uh... Mostly just curious as to what it says. Let's see here. Hercules Ocapto. Caught. It's... It, it looks like a bunch of nonsense. It says Kabuto, which is a Pokemon, but I think somebody said yesterday that Kabuto looks... Or Kabuto is... means something in Japanese. I don't know, either way. Tiggle Biddies! Thanks for the Prime. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Alright, that was simple. Trivial. Easy. Yeah, I'm already ready to go back. So now we go back, and we go to a time where we can catch the Alexandra Swallowtail, which... If... Okay, listen to this. The Alexandra Swallowtail requires a tree to spawn, but they don't spawn on trees. Doesn't make any sense, right? You'll just, you'll catch them flying around trees, but they don't spawn on trees. But they require a tree to spawn. Very weird, either way. Back, back to the mainland here. Just tuned in, did you catch the crab? No, we just got the Hercules beetle, though, so... I mean, we're only 10 minutes into the stream. Already good progress, if you ask me. And JV Tact, thank you for the tier 1 as well. I appreciate that, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sekaichi Big Kabuto? Yeah, I think that's what mine said as well, and to me, that's just nonsense. It's 11 p.m., I finally woke up just in time for a diagonal stream. Yo, welcome, and I hope your evening is going well. And thank you again, JV Tack, for the tier one. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing. I appreciate it very much. Captain's Midnight Joyride. It's a banger, dude. God, it's a banger. All right. Coconut Crab. I thought it was all day, all year. I might be wrong about that, though. I might have to, um. I'm gonna have to go to a different time to get it. Uh, yeah, it was good, man. Good job. Kabuto means helmet. It's a helmet beetle. Interesting. I don't know if I've ever heard it referred to as such, but, uh... Alright, regular crab. I guess. Go off, king. Biggest beetle in the world is Sekichi... Is Sek Sekaichi Big Kabuto. <laughs> yeah, there you go. 11 p.m. It's only 4 here. Yeah, it's only 2 o'clock here. It's 11 p.m. in-game, because that's when I needed to get the Hercules beetle. Which spawned on, like, literally fucking two minutes after I landed on the island, so that's pretty awesome. I need some nice words from you. I just ki ki I just kicked out two people out of my casino because they called me names, and I'm mad and sad. You did the right thing. You are valid. I hope that, like, is this like an Animal Crossing casino? You'll- you, I, I wish you the best. I hope it gets better for you. Hopefully your next casino patrons will be a lot nicer to you next time. 
Yeah, I did get very lucky with that Hercules, didn't I? And thank you, Carly, for the Prime as well. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. No, a real-life casino. You be out here with a real-life casino? Damn. I thought you were running, like, an Animal Crossing casino. That's pretty awesome, though. I mean, like, that's pretty, that's pretty awesome just in itself. I wish they brought the crabs back. I got the hermit crab. Yeah, get me out of here, man. All right, and then Queen Alexandra's bird wing is... Or Alexandra's swallowtail butterfly. Go to noon. I mean, just go to noon, right? That's all you need to do, right? Yeah, just go to noon. Same day. I think it should... I don't think it should matter. Video idea? Animal Crossing Casino? Yeah, I'm trying to think, like, how that would work. You'd have to use, like, the, the spinning wheels or something like that. I don't know if Animal Crossing really wants to incentivize gambling too much to where they would add a lot of casino items, but, uh, I don't know. Maybe. What's up, Carolyn? How are you doing? You're tired? I'm sorry to hear that. You could take a nap. You're allowed. I'm half Asian, but I don't know how to speak Tagalog. Yeah, I don't know either, but I'm not half Asian, so maybe that doesn't help you all that much. I've been in bed all day. So you're, like, tired as a result of being in bed all day. Well, I'd be reckoned to believe that once you, like, get out, get moving a little bit, that tiredness will leave, well, that tiredness will fade away. It's not like... It's not like a sleepy tiredness. It's like a, I haven't done anything today and my body needs to move around tiredness, which I understand. I, I get that kind of tiredness. I mean, shit, I, I'm kind of tired like in that sense myself because I haven't really done anything today either. I sent you some video ideas on Twitter a few days ago. I did see those. Yeah, I just haven't gotten around to replying to any of them specifically because there was a lot. There was a lot. Okay, from my understanding, coconut crab, I, I believe, should be able to spawn right now, so I don't know. Because the boss said we don't need people doing that. People doing what? Sorry, you don't tell me what tea you want, so I didn't make some. Then they called me names and I kicked them out. You did the right thing, I think. I don't know. I don't know the full scope of the equation here. Get out of here. Took a really nice nap with my cat. That's awesome to hear. I'm glad that you got a nice cat nap. Not like a cat nap, but like a nap with your... You know what I mean. Oh no, I forgot those were in this game. What time is it in game? I just set it to noon, 12, 11 p.m. And it's August 16th. It might not be the right month. Like, I'm, I, I, I put it to noon, disregarding the month entirely, because I'm going to be going to the island where I don't think the month matters. So it may not be the right month for the coconut crab, actually, now that I think about it. But I just thought I'd give it, like, a couple of minutes of glancing to see if it would spawn. And no luck so far. The trees do need to have no fruit on them, which is a weird detail, but uh, it does matter. I'm tired, man. I want a nap, but I'm working. Yeah, naps are... I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a napper myself. I'm not a napper myself. It doesn't spawn at that time. All right, well, I'll just heck myself then yeah get me out of here and by that i mean like get me out of here please can you give me a good time for a coconut crab for reference after i catch the queen alexandra swallowtail my eyes are about to bleed because i always forget to blink you out here forgetting to blink hmm. interesting can't say i've ever had that problem yo Alyssa, Kavazos, thank you so much for the tier one. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 7 p.m. day. Right, they're a nighttime thing. Sorry, I'm dumb. So, probably just, like, set it to midnight or something like that. All right, I could do that. Do you think this challenge will take longer than catching all the fish? Yeah, there's so much more, like... There's so much more setup that it takes to get all the bugs in this game compared to all the fish. There's, like, so much setup to it. Like, with... You need these specific trees in this specific place. You need this specific hybrid for the case of the peacock butterfly. 
There's so much more setup that these bugs take than fish. Fish are pretty easy, all things considered. Pretty low maintenance. Thanks for the hydrate. So yeah, I definitely think it's going to take longer. But then again, I don't know if, um, I don't know. I think that uh, the games after this one are going to be easier than this one, because I don't think any of them have super special requirements like this one did. The only thing that I think is going to be a pain in the ass after this game is done is getting the peacock butterfly in Wild World, which requires a black, blue, or purple flower. Depending on how hard flower breeding is in Wild World, I don't think it'll be too, too bad, but we'll see. We'll see. Alright, so yeah, like I said, Alexandra's Swallowtail Butterflies, they require trees to spawn, but they don't spawn on trees. We'll see them flying around like any other butterfly, but they need to have... They need to have trees with which to spawn. And catch requirements in New Horizons, but catching 100 bugs is not going to be... Not nearly as bad as 100 fish, so honestly... And also, I don't even know, like, what bugs did New Horizons introduce that require, like, a lot of bugs as a catch requirement? I guess, like, the... Like, what's a really rare bug that New Horizons introduced? I really don't know. What, something that'll take, like, a hundred bugs before it spawns? I'm trying to think of something. I can't. But I also have to pull up a list. We're on Dobutsu no Mori E+, or Animal Forest E+. Right now, and we're almost done with it. There's 48 bugs total in this game, and we got 46 of them, so we're very close to being done. The fly? No, we're gonna get the fly in Wild World, because that's the game that the fly debuted in. And the fly will not be bad in Wild World. We'll just create a Rafflesia, and it'll come no problem. Except I'm not. I'm gonna use a turnip in Wild World. Cicadas? What do you mean, cicadas? Cicadas were not introduced in New Horizons. I'm talking bugs that were introduced in New Horizons that are particularly rare and i don't really i can't think of any but there might be some there might be some hey dickhead you want to get into place so i can catch you here crab time no not yet not crab time almost though the hercules beetle not introduced in wild world or not introduced in new horizons one of the beetles i think all the beetles were in the game before new horizons though like, I really don't... I can't, I can't think. No, Cicada Shell was New Leaf, which they were very common in New Leaf. For some reason, they made them super rare in New Horizons. I don't know why. Um, but yeah. What are the bugs from AC and H? Oh, there is the Blue Weevil Beetle, and that thing I do struggle to spawn sometimes. But honestly, after setting up, like, uh... Atlas Moth, Paper Kite Butterfly, Madagascan Sunset Moth, Damselfly, Blue Weevil Beetle, Common Blue Bottle, Earth Boring Dung Beetle, Man Face Stink Bug, Rosalia Batessi Beetle. Honestly, that's not bad. If that's all the new bugs that spawned in New Horizons, that is not that bad, man. I think New Horizons will not take very long at all. Myself, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe I'm wrong. Coconut Crab yet? Nope, no Coconut Crab. Looks like the Coconut Crab's gonna be the last thing that we get. Because, ideally, at this time frame, I get the Queen Alexandra's Swallowtail Butterfly. Slash Queen Alexandra's Birdwing Butterfly. Hey, what's up, Cephalopod? How are you doing? Dude, that fly was so hard to find for some reason. Took me a month to find one. Yeah, like, I don't know. New Horizons made some very seemingly common bugs extremely difficult to find. The fly, the cicada shell, I mean the flea, but then again, like, the flea has kind of always been difficult to find. Like, it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal, but like, the flea is big balls, I don't know. I've reset my AC and H island like 50 plus times. Like, why though? Like, I don't know, not saying you're wrong, I'm just saying like, why, f I don't know, like, what did you, what did you, what went wrong in the 49th reset that you felt the need to reset at a 50th time? I don't know. Avs versus Oilers in the Campbell Conference Final, but the Campbell Conference Final, man, it's called the Western Conference Final, it's not at 1980 anymore, but yeah, it's gonna be fun. I only started AC and H in March, so I'm missing so much, hell yeah, dude. Gotta go, because my eyes are dying, you know. By the way, you're always, they're always dying. Your eyes are always dying? I'm sorry about that, man. I hope your eyes get better. Sounds like that's kind of a stinky situation. Giraffe. Oh, the giraffe stack! That's right! 
And no one saw the giraffe stag. Yeah, that's going to take a lot of bugs to start spawning. Oh, yeah. Eh, I still don't think New Horizons will be that bad, honestly. I still don't think it'll be that bad. I might, depending on how quickly we get done with uh, E+, and Wild World today, we'll see how uh, long today's stream goes. Those of you who are around for the last couple of days know how... Knows that uh, these last couple of streams were big balls. Then again, I guess I did take Tuesday off, so maybe that's my comeuppance for taking Tuesday off. Not that I need to pay you guys back in any way for taking a day to myself. But, you know, maybe we'll be a little bit shorter today. We'll see how quickly we can charge through Wild World, though. Selini! I thought I saw something behind there. Thanks so much for the Tier 1. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. For the gifts of the Leaf Shino, I'm sorry. Thank you for the gifts of the Leaf Shino. As you can tell, my brain is already a little pre-scrambled today. Thank you, I appreciate that. Do I like Klaus? Not really. Not really. You know, pay us back for taking the day off. Self-care is important. But the universe might want payback anyway. The universe already got their payback with this pain-in-the-ass fucking bug spawning in this game, okay? They got their payback. They can leave me alone now if they don't mind. They can leave me the fuck alone. Tips to catch the string fish. Just a lot of bait, man. Just a lot of bait. Got nothing else for you, just farm bait, trade for bait, 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 bait. Get as much as you can. It's the best that I can offer. Claude the bunny? Yeah, Claude's pretty good. Claude's pretty good. Any hacks today? Nope. We already got all of our hacks slash glitches slash exploits slash dupes out of the way yesterday. We shouldn't need to do any today. Not in this game or not in Wild World. Nope. Do coconuts on the ground have a use? No, it's just a place... Well, I mean, obviously, I can't sell them on the island. I could bring them back to my mainland, sell them, and then get rid of them. Or I could eat them all, but... I don't know. I'd rather just drop them there. I don't really think they're doing anything. Good or bad, so I don't know. I don't think they're doing anything. Any harm or anything like that, so I don't know. I think we're alright. I think it's okay. Halfway through flattening my island now in New Horizons, I can't be bothered to carry on. So whenever I go into the next Animal Crossing, I'll be met with the sad product of my short attention span. I mean, a lot of people... I don't want to call anyone out. You want some of my popcorn? It's salty. I'm more of a buttery guy myself. I'm more of a buttery guy. I don't want to call anyone out. But if you say that I'm calling you out, then you called yourself out by saying that I called you out, okay? So if you feel called out, then... Then, then, then just don't say anything, okay? Because otherwise nobody would ever know that I call you out like this, okay? A lot of people, instead of, like, taking a break from the game, like, instead of, like, stepping away from Animal Crossing for, like, a little bit of time, they always feel like they need to be playing the game. And so when they get bored of the game, they get bored of their island, instead of taking a break from the game, they reset their island. And I'm like... I feel like, and I could be wrong, I feel like you'll come around to regret this decision once you log back onto the game and you have your new island here. I mean, I don't think these coconut trees are doing anything good or bad. Eh, oh, whatever, I'll leave them. Like, y'all can just, like... Like, y'all can just, like, take a break from the game. There's no requirement that you must keep playing every day. A lot of people feel bad because, oh, if I stop playing the game, my villagers will get mad at me. No, they won't. They don't feel emotion, man. They, they don't feel emotion. They will not be mad at you if you take a break from the game. They'll be like, oh, you left for three months. Who cares? They're walking random number generators. They don't feel things. They don't feel things. Just take a break from the game, man. You don't need to, like, have a new island just to, like, reinvigorate your love for the game. You could just, like, let it happen again naturally by taking a break and then coming back to it with a new sense of motivation. I wish there was more storyline. Kind of the same. I mean, you know, the game is as the game is. Unfortunately, we can't change that. Unfortunately, we can't change that. Okay. I mean, it's only, like, my 15th one of these. Chance! Hey, have Jack, you eaten? How yes. are you doing today? Have you eaten? Hope you're well. Yeah, don't worry Smiley about me. Face. I'm all good. I hope you're well. I hope you're well. But don't worry about old twitch.tv slash diagonal. As much as it looks like I pain and I I suffer for the entertainment value of my stream and my viewers, I, I really don't. I'm alright, man. I'm alright. 
Dag is IRL Blathers look-wise? No. I don't see it myself. I don't see it myself. I regret flattening my island and filling in the river to catch the last bugs. I reset because I suck at terraforming. I mean, you don't need a reason to reset. You don't need to justify it to me. What's up, Agent Lunar? How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Dare I say Lyle look alike? Honestly, as much as it pains me to say, I think that's more accurate than Blathers. I mean, Blathers don't even wear glasses. Lyle at least does. I feel like that's more accurate, even if it pains me in the depths of my freaking heart. I don't know. Imagine actually being good at terraforming. Crazy, right? Man's about to give me 100 bells for getting stung by a bee. Yeah, I'm about to, like... I'm about to, as soon as you walk out of your door first thing in the morning, I'm gonna fucking chase you down. Try to sell you insurance. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be really fucking insufferable. Bam! You busted my chops! Thanks for the hydrate. I'm into Stardew Valley right now. There you go. Great game. Highly recommended. Anyone who's, like, on the fence about Stardew Valley, I'm gonna push you over that fence. I'm gonna freaking throw you to the dogs. Go play Stardew Valley, man. It's a great game. Character looks like he's getting a tan from spending time on the island. Holy shit, he is! Yeah! Yeah, so this is like... This This is a mechanic before you can actually just give yourself dark skin in a Animal Crossing New Horizons. In order to have non-pasty white skin like you see from yours truly here, you had to stand outside in the summertime to get a tan. And then, of course, it would fade away, but yeah, my character is getting a damn tan from being outside in the summertime. And then Nintendo realized that people other than white people exist, and they just made it so that you can just, you know, make yourself not white. So that was pretty cool of them. I'm glad that they finally realized, but yeah, this is how you did it before, uh, before New Horizons. This is how you did it. You had to burn yourself to not be white. Crazy, right? That's my one fault with New Leaf, to be honest. Yeah, it's like, that game is only 2013. It took Nintendo until 2020 to acknowledge that non-white people exist in an Animal Crossing game. Which was, you know, I guess better late than never? Simultaneously both super relaxing and stressful. Yeah, it can be stressful if you, like, watch a YouTube video that's like, 15 mistakes you make in Stardew Valley, and it's like, oh, geez, man, you don't have to frame it as, like, mistakes. Like, if somebody's goal is to make, like, the most optimized farm ever, then yeah, I suppose, like, there's things that you can do right or wrong, but a lot of people are like, you need to, you know, buy... By day 15, spring, by spring 15th of year one, you need to have a, a starfruit wine cask basement going. And it's like, oh, geez, man, I'm doing it wrong. No, you're not doing it wrong. It's just, you know, it's just, you just feel like uh, people make it like it's an ordeal. That Stardew Valley is like this competitive thing that you need to like, optimal crop placement. It's like, man, just put the damn crops down and enjoy the fucking game. Not everything has to be a super competitive fucking goddamn, uh, jeez. I, I don't know. Sometimes YouTubers like to do a little, like to do that. And it kind of, it busts my chops. Stardew should be what you want. Exactly, man. Like, don't let these YouTubers fool you into, like, you need to have optimal crop placement. Iridium sprinklers by spring, by spring year one. Come on, man. That ain't realistic for the average player. Jimmies have been rustled. I'm not trying to rustle any jimmies. I'm just here to, you know, I'm just, try to, I'm just, I'm just here. Yo. Oh, my anniversary of Dagnall. Love it. Hell yeah, thanks for the one year, Mom. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, one year. Like, why am I in charge of rebuilding the community center? By myself? Like, aren't we a community? Can we not work together? No, man. Like, you're... Like, the community center was in a decrepit state before you arrived, so you really think that they're gonna help you out by, like, actually helping you fix what they did themselves? No. Of course not. You could chop the palm trees down. Yeah, I don't think the palm trees are spawning anything, though, which is why I didn't do it initially. I'm like, they're not spawning anything, I don't think. At least I don't think they are. I, haven't, I don't think I've seen anything spawn on the palm trees, so... I'm kind of like, I don't really see... 
the harm in leaving them, but I guess if it helps, I don't know. I, I, I can't, I can't say it would hurt. Which Animal Crossing game is your favorite? I don't know. Still up in the air between New Leaf and New Horizons, to be quite honest with you. Do coconut crabs only spawn on your island? Yes, they do. So, we can't get a coconut crab right now. We'll have to go back to our island to get a coconut crab. Annoyingly. Jimmy rustling, timber shivering. Oh, yeah, I think we should bring timber shivering back. I think we should shiver timbers instead of rustle jimmies. I agree with that. The characters got their own problems, man. Yeah, but the community center is everyone's problem. I don't know. That's just me. That's just me. Cool. Can you do a Stardew Valley challenge sometime? The Stardew Valley challenge community is already, like, well-established without my presence. I feel like... I don't know. I'm not saying I run the show for the Animal Crossing challenges, but definitely other people run the show for the Stardew Valley challenges. I don't want to infringe on their footprint, you know? Although I definitely feel like I could have some fun with it, I also don't want to, like, step on any toes, you know? Translates to the Swallowtail Butterfly according to the app? Interesting. Well, it's definitely not the Swallowtail Butterfly that I need. My grandma calls Sprinkles Little Jimmies to my cousin, and we thought it was the funniest thing ever. That is pretty funny, actually. Like, that is pretty funny. That's just objectively funny. Would you do sea creatures for a shorter challenge? I don't know. Like, there's only been, like, maybe 50 unique ones, if I had to just guess. So, and there's only spanned two games with New Leap and New Horizons. What are you doing? Oh, it's probably asking me if I want to change the pattern, if I had to guess. Cola! Thanks for the tier one. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's a broad type of butterfly, which includes bird wings and tiger butterflies. There you go. Get dunked on with knowledge and facts and logic. I don't know. What's up, fellow gamers? Hey, what's up, happy Mr. Pink? How are you doing? Swallowtail butterfly caught? Butterfly idol. Is that what it says when I catch it? I think that, like, a lot of the Japanese in this game just translates to nonsense. I don't know. That's what I feel like, at least. That's what I feel like. Yo, Chubby Bub, can you drop the percentage for a Swallowtail butterfly? Is it one? If it's one, then it's the same as the Hercules beetle, and I found that Hercules beetle, like, first try, I think, when I loaded into the acre? Ooh. I mean, of course, like, outside things might be affecting it. Like, I, I assume... I mean, there's really nothing else I can do. I got all the flowers out of here. I can't prevent things on the beach from spawning. Not that they really are. Everything that's spawning is on the trees, really. Is, is this your first AC game, and how did it go? What's your first time playing an AC game, and how did it go? Oh, that was like Wild World back in, like, 05. It was fun, even though I didn't know what I was doing half the time, but it was still fun. I really hope we don't need flowers to spawn. We don't. I, I, I looked, I looked, I, I looked 15 times, okay? I, I have the data. I got the, I got, I got all the data here. We do not need, oh, I've maximized its chances from 0.93 to 1. Well, let's go, boys. Hell yeah. Uh, I got all the data, man. It's so weird. You don't need flowers, but you need trees. But it doesn't spawn on trees. It spawns around trees, not on trees. But it needs trees to spawn. Kind of like this guy over here. Like, that's where you'll find him, just flying around. Not on trees, but he needs trees to spawn. Okay? It's super weird. I don't understand it. But... I can only imagine that back in, like, 2003, some guy at Nintendo was looking at, like, I don't know. He was looking at, like, seven-year-old me, and he was just like, you, I'm gonna fuck you up in 18 years' time. I think I missed, and that's like, what I imagine is the result suits. of why How these things doing? are so specific in the time that they are. Yo, JM Paddle Duck, thank you so much for the six months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. I think I missed too much of stream. That's all right, man. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it at all. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing.
The, the trees can, can't have been shaken fruit. Yeah, 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 like, you can't, you can't, you, you, yeah, this is another thing. Not only do they require trees that they don't even spawn on, those trees cannot have been formerly fruit trees that have fruit shaken off of them. I don't know if I said that right, but basically don't shake the trees. What's up, Storm? How are you doing? Yeah, yeah, as if, like, this shit wasn't complicated enough. What does the blue butterfly translate to? I mean, it's called the Great Purple Emperor, is it not? Or something like that? I don't know. I can leave it up for a second if somebody wants to translate it. I was gonna try to fix my eye before I time travel so my flowers would not go crazy. Yeah, that's fair. What bugs are left? Coconut crab, Queen Alexandra's swallowtail butterfly. That's it. That's it. Bro, I've definitely spawned at least 100 bugs by this point, man. Statistically, we should have seen at least one by now. And I've been told that the butterfly is not easy to catch as well. As in, like, it gets scared away easily. So, what's gonna happen here? And I can pretty much manifest this as fact before I even know it's gonna happen. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna probably take about, like, ten more minutes before I see one. See one, miss it, and then probably not see another one for about twenty more minutes. So, I can pretty much guarantee that that's what's gonna happen. Dagno's little guy is suddenly a whole person of color. Yeah, that's how you, uh, yeah. That's the tanning mechanic in these games, yep. That's how you were a non-white person in these older Animal Crossing games. You stood outside in the summertime and you just, you toasted. That's what you did. Clunk. And by that I mean clunk. Fruit tree with or without fruits are considered different items by the game, and the latter was not included in the spawn condition. Because, because fuck you is why, right? The Nintendo developer just said fuck you, or they forgot, I don't know. Basically. Now, if you regrow the fruit, then it'll be okay, right? Or is it no good after that? I don't know. I think Big Purple is more accurate. I don't know. Is that what it says? It says Umu... Umu Raski, which means King Purple, question mark. Interesting. Nintendo controversies? I mean, there is so much, like, hidden details in these games. It's fascinating to an extent. That's why it's so fascinating to see the data mines for these games. Because there's just so many hidden details that you don't notice on the surface, you know? Just so many things you would never notice, like small details like the i mean it's for something that's pretty simple to understand the total catch requirement never is it made obvious in new horizons that there's a total catch requirement and never would we have known if there wasn't a data mine for it like it's just such a weird mechanic never obvious on the surface level of the game but is just it exists it exists i don't know just weird like just strange decisions that nintendo made to make the game more interesting, question mark? I don't know if that's what it accomplishes, but still. There's a hint in the loading screen, I think. Is that right? Okay, so it took until the 2.0 update to actually recognize that that was a thing in the game. In the game. The blind- the fish blindness score. Yeah, that's another thing, and that's actually been a thing for a long time. The total catch requirement was a thing in New Horizons, starting in New Horizons, that the fish vision the fish blindness score, that's been a thing, I think, ever since Animal Crossing GameCube. And just, like, nobody would have ever noticed if it wasn't made, like, public through data mines and stuff like that. I guess people can notice through casual play, but you wouldn't ever find documentation of it unless somebody data mined the game, which it has been data mined. That fish have, like, a vision. I mean, I've definitely noticed over time that, like, fish that are more rare are just more blind, generally, but, like, it took, it took actually, like, looking at the data mine for it to confirm my suspicions, you know? What game are we on? We're still on Dobutsu no Mori E+, Animal Forest E+. Yo, what have I missed? We got a Hercules beetle. That's it. Currently looking for the Queen Alexandra's Swallowtail Butterfly. And that's it. That's all you missed. That's all you missed. Fish are generally blinder in this game, too. 
Yeah, but that's not to do with its rarity. I guess they just tinkered the spawning mechanics of fish in this game for whatever reason. Hi. No, I did not. Fire Emblem gatekeeping being gay by only making certain people romanceable? Like, like, didn't, uh... I don't know, didn't, like, every game that was released before 2015 that had, like inter-game relations make it so that if you're a male character you can only romance female characters and vice versa i don't know hardly a fire emblem thing i think that was like a harvest moon thing or i don't know am i like okay i don't mean to ask this insensitively am i getting darker like i thought that you had to save and quit in order for your character to get more tan am i getting like more tan like as i just play like, am, am I just getting, like, darker? I am darker? I definitely feel like I am, yeah. <laughs> I thought you'd have to, like, save and quit for it to actually, like, progress the tan. But no, dude, I'm just getting darker. Interesting. Alright, I thought... Interesting. I didn't know that's how it works. Fascinating. Hey, what was that? Ah, Man, how rare are these things? My melanin levels are off the charts, yeah. Yeah, like, compare me to, like, ten minutes ago. I bet you'll find me, like, a few shades darker. Happens when you're on the island or near the beach? I suppose so. I thought it was just, like, when you're out in the summertime, not specifically in a certain location, but that's kind of fascinating. Are we in Brazil? I don't know. Where is this island canonically? I was thinking of a video idea, actually. Um... And I feel like somebody's done it before, but I was gonna a I was gonna ask and answer the question where our islands in New Horizons are geographically. Like, okay, so so what do we know about our islands? Of course, it's probably nowhere. It's a completely made up world. Um, but like, if we were to go to an island in real life, which would be most like the island that we live on in New Horizons? Do you get what I mean by that? And I learned. As it turns out, there's not a whole lot of islands out there that experience all four seasons are actual islands in the middle of an ocean as well. And all over the entire world, Tom Nook and his clones own the entire... I mean, maybe. Yeah, it's kind of like GeoGuessr, but with... Oh, I actually caught something there. I thought I saw something and I just swung. I was quite surprised it was actually there. Finally watch stream without any buffering. Let's go. I hope you enjoy the stream, Gabby. I'm like... It can't be like a tropical island because it experiences wintertime and snow and fall, for that matter. It's not just consistently summer. So what island that is tiny and uninhabited... What island out there, tiny, uninhabited, experiences all four seasons, snow, summer, fall, and spring? Prince Edward Island? Maybe? I suppose? I mean, that's a big island, though, and it's not uninhabited, either. The creatures that appear in any AC game should not be living together. That's also pretty true. I also, you, you, This is ignoring, like, a lot of things. Mostly just going off of climate. Like, of course, you would never find, um... Like... I mean, I guess that's true, like, you would you would only ever find, like, a lot of fish in the game in, like, more tropical islands. Certainly not ones that experience snow, right? So, I don't know. I guess the answer is nowhere. It's a completely made-up fictional place, doofus. Go find another video idea, is the answer. You're in a coma and it's all a simulation? I remember reading a creepypasta as a kid that was like... You're actually dead, and the Animal Crossing world that you get sent to is heaven, and your mom's letters are, like, her prayers or something like that. I don't know. I can I can still kind of buy that. Hey, 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 hey! Hey! Hey, excuse... It's, like, above the tree. Am I crazy, dude? This thing is, like, above the tree. It's so high up there. There we go. My god. Did you see it? It was, like, above the tree. Oh. Good god, man. Jesus Christmas. It was, like, above the tree, for god's sakes. Alright, and now we just gotta get the coconut crab. Oh, you forgot to donate it. It's fine. Alright, now let's go back. Jesus Christmas. 
That was the same percentage chance, by the way, as the Hercules Beetle was. He broke my ankles, dude. You let it go? What are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with it? I got no more loans. I got no more nothing. Although, I guess, I don't know. Part of me is like, maybe I should have actually tried to complete the insects, but I don't know. It's not. Wild world before one hour? Uh, it would need to get the coconut crab within five minutes, so... I don't know. Bless you. My boy just sneezed. Say bless you to my boy, please. Thank you for the one bit. Hi, Philo Joe. Hello, how are you doing? Welcome. One-way ticket to crab rave? It's so catchy, dude. It's so good. Is that the name the same as the Queen Birdwing Butterfly? Yeah, it's the same bug. So that means that we won't have to get the Birdwing Butterfly in later games because that is the same thing, even just under a different name. What's up, Thundergun? How are you doing as well? So the Coconut Crab, I don't know what the optimal hours are for the Coconut Crab. Um, I just know that it's what it was, what, 7 p.m. to 8 a.m. or something like that? I have it down as August, but there might be a better month for it. When was the Pillbug added? Pillbug was in Animal Crossing GameCube. Pillbug was in Animal Crossing GameCube. We already got that, though. East Sister Island is an empty island in the middle of Lake Erie on Canada's side that experiences all four seasons. Okay, I mean, but it's... It, it, that can't work because it's surrounded by an ocean. It's not surrounded by a freshwater body, it'd be surrounded by an ocean, hence why you only catch ocean fish on the outer border of the island. So I feel like that can't count, but I don't know. 7 p.m. to 4 a.m.? Alright, well that means that we're gonna do it at 2 a.m., because that means we get to listen to the 2 a.m. music. Mm, Alright, so August at 2 a.m. August at 2 a.m. Let's clear our inventory out. August at 2 a.m. I was watching stream, I was watching a YouTube video about the regional differences between Animal Crossing and Animal Forest, and it had the dead Gulliver during the Captain song. Wait, so that's something that's only in this game? I did not know that. Well, thank you for the hydrate. Thank you. Alright, so that was only in this game. I did not know that. I was wondering why I never saw that before. Caught me off guard. That's a good chunk of change. Not that we need it, but still. Captain is the best special character? Yeah, unless you're a female character in this game where he makes extremely perverted euphemisms towards you. Then you might not be so pogged about him, but other than that, he's pretty cool, I guess. Actually, do they have an axe in there? Because if I get desperate enough, I might chop down every single thing that isn't a coconut tree. Do they have an axe in there? And I might not... Okay, they don't. And I might not uh, have durability left in my axe, but either way. Huh? Yeah, dude, look up, like, Captain... I don't know, even in New Leaf, he was pretty bad. But I remember, in this game, if you were a female character, he would, like, try to seduce you. It's pretty weird. I do have an axe, but it's gonna break with not, ma not that many more hits. Belle Isle is just above Newfoundland. Okay, maybe then. Maybe. No. It's going Hi, good, Daniel. thank you, and I hope I'm your vacation is going well. No need to tune in while you're on your, your time away. Thank you so much for the 100 bits, though. I appreciate that. Thank you. And thank you, Robin Reads. I was watching the YouTube videos. Thank you. Well, this will be a YouTube video eventually as well. I searched up Cat and Seduction, and it came up with Haunted House ASMR. Interesting. How's, how does that work? How does that work, I wonder? All right. We go to 2 a.m. Give me top of the hour so we get as much time as possible with the 2 a.m. jam. Works for me. Mythical Kappas are lecherious, so it makes sense. I don't know what that means. I, I guess creepy? Kind of weirds me out how Captain is creepy to girl players since Animal Crossing characters seem really young. Yeah. Yeah. It is weird, isn't it?
Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's a bop. It checks out. It's a bop. All right. Let's cut trees that aren't coconut trees. The coconuts do not have any nuts on them, so that's part that part is good. So, guess cut down as many things as possible that can't cut that can't spawn coconut crabs and hopefully before too long it should come. I feel like shit too. I got strep throat and it caused multiple mouth sores. Yeah, Kristen ain't feeling too good either. I guess it's something going around. Is it? Is it just me? And I'm it's pretty sure it's months. not just me. But like, COVID is back, right? Like, COVID's back. I'm getting reports of like a bunch of new cases. Most cases we've seen since this time. Like more daily cases. I I know it never left. I know it never left. But we definitely eased the... We definitely eased it down a little bit. With a vengeance? I suppose you could call it with a vengeance, yeah. Yo, shoutouts to this axe actually did the work. I know it never left, though, okay? I'm not silly. Hi. Yeah, like, I'm not gonna tell that specifically, but... <laughs> Yeah, Kristen's been pretty sick. I don't think it's with COVID because she took two tests and both came back negative. So I think she's all right. Yo, Grave GF, thank you so much for the three months in a row. I appreciate it. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, nothing should spawn on trees that aren't the coconut crab. Yeah, I don't know this monkey pox thing. I'm not even worried about that. I still got COVID to worry about. After you catch the crab, try walking up to Mr. Nook. Try waking up Mr. Nook. Oh, good idea. Good idea. Yeah, I don't know why. It, I couldn't get it to work in Nook and Go. But now I have Nook Way, so maybe it'll work now? I don't know. I don't know. Got my second booster today. Yeah, there you go. I have COVID. I was told to go to class anyway. Yeah, it's pretty awesome, right? It's pretty epic how we don't take diseases seriously. Even though we've had two years of anecdotal evidence to prove that we should. Like, what is... I mean, theoretically, if a bug is spawning every time I load in the acre, then where's the bug? Yo, there are. Where's the bug? People don't seem to care anymore. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. On one hand, it's like... I, I don't know, man. It's been going on so long. It's kind of hard to, like... I don't know. I haven't stopped, like, wearing my mask anywhere, so... I don't know. I never really, like, stopped caring, I guess. But, man, it's tiring, for sure. There is a chance of no bug. Yeah, well, it seems like that's what's happening to me. Okay. Just just do a few flicks here. Just do a few flicks here. Get a, dual, get a little flicking in. I mean, what else could spawn right now? Nothing, I don't think, could spawn on the ground. I don't think anything could spawn on the ground right now. I changed race? No, I just stood outside in the damn sun for too long, and I got a dang tan. This is what happens when you stand in the sun during the summertime. I did not change race. I just got a super tan. I was working during 2021, got a sore throat, and I was told to just suck it up. Then got a write-up when I had COVID because I should have told them. Yeah, that's pretty epic, dude. That's pretty epic. Pretty awesome of the management there. And I ain't about to get it now? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think Kristen's got COVID. Just a bad cold. Luckily, I haven't seemed to be affected by it. I had COVID with the Ligma variant. That's an awesome joke, man. That's an awesome joke. When I get vaccinated, I had COVID and I didn't know it was awful. Yeah, the vaccine is like the only ever like dose I had of COVID. Like I definitely felt like shit after getting the vaccine and my booster shot, but I don't know. It's a small taste compared to the actual disease itself. So I was cool with just feeling that. What does a coconut crab look like? It's a giant crab. It's a giant crab. I don't know how to describe it. To be honest with you, I don't know what it looks like myself, really. But it's just a big-ass crab from what I see. My guy's gonna get skin cancer? Yeah, like, I don't know, man. It's dangerous. Maxine gave me a headache, but I lived. I think it gave me, like, full body aches. 
and a fever. But honestly, all things considered, it could have been worse. I used to work in a kitchen for an old folks home. I was sick with a cold, sneezing and snotting everywhere. They still wanted me to come in. My brother in Christ, I could kill an 80 year old right now. Yeah, pretty awesome. And these are the people like signing our paychecks. You know what? I, I, I'm this stump in particular keeps messing me up because it's like creates this weird illusion between the coconut tree leaves. So I'm going to get rid of that. Yeah, if you Google an image of the coconut crab, you'll know what it looks like. But apparently it's very scary. I don't know. It's a huge crab. Yeah, big crab. You'll know it when you see it, okay? You'll know it when you see it. I'll know it when I see it. Being on HRT and getting the vaccine at the same time, very uncomfortable, but very worth it. Yeah, I imagine so. Pretty sure they're in Australia. Okay, so we've this island guaranteed to be in Australia. Huge crap. Nursing homes, unfortunately, don't care enough for their clients. Yeah, pretty, pretty, yeah. Yeah. Watch a documentary about coconut crabs. Are they that interesting to have a documentary about them? Yo. Yo, Magical Hippo, thank you for the subscription. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it very, very much. Oh, all right. Ooh, big stretch. I think that's all we need. It's just a big stretch. All right. Now, all stumps are gone. Not that they were doing anything. They were just messing me up a little bit. All stumps are gone. Nothing, literally nothing can spawn. Nothing literally is spawning. Like, nothing even on the beach, man. Like, I don't know. I'm a little perplexed. Hello from Spain. Hello. How are you doing today, Gogo? Welcome. Yo, thanks for the hydrate. Bigger than a child's torso? It's a weird way of indicating size, but I suppose the coconut crab is probably bigger than a child's torso. But can you give me that in football fields, please? How many football fields is that? Like, how many, like... I don't know, is that like... Is that like one... One hundredth of a football field? Like, one yard? Like, crabs but bigger? Are they hairy? I think they are. They might be hairy, man. They might be hairy crabs. Are you supposed to shake the tree or something? No, I don't think I'm supposed to shake the tree. I don't think so. Like, I don't know. Like, I, 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 I guess, like, I'm getting to the point where I'm kind of like, wait, am I doing something wrong? They can take down seagulls? Yeah, they're pretty awesome from the sounds of it. I don't know. Anything that can take down a seagull sounds pretty cool with me. They can grow over six feet tall. Ain't no way. A coconut crab can grow over six feet tall. Now that I'm skeptical about. Like, I know that they're big. But geez, man. That's like... That's like fucking... That's like a 50th of a football field right there, dude. That's fucking big. That's crazy. Big, meaty claws. Well, these claws ain't for just attracting mates. Do you know anything in Finnish? No. I know Kimi Raikkonen. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Maybe six feet wide? Like their wingspan? Well, geez, in that case, I'm like six feet... I'm like six foot by six foot then, if that's the case. I'm not six feet tall. I wish I was. They're huge. Just goofy-ass crabs. They're some goofy-ass crabs, dude. Just Google coconut crabs. I will is how I say Googling coconut crabs? I fucking Google one into my net here. I'm getting a little impatient here. Like what are the what are the percentages of these things here? They're not worth very much. So I have a hard time believing that they're that rare. Like, I mean fuck, is it the weeds? I'll fucking clean up the weeds, man. I don't care. I'll pick up the I'll pick up the coconuts here. Five percent? What the heck, man? So every twenty acres I enter. Statistically, I should get one. I don't know. And I feel like I also optimized the spawning for it. So I don't know if that's going to help at all. Being 5.6 feet tall leaves the planet. Being 5 foot 6? Bro, what are you talking about? Being 5 foot 6 is awesome. 
Five foot six is a perfect height. You are literally like so. You are you are not short enough for anything. You are not too tall for anything. It's perfect. What are you talking about? Being five foot six is sick, dude. It looks so. Like I'm just thinking about coconut crab with claw, like a coconut with claws and crab legs. I mean, is that not what they look like? They're lethal. I mean, I wouldn't fuck with one. I wouldn't fuck with a coconut crab. I'm five foot eleven. I am short. No, you're not, man. No, you're not. You are statistically like above average height. Are you too young for Timu Solani? No, man. He literally played while while I was alive. He he literally only retired like what, ten years ago? Less than ten years ago? No, I don't think I'm too young for Timu Solani, man. You have a 5% chance for a coconut crab, 4% chance for crabs and hermit crabs, and an 87% chance of nothing. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Alright. What bugs are left for E+. A coconut crab. Technically zero bugs. One arthropod? No, they're not an arthropod. They're a... Uh... What are they? Well, like, what's a, what's a crab, technically? I don't know. They're a, a mollusk? Yeah, maybe a mo- Well, I thought mollusks were like snails. And I guess I see the similarity between a crab and a snail. A crustacean. Yeah, maybe zero insects, one crustacean. Yeah. Where has the LGBT tag gone from your tags? Do you hate us now? Awesome comment, man. That's just a comment that should stir nothing but positive emotion. Um... Uh, no, I actually didn't remove it at all. I don't even know if I ever had it there. Hope Diagonal gets crabs. I hope I get crabs, too. I hope I get crabs, too. Gotta go by... Alright, random person. Thanks so much for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I never had that in my tags. I mean, you know, I feel like it should go without saying, right? Yeah, we stopped being... Yeah, I can't put it in my tags until June, man. That's Pride Month. I can't put it in my tags until it's June. Come on. You gotta use your heads, guys. Come on. I can't I can't put I gotta change once once June rolls around, as soon as the clock strikes midnight on June 1st, 2022, man. They put the rainbow I put the rainbow b banner on my twitter.com profile. I'll put the rainbow filter on my profile picture. I'll start breaking out all my rainbow shirts, okay? But only in June. As soon as it strikes July, we're off. It's all over. Gay people, they don't exist anymore. It's true, I'm only pansexual in June. That's what all these corporate Twitter accounts are telling me, man. It's the only time I see it. I got four ads. Alienware, Top Gun, H&M, and Alcoholic Sparkling Water. Interesting. Interesting. Twitter only does that for marketing. I wish that wasn't the case, though. Well, of course they only do it for marketing. You think that, like, they would actually do it because they're passionate about representation? No. They'll do it because, you know, it gets they get to sell merchandise with rainbows on it. Well, of course they don't do it for... No. I they, Like, trust me, it's just a known fact. It's a known fact. I love rainbow capitalism. Make it rainbow. Make it capitalism, but make it rainbow. Exactly. Starbucks cares about me? Little Miss Queer? Oh, wow. Yeah. They got the rainbow cups. It's a shame a lot of companies do that. Yeah. I don't know. Like, and a lot of them probably have shitty hiring practices for people of LGBTQ color. I don't know. Probably is the case. So, you know, you really want to make a difference. You would probably change a lot of the hiring practices, the treatment of those employees. But, you know... Oh, well, we got the rainbow banner, so we're all good. What's up, Curly Fries and Cools guys? How are you doing? They view it as a marketable de marketable demographic? Yeah, like, I, I don't know how I would feel being treated as merely a marketing ploy, but, you know, being a straight person, I guess I have 11 months of the year, and so I guess, uh, I don't know, I guess I got plenty of time to bask in being marketable, I suppose. Can I play with you? 
in Animal Forest E+. No, I don't think you can. I don't I don't think that's possible, man. They're doing the same capitalism for Juneteenth. It's getting weird. Yeah, I mean, like, and it's just like all these things, like, on the surface level look good. It brings, you know, awareness to these... It brings awareness to these things, but at the same time, in the back of your head, you're like, well, they don't actually care about, like, any of these things. They don't actually care about any of these things. They don't care about representation, about anybody in particular. They just care about, you know making it putting on a front to make it seem like they do hi i love you he he bye see you man <laughs> do you play journey to the savage planet no i don't even know what that is man they have party favors to celebrate the emancipation for slavery in the dollar store good lord they have party favors to celebrate the emancipation for slavery in the dollar store good lord i thought it was the dollar 25 store now I got accepted Wait, I want to translate the sign? Yeah, give me a second. And I just really What's it say? I think it probably just says, like, go to the island or something. It's so good, and it's multiplayer. Oh, okay. They care about awareness for themselves, then awareness for the LGBT plus community? Yeah, exactly. Because the bottom line ultimately is, you know, the biggest deal to them. Yeah, is it like an ad to buy your own island? Interesting. It's still there, even though I bought the island. They're selling a candle called the Summer of 69, based on Stonewall, which is so weird. How interesting. Yo, wait, hang on. Zimian. I just got accepted in my dream uni today, and I really wanted someone to know. Wait, that's awesome! I'm sorry I missed that, like a minute ago. I'm so sorry. Congrats. Congrats. I'm so sorry I missed that initially. Thank you for the 333 and hell yeah, dude. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm very happy for you. I'm very happy for you. And uh yeah. That's very that's very nice of you and it's very awesome that you got accepted to your dream uni. I hope it goes as well as you think it will. Speaking of stinky food, I think my grandfather might be cooking with old food. It stinks so bad. I would not eat that. Absolutely not. Want to see Hobby Lobby have this thing to celebrate Pride Month? Because it's funny, but they skip straight to Independence Day. Hobby Lobby is a fucking journey, man. Hobby Lobby. Let me, let me, I was wondering what the hell that was. It's a damn balloon. You're going to get stuck in a tree. Get stuck in a tree. Get stuck in a tree. Get stuck at that tree right here, right here, right there. What? What? Uh, 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 okay. Well, um, yeah, balloons are in this game. No slingshots, though. I think they have to get stuck. They have to get stuck in a tree, and then you can shake them down. Is what I was told. Yeah. Let me tell you all about Hobby Lobby. Okay. Hobby Lobby is like this arts and crafts store. Well. I don't know, what would you call it? Like, it's kind of like a craft store, but it's, um, excessively, it's, it's, it's extremely Christian. Like, if you think, like, Chick-fil-A is bad, Hobby Lobby says hello. And it, it's to the extent where they don't have barcodes, because barcodes are the work of Satan, I think is their logic to it. So, if you pick something out at Hobby Lobby, it will never have barcodes on it, because barcodes are satanic or something. Pretty interesting. Um, yeah. Which, I guess, and not that I would ever encourage breaking the law, but it does! And not having barcodes makes it really easy to steal things. I mean, really, like... <laughs> I would sure hate to see <laughs> some things stolen from the overly bigoted uh, corporation Hobby Lobby <laughs> because of the fact that they don't have barcodes or I don't know I would hate to see it really I, I would hate to see it really truly awful Be truly awful just you know keep that in the back of your mind if you ever see somebody suspiciously carrying something at Hobby Lobby perhaps with the intent of stealing it just keep it in mind keep it in mind Hobby Lobby or Joanne Fabric? I think hell. I think I'll take uh, none of the above. I'll go to hell before I go to those two. 
I'm, not, I'm just not a craft store guy. It's not a craft store guy. Joanne smells better. Yeah, but they all smell like old people. I don't know. I'm still taking notes on this. Maybe you got your, like, European Hobby Lobby out there. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Hopefully not, though. <clears throat> Michael's gang? I don't know. Michael seems okay, but, like, they're all the same. You got the yarn section. You got the wood section. You got the pens and pencils where people, like, test out the pens and pencils on those little pieces of paper. And then, like, somebody will, like, write their link to their, like, Instagram or something like that. Like, follow me on Instagram and one of, like, the .005 millimeter nibbed pencils. And they'll be like, <laughs> I just ruined a store's pencil just to promote my Instagram. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, they got those sections as well. I smell like pumpkin spice in the fall. Yeah, I'm not a I'm not a fall slash pumpkin spice guy. You simply make the fabric. Exactly. Just make it yourself. The way that God intended. I work at Michael's and everyone there, including me, are queer. I mean, you love to see it. It seems like Michael's is actually a place where you can, you know, express yourself. And like, I don't know. I don't think you'd ever set foot in the in a hobby lobby, despite it being similar in store wise. What's your favorite season then? Summer. It's a good time to be diagonal. It's summertime, baby. Fuck Target, so true. I mean, Target is like, it's fine. I don't know about like the corporate policy or the corporate practices, but you know, it's a fine store, I guess. To make necklaces for my queer bestie all the time. Haha, ha, crazy thoughts, so funny. That would be fucking wild. Wouldn't that be wild? Alright, I'm starting to, like, lose my mind a little bit. Like, I don't have to shake the trees, right? Like, this is... What bug are you looking for? I'm looking for the coconut crab. It's not supposed to be that hard. I promised I wouldn't lose my mind. You're right, you're right. I gotta keep it sane here. Um... I gotta keep it cool. What's going on? Why can't I... Oh, that was a hermit crab. It scared the shit out of me, but that's a hermit crab. Um, okay. Let the hermit crab despawn. Maybe go to 8 or 9 p.m.? But then I don't have the 2 a.m. music. I gotta have my 2 a.m. music. I gotta have my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. What the crab doing? Please don't reference what the dog doing in my stream. It brings back bad memories. They do need to be shaken out. They need to be shaken out. Is that right? I don't know if that's true, but we'll see. Yeah. I... But, I mean, whatever I'm doing ain't working, so... Kinda willing to try it at this point. I tried to say... I mean, I heard somebody speculate that maybe you had to shake them out. But, I mean, that's just speculation. Like, that's just like, oh, like, oh, you weren't... Didn't sound like you were too sure of it. Just shake their little houses? Yeah, I mean, I feel bad, but, like... I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean... I... I could be put through a little goof. I could be... I could be being goofed. It says it on the wiki, they need to be shaken They appear out. in fruitless coconut trees at night. Yeah, I know that in fruitless coconut trees at night in thanks for the 100 bits in fruitless coconut trees at night in so basically been wasting my time
Inside fruitless coconut trees and must be shaken out. Hmm. Do all trees have coconuts? Maybe only those who naturally don't have fruit? Yeah, all trees that are like these palm trees have coconuts or had coconuts and I shook them out. So... Yeah. That's pretty wonky. It's not unheard of. I mean, there's plenty of bugs in the game that requires them to be shaken out of a tree, so I guess I shouldn't be all that surprised. Cartoony plunk onto its back, where it flips over and attempts to escape from the player, albeit very slowly. Well, I'm glad to hear that they're quite slow. That gives me a little bit of hope that I'll actually be able to catch it once I can get one to spawn. Um, that's nice, I guess. An error over curd. Please just ignore it for this session if you don't mind. I don't really care. Good luck. Thanks, man. Thanks. Seems as though... Seems as though I'll need it. Like, it, I like the use of the word plonk as well. Like, specifically... I, I kind of want to turn it up. I kind of want to turn it up. So that we can hear the actual plonk sound. I really, really, really want to hear how plonky it actually is. So, forgive me if it's gonna be a little loud here for a second. I wanna hear the plonk. We'll give it like a score of one to 10 on the plonk scale. Thanks for the hydrate. Turn it U -P 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 for the and plonk. thank you Carlsberg for the six months in a row. I appreciate that, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing for another month. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Nope. I want to hear the damn plonk, dude. There's a sign that said, beware of falling coconuts, and apparently it believed swimming around the island three times could cure illnesses. Interesting. Called Coconut Island. What a, what a fascinating place. I think I must visit. I like the sound of the trees getting shaken. Honestly, the game sounds good. With the music and the nice ocean sounds and the sounds of the trees. That's a good sounding game. This is tragic. It's in Hilo, Hawaii. Okay. I mean, I kind I love the visit. I don't really have any plans on it. Although I think for my birthday in early July, when and by I think, I mean I literally already booked the tickets. Um, with me and Kristen are going to San Francisco for a few days, so it's like a very, like, early, early advanced warning, but I will not be live for, like, a few days in early December, or early J July, so just a fair warning. How's it going? It's going good. I'm on the last bug, and I can't find it, but... It's all right. How many more bugs are in this game? Just one. Just one. This game has good sound design. I love it. It is very, very good. It is very, very good. Like, New Horizons is praised for it, and it should be, because New Horizons is a good sounding game as well. But honestly, all the Animal Crossing games have sounded great. Give me a plonk, dude. I just want to hear a plonk, man. There's good fried chicken place near the wharf called Crispy Crunchy Chicken. Honestly, dude, California is really bad for chicken. I found that ever since I moved to California, Chinese food is better, Japanese food is better, and... I don't know, like, fast food has kind of been the same. Pizza? Eh. Chicken? Eh. This, I don't know, man. Mexican, Mexican food is fantastic, but the chicken and the pizza here, man. Ugh. Closest one is Modesto. I'm not going to Modesto for chicken. Like, I like chicken. I ain't going to Modesto for it. Mexican food is great here. It's fantastic, but it comes at the cost of pizza. And I don't know. I don't know any good chicken or pizza places where I live. Like, I don't know. People say that there's some good ones. I've tried them, and I'm not impressed. 
myself. And then again, I like New York style pizza, so maybe it was maybe I was doomed to fail, honestly. Sourdough pizza in San Francisco is amazing. I reckon to believe you could probably find good pizza, chicken, everything in San Francisco. I mean, come on now. It's the cultural capital of the world. Or at least one of them. But I worry for my ass because my tummy is sensitive. A snowflake even. I never understood that stereotype that Mexican food fucks up people's stomachs. But, you know, I guess some people are weak in the gastrointestinal front. I want to... Just plonk me, man! Plonk me! In fact, they're harder to find than in other places, mate. I found a video of someone getting a coconut crab. It comes down like a spider or a bag. That's what it's... That's... Yeah. What it's been explained to, like, to me. I don't know. Is there something over here like this? No. A lot of spicy stuff and herbs involved. I don't know, man. Sounds like weak stomach syndrome to me. Leafy vegetables give me stomach problems? I suppose. Give us the plonk? I want to hear the plonk. Plonk me. Plonk me. I can't... I, like, I don't know. I'm having no luck. Now that we learn that they actually do require to be shaken out of the trees, I'm still not having any damn luck. Plonk? Still not having any damn luck. Like, I'm running along the beaches, making sure no coconut crabs, or, sorry, hermit crabs, or regular crabs are spawning either. Like, I'm, I'm doing my due diligence here. Doing everything in my power here. I got the sound turned up, because I was expecting a plonk sometime soon. And I can't get it. Ridiculous. Would going in a building help reset the trees? I don't think so, but man, I mean, at this point, like, maybe? Try it? Get that out of there? Sure, I don't know. Try it. Freaking, I got no better ideas. Mayhaps plant more trees? I, I don't think I'm gonna... I mean, like, it probably would help, but I don't know. The time cost of planting more trees versus just waiting. I don't know. Nope. Begging for my plonk? Like, I am dying. I want to hear this plonk be bugs in the other trees could be bugs in the other trees oh i suppose so maybe like a spider could spawn probably would be worth checking but i no no no, no because i cut down all the trees in this acre right like there's all all the trees are gone in this acre unless this counts as this acre just as an example but i don't think so man he'll be simultaneously pissed and relieved yeah i don't know what he'll feel conflicted probably This is, this is, I'm, I'm, I feel like it's always being put through a ruse. With one bug remaining, I am being teased. I am being teetered with. All right, well, there's a hermit crab. Okay, you, you can just skedaddle. You can just get out of here, man. You can just, you can, if you just, if you just, if you just left the premises here, it'd be so cool if you just, yeah, yeah. What bug is left? The coconut crab. The coconut crab. <laughs> crab is my favorite bug? I mean, look. I'm just giving you the real answer, okay? Yes, technically it's a crustacean, but still. All hermit crabs, please evacuate the premises. Hermit crabs, regular crabs, anything that isn't a coconut crab. I feel like I won't ever finish the Critterpedia because I'm deathly afraid of tarantulas. They're pretty scary. Just don't carry your net out, though. They won't attack you if you don't have your net out. You'll be alright. So photorealistic compared to everything else. It's uncanny as fuck. Coconut crabs? Maybe. Get the old bay ready. I don't know. I have any old bay. We don't have it in California. It sounds tasty. I've never had crab before, but I've heard good things. I hope it makes it sound like... What, what, it, what is this? I'll hover over the video. Womp sound effect. I can't picture what that sounds like. Womp. Japanese spider crab? I mean, yeah, that's a deep sea creature in later games.
I'm dying. I'm, I'm dying. I think I might be dying. Like, this... This, this shouldn't be the case. It shouldn't be like this. The world record was an hour. Ah, plant more trees? Like... And then time travel? I mean, like, I don't know. I'm kind of like the time investment of doing that. Would that be better than waiting? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. You should try, like, you know, actually putting it into the thing, though. Slapping the tree with a net? I don't think that would do anything. But, I mean, geez louise, maybe. At this point, I'm kind of willing to try whatever I, whatever I can. Shake the trees for more than a second? I don't... I mean, if they're not falling out on the first... On the first shave, they're not falling out at all, if that's what you want me to do. No, I don't think it works like that, so... No, I don't think so. Yeah, I think one is enough to shake. But, I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. As long as it's in the beach acre, right? Should be good. Shake it and mean it! Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, just throw one more right there. And then we'll go, like, four days forward and then see. I don't know. Oh, uh, geez, at this point, I was kind of willing to try anything. Please, just drop the frickin'. Oh, my lord. Alright, one more shake. days ahead four days sounds good sounds good i bet i hope that that motherfucking coconut crab goes to the wishing well apologizes to me for taking so long to catch what should we never mind it's kind of a it's kind of a sadistic question i was gonna say like what should we do with this coconut crab after we catch it then i realized it's like kind of sadistic I'll probably just, like, let it go, and then we'll move on to Wild World, but I'm like, yeah, I, I gotta give it, like, a little what for after, maybe, maybe kiss it? I don't know, maybe that is a form of punishment for it, I don't know. Cook him? Maybe. Are coconut crabs good in real life to eat? I don't know. Wake up Nook and let him suffer? That's true, I gotta wake up Nook. And then release it to him. You got mail? It's the coconut crab sending you mail to stop harassing him in his home? All I need is one coconut crab and I'll stop harassing him, man. Oh my lord. Nintendo. Nintendo! Alright. God, I hate Chow so much. Yeah. Like, honestly, at this point, Chow is hardly my biggest enemy of this save file. Alright, and then throw me, like... Jeez. April... August 20th. There we go. The duality of man. I love Chow. Chow is... Yeah. Chow gave you the bad luck? Maybe, man. Maybe. Do you think that... Never mind. I was gonna say something gonna say something probably was gonna be not well received amongst the chat you know what fuck you do you think that cupcake is chow's daughter nah i shouldn't have said that you're right cupcake is cute she would have been popular i think yeah a lot of villagers would have been popular if they just didn't cut them or brought them back after wild world all right shake shake hey shake Jay, get all the coconuts off of there. Okay, one of them failed to grow, two of them failed to grow. I don't know why, but trees are just, like, not guaranteed to grow in this game, so... It's, uh... What? Oh! Interesting. A weed grew by it, next to it, while it was in the middle of the growth process, and it stunted its growth. How very interesting. I didn't know it could do that. Uh, I did not know it could do that. Shake, 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 senora. Kit, Isle, and Sunny are the three I want back most. Yeah. 
Sonny is the cute little frog. Hey, get out of here. Get out of here. Sketch your shoe! Sonny's a cute little frog. I don't remember what all of them are. They're random. Yeah, it's just like random spots where trees can't grow. It's really weird. Which I think in City Folk, what you do is you... You plant one where a tree used to be, and then it's guaranteed to grow. I mean, shit, maybe that's even the case in this game. I don't know. What crab is that? How are crabs bugs? Bro, there's a hermit crab in New Horizons. I don't ever see nobody questioning that. I mean, maybe some of them do, but I don't know. Shake your tail feather? I'm gonna shake my tail feather. Kit's a squirrel, Isle's a cub. Yeah, I knew that. I actually did a... Uh, just randomly it came to me today that I should do... I should sort every villager by Scrabble score. And so in Excel, I, I made a... I made a, not a function, but it was a, uh, I, I, I did it so that, uh, I sorted all the villagers in the A column, and then I assigned point values, the same as Scrabble, to all the letters, and then I ran it so that it generated a score for all the villagers' names, and as it turns out, a little, uh, a, a little, little known fact for you, Grizzly, G-R-I-Z-Z-L-Y has the highest Scrabble score by name in this game, or in Animal Crossing. So there you go. Just a little fun fact for you to break out amongst your friends group. Iconic? Yeah, number two, I think, was Jacques? I don't remember, actually. Cool concept? Yeah, not, like, big enough to be, like, a video, so that's why I didn't do it, like, a video about it, but, you know... Still fun. It's still a fun little, little project. Hardly a project. It took like five minutes, but still. No, the fun fact. I got ADD. Eh? What's that supposed to mean? It's odd. Megumi is missing. Megumi. Is she the uh, kangaroo? I swear if I miss the plonk due to the ad. I mean, bro, at this point, is it ever going to happen? Like, Christ. I, I, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. I also made an AC villager tier list. How long did it take you? It took me like four hours to do it. Uber Eats ad? Oh, no. Now you're probably hungry. There's a pink dog. Right! What am I thinking of? There's like a kangaroo that I'm thinking of. Super cute little thing. They never brought her back, though. Yeah, Mizumi's pretty cute. I'm gonna... How you have 42 minutes in the stream and no one told you how loud the music is? Specifically, we turn the music up, actually, because when you shake the coconut crab out of the tree... I will turn it down, though, because apparently it's not happening anytime soon. When you shake the coconut crab out of the tree, it's supposed to make a plonk sound. And I wanted to... I wanted to listen to this plonk sound. I wanted to hear it for myself. I wanted to hear how plonky it is. But, apparently, the fucking coconut crab doesn't exist! So, I'm gonna just turn it back down. Thanks for the reminder, though. How you doing today? They're in trees? Yes, they're in trees. <sighs> Genuinely couldn't hear you. Genuinely, you're deaf, alright? Found your YouTube channel yesterday, binged everything, so I came to follow. Hey, I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Any plonkers in chat? Any plonkers in chat? Sounds like crunching paper. Yeah, the, like, tree shaking sound. It does sound like they're, like, crunching a piece of paper. You have to wonder how they got these sounds. It's 34 past midnight for me. Yeah. I mean, time zones, you know. that That is how they work. I'm getting tired. I'm just getting tired of existing. I'm, I'm tired of existing. I think I want... I, I, I want to not exist right now. I want to... I think I want to not exist. I want to stop. Oh. 
It wasn't a very good plonk. It wasn't a very good plonk at all, man. That wasn't very good at all, man. That wasn't very good at all, man. Yo, Kinsey Kenzie, thank you for the tier one for to Zotan. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. And then five holes in your fence. Thank you so much for the prime as well. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Both of you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. To cap it off, can you show the Critterpedia? Yeah, 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 just to make it official. Just to make it official, there you go. As every fucking bug. Uh, tell you what, before I move on here, I'm gonna use the bathroom here. Observe the full Critterpedia in its completedness. Thank you for the bit, meta text. Thank you for the 50 bits, gay plushy. I'll be back in a couple of minutes, I'm gonna use the bathroom. I gotta piss my anger out again. Dag, the timer. Oh no. What about it? Just because I'm taking a piss, time doesn't stop. The universe does not stop going because I take a piss. The earth does not stop turning. So why should I stop the timer? Just, you know, just kind of seems fair that I keep it going. Anyway. Open up. Open up. Open up. Open up. Open. Do I have to do it on the front? Open up. Dickhead. Open up. There you go. Let me in. I want to get this coconut crab out of here. Yo, why his why his jammies be looking like prison outfit? <laughs> why he be wearing like a prison outfit, man? Nook jammies. Ugh. Listen to the music too. All right, let me turn the music up again. Creepy. Ooh. Yeah, so that's a uh, Animal Forest E Plus exclusive feature. Is banging on the the door after hours will cause Tom Nook to open his store again, albeit in a very sleepy state, where he charges a lot more for items that you buy and gives you a lot less for items that you sell so a little little goofy little mechanic there why he seepy because it's 2am 
Yeah, I think this is him saying he's going to charge me double and give me a third of the price for my items that I sell. So it's really not something that you should do if you're looking to, like, sell for a bunch of bells. But, I mean, I suppose if you got a lot of money and you're looking to get some items that you didn't get during the daytime, it would be all right. Also, you have to wait for him to come over. Like, he's walking so slowly. Yeah, give me this for 2,040 bells, man. I'll take that. Poor man. I mean, you know. That's, you know, it's kind of like, you, you got to feel for him. It is 2 a.m. Nook is very, he's so slow. Look at him. He moving. Look at him. Look at him. He going, man. Let this poor man sleep. Well, uh, one more thing before I let him before I let him back to sleep here. Can you only sell? Like you can't even use the catalog or anything like that? Interesting. Well, for all these coconuts, the coconut crab and the vending machine that I just bought. For 1,470, that's really bad, man. That's really bad. Oh man. Alright, well, there you go. There's a feature probably most of you have never seen before. He still has his goddamn pillow as well. Now, can you do it again? Are you able to do it again? Like, or do you only get to open them up one time per night? I don't know. I guess we could see. Does he, does he let you do it again? Yeah, he does. All right. Interesting. Sorry, man. Sorry. Sorry. False alarm. False alarm. All right, anyway, that's, uh, that's Animal Forest E+. Plus. That's Animal Forest E+, plus right there. Yeah, he kills you after the third time. That's true. That's actually true. Oh, no, cockroaches. Yeah, well, that's Animal Forest E+. Plus. Um, oh, do we still have our metal? Yeah, we still got our metal floating there. All right. Well, either way. Yeah, it sells for 300 bells after causing us that much grief. Yep. All right, Wild World time. Um... Wild world time. I guess let me, uh, I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna need to, uh, get my, okay, first of all, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me get the gamepad for this. Let me close the emulation for Dolphin. Okay, let's get this out of here, yeah. And then we're going to, you're gonna see that. Oh no, he's emulating. Get that out of here. I'm going to go here and here. I'm going to switch the HDMI from my switch to my Wii U. All right. 